I kissed my goddess teacher directly in class. Not only did I move in with her, but I also got her to give me four children. I even got her to give me four children in one birth. This made the classmates are dumbfounded. That cold as an iceberg beautiful teacher became a shy and cute bird in front of me. Even when I glared at her from the podium, she blushed and couldn't teach. All because that night, I drank myself unconscious. I woke up in a hotel. There was a beautiful woman lying next to me. Suddenly, she opened her eyes. The woman screamed wildly. I lifted the covers and was about to get out of bed to say something, but I found a bright red stain on the bed sheet. By now, the woman was too shy to look up. She hurriedly got dressed and fled. I thought I'd never see her again. But then a new teacher came in during my senior year. Her beauty surprised the whole class. I was staring at her with a blank stare. I knew that face all too well. It was the girl from the hotel a year ago. Song Myanian noticed my hot gaze. The moment she met my eyes, she froze. Her cool and noble face turned scarlet. The textbook in her hand fell to the floor. I never thought we would meet again in this capacity. Song Myanian's heart was in turmoil. She forced herself to finish the lesson. She finally called me over after school. I knew she wanted me to keep my secret. Song Myanian took me back to her home. Only at home is it safe to say these things. When I walked into the living room, I froze. There was a cot next to the sofa. I didn't expect her to get married and have a baby in just one year. And judging from the simple furnishings, she must have married a poor man. At that moment, a baby's cry came from the room. Song Myanian immediately put down her bag and went to make milk powder. I followed the sound and looked into the bedroom. There were four babies lying there. How can they give birth to four babies at once? This woman and her husband are really something. Looking at Song Myanian, panting from all the work. I sat down on the bed and asked, where's your husband? Why isn't he helping you with the kids? I'm not married, and I don't want a father. I'm fine on my own. The air froze at those words. I didn't know what to say to comfort her. In my heart, I was already cursing that scum of a man. He didn't even care about his own child. I didn't realize that just then there was a ding. A strange voice rang in my head. Congratulations to the host for binding the all-purpose milkman system. The system is specialized in assisting you to become an all-round baby daddy. As long as you take good care of your baby, you'll get all kinds of random rewards. I got upset when I heard that. My own baby? But I'm not even married yet, how can I have a baby? Suddenly I realized something was wrong. Could these four children be my babies? Yes, host. Their DNA is 99% similar to yours. Damn it. I can't believe I'm the one who just called you a scum. Song Mian Mian has lost a lot of weight. It's not easy to raise four kids on your own. Are you still trying to hide it from me? Those kids are mine. I know. How do you know? She never told anyone who the father was. Song Mianian's eyes turned red when she said that. So what if they're yours? Do you have the means to raise a child? Song Mianian thought I'd be deterred. After all, no one would want to bring up so many children. But she was wrong about me. I'm not that irresponsible. I've saved up some money from my previous delivery job. I can survive for a while. Song Myanian didn't expect me to say that. She was really touched. My impression of me is slowly changing. By the way, I won't live in school anymore. I'll move here to take care of you and the baby. I didn't give Song Myanian time to refuse. I turned my head and went to change the baby's nappy. Ding, congratulations on your first nappy change. The system rewards you with 50,000 yuan. I looked at the message from my mobile phone. It's really 50,000 yuan. I'm going to make ribs for Song Myanian. She still has to breastfeed the babies. She can't keep eating things that aren't nutritious. Song Mian Mian came into the kitchen to help. I reached out and pulled her hair back behind her ear. Her cheeks were already flushed red. I couldn't believe that this was the cool teacher song during the day. She's so uninhibited. She ran out of the kitchen in no time. When I brought the food to the table, Song Mian Mian's face had returned to normal. Because I was taught to cook by my father's system. Song Mian Mian said I was good at cooking when she ate. She ate two bowls of this meal. When I saw her stomach bulge slightly, I couldn't help but smile in my heart. Then I went back to the dormitory to pack. My roommate told me that the new teacher is so beautiful. Many boys in the class wanted to go after her. When I heard that, I was very upset. I told him that she had a child. My roommate was dumbfounded. Teacher Song is so young and beautiful. She doesn't look like she's had a baby. I rolled my eyes helplessly. I'm the father of a child. I don't know whether he's had a baby or not. By the evening, I had already brought my luggage. When Song Myanian saw this, she blushed bright red. This, it's not good. What's wrong with that? I'm the father. You're my wife. We'll get a license tomorrow. Song Myanian was shocked by this. She looked at me with wide eyes and lost color. Let's sleep in the same bed, honey. 
It's easier to take care of the baby at night. When Song Myanian heard this, she refused. It was as if she thought of something that happened a year ago. Her face instantly turned red. What's the matter? Are you afraid I'll do something to you at night? I'm a gentleman. I told Song Myanian to take a shower first. Ten minutes later, she came out of the bathroom. She was wearing a pink camisole. Her hair was dripping wet on her collarbone. She seemed to have noticed my hot gaze. Song Myanian blushed and covered herself up. But the more she did, the more people thought about her. Song Myanian, I don't know what this woman is thinking. She's got a baby, but she's still so shy. I touched her soft white face. It feels good, but it's a bit hot. Then I took Nian Yang's hand and put it in my palm. Mian Mian, I think we should get married. You can't stay without a name. Song Myanian's tears wouldn't stop flowing. Why wouldn't she want a name? But her age makes her feel inferior. I'm better off with a young college girl. I saw her concern right away. I touched her head and said softly, I'm sure you're the right person. Only when we get married can we better protect our children. Song Myanian looked at me with a red face. She opened her mouth like a kitten. I, I think we should wait another year. After all, you haven't graduated yet. I'm sure there'll be a graduation party. We'll do it in front of everyone. I'll just hold Sibao in my arms and stun them with Mr. Song. Song Myanian nodded gently. Thinking about the public image makes my cheeks red. She'll lose her cool image then. It's already 10 o'clock at night. Song Myanian pointed to the seat next to her. She seems to have agreed that I can sleep there. In the middle of the night, I got up to feed the baby. I got up three times a night. I looked at Miss Song, who was sleeping peacefully. I don't know how she got through it. I clicked on the system interface to check the rewards. Congratulations to the host for completing the first breastfeeding and nappy changing tasks. Rewarded with the skills of Master Baker, God of Fighting, and 100,000 Yuan. I froze for a moment when I saw the reward. There's such a reward as the God of Fighting. Maybe we can use it to make some big money. Then we can give Song Myanian and her child better conditions. After sunrise, Mr. Song and I fed the children. We left them with the nanny and went to school. As soon as I got to the classroom, I heard a lot of talk among the students. Many of them didn't believe she was married. She's got a great body. She's a goddess. She doesn't look like a married woman. At that moment, a female voice sounded behind me. Turning around, I saw Wang Yu with a lolicon face. I remember she once sent me a love letter. Wang Yu blushed slightly and asked, Senior, I like you. Did you read my letter? Sorry, I have a girlfriend. In fact, I wanted to say that Miss Song is my wife. But if word gets out now, Song Myanian will be talked about. It might affect his career as a teacher. Wang Yu's eyes are wide with disbelief. But you were single yesterday. I didn't know how to answer. Suddenly I found out I have four children. No one would believe me even if I told them. Luckily, Song Myanian overheard our conversation. She came over and said with a cold face, Wang Yu, your grades are good. Now is not the time to fall in love. You should focus on your studies. A teacher's words are still very powerful. Wang Yu could only nod her head in agreement. I winked at Mr. Song. It made her blush. In the afternoon, I finished the day's classes. I returned home to breastfeed the babies. I suddenly wanted to buy Miss Song a car. After all, it hurt me to see her walk every day. I wanted to buy her a car. But I'm afraid she won't agree. I'll take you to buy an electric car later. From now on, you can ride it to school. When Song Myanian heard that, she refused. In her eyes, an electric bike costs thousands of dollars. It's enough to pay for the kids' milk powder for a few weeks. But I stared at her and frowned. I used my husband's tone to order her to obey. Song Myanian couldn't resist me, so she gave up. But her heart was warm. When I got to the shop, I picked the most expensive one. At first, Song Myanian didn't agree. Because this car costs 10,000 yuan. I can earn more if I don't have the money. It's worth it for my wife. Song Myanian's face turned red when I shouted at her. She whispered to me to be careful. This is close to the school. Someone might hear me. I didn't care about that. There's no such thing as coincidence. I paid the bill and got on the motorbike. I drove Song Myanian to buy something else. But what I didn't expect was, a few girls who passed by recognized Miss Song. They took a picture of our backs. One of them asked, this guy next to Mr. Song looks familiar. I feel like I've seen him somewhere before. They were all talking about it. Soon the photo was sent to the class group, but I didn't even know it. I took Song Mian Mian to a high-end maternity shop. The waitresses knew they had a big client. The baby's mother has such a well-maintained body. Her skin is so soft you could pinch water out of it. The father is even better. He looks as young as a student. I pointed out some children's clothes in the shop. This one, this one, and this one, no. Wrap up the rest for me. Song Myanian was shocked. She thought I had borrowed money from loan sharks. 
why else would I be so rich all of a sudden? She wasn't the only one who thought the same thing. Then a man and a woman came in and said, if you can't afford it, you can't afford it, so what's the point of playing? Song Mayanian seemed to know them. Subconsciously, she frowned. The next moment, the woman sneered at them. Song Mayanian, you finally found a receiver. But he looks so poor. She doesn't have much money. I smiled and didn't care. I took Song Mayanian's hand and pulled her aside. Honey, do you like this gift box? I heard it's the best in the shop. Song Mayanian just wanted to say she liked it. But when she looked at the price, she couldn't afford it. She secretly tugged on my sleeve. To show me that I should be more frugal. But I called the waitress. I asked her to wrap this gift box. And I asked for five boxes in total. The waitress was pleasantly surprised. She enthusiastically went to the counter and took them away. At the same time, she also glanced at the contemptuous. The target was the couple who were sneering at him. The woman looked like she had eaten shit. She had a look of embarrassment and disbelief on her face. In his eyes, Song Myanian has always been poor. But now she's got bags and bags of brand names. Even her husband couldn't afford to buy them for himself. Her husband said with disdain. They must be faking it. Maybe they borrowed the money. If they had money, would they live in a place like that? Song Myanian was so upset by that. She's always had a low self-esteem. Now she's even lowering her head and doesn't dare to say anything. I touched her head. I'll give her a big surprise in a few days. I'll make everyone who looks down on Miss Song shut up. Then I took Song Myanian to the diamond ring counter. We'll be married when we get together. What's the point of not having a diamond ring? Song Myanian's heart was torn. As a woman, she longed for these things. But her family's condition made her. I saw a diamond ring in the shape of a crown. It was lying quietly in the corner. But it gave me a different feeling. The shop girl was clearly stunned. She didn't think I'd choose this one. You have a good eye, sir. This is our limited edition diamond ring. Your wife will be so glamorous when she wears it. Song Mianyang pulled my hand and laughed quietly. It's expensive, why don't you forget about it? As long as your wife likes it, it's worth it. Song Mian Mian's face turned scarlet when she heard that. The man in front of her looks like he has magic powers. He can always give her all kinds of surprises and make her fall in love with him. The diamond ring has already been taken out. In the middle is a colorless diamond, surrounded by small pink diamonds. When Song Myanian put it on, it fit perfectly. Her hands were already thin and white, and she looked good too. Her whole aura was raised to a higher level. I've got the corresponding men's rings. The women's diamond ring is 50,000 and the men's is 30,000. Song Myanian changed her face when she heard the price. She immediately took my hand and wanted to leave. I touched Song Myanian's head. I just want to give you the best. Don't worry, I can afford it. Song Myanian stared at me with a blushing face. She was finally moved by my sincerity. After buying the ring, I was walking home. Suddenly, I heard someone shouting my name. Song Myanian turned around and was shocked. It was Meng Yi, a student in her class. Meng Yi asked me with a shocked face. Why are you shopping with Miss Song? By now, Miss Song was in a state of panic. Beans of sweat were beating on her delicate face. But I replied, not panicking at all, because I live in this neighborhood too. I just happened to meet her and helped her with the groceries. Mangy smiled and looked away. He saw the bag of diamond rings in my hand. Who did you buy this ring for? For my girlfriend, of course. How could it be for you? Now Mangy had nothing to say. But he had a feeling. I have a secret from Miss Song. Soon the whole class knew about it. Some even speculated that I was Teacher Song's husband. At the same time, I was making big bone soup. This kind of soup is good for breastfeeding women. I plan to feed Song Mian Mian until she weighs over 100 kilograms. She'll be more feminine then. Song Myanian can't resist my food. She eats every meal with a big belly. You have a good appetite, Miss Song. Do you like your husband's food so much? Song Myanian became shy. She hid in the bedroom like a little woman. When I cleaned up the dishes and came to the bedroom, I saw that the kids were all asleep. Honey, it's our world now. The temperature in Song Myanian's cheeks rose again. What do you want? Her tone is like a kitten's purr. You can't help but do something rough. I took out the diamond ring from the box. Wear this ring and you'll be mine. I'll give you a surprise when we get the license. When I finished speaking, I took Song Myanian's hand. I slowly put the ring on her hand. Song Myanian's head went blank. Her heart was pounding like crazy. I smiled and took out a man's diamond ring. I put the ring on your finger. You have to put it on me too. Song Myanian lowered her head in shame and didn't dare to look at me. But her small white hand slowly reached out. She finally held my hand and put it on for me. Song Myanian is a very thin-skinned woman. In a short while, she used the excuse of taking a bath to escape. But this time, she actually took a bath for an hour. I suspect she did something else in there. Sure enough, 
When I went to take a shower, I found out what was going on. I don't know why. Song Myanian washed all her personal clothes. When I finished showering, Song Myanian was still awake. Her face was red as if she was waiting for me. At that moment, the system's voice rang out. Congratulations to the host for activating the mission, One Night of Love. Completion of the mission will reward you with a property in the city center. When I heard this, I was stupefied. Teacher Song was even more anxious than I was about this kind of thing. At her age, I can't handle it. But if I don't obey Miss Song, I won't be able to get the luxury reward from the system. This house is something we desperately need. Thinking about it, I made up my mind. Teacher Song, you forced me to do this. Song Myanian seemed to have noticed my gaze. Slightly shyly said to me, Be careful, don't wake up the baby. After a long time, Song Myanian fell asleep. She showed her happy face. I was left alone to struggle. I spent the whole night taking care of the four babies. Luckily, the system reward arrived in the middle of the night. It was a set of keys and the real estate certificate of Jiang Qing Ming Yuan. The next morning, Song Myanian jumped out of bed with a start. Then she shouted that she was going to be late. I was still in the kitchen making breakfast. I hurriedly handed her a boiled egg and an omelette. Song Mian Mian received it with a warm heart. She was satisfied with my all-round husband. And although I'm very tired these days, but as long as I see you happy, it's all worth it. At the school, in the classroom and office, teachers were discussing Mr. Song's gossip. I heard that Mr. Song is married. She even has a child. Teacher Joe said coldly, No way, when did Miss Song admit it? I've never heard her say it herself. This Joe never hid his feelings for Miss Song. Everyone knew he loved her. Just then Song Myanian walked into the office. She felt everyone was staring at her. A female teacher asked, Teacher Song, are you really married and have children? Teacher Joe is not dead yet. She wants to hear you admit it. Without even thinking, Song Myanian took out her mobile phone. She showed a picture of her baby. Now Mr. Zhou's face turned ugly. Then what he did before would be a joke. However, when he took a look at the baby's photo, he discovered a detail that no one else had seen. There was a familiar figure in the corner of the photo. Seems to be a male student from Mr. Song's class. This made Mr. Zhou secretly excited. Her heart was burning with the desire to get her back. An evil plan was born. The news that Miss Song had quadruplets spread throughout the school. The male students who liked her were dead in the water. When Song Myanian returned home and smelled the fragrant food, she felt she was the happiest woman alive. During dinner, Song Myanian said, Teacher Joe from school wants to come home to see the baby. But there's a problem. What if Teacher Joe recognizes you? I don't mind at all. I'll find a way when the time comes. By the time I finish my senior year, I want to take a leave of absence to do something else. Mr. Song froze for a moment. Can you guarantee that you won't fail a single course? I can't. But I have you, Mr. Song. You can help me anytime. Then I pinched her cheeks. Song Myanian's face turned red. She couldn't stand that. So she agreed to take time off for me. Honey, I want to take you and the baby to a new place. I've chosen the address at Zheng Cheng Ming Yuan. Song Myanian frowned in displeasure. She knows this neighborhood. It's a very high class neighborhood. She was heartbroken by the $80,000 ring the other day. Now she'll have to spend more on renting a new place. I said mysteriously. Come with me and take a look at the house first. I'm sure you'll agree. Song Myanian became interested. What if I don't agree? I looked at Miss Song's serious face and smiled. Then I'll be at your disposal. Song Myanian was shy again. This little woman was being played by me. Soon, I took Miss Song to Zheng Cheng Ming Yuan. When I opened the door, I saw a large, luxuriously decorated living room, equipped with two children's rooms for boys and girls. Just right for two boys and two girls. And the children's beds are far away from the luxurious beds. So Mr. Song and I won't be afraid of waking up the kids. And it's fully furnished with all the appliances. There's also a big lake with a beautiful view not far away. Song Myanian fell in love with this place right away. But she knew this place wasn't cheap. The rent would be at least 10,000 a month. Song Myanian smiled bitterly and made up her mind. This time, I must stop it. She can't let me spend money like last time. I stroked her hair tenderly. You don't have to pay to live here. Song Myanian's face was full of doubts. She seriously suspected that I was cheating. At that moment, I took out the property certificate and showed it to her. My name was on the signature line. Song Myanian instantly sucked in a breath of cold air. Who is this man in front of her? How could a student have the money to buy a house? I've already thought of a good reason for this. I've been saving for years to marry my wife. But I didn't expect my wife to come to me. So I used it to buy this house on sale. That's a good reason. A smile appeared on Song Myanian's face. Then she turned red. She kissed me on the cheek when I wasn't looking. I noticed that Song Myanian's eyes changed. 
She seemed to recognize me as her man. I smiled and pinched Song Myanian's face. The target was her charming mouth. A long time passed like this. Song Myanian coughed and interrupted the spell. It's not too late. Let's move in here in a few days. And so we moved into our new home. In a flash, the baby was already three months old. During this time, I learned a new skill called sleep stealing. However, we were faced with a problem. The children still don't have a household registration. In order to do that, I need to get a license from Song Myanian. We agreed to get married first thing in the morning. We went to the Civil Affairs Bureau to register and take photos. Until the moment we held the red book in our hands. Song Myanian still didn't feel real. She was married to a student she taught. And I was so happy. Teacher Song can't even run away now. As soon as the words left my ears, the system's voice rang out. Congratulations to the host for successfully obtaining the license. The system rewards you with a Volkswagen. The system is really good at getting what it wants. But how do I explain this extra car? Before I could think of a suitable reason, the system gave me another shop. Congratulations to the host for successfully registering the baby. The system has rewarded me with a shop on T&I Street. I can't believe there's such a reward as a shop. It's perfect for opening a dessert shop with master baker's skills. I want to try out my skills in my own kitchen. Let's see how the baking master's skills are. Song Myanian was shocked when she arrived in the kitchen. Hubby, did you make all these? There were many desserts on the table. Some are exquisite, some are very cute. Song Myanian didn't think her husband could cook like this. Try it and see if it's good. If it's good, I'll make it for you more often. Song Myanian tasted the red velvet cake. It tastes a hundred thousand times better than the one she's had. I also used this as an opportunity to talk about the idea of opening a shop. As for how I got the shop, I casually said that a classmate rented it to me at a low price. I didn't realize it was such an excuse. It led to a series of chain reactions. I called my classmate, Wang Jing, so that he could come to my home and act with me. That's fine. Do you still live in that neighborhood? I just told him the address of the new neighborhood. The baby cried when he was sleeping. Wang Jing heard me taking care of the baby. He thought I had found a job as a nanny. He felt sorry for me. Wang Jing was dumbfounded when he came over according to the address. This neighborhood is so luxurious. A nanny here should be paid well, right? I was wearing an apron and doing housework. Wang Jing's tongue was in knots. What's wrong with you, brother? Why are you here as a nanny? I glared at him in anger. I told him to keep his voice down so he wouldn't scare the baby. By now, Wang Jing was in tears. If you need money, tell me. I'll get you all the money I can. I know this guy misunderstood. I just wanted to explain to him. I heard Debeo pooping. He's so good at pooping. I rushed over to help him. Wang Jing felt like he was struck by lightning. He was dumbfounded as he watched me change the nappy with great skill. I led him to the bedroom. When he saw the quadruplets, Wang Jing exploded. The genes of the head of this family are too good. He actually gave birth to four at once. But they look familiar. How can they not look familiar? They're all my children. Wang Jing looked at me incredulously. How can that be? I don't know who you had them with. I told him in a deep voice that it's okay to tell you. But you mustn't tell anyone. Wang Jing couldn't wait to know the answer. Who is the mother of the child? I was going to disclose it after graduation. In fact, I'm Miss Song's husband. Damn, Wang Jing almost bit his tongue. He was shocked to the core. It took him a while to close his mouth and get over it. Wang Jing suddenly realized something was wrong. Whose house is this? Of course it's mine. Why? Yours? When Wang Jing saw me nodding, he was dumbfounded again. All the people in Zheng Cheng Ming Yuan are rich. I've never heard that you're a second generation rich man. In the past, you were single with yourself. All of a sudden there is a goddess wife and children. Wang Jing's little heart is really going to be abused to death. After sending Wang Jing away, I fell asleep on the sofa. Song Mian Mian woke up at that moment. She didn't want to wake me up. She quietly went into the kitchen. This led to an unprecedented disaster. Song Myanian opened the fridge to cook, thinking that if she had learned to cook earlier, I would have been able to help her husband out a bit, although the whole process was a mess. Luckily, the oil only popped on her hand. It hurt so much that tears came out of her eyes. When she looked at the pan, the food was already mushy, and there was a thick cloud of smoke. I was woken up by the smell of smoke. I ran to the kitchen and froze. The whole kitchen looked like a war. The floor and stovetop were covered in vegetable residue. I hurriedly pulled Song Myanian behind me. I turned off the gas and opened the window. Song Myanian's face was dark. She was looking at me accusingly. I laughed out loud at this scene. I touched Song Myanian's head. Song Myanian was so shy that she didn't know what to do. Maybe she wasn't born with the talent to cook. Thinking about being a wife and not being able to cook. Song Myanian's face was tearful. 
I took her into my arms. It took a lot of effort to calm her down. If you think I work hard, then call me your husband. Song Mayanian's cheeks were flushed red. She bit her lip and had trouble speaking. After a while, she called me husband in a low voice. The corners of my mouth lifted up and I felt much better. I caught Song Mian Mian tightly. In the face of the fresh smell of hair, she knows she should go. If she didn't, her face would burn. When Song Mianian came to the office and sat down, Teacher Zhou, who had bad intentions, came over. Teacher Song, when are you going to take us to see your baby? When she heard that, several female teachers came to join in the fun. Song Mianian's face was a bit torn. I'll have to ask my husband. At this time, Teacher Zhou smiled and said, What do you think of this weekend? I'd like to see who's the best man. I'd like to see who's the best man to marry someone like Miss Song. Song Mianian's heart was in a panic. After all, their relationship is not yet public, but it wouldn't be polite to refuse. Why, don't you welcome us, Mr. Song? Song Mianian's face was red and she didn't know what to do. I'll discuss it with my husband. It's a deal. Let's go to your house this Saturday. At that moment, the bell rang. Song Mianian fled the office with her lesson plan. After she left, several teachers got together. They all thought she was hiding something, especially her mysterious husband. No matter what, they're going to find out on Saturday. At that moment, Mr. Joe smiled grimly. Everything was in his plan. When Song Mianian came home, she told me about it. She asked me if I had any ideas on how to deal with it. Originally, I couldn't do anything about it. But today I unlocked a new skill when I gave the baby a bath. It's a good time to test it out on the teachers. Don't worry, honey, I'll take care of it. Just let them do it. On the promised Saturday, Song Mianian received a call from Mr. Zhou. They had already arrived at Zheng Cheng Ming Yuan, but the teachers were a bit curious. Song Mianian used to live in a shabby neighborhood, but now she's moved to Zheng Cheng Ming Yuan. One of the female teachers was starry eyed. She liked the environment and the decoration. So she asked Song Mianian, Did you rent this place? Song Mianian was quite proud of it. My husband bought it. Wow. Who the hell is your husband? Teacher Zhou, who was at the end of the line, had a look on his face. She thought to herself, he's just a rich man with a few bucks. Song Mianian led them into the kitchen. At a glance, she saw the familiar back of the cook. It's a lie to say she wasn't nervous. It would be embarrassing if she was exposed. Teacher Zhou felt that he was about to get his way. He smiled a wicked smile, his face full of teasing. At this moment, I'm invoking the all-purpose milkman system. I was preparing to make a great meal for the teachers. When I heard Song Mianian call me back. I activated a new skill I just learned. When everyone got a good look at me, they all froze there and didn't move. And teacher Zhou, who was originally smiling, first turned pale, then it turned as red as a pig's face. If Song Mianian hadn't been prepared for the moment she turned around, she probably wouldn't have recognized her husband. Because my face doesn't have anything to do with my previous appearance. It's the face-changing skill I learned earlier. I can change my face according to your imagination. Mr. Song, is this your husband? My god, he's so handsome. I greeted them calmly. Hello, I'm Mian Mian's husband. Mr. Wang and the three of them looked at each other. They all saw envy in each other's eyes. Not only can he cook, but he can also take care of the kids. Such a perfect man is basically dead. And he looks like a rich man. Teacher Joe was like a deflated ball. It seems that his previous guesses were all wrong. Seeing the teachers staring at their husbands. Song Mianian would be lying if she said she wasn't worried. She was afraid that they would find out something. Song Mianian led them to the living room. Teacher Wang couldn't help rubbing her hands together. She couldn't contain her excitement and joy. When she came to the children's room, she saw the children lying in a row. Wow, there are really four of them. So cute. Don't stop me, I want to get married too. Hearing people praise her husband and children. Song Mianian couldn't stop feeling proud and happy. At that moment, I came over and called for dinner. When I came in with a plate of food, Mr. Wang couldn't help but gulp. We've made nine dishes and one soup today. Song Mian Mian can't eat too much. They're still a bit tired after the meal. This is as good as a five-star chef. The teachers left after the meal. Once they left, Song Mianian's heart dropped into her stomach. What she didn't know was, the teachers were discussing on the way home. The ever-attentive teacher Wang said mysteriously, Don't you guys think? I feel that teacher Song's husband looks familiar. I've definitely seen him somewhere. Song Mianian was so touched. The next moment, she jumped into my arms. Seeing that she was wearing a thin halter nightgown, I felt some impulse in my heart. My heart began to beat faster. At this time, Song Mianian suddenly raised her head and looked at me. This guy is so good at flirting. Has he flirted with other girls before? After hesitating for a while, she couldn't help but ask, Hubby, have you ever dated another girl before? 
Have you ever dated another girl before? I dated one a year ago, but she dumped me. I don't care about that. I was blind to that woman at that time. Song Myanian frowned when she heard that. You said she dumped you. That was the day she dumped me a year ago. I went to a bar to drink and met you. Song Myanian was a bit angry when she heard that. With her red face, she looked a bit cute. Is she a student or a teacher at our school? Is she pretty? I saw the fire in Minyang's eyes. I was scared and said, she's not as pretty as my wife, and she doesn't have your body. Besides, we've only been together for a few months and we don't have much affection. Really? Why did you stay with her for a few months? Song Myanian was a bit upset and said, do you have a photo of her? Photos? I deleted and blocked them a long time ago. Song Myanian looked at me suspiciously. We've been together for so long, how can we not have photos? Seeing the look in her eyes, I had no choice but to say, Honey, I'm telling the truth. I really don't have any photos. Song Myanian's eyes narrowed as she continued to ask me, Why did she dump you? What did you do? I told her the truth. She dumped me because she didn't like my money. Song Myanian stood up with a huff. Her face turned red with anger and she clenched her teeth. What? Who does she think she is? How dare she do that to you? Her husband is such a good man. How could she be treated so badly by that woman? I saw Song Myanian getting more and more agitated and hurriedly said, Honey, don't be angry. It's not worth it to get angry over such a person. She's no match for you. In terms of looks, you're a million times better than her. I didn't realize my wife could be so scary when she's angry. I've been asking questions that make my heart tremble. Song Myanyang hummed. She thinks that woman is blind. But without her she wouldn't have met her husband. Much less give birth to four such lovely babies. I was so nervous when I saw Miss Song's anger. Okay, honey, don't be angry, okay? It's time to go to bed. Song Myanyang raised her fist. Don't let me see her next time. Then she leaned her head on my shoulder. Both of US could hear each other's wild heartbeats. The next day, after breakfast, I headed to school. I had to go to one of my speciality classes today. Regarding Mr. Song having a child, the story has died down. But some boys still feel sorry for Song Myanian when they see her. They still feel sorry for her. Their goddess already has a child and a husband. Wang Jing is the only one who knows about it. In order to keep it a secret, he wouldn't talk about it no matter what. As soon as I came to school, he came to me in a hurry. To be honest, he still can't believe it. Teacher Song's husband is me, a student and a teacher. Originally, they couldn't get along. In class, Wang Jing asked me in a low voice, When do you have time? I'll treat you and Mr. Song to dinner. Yeah, this weekend. I'll tell her when I get back. Wang Jing is very excited. From now on, can you call her sister-in-law? It's a bit surreal to think about. The image of an iceberg goddess with a baby. I bought a bunch of snacks after leaving school. Song Myanian was hanging out the clothes on the balcony. When she saw the pile of stuff, she was puzzled. Why did you buy so many things? To prevent you from burning down the kitchen. These are all snacks for you. When I'm not home, you can eat them when you're hungry. Speaking of this, Song Myanian was so embarrassed. She couldn't help but blush. That thing last time was so embarrassing. Song Myanian looked at the two big bags of snacks she bought. There were a bunch of biscuits, chips and drinks. An hour later, Song Myanian was ready to go to school. I took out a bento box from the kitchen. You have three classes this afternoon. I'm afraid you'll be hungry for such a long time. Song Myanian froze for a moment and her heart ached. Seeing her eyes reddening again. I softened my eyes and pinched her face. Go on, you'll be late. Song Myanian had just finished a class. She was about to take out the food her husband had prepared for her. Teacher Wang came over with an excited look on her face. Wow, Miss Song, what are you eating? I don't know, my husband made it for me. Song Myanian opened the lunchbox. A strong aroma wafted out instantly. Mr. Wang's eyes lit up at the sight of the delicious food. All the teachers in the office looked at her with envy. Only one person was sitting in the corner. That's Mr. Zhou, the one who wanted to pursue Song Mianmian. It was Saturday. Wang Jing had been waiting for this day for a long time. He couldn't wait to meet Song Myanian. She's known as the iceberg goddess outside. I wonder what she's like in private. We had a dinner date at a hot pot restaurant near the school. The family of six got in the car and headed to their destination. The quadruplets attracted a lot of attention as soon as they appeared. Wang Jing rubbed his hands together, although he had met Mr. Song before. But now he was in a different capacity. When Song Myanian met Wang Jing, she couldn't imagine that my friend would be Wang Jing. No wonder Wang Jing looked at her strangely in class. Teacher Song. Oh no, hello sister-in-law. I'm Zhao's roommate, Wang Jing. Song Mianyang nodded her head. You can blush in front of your husband, but now I'm facing my own students. I can't show that side. Otherwise, it'll be embarrassing to meet them in the future. 
At that moment, four treasures in the pram made a strange noise. I knew the baby had pooped. I was about to go to the bathroom to change the baby's nappy. Song Myanian stood up and said, I'll go. If she and Wang Jing were to sit in the private room and stare at each other, it would be so embarrassing. Song Myanian pushed the car out. A familiar voice rang in her ears. She was shocked. It was Miss Wang and some other teachers. They're here for the hot pot too. Song Myanian turned around and squeezed out a smile. What should we do? If they get caught, they'll be in deep shit. Teacher Song said excitedly. Which private room are you and your husband in? Are the babies there too? Can I go and have a look? Upon hearing this, Song Myanian hurriedly sent a message. Let me stay away for a while. The corners of my mouth twitched when I got the message. I told Wang Jing to look after the kids for me. I hid in the bathroom. I didn't expect Miss Wang to see my back. Wow. Is that Cheng Xiao from our class who just went in? It's almost time for the exams. He's been on leave for days. I'll ask him when he comes out. At this moment, Song Myanian is so scared that her legs are a bit weak. She prayed that she wouldn't be discovered. At this time, several teachers entered the box. Teacher Wang looked at Wang Jing with surprise. Wang Jing, what are you doing here? Song Myanian introduced herself awkwardly. This is my husband's friend. When Wang Jing saw the teachers, he became respectful. But he was soon ignored. Everyone is just looking at the babies. The face value of each baby is really high. Everyone was looking at them with envy. At this time, I had already used my face-changing skills. I appeared in front of Mr. Wang and the others with my previous appearance. Luckily Song Nianian sent me a message in advance. Otherwise, I could have scared Wang Jing to death with my on-the-spot face change. It wasn't long before the group left. Wang Jing was sweating for me. If it wasn't for your good makeup skills, you would have been exposed. I don't think it's a big deal. I don't even know my own mother when my makeup skills are activated. It's Song Myanian who's scared. Right now, she's blushing and covering her chest. Luckily, she got through it without any danger. Back home, Song Myanian slept until dark. When she saw me working in the kitchen, she even hugged me from behind. Hubby, thank you for your hard work. I turned around and asked with a smile. Honey, are you hungry? I've made you some delicious food. Song Mianyang nodded in embarrassment. I pinched her face again and ate them. I'll give you a surprise tomorrow. Song Mian Mian asked me what the surprise was. But I pointed to my cheeks. It seems you can't wait to find out, honey. Give me a kiss and I'll tell you. Song Myanian's face instantly turned red. She felt that this guy was doing it on purpose. Sure enough, a beautiful face zoomed in front of my eyes. Even though it was just a slapdash kiss, it brought me a warm and soft mood. After Song Myanian kissed me, she hurriedly lay down on the other side of the bed. She covered herself with the quilt. I couldn't help but smile. My wife is so cute. Song Myanian's whole face was so red that it was about to bleed. She didn't dare to look at me. Honey, turn around, I'll tell you the surprise. If you don't turn around, you'll be kissing her for nothing. Song Mian Mian hesitated for a moment and slowly turned around. Her face was still shy. I smiled and went over to her as if I were going to talk. Instead, I kissed her on the mouth. What are you looking at? You have to say hurry up and say it. Being looked at by Chang Xiao, she was even more embarrassed and couldn't help but skim her head. Tomorrow Wang Jing comes over, ready to discuss about doing business together. Wife, what do you think is better to sell if you open a store? Song Myanian frowned when she heard this, open a store? How can you open one without preparing anything here? Store, decoration, capital, etc. It was all a huge expense. This I have prepared long ago, I just don't know what to sell. Come to refer to your wife's opinion ah. Cheng Xiao smiled and said, wife, what do you think of a mom and pop store? Sell some more skincare products for moms. Nowadays, some parents were very willing to spend money for their children. The reward store has never had the time to look at it, so tomorrow, he will go with Wang Jing to explore the situation and see how to decorate it. It's fine, but didn't you say dessert store last time? How come it's a mom and pop store again? Song Mian Mian was puzzled. Cheng Xiao laughed, at that time, it was just a random thought, when we opened up the mom and pop store, there are funds, and then think about the dessert store, everything has to be done step by step. Song Mian Mian thought, it makes sense, I have no opinion, is that you have enough money? And is to buy a house and buy a car, there can be extra money? You don't have to worry about money wife, I'll figure it out, big deal, borrow some from friends. Song Myanian nodded, hmm, then yawned, a little sleepy. Obviously slept all afternoon, but still sleepy, don't know what's going on. Maybe it's the change of season, or maybe it's the reason for having a period. Wife, go to sleep. Chang Xiao gently hugged her and fell asleep in a short while. In the room was the sound of shallow breathing. It was very quiet. The next day, when Chang Xiao woke up in the morning and was making breakfast, he received a call from this bastard Wang Jing. Brother, I'm ready, I'll be leaving soon, be there at 8 o'clock sharp. 
Uh, want some breakfast? Leave some for you. Chang Xiao said indifferently. Wang Sight nodded, okay, just didn't eat, do you have any donuts? It's good to have something to eat, speed up. Chang Xiao hung up the phone. Almost half an hour later, Wang Jing arrived. Looking at the pile of breakfast on the table, Wang Jing sat down and laughed. What are you doing ordering so much takeout this early in the morning, can you finish it? Just eat, don't talk so much nonsense, I'm going to call your sister-in-law to get up. Song Nian Nian got up in a daze, brushed her teeth, didn't even comb her hair, wore a plush pajamas and came to the dining room. As soon as she went in, she saw Wang Jing sitting there with a smile on his face eating breakfast, and was startled and immediately sobered up. Only then did I realize that yesterday Chung Xiao said that Wang Jing was coming over today. It's over, it's over, it's a big embarrassment. Looking at MS. Songs back as she fled, Wang Jing looked as if he had seen something unimaginable. Pajamas, tousled hair. Is this still the elegant and cool goddess teacher on the podium? It simply overturned the impression of her in his mind. Just as he was thinking about it, a blow to the head bounced over. What are you looking at? Look again and I'll poke your eyes out. Chang Xiao frowned. Wang Jing smiled sarcastically, I'm not feeling surprised. Eat your rice. After 10 minutes or so, Song Nian Yang reappeared, changing back to her previous outfit with a cool face. It was as if the situation just now hadn't happened. A meal was eaten with Wang Jing's heart trembling and shivering with fear. Song Mianian did not have classes in the morning, and in the afternoon, it is just the right time to take advantage of this time to go to see the situation of the store, after breakfast, took Wang Jing to set off. Sitting in the car, Wang Jing looked left and right, his eyes full of envy. I go, brother ah, uh, it's really unexpected that you bought a car so soon, hey. A while ago we were riding an electric bike together for a ride, this turned around. Wang Jing didn't know what to say except for envy. The gap between him and Chang Xiao was getting farther and farther away. He had a car and a house before he graduated from college, while he was waiting for death every day. People are struggling, he is yelling to find someone to hack. Can't compare. Brother Ah, uh, let me ask a question, how much did you take this car? Installment or full payment? Wang Jing asked curiously. Full payment, 260,000. Chang Xiao didn't hide it. Wang Jing's eyes widened, holy shit, full payment? Landlord, begging to be adopted. How come he didn't know before that this brother of his was actually so rich and too low-key? Simply fooled everyone ah. Even he is fooled, he thought that four years of college, already understand each other's bottom, now it seems, is not at all like that. This brother of his was really deep in the dark. After spending so much time with a tycoon, he actually didn't know anything. He also foolishly thought that the other party was in the same boat as himself. Okay, I'm driving, cut the crap. Chang Xiao glanced at him. The car arrived at Tianyi Street, Chang Xiao found a parking space and stopped, glancing at the address on the contract of the store that he had photographed, he smoothly found the exact location of the store. It was on both sides of a street with a lot of traffic, a lot of people coming and going, comparable to a scenic spot. This is still a Monday, if the weekend is expected to be more people. This side of the store rent is also ridiculously expensive, Chung Xiao checked, at least a year to millions of rent. He this is the system reward, completely into his name property, even if it is not open store, you can also turn to rent to others, sit and collect rent. Maisie. Walked to the door of the store, looked upwards, a glance can see that this store's good location and tall up, decorated, absolutely very good. Chang Xiao used the key to open the door lock, there is also a combination lock on it, have not yet had time to enter, wait for the store to open up, and then record it is not too late. The door was pushed open from the outside, a faint smell of paint came, look around, the wall has been coated with putty powder, just waiting to be decorated. Rather, it was cleaned up quite well. Wang Jing reacted and followed into the room, asking, brother, you want to open here? Well, I had this idea a week ago, and then I asked someone and found this place. Cheng Xiao said, why don't we just follow what you said and sell mother and baby products? This location looks pretty good to me too, right in the center, with a lot of foot traffic, no surprises, it can make some money. Wang Jing stared, I go, brother, you cannot be too impulsive ah, the traffic here you also see, that is with the scenic spots have a spell, the rent may be more expensive, oh my god, the rent will be a million dollars a year, right? If we lose money, we'll lose everything, just go to a normal location, no need to take that risk, it's too easy to lose money, but I didn't expect that Cheng Xia shook his head and calmly said, this is my own store ah, rent and so on, don't need, oh, Wang Jing almost thought that he had heard wrongly, such a lucrative and well-located store was actually his own. It's too unbelievable, isn't it? Brother, did I hear it right? Really, don't scare me. Cheng Xia glanced at him, do you think I look like I'm telling a lie? If I wasn't prepared, I wouldn't have approached you yesterday to talk about the partnership. As for the store, it is indeed in my name, as for how it came about, I'll tell you later. I'll take care of the funding issue, just do me a favor, I'll take seven and you three of the money earned, how's that? 
Anyway, this guy plays games every day, no shit, it would be better to find something to do by mixing up his life. Hearing this profit sharing, Wang Jing was moved, just, he did not pay a cent of funds, properly in the advantage ah, he can't take advantage of his brother. Brother, why don't I contribute some too, or else I won't be able to take this money. Chang Xiao could still think of him in this situation, Wang Jing was quite touched in his heart. He had not thought of doing business in the future, but he had no ambition, no money. Inside the university, not a penny saved, sometimes not enough money, but also to the family's old man to open his mouth. Chang Xiao is tantamount to giving him a chance to show his skills. Just, still do not want to take advantage of him. After all, living in a dormitory for so long, how can it be good? You rely on your own hands, how is it called taking advantage? If you don't want to, forget it. No, 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 I'm happy, very happy, brother, whatever you say. The heart was touched and excited at the same time. That's fine, we'll be selling mother and baby products in the future, now let's do the decoration first. Specific things, go back first, discuss it properly. After saying that, the two of them took a closer look at the layout of the store, to see how to decorate it to look better. After looking at it for a while, they went back to Jiang Qing Ming Yuan. Song Myanian was sitting on the sofa coaxing the baby, the TV was on, playing cartoons, she was holding Debeo in her arms, the child's eyes were staring at the direction of the TV without blinking. There was no telling what was so appealing. Babies, daddy is back. Chang Xiao took off his shoes and walked over. Once the children saw that Chang Xiao was back, especially four treasures, they were so excited. Their little legs stomped and stomped, obviously very happy. Seeing this picture, the envy in the eyes of Wang Jing behind Chang Xiao was about to spill out of his eyes. Too much love. This kind of day with a wife and child waiting at home is really good. In the past, he had thought of talking about a sensational love. Now he thought, plain and simple is the real thing. Look at them, their families are so harmonious. He decided, when he earned money, graduated from college, he will find a wife, living such a simple life. Have a child, beautiful. Chang Xiao picked up four treasures and kissed it, for treasures, did you miss daddy? Yeah. For treasures looked at Chang Xiao, then smiled and buried his head in his arms. It could be seen that he was very sticky to his dad. Song Nian Yang was jealous, for treasures was really close to her dad, sometimes even she didn't want her as a mom. Chang Xiao gently stroked her little head, his eyes were full of pain. Sitting on the sofa, he said to Wang Jing who was still standing there in a daze, come and sit down, pointing to the seat next to himself. Wang Jing reacted with a hefty smile and hurriedly walked over. Then he looked at four treasures, winked, and said softly, for treasures, uncle came yesterday, do you still remember? For treasures blinked her big eyes at him, and after looking at him for a while, she turned her head away again before burying herself tightly in her father's arms, obviously not wanting to be bothered. The situation was still the same as yesterday, and Wang Jing's face frowned, indicating that he had been struck. This little four treasures, when she grows up, she will definitely be an iceberg goddess like her mom. The personalities are similar. For treasures ignored him, but there was still three treasures. Sanba was lying next to him, his little legs were stirring, his mouth was gnawing on his hands, and he was playing by himself if no one was playing with him. Erbao was asleep in his crib. Sambo, come, uncle hug. Wang Jing could only find a little comfort in San Bao now. The little guy looked at him with his eyes open and even gave him a small smile. He felt like his heart was almost melting. It was really too cute and adorable. Highly adorable blitz. After smiling at him, Sambo continued to barf his hands. Drool flowed all over his body. Song Nian Yang sat on the side and didn't say anything, only feeling quite awkward. If it was just Cheng Zhao's friend, it would be fine, but it was also a classmate, and even if it was a classmate, it was still her student. It's hard to avoid embarrassment. When it was time to cook, Cheng Xiao went to the kitchen, Song Mian Mian hurriedly followed. It just so happens that there are some questions to ask, Wang Jing is there, really don't know how to open up. Hubby, how's it going? She asked. It's okay, the store has been taken care of, and the subsequent things are slowly discussed. Then you have this financial problem, how did you solve it? Renting a house is a large sum of money. Having bought a house and a car before, she really couldn't figure out how Cheng Xiao saved all this money. Could it be from his parents? Otherwise there was no other explanation. During the days they were together, it seemed like she had never heard him mention his parents. Wife, you don't have to worry about this, I have my ways. Cheng Xiao touched her head, then continued to busy himself with the matter at hand. Hubby, there's a question I've never asked you, your parents, do they know about us? Speaking of the parents' question, Song Myanian was a bit nervous, just afraid that Cheng Zhao's parents would be dissatisfied with her. Instinctively nervous. Mentioning the parental issue, Cheng Zhao's body visibly stiffened. Song Myanian sensed his emotions and only thought that he didn't want to talk about it, or that his parents were very against it, biting her lip, she said, are your parents not agreeing? No, I was abandoned by my parents when I was little, it was the orphanage that raised me. 
Chang Shao stopped moving. In the past, he was too young to remember many things clearly, it was the dean who told him. Song Mianyang froze, after reacting, she knew that she had asked the wrong question, and hurriedly said, I'm sorry, I didn't know this was the case, I. For a moment, his heart was filled with guilt, was she rubbing salt in his wounds? Asking such a question was tantamount to revealing someone's scars. How could she be so stupid? Seeing her eyes red with anxiety, Cheng Xiao rubbed her head and let out a light laugh, It's okay, now that I have you and the baby, don't I have my own home? With my own home, so I'm satisfied and happy. What's the point of thinking about the so-called real parents? What's the use? Even abandoning their own children, such parents don't want it. Look at how scared this little woman is. Husband, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. Song Mianian directly jumped into his arms, her face full of guilt. Once she thought that she had grown up in a single parent family, lacking a father's love, and that her life was miserable enough, but now she thought that her husband had suffered more than she had as a child. What qualification did she have to be pretentious? Fool, I've said it's fine, it's also my fault that I didn't make it clear to you before. Cheng Xiao said helplessly. In fact, throwing or not throwing away he no longer cared, now he only wanted to guard his own little family. It is also true that he hated before, with the passage of time, that kind of hate has long faded away. Alright, hubby is going to cook, you go see the babies. Chang Xiao rolled up his sleeves, tied on his apron, and started to get busy. Song Mianian reluctantly left the kitchen. Soon, the meal was ready. Looking at this large table of dishes, Wang Jing was surprised, I really didn't see it, brother, you actually cook such a good handful of dishes. Tasting it, the flavor was simply better than the restaurants. Song Mianian finished eating early and was ready to go to work, about to be late, afraid that she would be hungry in the afternoon, Chang Xiao also specially prepared lunch for her to take. Again, it caused Wang Jing a burst of envy and jealousy. The obvious spreading of dog food. Even if it is, it is still spread in front of his face. He didn't care about the feelings of single dogs. Too heartless. Turning grief and anger into appetite, today a table of dishes were swept clean by him. After eating, the two sat on the sofa and began to discuss the matter of the store. To open a store, you first need to decorate, and then buy goods and so on. Cheng Xiao basically has no time, his wife has to work, the task of bringing up the children is his, there is no extra energy to hire someone to decorate and buy goods himself. Unless someone to bring the child, but the problem is that a few babies, especially the four treasures, more afraid of life, in addition to him and the child's mother, who do not want. So, it was left to Wang Jing to run errands. This kid didn't have much to do all day long anyway. I'm going to bring up the child, about the decoration, the things to buy goods can only trouble you, I'll pay for the money. How can you call this trouble? I'll take care of it, I'll definitely get it done. Wang Jing patted his chest. When the decoration is done, I'll go with you when we choose the goods. These goods still had to be strictly controlled, not a single mistake could be made. After all, the ones who use these things are children. No problem. After the two of them finished their discussion, they said they would do it. Wang Jing took the store key given by Chang Xiao and went about his business. It's just convenient to have someone to help with things. The kids are asleep, it's rare to be so free, Chang Xiao leans towards the sofa. He opened his cell phone and looked at the date. Only then did he realize that there was a test coming up in a few days, and it was pretty important. I don't know if my wife will have classes at that time, but if she does, she will have to trouble her mother-in-law to come and see it. Turning on his sleep-stealing skills, he intends to sleep for a while first, so that he can have the energy to take care of these little ones at night. If he slept so much during the day, he would definitely have to make a mess at night. Since he had this skill, even if he stayed up for a whole night without sleeping, he was still in high spirits. This sleep for two hours, when I woke up, the children had already woken up, one by one, gnawing on their hands and hands, gnawing that is a happy. The quilt on the body has long been kicked off by them, cold hands and feet, Debeo's little tummy is exposed outside, also don't feel cold, the more they kick, the more energized they are. You few little guys, kicking the quilt every day, be careful of bellyache. Chang Xiao carried them one by one to the crib. These few, diapers are bulging high, visible this afternoon how much urine. Debeo once lying on the bed, want to turn over, because the diaper is too heavy, pressure simply cannot turn over, the small appearance funny. Chang Xiao just took his diaper down, this little guy, not even a chance to miss, a moment to turn over, directly lying on the bed, face buried in the quilt. Moving, he quickly turned over again. Chang Xiao couldn't help but laugh, you're still growing. Seeing his brother like this, a few babies followed suit and imitated, except for fourth treasure, second treasure and third treasure all rolled over, only second treasure could roll over once, but couldn't roll over a second time. Her little face disliked the bed, she used all her strength but still couldn't turn over, in order to breathe, she turned her head to the right side and then looked at Chung Xiao with innocent eyes. Really can't help it, Chung Xiao laughed out loud, picked up her bow, scraped her little nose, her bow, you can't turn over but still want to turn over ah, is it hard? Yeah. Her bow flopped down in her dad's arms, her little feet stomping, tightly grasping Chang Xiao's clothes. 
Over there, for treasures can't turn over, some anxious eyes, see dad is hugging sister, all of a sudden feel aggrieved, he cried out with a wow sound. In addition to sleeping for so long without drinking milk, it is called a grievous and pitiful yo. Chun Xiao put down the two babies, give them milk to go. The four babies have begun to gradually adapt to the milk powder, mainly because the mother's milk is not a lot, simply cannot squeeze a lot of spare. Other moms squeeze it into a plastic bag, put it in the fridge, and warm it up for their kids when they're hungry, Song Myanian tried it before and it didn't work at all. Each feeding was just enough for her to drink. When the sun went down, Chung Xiao looked at the time and prepared to go cook. Song Myanian came back just in time and saw the babies lying on the children's bed, her heart instantly warmed. Wife, are you hungry? Let's make you some delicious padding. Chang Xiao smiled. It's okay, I ate my bento in the afternoon. Then I'll go cook first, yell at me if anything happens. Good. The babies were so excited to see their mom coming back, a few pairs of little legs kicked off, and soon kicked the blankets off their bodies. Each one of them is quite strong. Three months old, a little bit of ability. Especially the four treasures, the most excited, because only she drinks breast milk, and mother is relatively more close. Song Myanian looked very distressed, picked her up and breastfed her. Unexpectedly, this child took two bites, then let go, turned her head to the side, and smiled at her. Song Myanian was a bit puzzled, what's wrong four treasures? Yeah. Are you not hungry? She turned her head to look at Debeo and the others. Couldn't help but smile, it looked like they had been fed. No wonder they didn't eat. Fourth treasure was now gradually getting used to drinking milk powder, the same as his older siblings, and it was quite heartbreaking to think that she had to go to work, and there was no way for her to feed it on time, or save some of it. She has to go to work and can't feed him on time, and she can't save some of it. Luckily, the four treasures are more obedient, the father feeds the milk to drink, and do not cry. Understanding is heartbreaking. Unable to resist touching four treasures little face, Song Nian Yang said, our four treasures is really good. Seeming to know that mom was praising herself, for treasure's eyes narrowed with a smile. Yeah. This smile instantly swept away Song Myanian's exhaustion from the afternoon. After teasing four treasures for a while, she teased the other three little ones. The weather is getting colder and colder, the babies always like to kick the quilt, a moment without looking at the quilt on the body to the bottom of the feet, making the hands and feet cold, this is the easiest way to catch a cold. You can't be careless. The other day the four baby is so hit, but also the child's body is already weak, basically no resistance, a contact with some bacteria, will be sick. When parents are simply worried to death. After thinking about it, buy a few sleeping bags back to sea. Prevent the child from kicking the covers. Dinner time. Not long after, Chang Xiao came in and shouted. Song Myanian was afraid that they would roll over and put them all in the crib. At the dinner table. Wife, I've already asked Wang Jing to find someone to decorate the store, we can officially open when everything is done. This kind of thing was of course the faster the better. Song Mianyang didn't have much of an opinion and casually asked, where are you going to get the goods? I'll check if there's a wholesale market nearby. Chang Xiao said. She froze for a moment, wholesale market? It seems like wholesaling online is quite popular now, so you don't have to run by yourself. That's fine, let's take a look at it tonight. After eating and showering, Chang Xiao hurriedly made a hot water bag and covered Song Mian Mian's abdomen position. The two of them sat on the sofa, Song Mianian downloaded a wholesale software, which had everything in it. Whether it is a small child to use, or where, there are, and the price is not expensive, the evaluation of the quality is also good. There are also branded ones, which are relatively more expensive. But the quality is good. Hubby, what do you think of this little skirt? Should we wholesale some? She took a glance at a pink baby dress. Bibil. It was a brand name, and looking at the picture, the quality was okay and the price was quite reasonable. It's fine, let second baby and also fourth baby wear it when we open then, to draw traffic to us. This was a good idea. How could he forget that the several babies are ready-made little models? And this little hat, and that sleeping bag, batch some of those up. Strollers, toy dolls. Including some of the children's bottles, pacifiers, warm clothes, drooling towels, children's shoes, and so on. As long as it's for children, wholesale some. The two of them saw the latter half of the night, Song Myanian was already too sleepy to stand, and slept directly. Cheng Xiao also looked at the special skin care products for mothers, what kangaroo mother, Australia lauder, and so on. There are quite a lot of different kinds. He won't be able to choose these, not as knowledgeable as Song Myanian, so he'll ask tomorrow, there's no rush. It will take a while for the store to be renovated. The next morning, when Song Mian Yang went to work, Cheng Xiao was about to clean his house, when he received a call from Wang Jing telling him that the master for the renovation had already been found. Chung Xiao was quick to transfer some money over to him to buy some materials and stuff. After all, every aspect costs money. School. Song Mianyang had just finished a lesson and walked out of the classroom when she met the vice principal coming this way. Vice principal. 
The vice principal, a Mediterranean man, glanced at Song Mianian and said, Imus. Song, ah, has that student in your class named Cheng Xia not come to class yet? Song Mianian froze for a moment, then nodded awkwardly. Do you have his contact information? Tell him that this won't work, his grades are good and he's smart. But what if he keeps taking time off for exams like this? I think highly of student Cheng Xiao and don't want him to waste his time like this. The vice principal said righteously. Okay, principal, I'll convey it to student Cheng Xiao. Song Mianyang smiled faintly. Well, he has a very important exam in a few days, so make sure he comes over to take it, seeing as it's the end of the semester. Okay, vice principal. Song Mianyan smiled on her face, but in reality, she was panicking in her heart, and now when she saw the principal and the vice principal, she had a very weak feeling. She was afraid that they would see something. Only after seeing the vice principal walk away did she breathe a sigh of relief. After finishing today's classes, after returning home, just as he arrived at the living room, he smelled a fragrance. Just as she sat on the sofa, Chang Xiao came out from the kitchen with a bowl of noodles, and the rich aroma of the noodles came out, arousing the cravings in her stomach. At noon, she ate some rice from the cafeteria, only to feel that the food was tasteless, not as good as Chang Zhao's cooking, and only ate half a bowl, and now she was hungry in front of her back. I knew that you will definitely be hungry when you come back, specially prepared, quickly eat it. Thank you husband. Song Mianian's heart warmed up, picked up her chopsticks and started eating. Well, it's still husband's cooking that's delicious. The flavor is too good. After eating, Chang Xiao sat next to her and asked, What's wrong wife, looks like you have something on your mind. Nothing much, it's just that the vice principal came to me today and asked me to inform you to go to class, it's almost time for the exam. Speaking of this, Song Mian Yang had a sad face. This I know, the big deal is that on the day of the exam, I'll have mom come and take care of it for us, or we'll stagger it. Song Mianian frowned, the time can't be staggered every time. It's been a long time since she took a vacation, and it's inevitable that those teachers will have a problem if she doesn't go to class again. Then we can only let mom take care of it for a few days. I'll come back after the exams. Right now, this was the only way. What else could be done? Song Mianian thought about it and discussed it with mom later. In any case, Chang Zhao's study should not be delayed, this is about future prospects, and hiring a nanny is not reassuring. After deciding, Chang Xiao took out his cell phone and asked, Wife, pregnant women's skin care products and maternal mothers, which brand do you think is better? Women are more knowledgeable about this, pregnant, breastfeeding mothers also need skin care, and they get entangled in the choice of products. Something that works well and is affordable, as long as it's not a miscellaneous brand, is appealing to the average stay-at-home mom. There are too many skin care products on the market, and the mom community will be entangled in which brand would have hormones and no other additives. In this piece, Song Nianyang definitely knows her stuff. These, but also have to go to the physical store to see, buy back a few kinds to try the effect, try before selling to consumers. The network can't just look at it, who knows how effective it is. Selling products, you must be able to stand up to your conscience. Well, that's fine, let's go to the nearby mall now to take a look and buy back a few sets to use. Chang Xiao had no opinion. It was also him who was not well thought out. Baby products can be looked at directly on the wholesale internet, skincare products are useless even if you look at them, you have to experience them firsthand. Song Mianian thought about it and nodded. The two cleaned up and opened the door to the children's room, the babies happened to be awake and babbling. Dabao and Sanbao were struggling to roll over. Just as they walked in, Big Bao had already rolled over, then slowly rolled back over on his own. The little guy was pretty good. The little face was red, so it was quite hard to see. Chang Xiao walked over and held him in his arms, pinched his fleshy little face and said, rolling over again while mom and dad aren't paying attention, right? Yeah. Dabao happily grabbed Chang Zhao's collar. Now just three months, it is the most frequent time to roll over, wait until five or six months, will sit up by himself. By then, it will be even more worrying, the best time to bring the child is before six months, do not know anything. Now, for example, I just feed them and change their diapers, but after six or seven months, I don't have time to spare. Today, it is a bit cool outside, Song Mianian found some thicker clothes from the closet and put them on the children. After the four children are changed, prepare the milk powder bottle and hot water backup. When everything is ready, the family of six set off to the nearby shopping mall. Lazy to drive, directly walk there, ten minutes later arrived at the destination. Because of the quadruplets, the turnaround rate along the way was simply super high. Chang Xiao looked at the icons and found the place that sold skin care products. This side were all branded counters. There were big brands and also niche brands. The eyes of the passersby passing by couldn't help but glance at a few children with curiosity and surprise in their eyes. Gosh, are these quadruplets? It's the first time I've seen it. Yeah, look, they're so cute. Yeah, they're all very good looking. The kids' parents are just good looking, they have good genes. Honey, let's have one too. A girl took her boyfriend's arm next to her and pampered her. 
DeBeo's little eyes were bright and happy as he looked around at the passing ladies. When people looked at him, he even smiled towards them. Especially happy. Couple. This child, started looking at beautiful women again. Cheng Xiao was helpless, looked around the counter, not particularly knowledgeable about these either, and asked, Wife, which counter are we going to now? Song Nian Yang pointed to one not far away. Just that one. Welcome, both of you, how can I help you? The two had just walked over, and the counter attendant stopped her work and greeted them with a smile. Is there a trial set for that set? Yes, beautiful, I'll get it for you. The counter assistant took out the sample from the cabinet and put it in front of Song Mianian. She put it on her hand and applied it, casually asking, can pregnant nursing moms use it? Hello, yes, this one of ours focuses on plant ingredients, it's especially gentle, no matter if it's a pregnant mom or a woman in labor, it's okay. The counter lady smiled and introduced. Then let's have a set. Chang Xiao said. Okay, sir. After paying, the two turned around and headed back to the other counters. Seeing the family of six walk away, a few counter attendants discussed. Just now if I'm not mistaken, are they quadruplets? They're all the same size and look the same, needless to say, it must be. Mama yeah, there are really those who give birth to four at once, but these four babies are really so cute and adorable. The key is, the child's mom is simply like a teenage girl, her waist is so thin, and her figure is better than mine who has never given birth. Next to a counter girl said, ch, you do not look at how thin people, you every day in addition to eating or eating, not fat you fat who? No one will want you if you are fat again. Who said that? The couple bought several sets back to try, these prices are generally similar, the brand is also known, Song Myanian intends to select the most suitable too, when the store to sell. After buying the skin care products, and went to the nearby maternal and child store to store a little. I bought a sleeping bag for the babies to prevent them from kicking the quilt when they sleep. The sleeping bags will keep them warmer. After returning home, the sun had already set, Chang Xiao went to the kitchen to cook. Before going to bed at night, Song Myanian took out the sleeping bag to the child to try, starting with the bayo, this child's hands and feet are the most dishonest, I do not know put in the sleeping bag is not happy. Subsequently, several babies are replaced, in addition to Debeo for treasure, are honest, anyway, cannot kick off. This kid's little legs desperately stomping, but how to kick cannot kick off, revealing an aggrieved expression, pitifully looking at Cheng Xiao. Cheng Xiao scraped his little nose and couldn't help but laugh, who let you kick the covers at night. This sleeping bag has another function, which is to prevent the babies from rolling over. The second baby and the third baby both started to roll over, the third baby could roll back on his own, the second baby couldn't, and directly lay there. The fourth baby won't roll over at all. But the kicking of the quilt is very powerful, and it is comparable to her brother's, and her little legs are particularly strong. I think she will be a proper girl in the future. Although the second baby is also a girl, but the character is completely different from the fourth baby. Grown up should be a more gentle character, just love to cry a little. Girls are normal. For treasures and her sister's preferences are also different. The preferences basically determine the character. Song Myanian cried and laughed. See they don't seem to be too cooperative. There's always a process of adaptation, so we'll see after one night. Tonight, the couple is still sleeping on the carpet, guarding the babies. Cheng Xiao had made up enough sleep and wasn't sleepy yet, he smiled and said, Wife, you sleep first, I'll watch the babies. You're also tired for the whole day, is it really okay? Song Nian Yang frowned. This is a night watch every day, can your body handle it? Don't worry, during the day when the babies are sleeping, I'm also sleeping, so I'm not sleepy, so go to sleep. Cheng Xiao touched her head. Sleepiness came, Song Mian Yang yawned, a little topsy-turvy, and quickly fell asleep. After she fell asleep, Cheng Xiao got up to look at the baby, good guy, these few, still haven't slept, chewing on their hands at the bar, saw dad looking over, smiled a little. Babies, mom is sleeping, you are still not sleeping. Yeah. The four babies are the most spirited, kicking desperately, if there wasn't a zipper pulling on the sleeping bag, it's estimated that this will all fall apart. Cheng Xiao even with the sleeping bag to pick her up, this child, smiled at called a bright Joe. Little face buried in the arms of the father. Debeo nod and nod and began to grunt, stopped kicking the movement of the sleeping bag, expression odd. The little face was soon suffocated red. Only a poof was heard and an odd smell came from it. For treasures blinked her eyes and looked at her brother's direction, her eyes full of curiosity. The serious little expression on his face was simply adorable. For treasures, brother has pooped, it stinks doesn't it? Cheng Xiao said with a smile. Afterwards, he put down four treasures and brought over a basin of water to wash big babies but then change his diaper. While changing, he pretended to be particularly disgusted, making the child giggle. After changing, Debeo reached out and grabbed Cheng Xiao's wrist. It seemed like he wanted to make dad happy. Cheng Xiao couldn't help but laugh a little and picked him up. You little guy, you're still laughing when you have a stinky poop. Seeing his dad hugging his brother, Si Bao's eyes were looking straight at him for a while. Then he raised his mouth and grunted. 
Chen Chao can't help but laugh, so young to know to compete for favor, daddy first coax brother to sleep, after coaxing then hug you, okay? Yeah. For treasures doesn't know if he understands, and really quiets down. Soon put the big baby to sleep, the bed two baby three baby has fallen asleep, is snoring a little it, look at the little expression, should be quite comfortable. Sleeping bag this thing in the fall with the most suitable. Brothers and sisters are asleep, the fourth baby is still there humming humming gnawing on the hand, the spirit is very, do not know when to sleep. Big eyes blinking looking at dad's direction, as if waiting for him to fulfill the sentence that he just said he would hug her. Chang Xiao is helpless. A child of only three months, how does she know so much? He picked her up, hummed a song to her, and only after a while did he put her to sleep. This night is really enough torment, ordinary people really cannot eat. No wonder my wife is so thin, before those days and nights suffered a lot of crime ah. Heartbreakingly gently rubbed her head, and then hugged her to sleep. The next day, Sam Mayanian brushed her teeth and said while eating breakfast, I forgot about it yesterday, I'll give mama call later and explain the situation to her. Cheng Xiao happened to bring a few buns up and nodded, actually it's fine, I'll go back on the day of the exam, I promise I won't fail. Sam Mayanian glared over, no, you have to go to class tomorrow, you still have a few days before the exam, study hard these days. Okay. Listen to your wife. Seeing Song Mayanian's serious face, he could only say helplessly. In fact, he wasn't worried at all, the exams wouldn't be a problem after what he should have learned. Song Mayanian grunted and seemed quite angry, after the vice principal said that, she reacted to the fact that as a student, not going to class is really not an option, even though Chang Xiao is a school bully. A school bully can't be so capricious. Okay, wife, don't be angry, okay? I promise to go to class and do well on the exam. Chang Xiao raised three fingers, I swear. Seeing him in this comical manner, Song Mayanian somewhat couldn't help but want to laugh, but she had to put on a high and mighty look. Go to class tomorrow, I'll talk to my mom about it later. Song Mayanian said with a serious face. Yes. After finishing her breakfast, she hurried out the door, she still had classes in the morning. In the teacher's office, Song Mayanian had just sat down when Mr. Wang and Mr. Lee came over. This time, it wasn't a discussion about dawdling, but, Teacher Song, there's something I want to talk to you about. Teacher Li opened her mouth. Song Mianyan looked at them suspiciously. What is it? It's that, Chung Xiao from your class, when exactly will he come to school? It's been a long time since he took a vacation, right? Teacher Wang said, just the last professional class he came once, usually he's nowhere to be seen, we haven't come once in the days we've been teaching the class. Looking at the end of the semester, usually cannot come, this time how to say also have to give some face, right? Is the school bully also can't be so screwed ah, let the other students how to see? Song Mayanian listened, embarrassed. Straightening her complexion, she seriously said, I've already notified Cheng Xiao, he said that he'll come over tomorrow to formally attend class. Only after hearing her say this did the two men give up. Then they returned to their posts to prepare for class. Song Mayanian only had two classes today, so she hurried home afterward. Looking at her figure as she quickly walked out of the school door, Emma's Wang said, it's good to have a good husband, every day when you get off work, you can go back and have a fragrant meal, I'm envious. Just thinking about Chang Zhao's cooking makes her greedy. Yes, my family can't do anything, but I have to go home and cook for him. Teacher Li sighed, this is the gap. Teacher Rong, who was at the side, said, if I were to do it, I wouldn't do it, he'd love to eat it or not. Ahem. After saying this, Teacher Li coughed, winked at Teacher Wang and the others, and whispered, Teacher Zhou is here. Teacher Zhou had been in a state of depression ever since he learned that Teacher Song had gotten married and had children. Teacher Wang's and their conversation was heard in his ears, in the past he might have just avoided them and not listened to this, this time he couldn't hold back any longer and gritted his teeth and asked, didn't you guys go to MS? Song's house? How is her husband? It seemed to know that he was still a bit reluctant. Teacher Wang smiled, quite good ah, handsome, rich, will also take care of people, to teacher Song can be good, I envy. Teacher Lee couldn't help but snicker. This is not a blatant stab in Mr. Joe's chest. However, Mr. Joe, this person, the family conditions in general, will not take care of people she does not know, anyway, from the character alone, even if together is not the kind of man who will take care of the family. All aspects compared to, completely compared to MS. Song her husband's one-tenth. The appearance of this piece is even worse. Other people's husbands are very handsome, but MS. Joe is the kind of man who can't be found in a pile of people. To be honest, she doesn't match MS. Song at all. Once Mr. Joe heard Mr. Wang say this, his face instantly pulled down, just handsome and rich this piece he lost. Looking handsome can't be a meal. His heart was so sour that he held his tongue for half a day before uttering such a sentence. Mr. Wang continued to insert the knife, the key is that people have money, and the food they cook is super delicious. Teacher Lee threw over a look, signaling her to say less. Look at the blow to Mr. Zhou. 
Song Mianian arrived at Jiangqing Mingyuan and called Song Qin downstairs to explain the situation. Song Qin has long been thinking about a few little babies and agreed to do so. Back home, Chang Xiao was sitting on the sofa teasing the baby. She opened her mouth and said, I've already said goodbye to mom, you'll go pick her up in the afternoon, you have to go to class tomorrow. Yes wife, you're hungry, I'll go heat up some food. After saying that, he went towards the kitchen. The TV was playing a song, the babies were all listening quite mesmerized, the most mischievous Debeo followed and quieted down. Song Mianian walked over, and the babies were especially happy once they saw their mom. One by one, they kicked their little legs and smiled at her. Song Mianian smiled, her heart melted, babies, did you miss your mom? San Bao was the closest, his small eyes staring at the small pendant on his mom's bracelet, slowly reaching out his small hand and grabbing it. Feeling a tug on her hand, she looked and saw that it was San Bao, smiled gently and picked him up. Looks like our family Sambo misses his mom too. Song Mianian kissed San Bao's little face. Then she picked up the remote control car on the side, ready to tease San Bao. This child's hand was quite fast, grabbed it and was ready to hold it in his hand and play with it. The remote control car is a bit heavy, so small babies basically can't hold it. With a snap, it fell directly onto Song Nian Nian's foot. The pain made her tears come out. She endured the pain and put the three treasures on the sofa. Cheng Xia came out of the kitchen at this time, saw her rubbing her feet, and hurriedly came over to ask, Wife, what's wrong with your feet? As soon as he saw the remote control car that fell next to him, he immediately understood. I'm fine, just smashed my foot a bit. Song Mianian stopped the action in her hands and said softly, Look, do you call this nothing? It's all broken skin. Cheng Xiao gave her a somewhat helpless look and took out a band-aid from the drawer to put it on her. Where's the need to be so exaggerated, it'll be fine soon. Who said that? It hurts to wear shoes with broken skin, be more careful next time. Song Mianyang nodded. Yeah. At this time, San Bao, who was lying on the sofa on the side, made a sound. Cheng Xiao scraped his little nose, Sambo, was it you who got that car off? It's what smashed mommy's feet. Yeah. Sambo looked at Cheng Xiao with a confused face, then revealed a sweet smile. Song Mianyang couldn't help but smile, it's him, he can't hold the little car but still wants to take it. Sure enough, it's you brat. Cheng Xia directly picked up San Bao and pinched his little face. Yeah. San Bao wrinkled his little face, not knowing if he knew that his dad was talking about himself, reached out his hand and grabbed Cheng Xiao's hair. With this grab, several strands fell out. He hissed in pain, this little guy, why is his strength so strong? Put. Song Mianyang really couldn't help herself and burst out laughing. After teasing the babies for a while, and then placing them all in the crib to lie down, Cheng Xiao said, Wife, let's eat first, I'll go pick up mom later. Aha. Uh -huh. After having lunch, Cheng Xiao set off. Song Mianian was at home tidying up her room. There was another room next door that no one lived in, so it was just right to let mom live here. The quilts and other things are ready made. It's just that it's going to take a few more days of trouble for the old man. If it wasn't for Cheng Xiao's academic problems, he wouldn't have to go to class, so he wouldn't have to bother mom again. In the past two months, helping to bring up the child and staying up late, she owed her too much. So much that she felt she couldn't pay it back in this lifetime. More than an hour later, Cheng Xiao picked up the person, carrying a duffel bag in his hand. And in Song Qin's hand, she was holding a large rooster, still clucking. Song Mian Mian was puzzled, Mom, what are you? This is a live rooster that I went to the vegetable market with Xiao Cheng to buy, to give you stew, I thought, those ready-made ones in the supermarket don't have much nutrition, and the chicken meat isn't fresh. Song Qin smiled and said. Song Mian Yang instantly reddened her eyes and choked a little, Mom, thank you. Silly child, we are all family, what are you thanking for? Song Qin put the chicken towards the kitchen and then sat on the sofa in the living room. Seemingly thinking of something, she asked, Xiao Chang is going to class? I'll just go to class for a few days, when the exams are over, I'll have to work hard for you in these few days. Chang Xiao said, no hard work, you guys ah, uh, just rest assured, my side is fine, promise to stay well. Song Qin glanced in the direction of the crib and couldn't help but reveal a kind smile. When she went over to look, the children were already asleep. One by one, they were snoring a little, and her heart melted just watching them. A few children will soon turn 100 days old, right? Song Qin asked Song Mianian who was standing next to her. The latter smiled gently, yes, we'll be able to take 100 day photos in a few days. The days go by really fast. Seeing the mother and daughter chatting quite well, Cheng Xia was too embarrassed to interject, so he smiled and said, Auntie, you guys chat, I'm going to stew chicken soup for Mian Mian. Song Qin turned back and said, Xiao Chang, do you know how to kill a chicken? Don't worry mom, this is simple. After saying that, he went into the kitchen. Song Qin nodded and looked at Song Nian Nian, Nian Nian, Xiao Chang is really nice, he can do everything, and he's considerate to you, so you should cherish him. Once the topic was discussed, especially with the elders, Song Mianian was strangely embarrassed and nodded, got it, mom. How long have the little ones been asleep? 
Song Qing pinched Si Ba's little face, this child was sleeping soundly and snoring. I don't know what kind of beautiful dream he was having. Almost half an hour or so, after feeding they went to sleep. Every afternoon a couple of them slept for three hours. They were too noisy at night and extra sleepy during the day. In the afternoon is the time of drowsiness, how you toss and turn probably does not bring awake. Half an hour later. Mother and daughter were watching TV, Song Qing glanced in the direction of the kitchen and wondered, how come there's still no movement? Sure it's really okay? Mom, don't worry, it's not a big problem. As far as Chang Zhao's good cooking was concerned, chicken soup was definitely not a problem for him. However, there was still some uncertainty in his heart, and he went to the kitchen to take a look. Just as she walked in, a strong aroma of chicken soup came. It instantly aroused the cravings in her stomach. So fragrant. Wife, you're here? Don't be in a hurry, this still needs to be stewed for a while before it can be flavored. Cheng Xiao glanced back and laughed. Knowing that this little woman was hungry, he prepared early and handed her the egg custard that had just been stewed. You eat this first to pad your stomach, it will be ready in a while. Good. Song Nian Yang carried the egg custard out. This chicken soup had to be cooked on a warm fire all the time, and when it was cooked to a certain climate and sprinkled with something, it was absolutely delicious. That flavor, the hood couldn't even block it. Turning the fire to low, slowly stewing, Cheng Xiao went out of the kitchen. Soon, the sun went down, and it was time for dinner. Cheng Xiao finally brought out the chicken soup, opened the lid, and the rich fragrance immediately floated throughout the dining room. Song Qin did not mince words of praise, Xiao Chang, your craft is getting better and better, a lot of progress, I've been cooking for 20 to 30 years, I can't even cook this flavor, not bad. Mom, you're welcome, eat quickly, it'll get cold later. Putting down the chicken soup, Cheng Xiao first gave Song Mian Mian a bowl. That considerate yo, mother-in-law looked in her eyes and was pleased in her heart. Mian Mian, this soup is good. You drink more so you can have milk for four treasures. As soon as she thought of four treasures, her heart ached with pity, this child has lived in an incubator for so long, her body has not been as good as her older siblings, she can only be fed through breastfeeding in the hope that her immunity will be better. Song Mianian has already drunk two bowls, never felt that the chicken soup was so good before, if it was not for the quality of breast milk to be better, she would not drink it. Chang Xiao made a very unique flavor, different from those ordinary chicken soup outside, making people want to drink more and more. After a meal, Chang Xiao went to brush the dishes, Song Nian Yang came over at this time and said, I'll brush it, you go check on the babies. Wife, have you forgotten that you are still in a special period? Be careful of touching cold water and getting a stomachache, go rest, I'll get you a hot water bag. Chang Xiao rubbed her belly, it was a bit cold. I'm already fine here, a few days have passed. Song Nian Yang said, Every time he grabbed all the chores, he wouldn't let her do anything, not even the most basic wiping the table. This way every day is either nesting or lying down, sooner or later you have to get fat as a ball. She already felt a circle of flesh saved on her stomach. It was estimated that the excess from before would not be able to be squeezed. That doesn't work either, as long as you haven't gone completely, you're not allowed to touch cool water okay? You're still young and don't protect yourself, you'll know when you're older in the future. Chang Xiao pinched her faceplate. Well, it does have a bit of flesh on it. This is good. But the body plate is still a bit skinny, anyhow, she needs to be fattened up a bit, that's more adorable. Song Nian Yang was helpless, I'm not that delicate. That won't do, you quickly go take a bath, then rest, tomorrow we go to school together. Unable to argue with Chang Xiao, Song Mianian had to give up. The babies all woke up and didn't cry for milk, Song Qing carried them one by one to the children's bed and put them there, lying in a row. The four babies blinked their eyes and watched, not knowing whether they recognized them or not, the expression on their little faces was serious and they seemed to be carefully identifying them. Such a small child, which has what memory ah, in addition to mom and dad, these daily accompanied by their own side, the other, as long as a few days do not see, basically forget. Song Qin was in this situation. Debeo, do you still recognize grandma? Song Qin extended her hand to Debeo. Debeo is the most understanding, looking at the hand that reached out, I thought that I would agree or not resist to let the hug, but I did not expect that his mouth was flicked out, but actually cried out with a wow sound. He cried, along with a few babies are crying. Children's room crying into a piece. Song Qin saw this situation at a glance, the children 80% is hungry. Preparing to go and rinse the milk powder, at this time the door opened and Song Mianian walked in with three bottles of milk. Afterwards, she held four treasures in her arms and breastfed them for a while, then three treasures. Song Qin was helpless, these few, and only when breastfeeding will honestly let you hold them for a while. After drinking and burping, a few began to babble and gnaw their hands again. After chewing on his hands, Debeo started to roll over again, over, and then back again. Song Qin was a bit surprised, Debeo, this child is already rolling over so easily? Before, when he lived in that old neighborhood, he didn't know how to do anything. It's only been a short time. This child, grows up fast. 
Song Mianian pursed her lips and smiled. Indeed, you would ah, uh, four months to turn so well, it seems ah, uh, Debeo is inherited from his father. Speaking of this, Song Qin remembered something. Mian Mian, how come I've never heard Xiao Chang mention his real parents? Do his parents know about you guys? As soon as this was mentioned, Song Mianian felt guilty in her heart, and the last time, because she asked, she had already uncovered his scars. Song Mianian bit her lip, he was abandoned by his parents in an orphanage when he was little. Ah, uh, in that case, alas, also a poor child. Song Qin sighed. Previously, he thought that Cheng Xiao had fallen out with his parents, and didn't contact them or anything, and didn't tell his parents about the big event of having a child, so it must have been a bit of a big deal too. It turned out that the real situation was like this. In the future, you should do more chores and share them with Xiao Chang, he's quite tired on his own. Song Qin exhorted. Aha! Song Mianyang nodded. Alright, go take a shower, go to bed early, you have to work tomorrow. Song Qin glanced at the clock on the wall, it was already past 8. The children were at their most spirited now, their little legs stomping and stomping, their hands sucking into their mouths, drooling and barfing. Song Mianian came back from the shower, saw Song Qin still coaxing the baby, smiled and said, Mom, you go rest, I'll just take care of it with Cheng Xiao at night. That's fine, remember to rest early. Good. Before going to sleep, Cheng Xiao opens his cell phone and looks at the wholesale network, is there any good stuff left, remember it first, and then wholesale it right away when the store is decorated. Tomorrow ask Wang Jing about the decoration. The next morning, the two ate breakfast and prepared to go out. Cheng Xiao on the babies reluctant to part with, take care of so long, leave a little bit feel hard in the heart very much, the four treasures are not very accepting of people other than mom and dad, even their own grandmother do not want. The other three are fine, they are willing to come into contact with each other. For treasures, daddy has to go to class, I'll be back with you in the afternoon, okay? Cheng Xiao picks up four treasures and pinches her little face. Yeah. Daddy hugs, for treasures is especially happy, her little legs stomping all the time, her hands gripping his clothes tightly, her head buried in his chest. Song Mian Mian walked over at this time and said with a smile, for treasures, is it okay for mommy to hug? For treasures raised his head and looked at his mom, then at his dad, his little brows furrowed, seemingly a bit torn. After looking around, he finally chose daddy. Song Mian Yang soured. For treasures doesn't love mommy anymore. She pretended to be very sad and threw her head to the side. Yay! For treasures looked in mommy's direction and yipped. Still torn. Song Mianyang continued to extend her hand, and only then did four treasures let the hug go. Ha, huh, this child, how does he know everything? Song Qin was happy. It was also too smart, if it wasn't this big, she would have wondered if it was a three month old or not. The two teased four treasures for a while, and then reluctantly went out. School. Crap, bro, why did you want to get up and come over for class? Wang Jing was surprised to see Chang Xiao appear. And he also saw Mr. Song. Both of them came over, who will take care of the baby? Who takes care of the babies when you two come over? Cheng Xiao glanced at him and said, my mother-in-law. Bull. Wang Jing gave a thumbs up. How's the store decoration going? Cheng Xiao asked. Already half of the decoration, a few more days will be almost ready to open, brother, when you want to go to the wholesale market to see the goods, tell me. No need, your sister-in-law and I buy directly in the wholesale network. That's fine. Wang Jing nodded and suddenly remembered something. Bro. I've already taken care of those love letters in your desk for you, how's that? Isn't it especially righteous enough? Cheng Xiao looked at the empty desk, the corner of his mouth twitched, this guy. I've already gotten rid of several batches for you, no surprises, there will be another pile in a few days. Wang Jing spoke with envy and jealousy, you damn peach blossom luck, when can I have a third of what you have? The teacher is here, go back to your own seat. Cheng Xiao reminded. It's fine, no one sits next to you anyway. Wang Jing smiled. The teacher who walked in was none other than Song Mianian, she looked around and saw that Cheng Xiao was looking at her with a smile, her heartbeat couldn't help but miss a beat. On her face, however, she maintained the calmness that a teacher should have. Start the lesson. After one lesson, Cheng Xiao's eyes were on Song Mianyang the entire time. More and more, he felt that his wife was really good looking. Song Mianian's heartbeat fluttered faster as soon as she met Cheng Xiao's line of sight, deliberately avoiding his line of sight. Really, why are you looking at her like this? When class ended, she ran away as if she was escaping. Wang Jing gritted his teeth and said, Can you guys leave some face for single dogs? Can you not show love during class? It's so devastating. This dog food was eaten off guard. He thought that the two of them would be more restrained in class, but this, this is all spreading dog food. Let people live. Cheng Xiao glanced at him, exasperated, If you have the ability, you can also find a girl who can show love with you. Wang Jing. Not human, simply not human. At lunchtime in the cafeteria, Cheng Xiao sat in his seat and Wang Jing went to get his food, at this time, a girl came over and sat across from him. Senior Chang, that, do you still remember me? 
The girl opened her big eyes and looked at Chang Xiao. You do? Chang Xiao looked up and did not recognize. Do you remember last year when it was raining and I didn't have an umbrella to go back, you gave me an umbrella? Oh, sorry, forgot. That's okay, I'm Xiao Xian from the accounting department, do you have time tomorrow? Xiao Xian smiled. Sorry, no time. The words just fell, Wang Jing had already come back with his lunch, saw the girl sitting opposite Cheng Xiao, froze for a moment, then frowned and said, Xiao Xian? She's the one who handed you a love letter, I remember rejecting it for you. Wang Jing whispered beside Cheng Xiao's ear. Xiao Xian bit her lip, Senior Chang, do you really have a girlfriend? Yes, we are already engaged. Chang Xiao said indifferently. After saying that, he calmly sat there and ate his meal, directly treating people as heir. Xiao Xian was a pretty pretty girl, since Chang Xiao gave her an umbrella, she had been silently liking him, and didn't believe that he had found a girlfriend at all, believing that it was nothing more than an excuse to reject the girl. Wang Jing said, Xiao Xian, didn't I tell you before? He already has a girlfriend. Then, excuse me for interrupting. Xiao Xian's eyes couldn't help but turn red, and after saying that, she sadly walked away. Wang Jing sighed, it couldn't be helped, he already had a wife and child. Besides, how good is MS? Song, she is beautiful and has given birth to several such cute babies. This time, Chang Xiao did the right thing. In the past, he was not aware of the situation, and only encouraged him to agree to a, do not drill the bullseye always thinking about Lin Fei Fei, to get around, people pressured not drilled, swish a child have. After eating, there are still two classes in the afternoon. One of them is MS. Wangs. Seeing how serious she was on the podium like an old man, if she hadn't seen her foodie personality a few days ago, she would have really thought that she was just like that. Sure enough, teachers are born actors. Thinking of that mouthful of a brother-in-law, his goosebumps rose. After today's lesson, Chang Xiao headed to the school gate, and when he passed near the teacher's office, he bumped into Song Mianian, and on her side was Mr. Wang and the others. Song Mianian was a little embarrassed, but she didn't show it on her face, putting on a calm and self-contained look. Hello teachers. The teachers had no idea who was standing in front of them, and Mr. Wang said, Chang Xiao, what are you doing on leave these days? You're at least a school bully. How can you not focus on your studies? Yeah, that won't work. The final exam is coming up soon. You can't keep missing classes. The teachers are very optimistic about you. Teacher Li also said. Cheng Xiao smiled faintly. Thank you teachers. I will work hard. I will definitely take the test well. Well, you can't be so capricious in the future. Seeing the teachers walk away, Cheng Xiao sent a message to Song Mianyang. Wife, when are you coming home? Song Mianyan saw the message and replied back. I still have one more class. I'll go back afterward. Good, then I'll wait for you outside, call me when you're done. Phew, hubby messaged you again? Teacher Wang on the side noticed and teased. Song Mianian put away her cell phone and smiled in embarrassment. Aya, what's there to be embarrassed about, we've all met. Speaking of which, I want to eat your husband's cooking again, it's so delicious. More than an hour later, after finally finishing the last class, the sun had already set and it would soon be dark. On the road, Song Mianyang glanced at Cheng Xiao from time to time with strange eyes. Cheng Xiao smiled and asked, what's wrong? A look of preoccupation. The girl who talked to you in the cafeteria today was. Yes, today Cheng Xiao went to the cafeteria to eat, she also happened to be there and saw it. Oh, that ah, uh, it's from the finance department, and I don't know, what is it, jealous? I'm not. Song Mianyang instantly blushed, casting her head to the side. Cheng Xiao laughed, he said why this little woman was strange after getting on the bus, it turned out to be like this. Jealous ah, uh, don't worry about it, I've already rejected her which is not one-tenth as good-looking as my wife. Chang Xiao pinched her little face. Song Mianian hummed and arrogantly threw her head to the right, drive well. Well, let's go home and talk things over. This say it properly was purposely emphasized. Song Mianian's face instantly turned red. After arriving home, Chang Xiao rushed to the kitchen to cook. The children are all asleep. Song Qin is sitting on the sofa resting and watching TV. Mom, how's the baby today? Does it make any noise? Song Mianian sat next to her and asked. Song Qin smiled, except for this child, Si Bao, who is a bit of a baby, the other three are obedient as hell, Xiao Cheng has brought them up well, and after not seeing them for a few days, they've grown meat again. In another two months, I guess I won't be able to hold them anymore. Song Mianian smiled slightly, the four treasures were still a bit unable to adapt for a while, a normal phenomenon, after a few days it should be better. As she was talking, a cry came from the crib, listening to the voice, it was four treasures, quite aggrieved. Song Mianian rushed over, seeing his mom in front of him, for treasures looked like he had opened the floodgates of tears and cried even harder. It was a sad, aggravated cry. The crying was a little twitchy. Song Mianian was heartbroken and picked her up from the crib, cradling her in her arms. For treasures, mommy is back, don't cry no more. For treasures head was almost buried in Song Mianian's arms, crying her heart out, a grief to the core. 
Song Mianian was about to die of heartache and followed suit with red eyes. Stop crying, let's go find daddy, okay? Touching Four Treasure's head, Song Mianian said in a gentle tone. Hearing the word daddy, Four Treasures then lifted his head from his mom's arms, his eyes full of grievances. Chang Xiao was still frying vegetables, when he saw Song Mianian carrying Four Treasures in, he said, Wife, it's rather choking here, don't carry the child in first. Once Four Treasures saw his father, he was even more aggrieved. He cried again. His little mouth was turned away, as if he had been wronged by the heavens. As expected, suddenly leaving the people closest to him, he couldn't adapt for a while. The other three were fine, as long as there was food, it didn't matter, but mainly four treasures. Seeing the four treasures crying like that, Chang Xiao that Harteka turned off the fire, from Song Mianian's arms to take the four treasures, holding in the arms. After coaxing her for a while, she gradually quieted down and fell asleep in a short while. Song Mianian hurriedly put her into the children's bed. After dinner, when it was time to go to bed, Song Mianian couldn't help but ask, Hubby, do you think this will work? For treasures doesn't want anyone at all. Looking at the child crying like that, where can a parent look on, heartbroken to death? Cheng Xiao is also heartbroken ah, thought for a moment and said, why don't I not go to school first, I'm still confident in the exam. No, you have promised several teachers, if you don't go, how can you explain? Song Mianian bit her lip and hardened her heart, on the side of four treasures, it'll be good to get used to it for a few days. Nowadays it can only be this way. Time passes quickly, and in the blink of an eye, it's the day of Cheng Zhao's exam. Early in the morning, the couple got up, ate breakfast and prepared to go out. Song Mianian packed up the things Cheng Xiao wanted to bring. Hubby, are you ready yet? Okay, okay. Let's set off. Before departing, the two went to take another look at the children. The four treasures gradually adapted to the days when their grandmother brought them, didn't cry much, gave milk to drink, just not quite willing to let hold. The couple was quite helpless. When the two arrived at the school, the exams were already about to start. You go quickly. Song Mianyang urged. Chang Xiao nodded and took his things into the exam room. Taking a look at the test paper that the teacher handed out, he almost didn't need to think, and switched his answers. He had learned these in advance a long time ago and it wasn't difficult. Half an hour later, hand in the paper and leave the exam room. Those students next to him had shocked looks. Ninety minutes later, the exam was over, and a bunch of people sat there talking. One of the male students said, Cheng Zhao's speed of handing in this paper is too fast, right? So difficult a question and finished it in half an hour? I kind of doubt he's writing blindly. Who made him a school bully? It's impossible for a school bully to be so fast, right? At this time, a female student said, Cheng Zhao's academic performance has always been very good, isn't it normal to write so fast? People still do well on their exams, so don't be sour. How am I sour? Look how long he's been on vacation, can he keep up with his studies? We'll just see the ranking in two days. What are you worried about? Song Mianian is quite worried about this exam. After all, Zhang Xiao has been on vacation for so long, can he keep up with his studies? After returning home, she couldn't help but ask, how did you do today? Don't worry, it's fine. You don't understand your husband's study ability? Chang Xiao winked. Song Mianian reddened, I'm just asking. After all, you haven't gone to a proper class for so long. Didn't I say it before? A lot of them I've learned in advance. Not a big problem. All right then. Song Mianyang sighed, she was just worried. Wife, tomorrow is the day for the baby's 100-day photos. Cheng Xiao smiled and said, a little excited. It was just in time for the weekend again, there was time. He couldn't wait to see a few kids in those beautiful little clothes. Definitely adorable. Speaking of this, Song Mianyan was also happy and looking forward to it. Especially seeing the children grow up day by day, their face value getting higher and higher. Dabao and Sanba were really looking more and more like their father. Yeah. Not sure if she understood, for treasures lying in the children's bed let out a yelp, her little legs stomped and stomped, and before she had time to put on her sleeping bag, she kicked the quilt off her body in no time. The couple got up to check, the child also came to force, actually directly rolled over. She was the only one who couldn't roll over before, and today she did it successfully. The little face is suffocating red. It can be seen that it is used up all the strength of the milk. The couple looked at each other, Chang Xiao helplessly laughed lightly, the four treasures will turn over this time absolutely noisy. He hurriedly brought a sleeping bag to her to put on, fixed legs. See kicked also kicked not move, flip also flip not, for treasure immediately quit, grunting grunting. A face of unhappiness. For treasures, it's time to go to bed, look how obedient the older siblings are. Big treasure was already asleep, snoring a little. Second treasure and third treasure were still eating their hands, not making any noise or fuss, nibbling quite vigorously. The three honestly slept in the sleeping bag. Just use the sleeping bag of the two days may not be accustomed to, a few days in the past gradually adapted to, not noisy and noisy. Song Mianian yawned and was about to pick up four treasures to put her to sleep when Cheng Xiao spoke up. Wife, you're sleepy go to sleep first, I'll do it. 
You must be tired from the exam today, it's better for me to do it. Song Mianyang said. Not tired, it's not like those topics require too much brain power. Cheng Xiao said, picked up four treasures and started coaxing, humming four treasures favorite song in his mouth. Ya yeah, four treasures is happy when he hears the song, honestly lying in his dad's arms, falling asleep in a short while. Cheng Xiao is helpless, still this works. The next morning, the couple got up early, ate breakfast, got ready to go, and the family went out with great vigor. In the Tianyi street there is a studio, Cheng Xiao is checked, the reputation seems to be good, the key is that the price is also very reasonable. He would have liked to go to a more expensive one, which would definitely look better, Song Mianian chose a cheaper one in order to save money, but it was cost effective and the photos were not bad. This street was originally a lot of traffic, the two went, the studio inside a lot of people, it is estimated that there will be a queue. A family of six pushed the door in and immediately attracted a lot of attention. I go, are those quadruplets? Four, it's too racy, so cute. So cute, mom and dad are also very good looking hey. A high color family, finally I know what it means that genes influence offspring. At this time, a uniformed female sales clerk walked up and smiled faintly. Both of you, how can I help you? We came over to take the baby's 100 day photos. The female sales clerk looked at a few babies and was filled with surprise, so cute. So cute. And, four, that's a proper big clientele. Such a family must not lack money. It was as if she could already see her high commission this month. Yes. Chang Xiao nodded. Both of you, please follow me. Such a big customer should definitely be greeted to a special lounge. The couple sat on the sofa and the female sales clerk brought a book with packages for photo shoots, both expensive and cheap. The cheap ones were booked by many people and needed to wait. Chang Xiao looked towards the most expensive package, $50,000. The quality must be good as well. He couldn't help but ask, wife, let's pick the 50,000 for this one? This is too expensive, right? Song Mian Yang stared wide-eyed. 50,000 for a 100-day photo shoot, it wasn't necessary, was it? No matter how rich their family was, they couldn't be extravagant to this extent. Wife, think about it, this is the children's 100-day photo, it's very important, no matter if it's 50,000 or tens of thousands, as long as it's our child, it's worth this price, big deal, hubby earns it back. 100 days, it's important for the babies, it means something different. Song Mian Yang was torn for a while but finally nodded and agreed. The female sales clerk just stood aside, listening to the conversation between the two, envious. Such a husband could be really good, willing to spend a lot of money for the sake of the child. She, a single dog, admitted that she was envious. Cheng Xiao hands over the book and says indifferently, Hello, we are shooting for the most expensive of this package, may I ask if we need to line up? The female clerk hurriedly said, No need no need, you can shoot now. Poof. At this time, Erbo lying in the stroller suddenly made a sound, sounding presumably not too comfortable. Chang Xiao picked her up. What's wrong Erbao? Is she hungry? Song Myanian brewed milk and handed it over. After feeding it, put it back again. Is this a female baby? So cute. The female sales clerk was starry-eyed. It's too cute, isn't it? Just now through a layer of veil, did not see clearly, this time to see clearly, only to feel that it is really face value super high up. Never seen such a good looking baby. Also, people's parents are good looking, the child certainly will not be bad anywhere. She wanted to get married quickly. Song Myanian smiled politely, hearing people praise their own children, parents are happier than anyone else. In the studio, the photographer was already ready and wiping his camera. The female store clerk had already greeted them, but when she saw the four babies being pushed in with her own eyes, she was still surprised, and so were the staff next to her. The staff next to her was also surprised. Oh, my god. Quadruplets? That's amazing. However, the babies were really cute and adorable. It's really cute. I love it so much. One of the female staff members held her face, her eyes glowing. I didn't realize that there are really people having quadruplets in reality, first time I've seen it. Moreover, one's face value is really high. The child's mom has a really good figure, I'm envious. Song Mian Yang took out the clothes she had prepared for the babies long ago and asked, can we use our own clothes to shoot a group? Sure, no problem. The photographer nodded with a smile. Facing the high color babies, he was most happy to shoot them because it was a great sense of accomplishment, and when the time came, let's see if we can ask the children's parents for their opinions, and get a few of them for the plates. Absolutely fascinating. The weather was cool, and the studio had the heater on, so there was no worry about the babies catching a cold. Song Myanian numbly changed the children. When they were changed, a chorus of compliments resounded around them. So cute. My heart. It's true that good-looking people are eye-catching no matter what clothes they wear for the shoot. Jealousy makes my face twist. Watching this makes me want to have one. Cheng Xiao pinched the baby's little faces. Babies, did you hear that? So many uncles and aunts are praising you. Yeah. Debeo was especially happy to see a few young ladies, his little legs stomping. 
At the beginning of the shooting, a few are not very cooperative, Chung Shao one by one to do that ideological work which is honest. Come on, babies, look at the camera. The photographer shouted over there. Smile a smile. Soon, a group of pictures were taken. Looking at the raw pictures that hadn't been PS'd, the photographer smiled, this kind of is simply better than the PS'd ones. It was cute and adorable. Especially those clothes on the body, even more cute and good looking. After thinking about it, he looked at Cheng Xiao and his wife and smiled, child's parents, the next set of pictures I don't know if you're willing to be photographed with the babies. An eye-catching family of six, it would definitely look good when photographed. The photographer was excited. Cheng Xiao was planning to do this and nodded, yes. The child changed into other clothes and started shooting. In front of the camera, Cheng Xiao wrapped his hand around Song Mianyan's waist, and the dog food kept spreading. The single dogs looked so envious. The single dogs looked so envious that they ate dog food. The family is too loving. The photographer couldn't help but take a few more shots, and his mouth kept saying good looking good looking. After a morning of time, finally finished shooting. Cheng Xiao decided to make a few large albums, hang them on the wall above the bed in the master bedroom, hang a pair in the living room, children's room, and collect the rest. The photographer had been looking at the photos in the camera, and when he saw the couple, he politely asked, both of you, can I use a photo of your family of six as a plate? Hanging it in the studio definitely had a good effect. Song Mianyang subconsciously looked at the person beside her, and before she could speak, Chang Xiao had already opened his mouth to refuse. Sorry, my wife cares more about her privacy, so. Then, are the children okay? The photographer asked tentatively, a little nervous. He was thinking that these kids had high face value, and were really suitable for the plate. Taking pictures of the quadruplets, or such beautiful quadruplets, thinking about it was very fulfilling. Yes, however, only one can be kept. Chang Xiao nodded his head. When the photographer heard this, his eyes were filled with ecstasy and he was close to jumping straight up. Good, good, thank you, two days later you can come and get the photos, I promise to fix it beautifully. After taking the pictures, the two went to check out. Because of the promise to leave the prints, this time the studio directly gave them a 50% discount. Cheap by half. After settling the bill, they were about to push the car out, when a female voice sounded behind the two. Mian Mian? As soon as he heard this voice, Cheng Xiao clearly felt that the body of his wife beside him stiffened. Are you Mian Mian? The female voice confirmed again. Song Mian Mian turned around, and what met her eyes was a woman wearing a blue one-piece dress, stepping on a pair of high heels and heavy makeup. What's the matter? Song Mianian looked indifferent. The woman asked, Are you still blaming me? No, I'll leave first if you don't have anything else. After saying that, she pushed the stroller and turned around. That incident last year, I didn't do it on purpose. Why won't you listen to my explanation? Chang Xiao frowned and seemed to have guessed who this person was. When Song Mian Yang went to the bar, it was this woman who brought her there, huh? Then she left as soon as she could, or else the events of that night wouldn't have happened. It was also fortunate that the person that night was him, otherwise the consequences would have been unimaginable. It's no wonder Song Mianian is so disgusted. What good girlfriends and good sisters, they were all plastic sisterhood. Things have already happened, is there any need to explain? Song Mianian said indifferently. She now has her own happy little family, the past is long gone, there is no need to bring it up again. It was already her luck to have met Chung Xiao. So, you still refuse to forgive me? The woman asked. There is no such thing as forgive or not forgive, the past is past, why bring it up again? You're married? The woman glanced at Chung Xiao and then at the babies in the stroller. The heart was shocked beyond words. It was amazing that there was even a baby, it looked like it was already three months old. It's only been over a year or so since this incident, how did she so quickly? Aha! Uh -huh. Song Mianyang nodded, I'll leave first if there's nothing else. Hubby, let's go. Watching the couple walk away, the woman came back to her senses, last year, what had happened? On the road. Wife, don't be angry, it's not worth it to be angry. Chang Xiao pacified all the way. Song Mianyan glanced at him and said in a bad mood, I'm not angry. Still saying you're not angry, is that the one who had to drag you to drink last year? Aha! Uh -huh. Since then, she completely cut off the girlfriend relationship with her, no contact. Even if contacted is to keep a distance, and do not want to listen to her so-called explanation. Things have happened. What's the use of explaining? Wife, you are destined to meet me ah, uh, now is not living a very happy life? Speaking of which, I have to thank God for letting me meet such a good wife. Chang Xiao rubbed her head. Song Mianyang had long since let go of the hatred in her heart. Don't come back and forth in the future. Just treat them as strangers. The past has passed. Living a good life now was the top priority. The two of them pushed the babies back home. Chang Xiao to the babies are settled, went to the kitchen to cook. Song Mianian showed Song Qin the babies raw pictures that were not photoshopped, wearing the clothes from the exquisite box they bought. Are these the babies? The shots are so pretty. 
Song Qing complimented, holding her phone, she couldn't get enough of it. So cute, even more exquisite and adorable than when you were a child. Song Mianian smiled, yeah, I think so too. Eh? This outfit is not bad either. These grandchildren of mine look good no matter what they wear, not bad, not bad. The more Song Qing looked at it, the more she liked it, and her heart melted. It's so cute that it can turn people over. Song Mianian sent a few to Song Qing's cell phone. Mian Mian, help me with this, I want to use this as a screensaver. Song Qin said. Song Mianian cried and laughed, then also made her cell phone screen into babies. It was soothing to look at. During that most exhausting time, every time she saw the babies babbling, she felt that all the tiredness was worth it. Boinging. At this time, for Treasures, who was lying in the crib, let out a soft wooing sound. Song Mianyan got up and went over to check and smiled, it turned out that he had pooped. It should be that he hadn't finished pooping yet, his little body collapsed tightly, his face reddish and reddish, his fists clenched. A grunting sound followed. After a couple minutes, the tight little frown loosened. Well, the pulling was done. Rushing to fetch a basin of water and a fresh diaper, she was then placed on the carpet and the process began. After washing and drying her butt, for treasures grinned happily. Yay! Song Mianyang brought in talcum powder and gave her some on her but keeping it dry would make it less likely to get a red butt. Time to eat. Just after changing, Chang Xiao came out from the kitchen. On the dining table. Song Qin ate half of the meal, as if she remembered something, she slapped her forehead and said, look at this memory of mine, how did I forget something serious? Mom, what's wrong? Your cousin she wants to come over to see the babies. Song Mianian frowned, cousin? Nana? Well, she happens to be working over here, she's coming over tomorrow. That's fine, tomorrow is Sunday, I'll be home with Cheng Xiao. She had an okay impression of this cousin, she just wasn't familiar with it. Since they offer to come and see it then let's come. After a meal, Cheng Xiao cleared the dishes and went to wash them. Song Nianyang followed closely behind to the kitchen. Hubby, I'm going to trouble you again tomorrow. She's either inviting her co-workers over or relatives, and it's Cheng Xiao who's the one who's busy. In her heart, she inevitably felt that she was a bit unintelligent, always causing him trouble. It's fine, your cousin is also my cousin, what's the trouble? Cheng Xiao laughed. This little woman is still so sensitive, they are both husband and wife, what else is there to see outside? Song Mianian blushed and said, then, then I'll go check on the baby. Go! Chang Xiao waved his hand and continued to wash the dishes. At this time, the system's voice suddenly rang in his ears. Ding! Congratulations to the host for completing the 100-day photoshoot for the baby, reward, unbelievable luck. Ding! Congratulations to the host for completing 25 days of guarding the baby, reward, proficiency in various languages. Chang Xiao looked at the system page and realized that his level had risen to level 4. It means that the stroller will start upgrading as well. The intermediate level stroller skill seemed pretty powerful. After washing the dishes, he purposely went to check it out and nothing had changed. At this time, the system spoke out again. Host, the stroller level has been raised, do we start upgrading? At night. How can I explain this in case I'm seen in broad daylight? Okay. The system said. Sitting on the sofa, he was about to tease the babies when his cell phone suddenly rang. Glancing at it, Wang Jing paddled over to answer it. Wang Jing said, brother, the store has been decorated, do you want to come and take a look? Guaranteed to make you satisfied. Where are you now? In the store. Wait for a while, I'll be right over. After saying that, he looked at Song Mianian beside him, wife, it's already been decorated, do you want to go take a look with me? Aha. Uh -huh. Song Mianian nodded. After packing up, the couple set off. Driving for a few minutes they arrived at the store. How's it? Not bad, right? The cozy style you wanted, satisfied? After going in, Wang Jing patted Cheng Zhao's shoulder and said with a smile. Cheng Xiao looked around, not bad, not bad. Song Mianyang also nodded, it was indeed quite good looking, whether it was in terms of materials or details, it was quite good. That's not true, this is the decorator I asked someone to find, it's still very reliable. Wang Jing said with some complacency. Well, wife, let's open next weekend. Cheng Xiao looked at Song Mianyang. Will it be too hasty? Song Mianian frowned, this was nothing yet. The shelves I haven't even been bought yet, stocking up also takes time, online wholesaling usually takes days. As long as the decoration is completed, these are not simple, two days to get it done, once the goods come, immediately open. I purposely looked, next Saturday, is a rare auspicious day. Mr. Song, just leave the shelves and other things to me. Wang Jing patted his chest and took it all on. Aren't these simple? A piece of cake. Song Yang could only nod, that's fine. This was also her first time touching these, she didn't have much experience. Cheng Xiao said, there's still a plaque missing, and some flyers and stuff to send out when we open. And then in the wall to paste some children like animal stickers, when customers buy things to send some small gifts ah, uh, the whole point of full reduction activities or something. 
Then make a place to put a children's slide, inside get some small toys, ocean ball, and so on. After half an hour of explanation, everything was clear. Song Myanian was surprised, did not expect Cheng Xia to be so meticulous. Every aspect was so well thought out. This place looked good at first glance, selling things here, business would definitely not be bad. Okay, don't worry, I'll take care of it. Wang Jing nodded. After explaining the situation, the couple left. Other than the wholesale goods, everything was handed over to Wang Jing. This guy was still willing to run errands, busy every day, it was a positive, and he didn't play games anymore. In the afternoon, the two were busy looking at the goods. Ordered a bunch of things on the wholesale software, children's clothes and shoes, baby strollers, toys, diapers and such. There are many kinds. Very complete. And then selected some mom's skin care products and so on. When finished, it is already night. Chang Xiao rubbed his eyes and said, It's been an afternoon, wife, are you hungry? I'll go cook. Okay, I'll help. During dinner, the couple told Song Qin about the store. It was bound to be busy on opening day, and the babies might need help from their mother-in-law to bring them down. When Song Qin heard the news, her eyes widened in surprise, Xiao Chang is opening a store? Cheng Xiao smiled, yes, in order for Mian Mian and the children to have a better life in the future, it's a good idea to work hard while you're young. With your words, I feel more at ease. Song Qin sighed, young people, we should be a little bloodthirsty, to break through their own sky. Hearing these words, the couple glanced at each other and saw the smile in each other's eyes. The days ahead will definitely get better and better. With the babies around, Cheng Xiao felt that the business of their store would definitely explode. It wasn't any confidence, it was a strong premonition. Before going to bed at night, Song Myanian checked the brand of the clothes on the children and said to Cheng Xiao, Hubby, the quality of the clothes on the babies are all pretty good, why don't we wholesale some more according to this brand? These were all purchased from the mom and pop store over in the old neighborhood before. It was just a bit expensive. Cheng Xiao didn't have a problem with it and nodded, listen to your wife. So, the two watched for another half a night. When they were about to close their eyes and go to sleep, they didn't know which baby, started humming again. At a glance, it was the second baby. This child did not know what was wrong, the little body moved nonstop, sleeping in the sleeping bag, twisting around, look at the expression face suffocated red. Did he have a stinky diarrhea? Song Mian Yang frowned. Looking in the diaper, it was clean, nothing. Unwrapped the sleeping bag, Erbo was still moving, an unnoticed person had moved outside the sleeping bag. After moving for a while, began to wow cry. Chang Xiao observed for a while and said, is it itchy? Saying that, he picked up Erbo and gently scratched her back with his hand. As expected, after scratching, she stopped crying after a while. Song Myanian couldn't help but laugh, it's still true, how did you see it? Look, just now Erbo was moving around and his back kept rubbing on the bed, that must be where it itches. Just like that, the couple had learned another new skill. After scratching the itch, Erbo went back to sleep not long after. That adorable little look, the couple's hearts melted from watching, Song Yin Yang couldn't help but give Erbo a kiss on the cheek. Go to sleep, your cousin is still coming over tomorrow. We'll go to the supermarket early tomorrow morning. Ah, uh, good. The night passed quickly. The children have gradually been able to sleep until dawn, but sometimes Erbao and Sibao will be nocturnal, girls, more normal. The next day, after breakfast, the couple went out to buy food. When they came back, it was already 10.30 in the morning, just entered the door, and heard the sound of conversation coming from the living room. My cousin is here. Song Myanian whispered in Chang Zhao's ear. The two of them walked to the living room, only to see, on the sofa, a quite pretty beauty sitting on the sofa, wearing a casual outfit, simply dressed. It was indeed an incomparable beauty in the outside world, however, in Chang Zhao's opinion, it was not a tenth of what his own wife was. Cousin, is this my cousin's husband? Song Nana got up from the sofa and blinked her eyes. Song Mianyang nodded, a little embarrassed. Wow, cousin you don't have a bad eye, cousin husband is so handsome. Song Nana was a face value controller, as long as she saw a handsome man, she wouldn't calm down. It's okay, when did you come over? Song Mianyang digressed. I also just arrived, cousin, I heard that you have four babies, so I came over to take a look, the pictures aunt showed me, they are really too cute. Song Nana skillfully held Song Mianyang's arm, her eyes full of stars. When she came, she saw that the babies were still sleeping, so she didn't dare to disturb them, thinking to wait until they woke up to give them a good cuddle. I'm going to take a look too. Chang Xiao put the groceries he bought aside and headed for the children's room. Hoof. Just as he walked in, a few babies' grunts came from the children's bedside. At this time, it was about time to wake up. Chang Xiao first checked their diapers, they were already filled to the brim, and the sheets underneath them were a bit wet. It was only changed in the morning, and this time it was full. A few little ones are too capable of peeing. After changing them one by one, I put them in the crib outside, and took advantage of the good weather to wash and dry the sheets. As soon as the babies were carried out, Song Nana did 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 dashed over. 
Seeing an unfamiliar face in front of them, the babies froze for a moment, and then Erbao and Sibao's mouths turned away and cried out with a wow. Ah, babies, don't cry, I'm your cousin Aunt Ah, don't cry, don't cry, okay? Seeing the children crying, Song Nana was a little anxious. Song Qin walked over and took out a small toy. Try with this. When her daughter and son-in-law weren't at home, she used this to tease a few of the children, and it worked quite well. In the end, even the most difficult to bring up, for treasures, accepted it and played with it, except for not wanting you to hug them. Song Nana took out the big baby who wasn't crying and cradled him in her arms, teasing him with the small toy in her hand. Cousin, how old is this baby? The oldest. Song Nian Yang said. He's also too obedient, not worthy of being the oldest, auntie cousin give him a kiss. At the first glance, Song Nana fell in love with a few babies, and was especially happy to see that Debeo didn't reject her. Debeo looked at her carefully and didn't resist too much. In the end, it directly accepted it, and even played with Song Nana, giggling non-stop. Song Nian Yin smiled, still very understanding, Debeo is more playful, as long as you give him toys, he can play with you especially high, and not rusty. Song Nana watched Cheng Xiao busy inside and outside, washing the quilt and doing housework, couldn't help but ask, cousin, usually these chores are done by cousin husband? Aha! Uh -huh. Speaking of this, Song Mian Mian felt a little embarrassed, but also felt full of happiness, ever since they got together, these things, Cheng Xiao never seemed to let her worry about them. What about the babies? I have to work, the babies are taken care of by him alone. Thinking about it still made her feel guilty, he was already tired enough taking care of the babies every day, but he also had to take care of her. Sometimes she felt so unintelligent. Wow, so thoughtful. Song Nana's envy was directly written on her face. She really hoped that God would give her a dozen such sweet boyfriends. Even if he was handsome, he was still so sweet, he would take care of the baby and do housework, and the key was, he was also so rich. She works in Qingzhou and is in the neighborhood, so she naturally knows about Zheng Cheng Ming Yuan. You can't even buy it with money. Those who can live in it are not simple people. Definitely a family of $10,000. I didn't expect this cousin of hers to marry so well. Also gave birth to a few cute little babies. Too envious. Cousin, how did you and cousin-in-law meet? It must be a romantic love story, right? Song Nana, still unaware of the situation, gave a bad laugh. When it came to this, Song Mian Yang looked embarrassed and didn't know how to answer, finding a random excuse to perfunctorily say, we went to the same school. Wow, is he a teacher too? No, not a teacher, is he a student? Song Nana was shocked. Song Mian Yang became even more embarrassed, but she still nodded her head and let out a um. I'll go. Really students, how did you guys see eye to eye? I'm too curious. A teacher and a student can also come together and have several children, this this this. I wouldn't even dare to believe it when I say it. However, the two were of similar age, and judging from their looks, they were quite a couple. The children were also born with a super high face value. It's just like that. Where did Sung Myanian have the nerve to say anything further? Thinking about what happened that night was embarrassing. After washing the sheets, Chung Xiao went to cook. The mother-in-law helped wash the vegetables. When it was time to eat, smelling the aroma wafting from the dining room, Song Nana said, it smells so good, it seems like auntie's cooking skills have grown again, when I was a kid, my favorite food was the dishes she made. Song Myanian smiled faintly, smelling the fragrance, her cravings were instantly aroused. All the way to the dining room, Song Nana looked left and right, well, the decoration was really good, and cozy, and luxurious, looking at the mood is soothing. In front of the dining table, looking at the large table of food, Song Nana said, Auntie, how did you get so many dishes today, it smells so good. These ah, uh, none of them are made by me, I just washed the dishes. Song Qin smiled and said. She was more and more satisfied with her son-in-law. Not to mention that he had a good hand at cooking at such a young age, he was also extremely considerate towards Mian Mian. Cousin's husband made this? Song Nana's face was full of surprise, she really didn't expect him to be able to make such a good table of flavorful dishes. Just looking at it was so appetizing. Not only is he handsome, rich, and considerate, his cooking skills are actually this good. I'm so envious. As the couple sat together, Chang Xiao thoughtfully gave Song Mianian a piece of cola chicken wings. Chang Xiao thoughtfully gave Song Mianian a piece of cola chicken wings. He also served her some fish soup and wanted to personally feed her. Song Mianian whispered, Hubby, Mom and the girls are still here, this isn't too good. Song Nana was stuffed with a mouthful of dog food, so many dishes became tasteless in an instant. She was ready to eat a couple bites and leave it at that, teasing the babies. But after she ate a few bites of the dishes, her eyes lit up. This is too delicious, right? Brother-in-law you're a really good cook. Yummy yummy. Without realizing it, three bowls of rice were finished off by her. Soon, two-thirds of the dishes on the table were basically swept away. After eating her fill, she burped and asked, Cousin, brother-in-law, anyway, I work in this neighborhood, can I come over often to rub my nose in the food? It was really too delicious. 
Song Yanyang was a bit embarrassed and subconsciously looked at Cheng Xiao. Wife, whatever you say, I'll listen to you. Song Nana was inexplicably shown the door again. So that's an agreement? Okay, then you guys chat, I'm going to go tease the baby. Saying that, she hurriedly headed over to the crib. Song Qin at the side held her forehead, who did this girl inherit her thick skin from? Yikes, what's wrong with the baby? At this time, Song Nana, who was coaxing the baby, suddenly shouted. Song Nian Nian's heart tightened and she hurried over to take a look. What's wrong? Song Nana was holding San Bao, letting him lie on her shoulder, and pointed to the back of his neck. It was red and there were bumps sticking out. One by one. Chang Xiao went up and looked at the back, a patch all over. What's wrong with San Bao? Song Nian Yang was a little panicked. Song Qin sensed the situation and came over to look, looking at this it should be baby eczema. Song Mian Mian's face scrunched up, how can a normal baby have eczema? It wasn't there yesterday. Cheng Xiao on a side to appease, do not be anxious, I have checked, baby eczema is very normal, apply some ointment will be fine. Before Cheng Xiao this kind of ointment, is to prevent eczema, did not expect to come in handy. He brought the ointment and coated San Bao with it. This child didn't cry or fuss, blinking his eyes and looking at his mom. The more she looked at Song Mianian, the more she felt heartbroken. It was all because of her negligence, she didn't check in time, otherwise there wouldn't be this eczema flooding the area. If it wasn't for Nana's early discovery, the three babies would still have to continue to suffer from that sin. Chang Xiao checked the other three babies and they didn't have this condition, but Sambo did. The more Song Mianian thought about it, the more she felt remorseful, just wondering why eczema had suddenly appeared. Is it caused by the sleeping bag? Thinking about it, this was the only possibility. I don't think so, Debeo and the others also slept and didn't grow it. Yikes. Between the two discussions, Sanbao suddenly reached out and tugged on Song Mianyang's sleeve. Song Mianyan painfully picked him up, Sambo, is it hard? Sanbao revealed a smile and buried himself tightly in his mother's arms. At this point, Song Nana couldn't stay any longer and said hello and went back. Sanbao looked like nothing was wrong, it was time to play or play, put him on the sofa, especially happy. In the evening when they went to bed, the couple checked Sanbao's back again, and after rubbing the ointment, it finally faded a little. Song Mianyan lay in Chang Zhao's arms and blamed herself, Hubby, do you think I'm particularly unqualified as a mom? Who said that? My wife went through a lot of trouble to give birth to a child safely, who dares to say you're useless I'll beat him to death. Chang Xiao said, Hey, I'm still a mom, I don't even know about San Bao, I. Before he could finish, he was interrupted by Chang Xiao. Usually I bring up the child, what's going to happen is also my problem, not you, you're so tired of running around outside every day for the sake of this family, how can you be blamed? After saying that, Chang Xiao rubbed her head, fool. Hubby, it's good to meet you. Song Mianian's heart was warm. Chang Xiao was really too good to her, so good that she felt that she had really met the best man in the world. It's not early, go to bed, you still have to go to school tomorrow. Time flew by, and in the blink of an eye, it was the day before the opening. Wang Jing called the video over early in the morning. Brother, what do you think? According to what you said, I bought animal stickers and put them on, and over there, I also got a slide, paved a floor mat, and put all kinds of toys. Through the camera, Chang Xiao saw that the originally empty store had put shelves. The white walls were plastered with many animal stickers, looking energetic and cozy. It made people fall in love with it at a glance. Well, pretty good. Chang Xiao nodded with satisfaction. The goods arrived two days ago, he rented a warehouse in the neighborhood and stacked those goods inside temporarily. Did you get those publicity posters? Distribute them when we open tomorrow to attract customers. I'll bring the babies over then too, to be ready-made little models. Wang Jing laughed, don't worry brother, I got those flyers long ago, they will definitely satisfy you. Remember not to hang around when we open tomorrow, or a good look can get in the spirit. Good Lu. Must. Wang Jing was very excited, he had already made all the preparations in the past few days. You come to me to get the key to the warehouse, the goods are in the warehouse, I can't get away from my side. Chang Xiao said. Okay, coming. Twenty minutes later, Wang Jing arrived. Chang Xiao handed him the keys, you go rent a minivan and use it for hauling goods. The warehouse is a distance away from the store. Okay. Wang Jing took the key and said with a smile, Brother, I'm really happy, finally I don't have to do nothing every day, waiting for death. Chang Xiao rolled his eyes, you were the one who degenerated before. That's right, every day except playing games or playing games, I finally have a goal in my life, when I get rich, you are my big nobleman. Chang Xiao is speechless, is it so exaggerated? Hurry up and get busy, it's opening tomorrow. Okay, go right away. Wang Jing went out in a huff. That night, everything was ready, just waiting for the opening tomorrow. The couple was also looking forward to it. Evening. Hubby, I'm a bit nervous. Song Mian Yang held Sheng Zhao's hand, opening tomorrow, this was the first time touching business, and she was afraid that business would be bad. 
afraid that in the end it would be a waste of work and the store would be rented for nothing. What are you afraid of? There is a first time for everything. There is your husband, believe me, absolutely not bad. Chang Xiao rubbed her head and said with a smile. Another morning at 5.30 a.m. the two got up, ate breakfast, finished working and took the babies to Tianyi Street. It was Saturday and there was a lot of foot traffic. There were quite a few people coming and going on the street. The two of them found a good parking space, then carried the babies into the stroller and pushed them in the direction of the store. From a distance, they saw the large plaque, Little Baby House. Chang Xiao came up with this name, thinking that it was simple and memorable, but also high-end. Aha! If not for the limited funds, he would have hated to put a layer of kryptonite on it. Hubby, is that the one? Song Mian Yang almost didn't recognize it. Cheng Xiao smiled, well, this plaque is not bad, right? Quite nice. Walking to the front of the store, Wang Jing saw the two and straightened his suit. Brothers, Mr. Song, you guys are here. Cheng Xiao looked over, this guy really didn't disappoint, his hair was cut and styled, and he was wearing a blue suit. This would be unrecognizable for a while if he didn't say it was Wang Jing. Suddenly becoming so serious, oddly uncomfortable. This is not a bad look for you today. Cheng Xiao complimented. Wang Jing shook his hair, that's true, I got a professional stylist to match it for me. It cost him a lot of money. You have to perform well today. Wang Jing smiled and said, I must. Cheng Xiao walked into the store, it was far better looking than what he saw on the video, the little animal stickers plastered on the wall gave a particularly cozy feeling. The cash register was also designed just right. Very good. Wholesale of those clothes have been hung up, small hats, pacifiers, toy cars and other things are divided into various types of placed up, look around, finally have a store look. How is it? Brother, still satisfied? These can cost him a lot of thought ah. On the counter, there was a huge pile of flyers piled up. These were all thought up by Wang Jing alone, Chang Xiao took a look at them, the full reduction activities and all, very reasonable. Not bad, I'm satisfied, when will it open? Set a point. Why don't we just start at 8? Wang Jing said. It was now around 7.40, 20 minutes to overdo it. Seriously, it was still a bit tense. Okay. The babies were pushed in by Song Myanian, looking at the decoration of the store and the details, she was especially satisfied, very good. Wang Jing smiled. Lying in the stroller the babies were also looking around curiously, looking left and right, their little eyes flickering, adorable. Once he saw the babies, Wang Jing was even happier. Recognizing San Bao at a glance, Wang Jing smiled, San Bao, do you still remember uncle? San Bao's eyes kept staring at him with curiosity in his eyes, having changed his clothes and blow-dried his hair, he probably couldn't recognize him. Wang Jing wanted to go and hug him, San Po's little brows were furrowed, seemingly a little reluctant. Alright, we have to start handing out flyers, pay attention to the image. Today's opening, the three of them were dressed in a decent manner, Song Myanian also deliberately dressed up a bit, wearing a skirt, also put on makeup, looked even better. Cheng Xiao wore a suit, hair blowing casually, even if he does not deliberately dress up, it is also a handsome man. It was very eye-catching to look at. As for the babies, they have already put on the brand of clothes they want to buy in small shoes, wearing small hats on their heads. Cute as can be. It made one's heart melt just by looking at them. With the babies here, business definitely won't be bad. Wang Jing was a little excited. The time was up. He took the flyers and went outside to hand them out. Originally, there should have been balloon firecrackers, but there was no way, the children were here and were afraid of being scared, so this process was avoided. Wang Jing went out to hand out flyers, Chang Xiao also pushed the children out. Song Myanian was in the store to entertain the customers and collect the silver in the meantime. Outside, Chang Xiao and Wang Jing each stood on one side, holding a thick pile of flyers in their hands, ready to hand them out. Chang Xiao already has a high face value, and today he specially dressed up, even more handsome, with a smile on his face. The four little babies were beside him, sitting in the stroller and looking around, their grape-like eyes looking at the crowd of people coming and going, full of curiosity. The little looks were simply adorable. Brothers, let's get started. Wang Jing grinned. Chang Xiao nodded. Everyone walking by don't miss it, today our new store opened, as long as you enter the store to shop, there are all kinds of discounts. Hey, this mom, need to know? Wang Jing a mouth is quite able to say, Barla non-stop, there have been a lot of customers into the store. Coupled with a few four face value super high baby, to the Dora put, sucking people eyeballs bar. Cheng Xiao at this time also strike while the iron is hot, smiling to the crowd. My babies on the clothes and shoes is our store oh, the quality of completely do not have to worry about. It's okay if you don't buy, come in and take a look at us. We also have mom's special skin care products oh, the boss's wife personally used oh. At this time, a little girl passing by, took her mom's hand and shook it. Mom, these little babies are so cute, let's go in and take a look too? Mom took a look at a few babies, and in her heart, she also liked them so much that she couldn't help but pull her daughter into the store. 
Debeo and Sanbao only stared at the young lady, and when they saw the pretty ones, they even smiled at them. This adorable little appearance can be described as irresistible, especially those moms, but also like them a lot. Oh my god, are these quadruplets? So cute. Yeah, one even smiled at me, too cute for my little heart. Let's go in and take a look too the new store is open, there must be discounts and stuff. With the publicity from the babies, Shang Zhao's flyer distribution went very smoothly and was finished in no time. Wang Jing's side was also almost gone. More and more people entered the store, inside Song Mianian introduced the products, and cashier, and so on, busy. Chang Xiao asked Wang Jing to stay at the door to continue to greet the customers, while he made a call to Li Jing to have the bastard come over to help, there were too many customers and his hands were busy. Wang Jing, you come over here and watch the kids by the way, I'll go inside and help your sister-in-law. Chang Xiao said. Okay Lu, go quickly. Wang Jing agreed in one bite. Looking at the increasing number of people, his eyes smiled and almost narrowed into a slit. Every product sold in the store, Chang Xiao and Song Mianian are carefully understood before wholesale. For example, toys and other things, personally checked, material assured before selling to consumers. Chang Xiao came over to help, Song Mianian instantly relaxed a lot. Wife, you go to the cashier and pack for the customers, leave the rest to me. Are you busy? Song Mianian frowned, there were too many people. It's fine, I can, go ahead. All right then. The three people divided up the work, and in just over an hour, the entire store was almost sold out completely exceeding the couple's expectations. Chang Xiao informed Wang Jing to hurry to the warehouse to get the goods over, it was no longer enough to sell. Wang Jing was taken aback, totally not expecting to sell so fast. Without much thought, pushed the babies into the store, and then drove the minivan to the nearby warehouse. The couple was tired and panting, Song Mian Yang was sweating profusely, but her face did not show any signs of makeup removal, and her skin was also good. This also caught the attention of a few baby moms around, looking for a topic to chat with Song Mianian. Boss lady, are these babies all yours? You're too good at this. I'm so impressed. The babies are so cute. Looking at me, a single dog, I want to have such a cute little baby. One of the young ladies spoke up, her face full of envy. First you have to find a husband with a super high face value. The best friend next to her laughed. Chang Xiao had already organized some of the remaining things and came this way, and when the baby mom saw it, they chatted again. Is this the baby's father? So young. Yes, yes, and so handsome, no wonder the children's face value is so high. Song Mianian smiled, oddly embarrassed to be praised by so many people, where where where? And, your skin is also good, unlike us, after giving birth to a child, we wasted ourselves like a yellow face. Yes, can you not be like this every day with a child? Hey, the man at home has to work and can't help. Boss lady, do you have any tips for maintaining your skin? Song Mianian smiled and said, women, usually must drink more water, go to bed early and get up early and insist on skin care every day. That's how she was anyway, drinking more water was quasi-correct. So any skin care recommendations? I use one of the ones we have in the store, special for moms, the product is relatively gentle. Song Mian Yang instantly transformed into a salesperson, taking out both of the wholesale skincare products and introducing them. Just after the introduction, it was quickly coaxed. This brand was familiar to everyone, belonging to an international brand, the price was reasonable, and moms were more enthusiastic about these. Most of all, Song Mianian's skin was so good, it was the best way to advertise. A lot of customers didn't get their favorites and were waiting for the next batch, and the kids were having a great time over at the slide. Li Jin arrived here at this time, and he went around in circles before he found it, he really didn't expect Cheng Xia to open a store suddenly, or in such a far away place. Look at this situation, business is still booming. Brother, what are you? There were a lot of things he wanted to ask, but he didn't know how to ask. Wait until you're done with your business. Cheng Xiao raised his eyes, the second batch of goods has come, Wang Jing that is full of passion, the container is opened, the goods are moved out one by one, without getting tired. When he saw Li Jin come over to help, he froze for a moment, nodded, didn't ask too many questions, and continued to move, the two of them emptied the car in a short while. Cheng Xiao introduced Li Jin to him, the two of them got to know each other. Then they continued to entertain the guests at the door. Wang Jing took a thick pile of flyers on the counter and handed them to Li Jin. Not long after, a new round of cajoling started in the store. Everyone was scrambling to buy all the toys, bottles, shoes and such, you bought one and I bought another, it didn't take long for them to be emptied. Clothes and other things are even more so. The cart was almost empty again. Some Mayanian cashier's hand from beginning to end never stopped, everyone is all in line, tired of her panting, hands are sore. Chang Xiao was in charge of packing at the side. By the time they were almost busy, it was already 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and a few people were starving. After checking out for the last customer, Chang Xiao ordered a meal on the app and fed the babies while waiting for the meal. Li Jin had long been unable to hold back his suspicions and asked, Brother, what's going on with you? 
Chang Sha used the same rhetoric he used to deal with Wang Jing as a reason. All right, it's still you who are awesome. After not seeing you for such a short time, you actually opened a store directly, so awesome. Li Jin was simply impressed. But, there's your scene tomorrow, do you still have time to shoot? The director was so optimistic about Chang Xiao that he was going to give him a male role when this movie was over. He was so envious of him. He had just started his career as a male, but Chang Xiao's acting skills were nothing to write home about. If he focused on the entertainment industry, he could definitely catch fire. Yes, when is tomorrow? Since he promised to finish filming, Chang Xiao naturally wouldn't go back on his word. Early tomorrow morning, go early and wrap up early, you're pretty much shooting a few more times before you're done. Li Jin Dao, the male fourth's play isn't a lot. Coupled with Chang Zhao's good acting skills, basically a one-time pass, shoot the second time or the main character and the other supporting characters do not give a good performance. For example, that male lead actor, his acting skills are poor and he is often pressed into action. Even a small supporting actor's acting skills are not as good. If it wasn't for the gold master behind him, the director wouldn't even want to use this person. Instead, a bunch of people are still blowing off the good acting, but in fact, it is a batch of garbage. After the two of them finished chatting, the meal also arrived. Everyone is eating. Wang Jing is excited heart trembling hands, brother, we are just opening the first day ah, I have never seen the first day of business is so hot. To be honest, Cheng Xiao himself did not expect, only thought it would not be very bad, did not expect a direct explosion. This sales, definitely rubbing off. However, he wasn't as excited as Wang Jing, now it was just the beginning, what was more exciting was in the future. By the time the funds are enough, he will open a chain, slowly involved in various fields, the future will be more and more good. Wang Jing to Cheng Xiao that is admired, at the same time the heart is also excited, he can finally have a good fortune. In the past, it was either an internet cafe or an internet cafe, and finally he was able to rely on his own strength to earn the first bucket of gold. The old man at home will definitely not nag him often in the future. After eating, Song Myanian just thought of, after this you have to take the baby, I work, what about the store? Before, she was so focused on opening the store that she didn't think about this aspect. The business was so hot, she didn't expect it. Cheng Xia thought about it and said, hire two people, I'll come over to the store when I have time to watch over things. Me too, I don't have much to do besides classes anyway, I'll come over when I have time. Nowadays, it could only be like this. At this time, a couple walked in from outside, the woman holding a baby that was also just over a month old in her arms. It was still sleeping. Song Myanian quickly walked over and smiled politely, hello, may I help you? I'd like to buy some clothes for the child and a hat. Yes, yes, follow me. Song Myanian brought her to the clothing area and pointed to a few of them and started introducing them. The woman touched the quality of the clothes and thought it was good and took a few sets along. Then there were baby hats and some other items for babies. Now that the weather was getting cooler and cooler, you had to dress the child thicker. Song Myanian introduced a few more sleeping bags for the child to sleep in at night, very warm. Cheng Xiao watched from the sidelines, well, his wife has the potential to be a salesman. Not bad, not bad. In bits and pieces, the couple took a bunch and then checked out. Have you guys driven yet? I'll deliver to your door if you don't. Cheng Xiao smiled. The woman nodded, thanks, we drove over. Looking at the happy backs of the two carrying large bags out, Wang Jing and Li Jin, the two single dogs were envious. However, the one who is more envious is Cheng Xiao. With these few cute and high value babies, can one not be envious? Yeah. In the baby carriage, the four babies make a sound. Cheng Xiao smiles and walks over, scratches four treasures little nose and laughs, I said who is it, so it's our four treasures? The four treasures are especially happy, little legs stomping and stomping, today the store is bustling with a wave of activity, this is for the babies to see, especially the big treasure three treasures, how many beautiful ladies and girls ah, well, really eye catching. Since the babies were born, they have never seen so many people at once. From the morning to the afternoon, the babies followed for so long without milk, did not cry a single time, but also so happy. If this were usual, they wouldn't even do it if they were hungry. For treasures buried his head tightly in his father's arms, looking at Wang Jing envious ah, envious and jealous. Li Jin spoke up, brother, is there anything else you need my help with this afternoon? Do you still have work to do, if you want to be busy go quickly, today trouble you, I'll treat you to dinner some other day. Chang Xiao patted his shoulder. If he wasn't familiar with him, he might have settled today's wages, after all, they have been busy with you all morning, they mustn't give some money to treat them. However, Li Jin had known him for many years, and his relationship was relatively strong, so it would be a bit strange to give him money directly. Li Jin probably wouldn't want it. It's just a favor for the morning, what's the trouble? Seeing that you're doing better and better every day, I'm happy for you. Saying this, he looks towards four treasures in Chang Zhao's arms, revealing a smile and reaching out his hand, four treasures is so big, come, let uncle hold it. 
for treasures is the most reluctant to touch unfamiliar people, other than mom and dad, he doesn't want anyone, not to mention asking for it, he doesn't even look at it. Once again, she buried her head into her dad's arms, bringing her a toy to tempt her, well, it didn't budge at all. She looked like I want daddy. Lee Jean didn't force her to do so, and looked at the other babies, then said hello and left. Bro, why does this guy look so familiar to me? Wang Jing didn't know Li Jin, but he looked familiar, as if he had seen him somewhere. He's an actor, he's been on TV before, it's normal that he looks familiar to you. Oh, that's right. Well, clean up, let's continue to chat. It was already afternoon and there were quite a few customers. After handing out quite a few flyers out, coupled with the effect of a huge publicity poster at the entrance, many customers basically knew about this store of his. The most impressive ones were naturally the four little babies. High value, cute and adorable. Many people came just for the babies. You guys greet the customers, I'll take the babies to rest. Chang Xiao said. The babies usually take a nap in the afternoon, and it just so happened that there was a lounge of about 20 square meters at the back of the store. There was also a bed, and in order to prevent the children from rolling over and falling, guardrails were installed all around. On the other side of the bed, there is a lounge chair and a bathroom next to it. The room was specially soundproof to prevent the children from sleeping. After putting the babies to sleep, Chang Xiao continued to go busy. The customers in the store gradually increased again, the three of them divided the work, and began to be busy. This busy until more than 9 o'clock in the evening, the things are sold almost all, but fortunately there is still stock in the warehouse, this time the preparation is still very sufficient. Not afraid of no. I will order some more when I go home. In the future, Chang Xiao will have to bring the baby, Song Nian Yang will have to go to work, and a lot of things will definitely be handed over to Wang Jing. This guy is a single dog and doesn't know anything about mother and baby products. Chang Xiao used his own experience to teach step by step, as well as the role of each thing, including the quality, with what material. Wang Jing also deliberately took notes, who made him have a bad memory? Remember to get another batch of goods tomorrow, the store has been completely empty. Okay Lu. Wang Jing smiled. Let's stop here today, open on time tomorrow. Because the time is really too late, and then open down, go back to wash and fiddle with the middle of the night. The kids probably couldn't stand it either. Sleeping all afternoon, a few little guy now can be spirit, a few hours without milk, not cry, and do not make a fuss. Song Mianian felt a little heartbroken. Come to my place for dinner tonight. Chang Xiao patted Wang Jing's shoulder. Wang Jing didn't refuse, okay. After closing the store door, he drove back home. As soon as they arrived home, Chang Xiao went to cook, and Wang Jing helped out. Song Mianian, on the other hand, changed the baby's diapers and fed them. After turning on the heat in the house, he put the big baby in them on the carpet in turn, and then called a basin of water over to make it easier to wash their butts. Erba this child also do not know what he ate, today pooped a lot of stinky poop, and she also found that recently Erbo has gained a lot of weight, and has already caught up with the big baby. The two little legs are a circle of meat, like a tire, press it and elastic. Sometimes a bottle of milk is not enough. She's much more edible than her sister, Four Treasures. Four Treasures also grows meat, but the meat grows just right, Two Treasures, except for the face, there is no place on the whole body that is not fat. Erbao, you need to control your appetite. Song Myanian couldn't help but laugh after she cleaned her up. Yeah. Erbao blinked her eyes and looked at her mom, confused, before revealing a smirk. Controlling your appetite and you're still laughing. After putting the second baby aside, she continued to change them for Debeo. After changing them, take the babies to watch some TV and wait for the meal. In the kitchen. Brothers, today's sales are definitely exploding, we're rich. Wang Jing was so excited when he talked about this. Calm down, this is just the beginning, be a little bit out of breath, okay? Or brother you are calm enough. Wang Jing smiled and patted his shoulder. Waiting to finish eating we will calculate today's turnover. Okay. Chang Xiao fried the vegetables before he remembered. Oh yeah, I have something to do tomorrow morning. I might need you to be busy for a while in the morning. I'll give you the keys to the store later. It's fine, leave it to me, but what's so urgent? Chang Xiao told Wang Jing about what happened in the theater. But he didn't expect that the bastard listened to it. What? You're still filming in the theater group? Wang Jing was shocked. He really didn't expect this brother of his to be so deeply hidden that he was actually still an actor. Just how many secrets did he still have that he hadn't revealed ah? I've also recently picked up a movie through a friend's introduction to supplement my family. Chang Xiao said. A good man in history, really working hard for his family. Wang Jing was in admiration. Soon, the meal was ready. Wife, it's time to eat. Coming. The three of them sat on the dining table, Chang Xiao served Song Nian Nian soup and pinched vegetables, thoughtful as hell. Wang Jing tried his best not to look at them, it's too much of a dog abuse, isn't it? After a tiring day, they were forced to eat dog food at night. It's not like that. 
After eating, took the store key he hurriedly slipped away, not to do this light bulb. What sales calculation, tomorrow. The couple sat on the sofa, Cheng Xiao said a little bit about going to the theater tomorrow, and may not be able to come back until noon. Song Mian Yang didn't have any opinion and nodded, since she promised people to finish filming, she would be responsible to the end. Thinking that there would only be her and Wang Jing in the store at that time, it was still a bit awkward. Cheng Xiao was not there, it always felt strange. Knowing what he was thinking, Cheng Xiao rubbed her head, it's okay, he doesn't eat people, what are you afraid of? I'm not afraid. Song Mianian's head turned to the side, her cheeks flushed. Cheng Xiao grinned, so you can't let go of your husband? No. Then you're blushing. Song Mianian grunted and got up, ready to head into the master bedroom, but was pulled back by Cheng Xiao. All right, all right, not joking with you. Cheng Xiao laughed, this little woman really can't stand being teased. Let's go give the babies a bath, it's been a few days. Good. I'll go put on hot water first. Cheng Xiao went to the bathroom. After the hot water was put on, they were washed one by one. Starting with Big Baby first, the other three babies were put in the crib first. Big Baby doesn't know what he's about to face, seeing mom and dad hugging him, he's happy and keeps stirring his legs to show his excitement. Plus, he was even happier to see so many beautiful ladies today. Yeah. Why is Dabao so happy today? Song Mian Yan raised the corners of her mouth. Chang Xiao on the side couldn't help but laugh, it must be because I've seen so many beautiful young ladies during the day today. Song Mian Yang snorted out a laugh when she heard this. Really, if you know how to look at pretty girls at such a young age, what's going to happen when you grow up? You can't tease others every day, can you? God who the hell is this inherited from? Basin Malijo used a thermometer to test the water temperature, just right. Then he started to undress Debeo. After undressing, the heater was just turned on, probably because it felt a bit cool, Debeo realized that something was wrong and frowned a little. Left look at dad, right look at mom. Seeing that people are all there, they did not cry. Once put into the water, immediately not calm. Originally hung on the face of the smile, immediately frozen. Wow cried out. Debeo don't cry, whitewash, don't cry. Cheng Xiao washed and soothed him, but this child did not do it, kept twisting and kicking his legs. Not with cooperation, completely inferior to the last wash. Debeo, mommy's here, I'll give you a drink of grandma when I'm done washing, okay? Song Mianian held Debeo's little hand and soothed it. Her voice was gentle and had a good calming effect on the baby. Sure enough, it didn't take long for Debeo to stop making noise. Cheng Xiao handed over a small toy, the kind that jingles when shaken, to attract his attention. The toy in the hand, Debeo quickly and completely honest, let a person how to manipulate do not drive a bit. After a smooth wash and dry, I wrapped him up in a soft bath towel and put him in his crib. Second baby came next. The second baby was fine, he cried for a while when he got into the water, but soon he was attracted to the toys. He couldn't get enough of them. Especially the ding 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 sound, the most attractive to her, two eye straight look, and now and then show a smile. Until the end of the wash, still tugging not to let go. Cheng Xiao laughed, ready to take the toy down from her hands, well, after the bath the sleep sleep, cannot play oh. This little one, but also quit, dead tugging, grunting. Uh, I will not let go I want a plate posture. Two tang up his mouth, the cute little appearance simply makes the heart melt. However, now the weather is very cool, cannot wash for too long, otherwise it is particularly easy to catch a cold. This kind of thing can't be allowed to be left to her own devices. Erbao, give this to daddy, okay? Cheng Xiao said with a smile. Erbao held it with force, saying no to it. Song Mianian directly snatched it down hard and said with a serious face, Erbao, let's go back to our room and get dressed before we play, okay? Seeing his mom's expression, Erbao's mouth turned away and he looked like he was about to cry out, aggrieved. This time Song Mianian was ruthless, not letting her, last time, Sibo was caught cold before being struck with diarrhea, she couldn't watch Erbao follow suit. She wiped the water on her body, wrapped it up in a towel, put it directly in the crib, and replaced it with a clean diaper. Immediately followed by Sanba Wash, this child is much more frugal, soak in the water, give him toys to play, do not give it to pull down, eyes have been looking at mom and dad, do not cry and do not make trouble, very obedient. It's still Sanbao who saves the trouble. Song Mianian cried and laughed. Sanbao was instead like a big brother, understanding. He didn't say a word when he hit the precaution. The other three howled. When he finished washing, Sanbao even smiled towards Chang Xiao. The small appearance is cute and adorable. When it's the turn of the fourth treasure, this little guy's eyes are looking around, quite spirited, smiling when undressing, once put into the water, a second change of face. Wow directly cried out. All kinds of coaxing, take the toy temptation has no effect at all. For treasures has always been the most resistant to the water. Typical as long as you don't let me get into the water, everything is fine. Waiting for the bath time has already cried up and down, face suffocated red. Brother doesn't even cry in the bath, you still cry, shy or not? 
Cheng Xiao helplessly said. The action of the hand to speed up, not long after the wash, bath towel a package, go to the children's room, put on the bed, and then the babies are carried over. Take out the clothes that have long been prepared to change one by one. A few little ones will be honest at once, and then wrapped in a sleeping bag. Cheng Xiao coaxed them to sleep. When coaxed to sleep is already midnight, more than 12 o'clock. Yawning, the couple is also sleepy. Cheng Xiao held on to his sleep, opened his cell phone, ready to order another batch of goods. He planned to wholesale some more fresh gadgets, there were some comments from customers during the day today, since he was selling mother and baby products, he should be more comprehensive. Hubby, wholesale some of that milk bottle, it's almost sold out. Song Mian Mian on the side said. Cheng Xiao chose and chose and ordered another batch of goods, this time more than last time, just in case there wasn't enough again. Having just opened and advertised, there were definitely a lot of customers in the coming days. Almost ready. If this batch is not enough, see what happens in order again. After ordering the goods, he spent some more time counting the next day's sales. When he saw the balance displayed on the computer, he thought he was blind. A whole $200,000. That wasn't bad including the ones in the register. He knew it wouldn't be less, but he didn't expect it to be this much. Heart inevitably some happy, calm down, thinking, now is just the beginning, later to open a few more chain stores, and then some other stores. For example, dessert stores, clothing stores, etc. All of these areas could be involved. His goal was not only to sell the piece of mother and baby products, there were many, many more. However, one bite doesn't make a big fat man, one has to develop step by step. First stabilize the current one. Hubby, aren't you sleeping yet? Song Mian Mian on the side felt the light of the cell phone and raised her head to ask. Cheng Xiao smiled and said, this is sleeping. This good news will be told to her tomorrow, now that it is told it is estimated that this woman will have to be so excited that she won't be able to sleep for the whole night. One night passed, the next day. Cheng Xiao left early, according to the address Li Jin sent, heading to another filming location. In a building. The drama he was currently filming belonged to a modern drama with a lot of hookups and dog blood plots. Anyway, from Cheng Xiao's eyes, it was quite toxic. What was modified last time was only part of it. A lot of the previous ones have already been shot, so there's no need to drastically change the script. Before leaving the babies were still awake, he kissed the little faces one by one, and then reluctantly left. This go is another half a day, now a day without seeing the baby is like three autumns. Basically cannot leave. After arriving at the set, he put on makeup and it was his turn. Today, he is going to be in the same frame with the male and female main characters, and it is a rival scene. Completely suppressed the scene of the opposite two to death. Shang Xiao almost killed these two main characters with one look. There was drama in his eyes. The director who was watching was mesmerized and his heart was thrilled. Cut. The last card shouted, his voice was trembling. It was really too good. There was also a chorus of admiration from the surroundings. See, this is a born actor. Cheng Xiao was still remembering the store in his heart. It's almost noon. The next scene is still his scene, so he took advantage of the break to make a call to Song Myanian. Everyone should have gone home for dinner by this time, it wasn't that busy. After the call was answered, he hurriedly asked, Wife, how's it going over there? Pretty good, just a bit busier in the morning, now it's okay. That's good, when I finish shooting the last scene I'll go over right away. Okay, be safe on the way. After hanging up the phone, Li Jin came over, full of gossip, talking to your wife again? Brothers ah, uh, this is only one day, oh no, half a day. You a single dog doesn't know this kind of fun. Shang Xiao laughed. Li Jin, ch. Who said I don't understand. Soon after the last scene was over, the director stopped what he was doing and walked over towards Cheng Xiao. Laughing, he said, little Chang, there's something I want to talk to you about, I don't know if you're interested. After reviewing Cheng Xiao's two shoots, that acting skill really can't be faulted. It was too condescending to just be a male for, wasting such a good talent. So, director you say. Cheng Xiao smiled politely. There is a well-known director senior, after watching your scene, wants to invite you to play the male number one in his new movie, I don't know if you are interested. The director asked tentatively. Li Jin said that process Xiao was rather casual about the acting aspect, but he just felt that it would be a real shame to miss out on such a good seedling. On the big screen, it's definitely a box office guarantee. Director, isn't it unreasonable to let him, who hasn't had any work or acting training, be the male lead? A sharp voice came from not far away, only to see that the male lead of this drama came over aggressively and directly questioned the director. The director's eyes were impatient, if this guy didn't have a gold master behind him, he wouldn't have let such a trashy actor be the male lead anyway. It's ruining the drama. The hope of this drama is basically placed on Shang Xiao. Although it is only a male four, but often some dramas, the main character did not fire, the supporting role instead of fire. Cheng Zhao's high color value and good acting skills are too rare. I don't care if it's reasonable or not, it's the other director who asked for it, whoever asked for it you find. 
These words successfully blocked the guy from saying a word. His face was iron blue. No one bothered with him anymore. Xiao Chang, do you want to think about it before giving me a reply? Facing Chang Xiao, the director was immediately polite. Chang Xiao nodded, no need to think about it, I have no problem. When? Because, he thought of a huge business opportunity. The time hasn't been determined yet, first finish filming this movie properly, then we can discuss it. The director said, okay. Today's few scenes were over and Chang Xiao couldn't wait to go back. Giving Li Jin a greeting he hurriedly left. On the way received a transfer message. $50,000. In the store, Song Mian Yang and Wang Jing are busy on their feet, one packing and cashiering, one introducing products. Packing and cashiering was too tiring, Wang Jing took over, Song Mianian naturally introduced the products and whatnot, putting a good salesman to good use. The two men divided up the work, and although they were busy, they were organized. After Chang Xiao came over, the two instantly relaxed. Brother, you can finally come, if you don't come, Mr. Song and I will be exhausted. Wang Jing was sweating profusely, and for the sake of his image, he couldn't take off the suit he was wearing right now. The heat made his clothes inside soaked. Song Mianian wasn't much better, her hair was covered in sweat. Chang Xiao took over the work in Song Mianian's hands, and she rushed off to see the child. After sleeping for a while, counting the time, they should have woken up by now. As expected, all of them are looking at it with their eyes open, and the four treasures are still there, turning over and over again. They rolled over and over again. Put them in the stroller, still not happy, once pushed out to see so many people, immediately silent. When the guests saw the four babies, their eyes were full of stars. These babies are really cute. In fact, I came here because of them, just came in and didn't see them and was a bit disappointed, thought it was a gimmick, didn't think it was real quadruplets. My aunt's heart. No way. I want to get married too, I want to have kids too. Many are little girls, come over to see the baby, cannot help but also buy a bunch of things to go back, there is no child, cannot use consent relatives and friends of the child ah. One by one, they are all loaded. See the babies are also satisfied. If it is an ordinary baby is okay, the problem is, these four babies face value is really high, who does not like to look good. People are all visual animals. The three of them were busy until 4 o'clock before they were able to idle. Wang Jing pulled another cart of goods over. Then he tore open the bags and hung some of them up, and some of them were put on the shelves. All of this was done by Wang Jing. This guy is really too desperate. Chang Xiao is particularly admired, and has already surpassed the vigor of playing the game. This tired for two days, it's time to report a good news to them. Brother, today's business is even better than yesterday's opening day. Speaking of this, Wang Jing was so excited. It's a big profit. Hard work. Chang Xiao patted his shoulder. Wang Jing wiped his sweat and said, in order to make money, what is this hard work? To say it's hard work, mister. Song is also, his voice is going hoarse. Talking to people there all the time, it would be strange if it wasn't muffled. It's so hard to make some money. Oh yeah, brother, how much was the turnover yesterday, did you calculate it? Wang Jing just remembered this. Yesterday was abused by these two people, left in a hurry, the turnover of things did not ask, this is just not busy, see how much. Calculated. Chang Xiao smiled. Wang Jing looked at him nervously, how much? 200,000, not counting the cash collected, it's almost more than 200,000. Crap. 200,000. Wang Jing was shocked. Knowing how much, he thought it was just a few tens of thousands of dollars, but he didn't expect it to directly soar to $200,000. It's so awesome and powerful. I'm rich. I'm rich. Why are you so excited? Can't you be so unprofitable? Looking at his exaggerated expression, Chang Xiao was speechless. In the future, there will be many opportunities to make money. $200,000 is nothing. Brother, I really admire you too much. Wang Jing patted his shoulder. Chang Xiao looked at the few babies behind him and smiled, in the end, the babies deserve the most credit, if it wasn't for them, could they attract so many customers? For yesterday's sales, Song Mianian was also not expecting it, and only felt that it was all really too unreal. A month ago she was still worried about paying the rent and owed a lot of money, and in the blink of an eye she was making all this money. Carrying four treasures out of the stroller, she pinched her little face, for treasures, why are you chewing on your hand again? Take her hand down, still not happy, continue to gnaw. Give the pacifier, even more do not want, casually slapped off. More than three months old, the ability is big. For treasures, you don't listen, don't give you toys to play with oh. Chang Xiao walked over and picked up the pacifier on the floor. Then on the cash register, he took out a toy that had been prepared a long time ago and waved it in front of her eyes. There was music coming from inside. Playing children's songs, it also flashed with colorful lights. It immediately attracted four treasures eyes. For treasures stared straight at it, then reached out with her other hand, wanting to grab it. Chang Xiao then purposely took it away and didn't let her grab it. If you eat Han Han this will not be given to you oh. Hoof. 
See Ba's mouth turned away, trying to use crying to gain sympathy, thinking that this way mom and dad would be heartbroken. Chang Xiao doesn't eat this now. A child so young knows to use this method to soften their parents' hearts, what's going to happen in the future? After humming for a while, seeing Chang Xiao and Song Mianian didn't react, she stopped all of a sudden, reached out her hand to grab it, and didn't nibble on it. Only then did Chang Xiao give it to her. Song Mianian couldn't help but snort out a laugh. This little person. After giving it to her, it was called a happy and excited, little legs stirred, if it was not Song Nianyang's steady embrace, he was going to stir himself to fall down. Chang Xiao thought of something. Wife, when I'm done with this drama, there might be another movie that needs to be filmed, I'll hire two people to help in the next two days. Song Mianyang froze for a moment, then said, you really want to develop in the entertainment industry? Not really, everything is for the babies and our future. Business opportunity ah, take advantage of this opportunity, it can't be wasted. This acting skill rewarded by the system, acting, especially energetic, if you make a movie fire a wave, it will be famous. When the time comes to engage in a live broadcast does not smell good? For babies put forward, that is the ratings. And then sell some children's clothing and so on, absolutely can. The couple is still in the conversation, the sight of the Wang Jing staggering. He heard the words of the two people clearly. A TV series in the front, and now a movie? Are all the resources in the entertainment industry this good? Brother, you're going to make a movie again? Chang Xiao nodded, uh, what's wrong? What else? That's a movie, it's still the male lead, how come I didn't know you could act before, it's too deep. There's a lot you don't know. The three were chatting when Chang Xiao thought of another good idea. I think we should put an oven in the room, along with some ingredients and stuff, and make little treats from time to time, and give them to customers as small gifts, so we can keep repeat customers in the future Ah, This was what he thought of last night before he went to bed, how could he empty this craft without practicing it? When Song Mianian heard this, her eyes lit up, yes, this kind of as a small gift is the most suitable. Children do not love to eat? It's much better than those with additives. This method is good, just, brother are you sure you really know how to make desserts? Wang Jing was a bit in disbelief, after four years of college, how did he not know Chang Xiao could do this? To say that cooking is good and reasonable, pastries and desserts are exaggerated. Confused, he realized that he didn't understand Chang Xiao at all. I can do it, I learned it from someone before, maybe I have a talent for it, after learning for a few days, I know how to do it. This reason was okay, Wang Jing didn't question it. Maybe people were really gifted? Just the things Chang Xiao was doing now, he had a reason to believe him 100%. Then wait for me to go back and make a call to find someone to get it. Wang Jing said. After saying goodbye, another customer entered the store. A new round of busy work began. The batch of goods that had only been loaded in had already been sold out. This speed. The owner of the mom and pop store not far from the opposite side of the street was envious and jealous. The same mom and pop store, why their business is so good. What's wrong with having quadruplets? What's the big deal? The sales of these two days have been completely affected, one day, almost no one is willing to come in, I'll run over there. The more I saw, the angrier I got, but there was nothing I could do. They just watched as one by one customers went to the other side. Chang Xiao three people have been busy until 10 o'clock in the evening before stopping. Even longer than yesterday. On Sundays, it's normal to have more traffic. Tomorrow should be better. After the three of them brought the babies home, the first thing they did was to count today's sales. Chang Xiao did some math, the two fee-based software added up to 28, 7W, and then the cash collected was 30,000, totaling more than 30,000. Yesterday's cash was also almost 20,000 to $30,000. Wang Jing's face was red with excitement, fat fat fat. In two days, more than half a million dollars was earned. It's still pure profit. Who would believe this? Not bad, I'll go cook first, I'm starving. Chang Xiao went to the kitchen. Soon a table of fragrant food came out. Smelling the aroma, Song Mianian felt that the day's fatigue disappeared, many of them were dishes she loved to eat. Brother, from now on, I'll hang out with you, if you tell me to go east, I'll never go west. Wang Jing patted his chest. Eat your meal, so many dishes still can't plug this mouth of yours. Chang Xiao was a bit speechless. After a meal, Wang Jing didn't bother anymore and was ready to say goodbye. He still had class tomorrow, he had to go back to school now. I'll come back after class tomorrow. Song Mianyang also had classes tomorrow morning, not in the afternoon. Wife, just go to bed early at night, go take a shower. Good. Song Mianyan had just gone to the bathroom when Debeo, who was lying in the crib, suddenly grunted. What's wrong Debeo? The other three were still asleep, only Debeo had his eyes open. Yay. Seeing his dad appear, he let out a yelp and stopped humming. Did you pee? Cheng Xiao touched his diaper, it was hot and bulging, it was indeed peeing. After opening it, it was still smoking, it looked like it had just peed. Couldn't help but laugh and scraped his little nose, you really peed. Yeah. Debeo happily kept stomping his little legs, on non-stop. 
He was so happy. This little guy, I don't know what kind of happy things he's encountered. After quickly changing him, he let out another yap in comfort. Carry all four to the room and put them on the bed. Urbo and the others were sleeping rather soundly, quietly putting on their sleeping bags didn't even wake up. Not long after, Song Myanian finished her shower, opened the door and saw the image of Chang Xiao coaxing the child, the profile of the side face, handsome and gentle. Looking at it again, the heart still couldn't help but thump wildly. The face unconsciously turned red. This man, is really handsome. No wonder there are so many suitors in the school. Who wouldn't like a man this good and this handsome? Wife, you're staring at me like this, are you convinced by your husband's overwhelming handsomeness? Chang Xiao turned his head and looked at her with a smile. Song Myanian's face instantly turned red, don't bring it on. Flutter flutter. She felt her heart beating faster, completely out of control. Lowering her head, she no longer dared to look at Chang Zhao's eyes. After a while, before opening her mouth, you quickly go take a bath. Okay. Obey. Taking advantage of his efforts to take a shower, Song Myanian took a deep breath and soon, the red color on her face faded. In order to prevent embarrassment, she hurriedly laid down in the quilt and closed her eyes. Lying down, probably too tired, she fell asleep without realizing it. Chang Xiao came back from the shower and saw such a quiet picture. The next day, Chang Xiao got up early to make breakfast, Song Myanian ate and headed to school. He had to attend classes, so it was his turn to open the door. On Mondays, there aren't as many people as on weekends, but there are quite a few, and Chang Xiao is busy on his own, his feet not touching the ground. He also had to take care of the children. Fortunately, the system rewarded this stroller is good, not only can coax the babies, but also can prevent traffickers. Although the system produced things quite assured, but subconsciously will not be able to help but look at the place to put the baby carriage. He is to cashier and to introduce all kinds of, today come a lot of pregnant women, to buy newborn baby clothes and bottle small gloves and so on. Chang Xiao was very busy. Next time, wholesale some sets back, newborn baby supplies everything, can also save some worry. Boss, why are you alone today? Where's the boss's wife? At this time, a customer came over and asked. She went to work. Chang Xiao smiled. Going to work? You guys must have a lot of turnover in this store every day. What kind of work? Isn't the salary very high? The customer curiously said. She is a university teacher. Chang Xiao said. University teacher? I don't think she's too old to be a university teacher. The customer was full of surprise. The boss's wife looked to be in her early 20s, such a young university teacher, not simple. Speaking of this, Chang Xiao still had some small pride in his heart, didn't say anything, smiled and nodded. Wow, this is too powerful. At this time, another customer spoke out. A face of envy. Not only is it awesome, but it also gave birth to a few such cute little babies, god man. Yeah, each with such a high face value. Soft and cuddly, so favorite. These people had all come to buy things on the opening day, so naturally they were impressed with the babies in Song Yin Young. Especially a few of the babies, who would still smile when they saw them. It was simply adorable. A few customers said one thing to each other. Chang Xiao responded to them as he was busy with his hands. A few people gradually also realized such a situation, finished buying things, took one last look at the babies, said hello and left. The business of the store in the morning was okay, although it was busy, Chang Xiao could barely cope with it by himself but not if it was the same situation as yesterday. A bunch of customers waiting, only he is the only person in the cashier, there will be a situation where the customers will be impatient. It's like waiting in a long line at the supermarket for the cashier. It was fine now, but the afternoon and evening were the busiest. The three of them were all a bit overwhelmed. Chang Xiao has secretly decided to hire two people over the next two days. It's not good to go on like this all the time. Busy until noon to gradually idle, he ordered a fried rice, first eat some. At 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon, Song Myanian hurriedly rushed back from school. It would not be very crowded, Chang Xiao was collecting the silver, glanced at Song Myanian and said in confusion, Wife, why are you an hour late today? After the morning class, he should have been back by noon. Teacher Lin and I swapped, so I took an extra section. After saying that, Song Yang turned around and looked at the babies not far away. A smile instantly appeared on her face. Several babies were overjoyed to see their moms return, their little legs stomping and stomping, especially happy. Yeah. For treasures let out a yelp, she hadn't been seen for most of the day, it was inevitable that she would be excited. Song Myanian smiled and picked her up from the stroller, giving her a moa kiss on her little face. For treasures is so good. Yeah. Knowing that her mother was praising her, for treasures tugged tightly on her collar, then buried her face in her arms. Adorable to the extreme. Song Myanian's heart was so warm. For treasures will definitely be a proper little coat when he grows up. Brother. I'm not late, am I? Not long after, a voice rang out from outside, and Wang Jing ran in in a hurry. He had rushed to take a taxi over after his class. Chang Xiao said indifferently, 
what I had to work on in the morning has already been worked on, can I still tear you apart if I'm late? Hey, 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 I also want to come, it's not about classes. Wang Jing scratched his head. As he was talking, a customer had already walked in at the door. Cheng Xiao said, you quickly load a batch of goods over, this site is almost gone. Okay. Wang Jing heard, took the key and hurriedly drove to go. There are not many goods in the warehouse, Wang Jing pulled the last batch. At the same time, he also brought a thick pile of flyers over to distribute, for fear of not enough. Now the store is the period of publicity, flyers cannot be less. After the things are laid out and hung up, Wang Jing opened his mouth and said, Brother, the warehouse is basically empty, when will the next batch of goods arrive? It's unbelievable, the day before yesterday he saw the piles and piles of goods, thought he could sell them for a long time, it's only the third day, it's gone. Chang Xiao, it will probably arrive tomorrow. This time he purposely ordered more, there shouldn't be any more shortages. When he went back at night, he would order some more sets back. Having everything in one place is still more convenient for expectant mothers. You don't have to pick and choose. Customers gradually more and more, Song Mianian continue to do their own salesman, the babies at this time is the period of sleep, carried to the back of the store in the room to sleep. Wang Jing thought of something at this time. Right, brother, those baking tools and stuff you asked me to get, I've already contacted someone to send them over tomorrow. Okay, I know. After saying that, Wang Jing hurriedly went outside to hand out flyers. Passing by moms and dads, parents take a look, this store is newly opened, there are discounts. It doesn't matter if you don't buy, you are welcome to take a look. Don't miss it. This guy didn't know where he got such a set of advertisement words from. Cheng Xiao gave a thumbs up, Wang Jing's mouth is really powerful. If this skill was used to find a girlfriend, he would definitely succeed in minutes. The beautiful youth is wasted on playing games. Playing with things is a waste of ambition. Hubby, come over here. Song Mian Yang, who was on the other side of the room introducing products to customers, shouted. What's wrong? Chang Xiao hurried over to look. Only to see that across from her stood a foreign couple, looking at their appearance, they should be Malaysians, were gesturing something to her. Song Mian Yang was so confused that she couldn't understand a single word and opened her eyes without knowing what was being said. At this moment, she regretted not learning a little more of the language, leading to such an embarrassing situation today. It was too humiliating. Can only turn to Chung Xiao for help, also subconsciously, with him there is a sense of security. Only then did she react, if she as a teacher didn't understand, could the students understand? Chang Xiao came over, rubbed her head and said, what's wrong? Two customers want to buy something, but I don't understand their language, I. Embarrassing. It's okay, I'll do it, you go to the cashier. Are you really okay? Song Mianyang looked at Chang Xiao suspiciously, don't scare away other customers. Chang Xiao smiled, don't worry, I've specially learned this language, trust your husband. Alright then. The foreign couple was still holding a child in their hands, babbling in their arms, looking about the same age as Debeo and the others. May I help you guys? Chang Xiao said in fluent Malaysian. The opposite couple was visibly shocked and the two looked at each other. Sir, you speak our country's language? The woman said in disbelief, this language fluency was simply better than some of their Malaysian natives. It was too awesome. Have you lived in our country? Otherwise it's impossible to speak so well. No, I've deliberately learned it before. I probably have a talent for this aspect of the language. Cheng Xiao smiled faintly. The couple was shocked and amazed. This talent was too unbelievable. Learning their country's language, even the best learners would have a bit of an accent, while Chang Xiao did not have any accent at all, as if he was really a Malaysian native. It was hard for people not to be surprised, it was simply amazing. That beautiful lady just now, is she your wife? The woman asked with a smile. Yes. The corners of Chang Xiao's mouth rose at this beautiful lady's words. That's not true, to foreigners, Song Mianian was still beautiful. Many of the foreigners' personalities were more direct and wouldn't beat around the bush. Good looking is good looking, bad looking is bad looking. Is this your child? Little boy? Chang Xiao once again put his eyes on the baby in the woman's arms. Looking at it, it was only a few months or so. The couple nodded, yes. Your baby is so cute. Thanks. Seeing Chang Xiao praising her son, the woman is happy. Returning to the topic, Chang Xiao smiled and asked, did you guys come over today to buy something for the baby? The weather is cold, we came over to buy two pieces of clothes for the babies to wear. Both of you please follow me. Looking at Chang Xiao over there talking eloquently to people in fluent Malaysian without a single obstacle, Song Mian Yang's eyes widened in shock and she was about to think she was hallucinating. Where did Chang Xiao learn Malaysian? How come she didn't know? This is a sleeping bag, to prevent the child from kicking the quilt at night, in the fall, the child's resistance is weak and it's easiest to get hit. Chang Xiao was introducing a sleeping bag on hand to the couple. This one is also good, my baby is also using. The products are carefully selected by my wife and I, you can rest assured. 
Not to say anything else, just for Chang Zhao's Malaysian language, the couple had a good feeling about him as a boss, but also quite appreciated. But wherever Chang Xiao introduced, threw to take a piece. Indeed, the quality in the hand is very good, showing that he and his wife really have the heart to select products. You have a baby in your house too? The woman held several pieces of clothes in her hand and asked with a smile. Chang Xiao returned a smile, yes. I really didn't expect you to get married and have children so young. The man on the side looked at the woman and said with a smile, weren't we also very young when we were together? Yes, I thought that would be early enough, but now it seems that they are all about the same. Three people talking and laughing, finally, the couple bought a bunch of things. When checking out, Chang Xiao asked, Mr. Mrs. Did you drive here or? Do you want me to drive you? Ah, no thanks, we drove here. The woman shook her head. Just as the words fell, a subtle baby cry came from the room behind. I'm afraid it was Debeo and the others waking up. Song Myanian put down what she was doing and carried the babies out in turn, placing them in the stroller. One by one, they woke up without seeing mom and dad and cried so much that their eyes were still red to this day. Strange, why did you wake up so early today? Only slept for half an hour. Song Myanian wondered. Wow, are these quadruplets? Are they all your babies? Too cute. The Malaysian couple hadn't even had time to leave before they saw four babies being pushed out, their faces full of surprise. At first they thought it was just one child, but they didn't expect four to pop out at once. It was also too fertile. Yeah, quadruplets. Shang Xiao laughed. The woman couldn't help but give a thumbs up, you guys are really good, for, how did you give birth to these? Saying this, she looked at Song Myanian in front of the cash register, after giving birth to so many, the child's mother's figure is still so good, how do you take care of it? Song Myanian only saw her yakking a bunch of words, not understanding a single word herself. Looking at that situation, anyway, it must be inseparable from her and the babies just right. After chatting for a while, the couple left. Song Myanyang looked at Cheng Xiao and asked curiously, when did you learn the Malaysian language? Well, I learned it for a while before, and now I still remember a bit of it, and it just came in handy today. Chang Xiao said. Song Myanian expressed skepticism, is that really true? Really? Song Myanian still wanted to ask something, but at this time, it happened that a few customers came over to check out, and quickly put this matter behind them. They were busy until 5 o'clock in the afternoon, when the customers gradually became fewer and fewer. Song Myanian went to the cubicle to breastfeed her child, and first asked Wang Jing to come over to collect a silver. Putting the babies on the bed, smelling the odd smell, opened the diapers of Debeo and four treasures. A buttload of yellow stuff that smelled strange. Oh, come on. Stinky poop again. Debeo, Sibao, you guys have pooped again ah, it stinks. Song Nianyang deliberately fanned her hand in front of her nose, looking like she was stunk to death. It made the two babies giggle. A basin of hot water was called over and washed the two's little butts. Song Nianyang gently patted Big Bao's butt, and after confirming that it was dry, patted on a layer of talcum powder, and then changed the diaper. For Treasure's little legs kicked with such vigor, his mouth making sounds of uttering and grunting. For Treasure's, don't move, mommy will change your diaper haha. <laughs> Song Myanian tried to immobilize the little guy's little legs, but she didn't expect to be allowed to do so, and kept struggling. Anyway, if she wasn't allowed to kick it, she skimmed her mouth, with an aggrieved look that she was about to cry out. This has become her strongest killer weapon. To say that before the four Treasure's, she will be heartbroken to accommodate, now must be hard to discipline, or after absolutely lawless forcibly fixed her legs, her body gently lifted upwards, diaper pads to the bottom of her body. Swish 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 and it was changed. Yeah. On the side, second treasure looked over and revealed a smile. After Debeo and Sibo were changed, it was Erbao and Sibo's turn. These two little ones didn't poop, so it was better to clean up a bit, wiping their little butts with wet wipes was okay. After changing, put them into the stroller and push them outside. The store doesn't have a lot of customers right now, it's not at its peak, so it should be busy again when it's around 7 o'clock. Honey, are you hungry? I'll go buy some food nearby to pad your stomach. Seeing Song Myanian come out of her room, she asked. Good. After being busy all afternoon, she couldn't even realize that she was hungry, this time when she was idle, a rumbling sound came from her stomach. Chang Xiao went out and quickly bought a bunch of things back. It was all food. Don't say, this street is really full of all kinds of food. Smelling the aroma, Song Myanian felt even hungrier. Wang Jing also hurriedly ran in, brother, what did you buy here? So fragrant. Eat some first to pad your stomach, and then go back and cook at night. After eating, a new round of busy work began. After today's flyers were distributed, Wang Jing came over to help pack them, while Chang Xiao was the cashier. Song Mianyang was also busy, running east and west. Some consumers were quite pestering and had to follow around for half a day. To 9.30pm, finally served the last customer. Ready to close. Phew. Wang Jing exhaled, sweating profusely. 
This packing job was not something that ordinary people could do, it was simply too tiring. Just one hand they're numbly packing, packing, still packing. Tired? It's not too late to back out now. Shang Xiao teased from the side. Wang Jing immediately said, regret? Regret is impossible to regret, this life is impossible to regret. I said I want to follow you to make a lot of money then I have to follow. Wipe the sweat on his head, tired so what? Worth ah. The young man does not work hard, the old man said. This word is not for nothing. Chang Xiao hammered his shoulder. He gave him a stumble. On the way home, the bastard leaned on the back seat with a lack of energy and closed his eyes to rest. After arriving home, Chang Xiao prepared to cook. It's getting late, Wang Jing said. I won't eat. I'll go back first and come back tomorrow morning. That's fine. Be safe on the road. Chang Xiao nodded and went to the kitchen, making two bowls of noodles. It was too late, we'll eat something. Song Myanian was obviously hungry, these two days she was busy with the opening of the business, neglecting the fact that she was still breastfeeding. She is most likely to be hungry. One bowl is not enough to eat. At night when she went to bed, she thought of something, Chang Xiao asked, did mom go back that day for something? In a hurry. Mom said something happened at her friend's place, so she went back to the countryside and came back in a few days. Song Myanian thought about it and said. She also made a point of going back to the old neighborhood today to take a look and make sure mom wasn't there before calling to confirm. Before she left two days ago, she said that something was wrong, but didn't specifically say what it was, and she only found out today. It would be a lot easier to wait for mom to come over then. At least the babies would have someone to watch them. Hubby wouldn't be too tired. Good. It's fine, there's no rush. Chen Xiao touched her head, wife, the kind of set we bought for the baby last time, should we sell some wholesale? Hmm. Song Myanian was a bit confused. Look, many of our consumer groups are pregnant women and expectant mothers, so it's inevitable that they'll have a hard time choosing products, so what if we get a whole set of them? For example, bottles, nipples, breast pumps, and the child's clothes and hats and so on, all in a set box. The mom-to-be wouldn't have to face so many choices. Isn't it good to have everything in one set? After Song Myanian heard this, she only felt that this was indeed extremely reasonable. She hadn't even thought of this before, only one-upping the moms. Indeed, there was no need to choose after buying this set. Sure enough, she really didn't have a business mind ah. It's fine, I don't have a problem with it. Song Mianyang said. Chang Xiao searched a bunch of sets on his cell phone wholesale app. In the end, he locked the set that the babies had bought before in another affordable set. The affordable ones are more acceptable to everyone, and the expensive ones, unless the family has a little condition to buy for the child, are okay if they don't have the normal ones. Then wholesale some small down jackets, cotton clothes stocked up, not long to enter the winter, the preparation, or have to prepare. Hubby, look at that, baby cotton jacket, one piece, looks quite warm, do we want to buy a few for the babies? Just as Chang Xiao was about to turn off his cell phone, Song Myanian said something. When Chang Xiao saw it, he nodded, yes, wholesale some of them, put them in the warehouse first, and then you can hang them up and sell them when it's winter. This look was seen in the middle of the night, Song Myanian was sleepy, yawning several times in a row. Wife, go to sleep, you still have to attend classes tomorrow, don't tough it out. Then I'll go to sleep first. As soon as the words fell, two minutes passed, and not long afterward came the sound of Song Myanian's steady breathing. Just as I was about to close my eyes and go to sleep, I don't know which little one started humming again. Endure sleepiness up to sea, good guy, for treasure this child actually directly kicked open the zipper on the sleeping bag, two small legs exposed, stomping a stomp. His mouth was grunting. When he saw his father appear, he was even more excited. Both hands and feet were used. For treasures, you're strong enough, see which in-laws want you in the future oh. Chang Xiao went over and pinched her little face, smilingly saying, yeah. For treasures reveals a smile, Chang Xiao with a doting face puts her leg back into the sleeping bag, before putting it in, and in attention, was kicked directly in the face by four treasures. He sucked in a mouthful of cool air from the pain. This child, the strength is really big ah, can catch up with Debeo and Sanbao two little boys. Kick to the father, the four treasure even more energetic, happy, and do not want. Chang Xiao directly hand fixed her in the sleeping bag, completely did not give her the opportunity to react. When she came back to her senses, her little body was already in the sleeping bag. Oof. 10,000 displeasure from was reflected on her face. It was probably going to be a woohoo cry in the next moment. Can't move, can you? Your trick doesn't work on me anymore. Go to sleep. Look at your older siblings are all asleep. You're the only one who's still making noise as a little night owl. Debeo and the others lay there honestly, sleeping soundly. Seeing that fourth treasure was slow to sleep, she could only pick her up and walk around in a circle, coaxing. As expected, this method is still very useful, after walking around three times, she fell asleep. Gently put on the bed, Shang Xiao yawned. Sleepy eyelids cannot open. Activating the sleep stealing skills, he quickly fell asleep. The next morning, the couple ate breakfast and headed to the store together. 
Song Mianyang didn't have a class this morning, only in the afternoon. Wang Jing also arrived early in the morning. He didn't go back to school and stayed in a hotel for the night, just like Song Mianyang, he didn't have classes in the morning. Brother, the baking tools will be sent over later. Wang Jing said. Chang Xiao nodded. These tools could only fit in the back room when they arrived, otherwise there was no other space. The time was almost 8 o'clock, ready for business. Chang Xiao looked at Wang Jing and said, The batch I ordered will arrive soon, go over together later and load another batch of goods over here, the store doesn't have enough to sell. The main he still has to sign. Okay, no problem. Wang Jing shouted to send the baking tools on time, the staff took the initiative to install before leaving. Huh, not bad ah, uh, I thought it would take up a lot of space. Looking at the installed tools, Wang Jing laughed. The pattern looked quite large. Chang Xiao nodded. This is just right and won't look too crowded in the house. Looking at the time, it was already 8 o'clock. Go, go out, it's open for business. Good. Song Mianian was already standing inside the cash register, the children's strollers were placed behind her. Several babies were looking around with curious eyes. Customers walked in one by one. It was just opening and it was morning, so there weren't many people. Wang Jing took the flyers and went out, yelling outside. This thing has to be handed out for at least a week continuously. Cheng Xiao also went out, first handing out together, and then help when there are more people in the store. I will find a time to go to pull the goods later. At noon and then do some small dessert or what, customers to buy things, send some out. To do business, you must be able to come to things, so you can keep a lot of repeat customers. The two people were outside handing out flyers, the efficiency was good, plus Cheng Xiao had a handsome handsome face and could talk, the people who passed by couldn't help but enter the store after taking a look. This handsome guy is so handsome. A girl passing by cupped her face with both hands. Just don't look, he's married and has a wife and kids. The black girl next to her said. How do you know that? I went into this store yesterday, and several of their children are there. Especially cute. Speaking of this, the girl in black revealed an aunt's smile. For babies, all with high face value, especially one of the smaller female babies, still so small. Her face value was simply amazing, her big eyes flickering. Will also smile at people. Seeing this smile, it was embarrassing to go in and not buy anything. Really? The girl asked, simply cannot believe, so young and so handsome people so early married and had children. Too bad. As for any kids or no kids, she wasn't interested. Boing boing. It's so hard to meet a handsome guy and actually get married. It's hard to bear. Really, why would I lie to you, I'll take you to see and find out. The two walked into the store, and at a glance, they noticed four strollers behind the cash register. Four. The girl's eyes widened in shock. Yeah. Didn't I just say a couple? These babies are so cute. The girl in black laughed. The girl didn't realize that in reality, there were actually people having four children. This was too scary. The one at the cashier is someone's wife, so pretty and with a good body. The girl in black envied. Both of you, may I help you? Song Mianyang looked at the two standing there and thought they were unable to find where something was, so she went forward and asked. Ah, uh, that, boss lady, we came over to see the baby and buy some kid clothes on the way to give to our relatives. The girl in black smiled awkwardly. The clothes are over there, follow me. Song Mianian smiled faintly and walked towards the children's clothing area. How old is your relative's child? She asked. The girl in black thought for a moment and said, almost five months. A boy or a girl? Boy. Song Mianyang smiled and picked up the small clothes hanging on one of the shelves. How about you take a look at this one? My child also wears this brand. The quality is very good. It's completely safe. Girl in black. I'll take this one then. The girl next to her asked, Boss lady, are all four of those babies yours? She still wanted to confirm. Song Mianyang nodded, yes. Can we take a picture with the babies? The girl in black excitedly said, I'll help publicize your store in my circle of friends. Sure. Okay, thanks. After buying the clothes, the girl in black looked toward the four babies, then squatted in front of the stroller and asked Song Mianyang to take a picture for her. Several babies looked at this big sister curiously. After taking the picture, the girl in black looked at the photo in her phone, her eyes full of stars. It's too cute isn't it? The little eyes were super cute. Even looking through the screen is super likable, when she gets married in the future, she will also have a baby this cute. Look, cute, right? She shows the photo to the girl beside her. The girl started to think that it was too bad that Chung Xiao got married so early, but now that she saw his wife and the babies, she completely changed her opinion. This is what people call having a good eye and getting married before it's too late. I have to say, the babies are really super cute. Cheng Zhao's side of the flyers were almost sent out, and the delivery person just called him to hurry to sign. Honey, I'm going to pick up the goods with Wang Jing, I'll be back later. Good. The two drove the van towards the warehouse. This time, the wholesale was a lot more than last time, so they were afraid that there wouldn't be enough goods, plus a bunch of new wholesale stuff. 
Wang Jing saw this full pile and smacked his lips in surprise, brother, you wholesaled a bit more this time, the warehouse is not going to be stuffed, in order to prevent shortages, you have to be well prepared, hurry up and move it, in a short while, the two of them filled up the van, alright, go back, at this time, the store was busy, Song Mian Yang realized how hard it was to work alone, her hands never stopped, cashier, packing, customers do not know what you have to introduce and so on, there are too many customers, there are always a couple of nuisances to find fault, most of them are still good, see someone looking for trouble will come over to defend her. Cheng Xiao parked the truck in front of the door, then opened the container, and Wang Jing together to move the goods one box by one box inside. Several customers didn't buy and were still waiting there. The young couple is so happy, so envious. Yes, in fact, this kind of ordinary life is the best, do some small business by yourself, bring your children. Really envious, unlike me, every day like a yellow face, at home with children, but also by the husband's anger. That's right, my husband is also, thinking that bringing up children is just playing and doing housework at home, I don't know how tiring it is. Yeah, he even had a fight with me the other day. Several moms were spitting on their own husbands together. You can see how long the resentment has been building up. It's hard to meet baby moms in the same situation, how can we not discuss it? This is also more of a topic of conversation. Spit it out and feel better in your heart. Song Myanian listened to their discussion from the side and felt more and more that she was really lucky to have met such a good husband as Chang Xiao. You can go home and not have to do anything. Boss lady, usually at home is the child brought up by you couple together? Or are you alone? At this time, a baby mama suddenly asked. Song Myanian froze for a moment, then smiled slightly, my husband is bringing it up. You do the cooking and housework? No, it's also my husband who does it. Wow, your husband is too good too. Bao Ma envied. This is busy with the store during the day, and go back at night to bring the child to cook and do housework. How many men can do this? Other than envy, I don't know what to say. No wonder the figure is so good, a woman favored by her husband, can it be bad? Chang Xiao had already hung up the clothes and stuff, and also uploaded some new things. Now everyone can buy. The three of them were busy until noon before they were free. After eating, he hurriedly ordered some flour, eggs, light cream and whatnot, as well as small disposable boxes for the cake. When the stuff arrived, he hurriedly got on with it. Not long after the dessert came out of the oven. Cupcakes. The rich aroma of the cake wafted out, and Song Mian Yang craved it. It smells so good. Cheng Xiao brought out a small plate and put it on the cash register, smiling. Specially reserved for you. Cheng Xiao clearly saw her eyes light up and picked up one to eat. Don't choke, eat slowly, and no one is robbing with you, later you go to school I'll load some for you to go over, in the afternoon when you're hungry to pad your stomach. Cheng Xiao rubbed her head. This scene happened to be seen by Wang Jing. It's simply a 100,000 times blitz ah. Another dog food abuse technique. These two, spreading dog food every day, do they still let people live? Bullying him for not having a girlfriend, isn't it? Brother, next time before you show love with Mr. Song like no one is watching, can you consider the feelings of single dogs? Wang Jing had a sad face. This is to be abused every day. It's not even enough to be abused by a few roommates at school, but you still have to be abused at work. Alas, it's too hard. Cheng Xiao glanced at him, can't. Seeing color and forgetting friends. These four words came to Wang Jing's mind. He had wanted to try the dessert made by Cheng Xiao, but this instantly lost his appetite. It's almost time, I have to go to school. Wang Jing glanced at his cell phone time. There was still an hour and a half left. Song Myanian finished eating the dessert, Cheng Xiao filled another box for her to take with her, it just so happens that Miss Song is also going, she's driving. Not far from the school entrance. Teacher Song, please. Wang Jing hurriedly got out of the car. Song Yan nodded, didn't say anything, parked the car in the school's parking space and headed to the office. Hey, is that Teacher Song? At this time, not far away, a few teachers came this way and recognized Song Myanian at a glance. That car turned out to be a mess. Song's ah? Teacher Wang was incredulous. He had seen this car before and thought that it belonged to another teacher in the school, but he didn't expect that it was actually Mr. Song. This this this. Teacher Lee said, I recognize this car, it must be over 200,000 at least. Teacher Song's husband is too good to be true. Buying her a car alone, or such an expensive one, envious. Teacher Wan was simply envious. More than $200,000 is more expensive for us, but not for others. Teacher Rome on the side said. Next to her, Teacher Meng Yan suddenly said, Strange, why do I think this car looks so familiar? She seemed to have watched who drove it. Why do you say that, Teacher Meng Yan? Teacher Wang was puzzled. Oh, I remember, last time I saw Chang Xiao from Mr. Song's class driving this car to school, I didn't look closely at the license plate number, I think it should be. Teacher Meng Yan was certain. Teacher Li frowned, it can't be, right? Could you have misread it? I didn't misread it, it's indeed this one. 
You also said that the license plate number wasn't looked at carefully, could it be the same car and just bumped into it, after all, Volkswagen models all look similar. Mr. Wang also said, teacher Meng Yan thought about it, it could be that I'm looking at it wrong, however, isn't student Chang Xiao an orphan? He was also seen part-time delivering couriers before, where did he get the money to buy a car? Teacher Rong said, this question was worth pondering. Teacher Wang laughed, it's probably the wife's capital that he saved by himself for so many years. Speaking of this, several teachers talked about Chang Xiao not coming to class after the exam. This student is good at everything, but he is too capricious in his studies, he comes when he wants to, and doesn't come when he wants to. Teacher Lee said helplessly, school bully, inevitably capricious, this exam is the first place, cannot be capricious? The school bully doesn't have to be like this, if you study hard, you might do better. In the office. Saw Myanian just sat down not long ago, a few teachers just happened to walk in, Mr. Wang came over and said, Teacher Son, look at your happy face, you must have had a very nourishing life in the past few days. With a husband who cooks so well, can you not be moist? It's okay. Not bad? We're so envious, did your husband buy you a car? Son Myanian was a bit embarrassed and nodded, uh huh. This is nothing to hide, the car was originally parked at the school, the teachers are not blind. On the other hand, Chang Xiao was busy. The afternoon has not been idle, but also fortunately the babies are more obedient, do not cry and do not make noise, seems to know that dad is busy, in addition to hungry and urine will not say a word. He made a lot of small snacks, buy something full of 200 to give a free, especially delicious kind, customers are getting more and more, a lot of are rushing to eat. What this boss made was simply even better than the dessert stores. Everyone take it easy, one by one. Cheng Xiao said loudly, standing at the cashier's desk and maintaining order in an organized manner. Then one by one, the cashier packed the bags. This is better, not too chaotic. Just before, because there was no order, some customers were anxious and would cause some small friction. After working all afternoon, Song Myanian rushed back after class, helping out. At the closing time in the evening, Zhang Xiao said, this won't work, take a look at the recruitment website at night and hire two people. Tianyi Street was originally a place with particularly high traffic, with new traffic injected every day, and even if it wasn't repeat customers, there were many who came here for the first time. It was busy every day. Saturdays and Sundays are even more horrible. Before going to bed, Chang Xiao opened his cell phone and looked at the recruitment information. Finally selected two people. One has a few years of experience, and the other is a fresh graduate. Come over for an interview tomorrow. After reading it, Chang Xiao counted the turnover of today and yesterday. It added up to more than half a million dollars. It's already made over a million dollars. Song Mianyang was surprised to see that in just four days, she had made a million or so. Before, her teacher's salary was only about 15 to 20,000, a month is not enough at all, every day is worried about the rent milk powder, they cannot afford to spend, and not so much money to satisfy themselves. Just a short month, earn so much, set out probably no one believe. She felt like she was dreaming. Hubby, you've worked hard. If it wasn't for Chang Xiao, maybe she would still be in that old neighborhood, going to work every day and bringing up her baby. What's hard work? This is the result of us working together. Chang Xiao pinched her little face. Okay, go to sleep, it's getting late. People still have to come for interviews tomorrow. The next day, after breakfast, the couple was about to go out when Song Nian Nian said, Hubby, mom is coming over later, why don't you open the door later? Good. Chang Xiao nodded. Song Qin came over not long after she left. After saying hello, the first time she went to see the babies. The babies are already more than three months old and barely have a bit of memory, except for four treasures who won't let anyone touch them. The other three are still willing, but also toys to tempt. Xiao Chang, how's the store's business these days? Holding to Bao, Song Qin asked with a smile. She felt that it must be a bit difficult when she had just opened. Pretty good. That's good. It's just as well that I'm coming over. Go take a look to go. Good. Tianyi Street was not far away. It was only a 20 minute walk. When they arrived at their destination, looking at this high class store in front of them, Song Qin sighed in admiration. Not bad, really good. First of all, the decoration outside is quite nice, especially that plaque, it looks good. Open the door, see the inside of the store, clean and dry, all aspects are very good. Song Qin walked into the store, and after taking a turn, she was full of praise. Getting praise from his mother-in-law, Chang Xiao smiled slightly. This guy Wang Jing is usually unreliable, but I didn't expect to find a good decorator. Being able to attract customers in, the store decoration was also one aspect. Of course, the biggest attraction was the babies. Right now, they were earning themselves milk powder money. Song Qin had already gone to that room at the back of the store and was surprised. Xiao Chang, what's this? That's a tool used to make desserts. The store just opened. Make some delicious food to give to customers for free. Shang Xiao laughed. This method is good. It can retain repeat customers. 
Song Qi nodded, that's the way to do business. However, Chang, you still know how to make desserts? Yeah, I learned it from a friend who owns a cake store before, and it just came in handy. Not bad. Song Qin felt that Chung Xiao was really good at doing business, taking everything into consideration. If she were Mian Mian, she would never have thought of this. Alright, there's a customer, go get busy, I'll take the babies. Okay, mom. The one who came in was a pregnant woman with a big belly, it looked like the due date should be coming up soon. Hello, ma'am, how can I help you? Chang Xiao smiled and went forward. Hello, my child is about to be born, I want to buy something for him and a waiting bag. With such a big belly, your husband still lets you come out alone to buy things? Speaking of this, the pregnant woman's eyes darkened a bit, he's too busy, he doesn't have time. Chang Xiao frowned, not knowing what could be more important than his wife and child, but he can't care too much about people's business as an outsider. Back to the main topic, buying things. Looking at so many of them, the pregnant woman was torn. For the child's things, you have to prepare clothes, wraps, small gloves, hats and the like, except for the wraps, there are clothes and other things in the maternity bag. This is a baby bottle, there are plastic and glass bottles, it's up to you to choose. The pregnant woman took the two bottles in her hands, looked left and right, a little torn, and finally chose the glass bottle. Then she bought two small wrapped quilts, one thin and one thick, and took another waiting bag. She did not expect that a man actually knows so much, simply more than she a woman. After thinking about it, she asked with some curiosity, are you the boss or an employee? It feels like you know a lot about this ah. The store is owned by me, I'm married and have a child, so that gives me some experience. Hearing that Cheng Xiao was married, the pregnant woman was surprised, you're already married? Can't tell. She only felt that Cheng Xiao looked like a student, looking especially young, where does he look like a baby daddy? That's my child over there. Cheng Xiao smiled and pointed to the four baby strollers not far away. The pregnant woman was shocked again, your wife gave birth to four? Yes, quadruplets. That's too impressive, isn't it? Do you have the kids every day? Well, she has to work. That's great, envious. Envy was written all over the pregnant woman's face. Unlike her, her husband was either traveling or on business, sometimes not even a phone call. Yesterday, when he said he was due, he hurriedly hung up the phone again, citing work as the reason. So, seeing other people's husbands being so considerate, she was especially envious. Is your husband busy? He doesn't care about you even when you're about to give birth. He travels a lot and comes home very rarely. The pregnant woman sighed. Cheng Xiao really didn't expect that there was actually such a person, and the scariest thing was that such a man could still find a wife. After settling the bill, looking at her back as she left, Cheng Xiao sighed. This is life, in reality, there are countless families like this, and you can't control them even if you want to. Just after the pregnant woman left, a woman wearing high heels and a professional outfit opened the door and walked in. Are you Mr. Chang? The woman asked. It's me, are you the one from the recruitment network? Yes, my name is Lin Yin. After her self-introduction, Chang Xiao understood that Lin Yan had several years of work experience and used to work in real estate sales. There was naturally no problem with her temperament, and almost at a glance, one could tell that this person's ability was not low. Not only because of the dress, unique temperament can be seen. Chang Xiao asked, when can you come to work? Any time. Not long after, another young man walked in, quite clean looking, looks like he just got out of school not long ago. He was about the same age as him. This was the second person he recruited, named Zhang Yu. Wang Jing can take over his job when he is not here. With two people, it can reduce a lot of pressure. The customers coming in every day were just too many, and if he wanted to develop in many ways in the future, he still had to recruit people. After passing the interview, there is a half-month trial period before determining if the person can be used. Lin Yan really deserves to be experienced, Cheng Xiao slightly told her about the price and other things, and understood in seconds. Customers come directly to the hand, especially professional. When the time comes, these two people help out, and he just sits at the front desk to cashier and take care of the kids. Easy a lot. In the morning, people gradually more and more, the two divided labor, Zhang Yu went outside to send flyers, Lin Yan do sales. Chang Xiao is responsible for cashier packing. The child is behind him, his open small eyes dripping look at it, hear the sound, it is called a happy. I'm so happy to hear the sound of the voice. Cheng Xiao purposely adjusted the bottom of the stroller a little higher with the remote control, allowing the babies to see out of the cash register. Wow, these babies are so cute. At this time, a customer said with some excitement. Yeah, adorable. If only I had a son, I'm envious. Good thinking, look at how high the face value of other people's babies is, you can't give birth to such a good looking one even if you were allowed to give birth. The people next to them laughed. Many basically came for the quadruplets. Regardless of whether they buy something or not, they are satisfied with a glance. It always gave people an urge to have a baby. Looking at how many people there were, Song Qin was surprised, 
completely not expecting this son-in-law of hers to open a store and have such a good business. Busy and busy all. She doesn't know much about opening a store, so she was afraid to cause trouble for her son-in-law, so she sat next to the stroller and teased the baby. Yeah. A bunch of very pretty ladies came in, DeBeo was very happy, his little legs stomped and stomped, humming. From time to time, he smiled at others. Cute as hell. Cheng Xiao looks at him while cashiering, somewhat helpless. This child, cannot restrain some. Song Qin also saw it, some tears and laughter, dare this child is to see other people's beautiful sister is so excited ah. Just how old is the child, how do you know everything? Alas, that baby is looking at me, and smiling at me. At this time, in front of the cash register, a quite pretty little girl pointed in DeBeo's direction and laughed at her bestie beside her. The bestie beside her also nodded and smiled, yes hey, it's really cute, adorable. And the other three, so cute too, I love it. The two people frankly also heard the name of the quadruplets, over to take a look, small babies, and so on they like the most, especially the face value is so high. If you buy something back and can't use it now, it's a big deal to hoard it, and it's not too late to use it when you get married and have kids. Seeing the two beautiful sisters reaching out to greet themselves, DeBeo happily shook his little hand, as if in response, his little legs stomped and stomped, thieves happy. This is too cute. I want to steal it so badly. The young lady's heart was going to be adorable. When checking out, she even asked Cheng Xiao, boss, how many months old is your child? More than three months. Ah, uh, just over three months and he's so understanding. The young lady sighed. The child's father's face value is also high, no wonder the children are so good looking. I'm envious to death. Who isn't? If I were to give birth to such a cute baby, I would be willing to do anything. The two of them talked and went out of the store, and before they left, they reluctantly glanced in the direction of the baby. It was just that these little babies were so cute. They loved it. The two were working as kindergarten teachers, and had seen many children, and such a cute and high value one, to be honest, they really hadn't seen them before. There were also good looking ones, but compared to these kids, they were heaven and earth. However, the child's face value also depends on the parents, for example, the child's father is very handsome, the child can be worse where? After working all morning, Chang Xiao also observed that, except for Zhang Yu who was a bit rusty, Lin Yan could be considered to be very familiar, being used to the sales industry, she was not flustered by all this. Almost said once she remembered. Everything is organized, let Chang Xiao save a lot of heartache. On the other hand, Song Myanian finished the morning class, hungry and ready to go to the cafeteria to eat something to make up for it, the door bumped into Mr. Wang and Mr. Li. The two were relatively close and often traveled together. Teacher Song, you came to the cafeteria to eat too. This was something a mess. Wang didn't expect, she thought Song Myanian ate all her meals directly at home. After all, there was a husband who was waiting at home to make delicious meals with his own hands, so what was the point of eating something so unpalatable in the cafeteria? Song Myanian nodded, yeah, after a morning of classes, I'm hungry. Then your husband, he, he's been rather busy these past two days, I don't want to trouble him. Teacher Lee asked, oh, that's right, he's working too? What about the baby? My mom is at home to help bring it up. Song Yang smiled. The matter of opening a store cannot be said now, in case these two say on a whim that they want to go and take a look. It would be troublesome if they revealed themselves at that time. Since you're so busy, there's no way to dine at your house. Mister. Wang had a look of regret. Song Mianyang smiled awkwardly, you can come over sometime in the future, you're always welcome. Really? Teacher Wang's eyes glowed, when you have time one day, remember to notify me and Teacher Li, don't forget. In order to have a bite of delicious food, it was really a fight. Teacher Li at the side couldn't stand to watch this foodie. Okay. Agreed Song Mianyan. Teacher Song, let's sit and eat together. Good. The two of them, Teacher Wang, hadn't eaten with Song Mianyan in the cafeteria for a long time. Today there are actually braised baby back ribs, the cafeteria ant is too good. Teacher Wang smiled and said. Teacher Li directly chucked a piece of ribs into her mouth, eat your meal, so much nonsense. Hey, no matter how delicious it is, it can't compare to a mess. Song her husband's sweet and sour pork chops, I still feel a lingering aftertaste. Taking a bite of the braised baby back ribs, Mr. Wang sighed. Said Song Myanian was quite embarrassed. Eh, Teacher Song, what kind of work does your husband do? She forgot to ask last time, so Rich, must have a good job. Song Myanian said casually, doing business. This was nothing to say out loud. Wow. Doing business? What kind of business? Selling mother and baby products. Not bad. The three of them chatted for a while, finished their meal, said hello and Song Myanian left. She had to hurry back to help. By the time she got to the store, it wasn't busy anymore. Chang Xiao was saying something to a rather pretty woman. The woman kept nodding her head. Seemingly guessing something, she smiled and walked over, hubby, I'm back. Honey, why are you so early today, have you eaten yet? 
Chang Xiao rubbed her head and introduced Lin Yan to her. This is the salesperson that I found on the recruitment website yesterday, Lin Yan. Lin Yan, this is my wife, Song Mianian. Lin Yan looked at Song Mianian. She totally didn't expect the boss's wife to be so pretty and super temperament. Before she thought her looks were good enough. When compared to others, the gap came out. Can't help but be a little envious. People have families and children. They have fought for so many years, nothing. And there is a nibbling sister's brother from time to time to ask for money. After the introduction of both sides, Song Mianian quickly went to the cash register to see the babies. It's been a morning, and I can't stop thinking about it. As soon as the babies saw their mom, they couldn't contain their happiness. Their little legs kicked and kicked, and the four treasures, who didn't have much expression all morning, followed with a smile. Babies, did you miss mommy? Song Mianian kissed them one by one. Yeah. For treasures was the most excited. Seeing her mom come over, she grabbed her collar and pouted her lips. Knowing at a glance what this little guy wanted to do, Song Mianian picked it up, turned her back to it and breastfed it. But finally got to drink the milk, for treasure a strong drink. Maybe thinking of more drink, tomorrow and a long time cannot drink. Song Mianian was heartbroken. She had to work, everything was out of her control. Wife, are you hungry? Chang Xiao asked again. I ate at the school cafeteria, I'm okay now. Song Qin happened to come out from the room behind the store, smiled and said, I'll go buy it, just so I can take a look around this side of the street. This side was so much more lively than the streets over in the old neighborhood, with people coming and going. There was everything for sale. Mom, are you going? I'll join you, just in time to show you around. Song Mian Yang proposed. Take the babies out to have a look as well, it's not good to be stuffed in the store every day. Hubby, then I'll go with mom. I'll take the babies with me ha. Huh? Song Mianian smiled. Chang Xiao nodded, go. Mother and daughter pushed the babies out of the store, one person pushing two carts. It had to be said that the babies were really blowing up the street once they were pushed out. There was already a lot of foot traffic, and once the quadruplets were in the picture, the turnaround rate was super high. The eyes of people passing by have glanced to this side. I look ago, for children, so cute ah, is it quadruplets ah? A look is, too cute. In the end what parents can give birth to such cute children ah? A few girls' eyes glanced this way, their eyes filled with stars. It was the first time they had seen quadruplets. I got so lucky on my first visit today, is it a hint to let me get married and have kids earlier? One of the girls cupped her face and said. Side of the little sister said, you cannot think about it, every day said to look for objects, also did not see you find, the family to introduce you also do not go to see, people boys chasing you still hide, you still look for objects like this, the elephant does not take care of you. That's right. Didn't I introduce my friend's brother to you last time? The appointment was in the restaurant, you actually run away from the battle, let others pigeon, causing me to be my friend Emil to say. I, I'm also. You guys know how it is. Son Mianian pushed the babies and headed inside the street, where there was the most variety of food. Son Qin looked at the surroundings and laughed. Xiao Chang is quite good at choosing places, it's very nice. Speaking of this, Song Mianian was quite happy, earning more than a million dollars in four days, no one would probably believe it if they said it. Apart from the rent, the rest was their pure profit. The mother and daughter skipped around, and were the center of attention everywhere they went. Several babies were looking around, looking at this and that, full of curiosity. Debeo just couldn't change this little habit of looking at pretty young ladies, seeing people passing by, he would look at them twice more. Inexplicably happy. When Song Qin saw this, she wanted to laugh at the thought, Debeo was really like a little person, he still knows how to look at pretty girls. Song Mianian was a bit teary-eyed. Even she, as a mom, didn't know what was going on in her son's mind. It was as if he knew everything. Second treasure and fourth treasure had been chewing on their fingers, half lying in the stroller, looking around from time to time. At this time, there was a group of people standing not far away, talking. Alas? Look, isn't that the owner's wife of the newly opened mom and pop store over there? With quadruplets. It was, is there anyone else on this street with quadruplets? This boss's wife is so elegant, so pretty. Yeah, no wonder the kids are so good looking. I'm really envious of her devilish figure. It's useless to envy her, she probably just can't get fat. Last time I went to their store, her husband's face value is also high, proper handsome ah, TSK. While several people were talking, Song Mianian had already brought the children into a dumpling store. The owner of the dumpling store was coaxing the children to drink milk, Song Mianian pushed four baby strollers in, and she froze for a moment. Then she hurriedly entertained. What do you two need to order? Two pork dumplings. When the dumplings were served, the boss's wife asked, Beauty, are these quadruplets? Yes. Song Mianian replied politely. Your family's children are too good looking. The boss's wife felt like she liked it so much just by looking at it that she suddenly began to dislike this dark-skinned son of hers. Look at how other people's children look, white and good looking. Compared to others, it's simply a heaven and a earth, there's no comparison at all. 
Song Myanian smiled, thank you, can I tease the babies? The boss's wife asked shyly, sure. The baby's eyes were filled with curiosity when they saw the somewhat dark-skinned aunt. Beauty, these four children of yours, it must not be easy to bring them up, it's also too hard, I'm exhausted every day bringing one up. The boss's wife sighed, she was well aware of the hardships of bringing up children. Song Myanian laughed, usually it's my husband who brings them up, I have to go to work. Then is your husband only responsible for bringing up the child? Or, the boss's wife was surprised, it was the first time she had heard of letting a man to bring up the child woman to support the family. No, my husband opened a small store to watch the children and sell some things. How nice. The boss's wife was envious. Sure enough, good husbands are from other people's homes. After saying that, as if she remembered something, she asked, the small store your boss opened wouldn't be the mother and baby store that just opened in the center of the street, right? I heard that business was booming, opened for a few days, and had a steady stream of customers every day, so I guess it made a lot of money. The several mom and pop stores next to it had their business taken away. The main reason was that a few of the other people's babies were appealing. Song Mianyan nodded and smiled, yes, business is so good, why do you still go out to work? Isn't it good to do business properly? The boss's wife didn't understand. Maybe it's because of liking that job. At that moment, a customer arrived and the boss's wife hurriedly went about her business. Song Qin was also a bit puzzled, Mian Mian, people are also right, the situation, you really don't need to go to school anymore, isn't it good for the two of you to do business together? Song Mian Mian helplessly said, Mom, I came to this school is also for another teacher substitute class, since promised people, we have to keep the promise, halfway out of the people how to look at me ah, then how long will it take? You're running back and forth from school every day, don't you feel bad? I don't know, probably another month. After eating the dumplings, the two of them turned around for a while and went back to the store. This would already be busy, but the three of them were dividing the work well. Just like this, she was idle. The baby was already asleep, and Song Qin hurriedly pushed them into the back room for an afternoon nap. Song Myanian came to the cashier and said, Hubby, I'll join you. Good. It was much easier for the couple to pack one and cashier the other. Soon, two-thirds of the goods that had been prepared full were sold. At three o'clock in the afternoon, Wang Jing came late in a hurry. Brother, it's late. As soon as Wang Jing came in, he kept gasping for air. Did something happen? For a few days this guy had always been the most punctual. Today it was more than an hour late. Listening to his explanation, it turned out that the guy took a cab over, and that driver turned the corner to avoid the truck and almost drove the car into the lake, which scared him so much that he almost had a heart attack. Fortunately, he braked in time, or he was really sent away. Take a cab next time, online taxi is not safe. Shang Xiao had some sympathy. But this luck is considered okay, luckily it didn't fall into the river. You sit over there first and take a rest. There was no way to get into work now. Song Myanian listened to a little scared, if she, at that time, probably scared to death, would still have the heart to come over. She admired Wang Jing's courage. Half an hour later, Wang Jing seems to be recovering well, came over and grinned, brother, when did you recruit this? Today over, after you are not in people can replace your work, the goods are almost gone, hurry to the warehouse to pull a little too. Good Lu. Wang Jing answered, rush to pull goods. Afternoon is also busy, that point one third of the goods soon gone, did not grab the still waiting. Has been busy Lin Yan observed a day, this business is really good, she did so many years of sales, not seen a store just open business is so good. In addition to meal times may be idle, other time are busy receiving customers. The customers were willing to wait in the same place when the goods were gone. If other stores were like this, the big deal would be to choose to go to another store to buy. She was a bit confused as to why, obviously the prices were similar, why would customers be attracted in? Was it because of a couple of babies? Or was it the face value of the owner and his wife? This was the first time in all her years of sales that she couldn't see the pattern. Couldn't figure it out. She also felt that the business of this store, there is no need to invite any sales over to grind their teeth, it is the customers themselves sent to the door. This daily sale she did not dare to think. From the morning until the afternoon, in addition to the noon meeting, all the time there are customers come in, the most exaggerated is that the crowd cannot be squeezed in. Over there, Wang Jing quickly pulled a cart of goods, Zhang Yu and Lin Yan rushed over to help move together. Afterward, Lin Yan arranged the things one by one, and the clothes were hung on the shelves. Recruiting people is really much more convenient. Wang Jing stood at the cash register, smiling. As if remembering something, he asked, how are the sales these past few days? A total of over a million dollars. Crap. Bro, did I hear it right? Over a million dollars? To say that that half a million in the first two days he could still accept it a little bit, it would definitely fall off later, after all, everyone should have bought it, and the total was only 800,000 or 900,000, but he didn't expect that it had already broken through a million. A little scary. Hair hair hair. 
Calm down, hurry up and go to the door to hand out flyers, Chang Xiao said breathlessly. In his heart, he had already started calculating the dividend. At this time, Song Mianian, who was packing on the side, glanced at her cell phone and said to Cheng Xiao, Hubby, I'll go outside to take a call. Good. Outside. Hello? Neon Neon, how have you been these past few days? Every time I have to take the initiative to contact you, it's really not righteous enough to be a good girlfriend. The one who called was Manli, her tone full of complaints. Song Mian Mian smiled embarrassedly, I've been too busy, haven't I? Come on, don't use your going to work to bring up the kids as an excuse. I won't listen I won't listen, you just don't want to call me. Manli grunted, not believing her. Okay, okay, I'll treat you to dinner next time, don't be angry. Song Mianian pacified her. Manli scared, Song Mianian, are you on the wrong medication? You actually took the initiative to apologize to me, it's really a long time to live, sure enough, having a husband is different. I'll go to your house tomorrow, I haven't seen the babies for a long time, I miss them so much. After a minute, not hearing Song Mianian respond, Manli said, what's wrong? Not happy about me going to your house? No, there's something I want to talk to you about. Speak directly. The other day, I met up with Lu Fei. Lu Fei was the one I met at the studio for the 100-day photo shoot earlier. What's the situation? Hasn't that woman disappeared? How can she still have the nerve to appear in front of you after harming you like that last year? Speaking of this matter, Manli also came to be angry. She herself was not fond of drinking, but also dragged innocent people with her. Otherwise, it would not have caused her good sister to get pregnant inexplicably. Song Mianli sighed, looking at that situation of hers, it seems like she's not having a very good time either. Whatever, she that deserved it, well, let's not talk about this, I'll go over tomorrow, remember to greet this palace oh, mwahaha. The phone hangs up. Hubby, tomorrow Manli comes over to see the babies. At the cash register, Song Mianian looked at Cheng Xiao and said. Cheng Xiao smiled, my wife is in charge, I'm not asking. Saying it in front of so many people, Song Mianian couldn't help her face from turning red and hurriedly lowered her head. Wife, you get busy first, I'll go make something. Shang Xiao rubbed his head. Not long after, another bunch of small desserts came out of the oven, and the scent wafted throughout the store. Today, they made other new patterns, and purposely left some for Song Mianyang and Lin Yan, while the rest were given to the customers. Wang Jing this goods immediately in the outside yell by things free gift snacks, and also brought a little out to give people a taste, so everyone rushed to snacks to buy things. It didn't take long for all the snacks to be given away. Some customers asked, Boss, where did you buy this dim sum? It's so delicious. Yes, can you tell us about it? Cheng Xiao smiled faintly, I made them all myself. The crowd was surprised, a boss who owns a mom and pop store actually has this craft. Bullish. A baker turned professional, right? Made it yourself? It's too awesome, right? I feel like it's even better than the dessert stores. Yeah, I feel the same, I was lucky enough to eat it once yesterday, I came late today and didn't grab it. The scent still lingered in the air, tickling these people's cravings. Boss, you make desserts so delicious, why don't you just open a dessert store, we'll definitely support it. That's right. Boss, is there any more today? Someone asked. Cheng Xiao shook his head, sorry, only once a day, no more can only be tomorrow. Everyone was a bit regretful and quickly left after buying something. This was busy until 10 o'clock in the evening before closing. Before leaving, he said to Lin Yan and Zhang Yu, come over early tomorrow to fill out the resume and entry form, and be safe on the road. Okay. After the two left, Wang Jing excitedly said, Brother, how much is today's turnover? Haven't counted it yet, I think. It's about $300,000. So much. Wang Jing's eyes widened. Not sure yet, count it to know. Well okay, it's getting late. I'll take a taxi to find a hotel nearby to stay. Go. After Wang Jing left, Chang Xiao then noticed that Song Mian Mian beside him was out of sorts and asked with a smile, What's wrong wife? Today, MS. Wang and the girls told me they wanted to come over and have some fun, I said you were busy and refused them, isn't that not good? The main reason was that the store was right here, and it was quite inconvenient to be busy, and she couldn't entertain them properly. Then there was the fact that she was also afraid of revealing herself. Her relationship with Chang Xiao could be publicized in front of people outside the school, but not in the school. Unless she stopped substitute teaching and stopped being a teacher. It is legal for school students to get married, after all, they are adults and the law does not restrict it. Cheng Xiao said, there's nothing wrong with it, ah, uh, isn't it a normal answer? It was already busy, your best friend that is better with you, come must entertain. What is in this little woman's head all day long? Seeing this silly little look of hers, I couldn't help but pinch her face that had grown some flesh. Well, the hand feel was not bad. Alright, let's go back, it's getting late. Mother-in-law also packed up the baby's things, and the three of them drove in the direction of home. The children were sleeping soundly and snoring a little. Once they arrived home, they all woke up when they heard the commotion. Probably a little hungry, one after another began to hum. 
Song Mianian put down her things and came over to coax them one by one. Cheng Xiao, on the other hand, went to rinse the milk powder. Okay, babies don't cry, daddy is going to rinse the milk for you, don't cry huh? Among the several babies, only the second baby cried the most ferociously, the eldest three babies soon stopped crying and began to gnaw on the hands and hands, the fourth baby blinked his eyes and looked at his mother, his eyes full of anticipation. Song Mianian's heart ached, picked her up and fed her first. After feeding her, she picked up the second baby and fed her. I didn't realize that this child is used to drinking milk powder, very resistant to breast milk, simply not willing to drink, tilted his head to the side, a look that if you force me to drink again, I will cry to you. Song Mianian had to give up. Soon, the milk powder is ready, the couple feed one by one. Song Qin also rushed over to help, feeding big baby. Only after drinking the milk powder did it subside. You several little ones, a moment did not drink to, will not let, no mom and dad every day how tired ah, mom after work but also busy coaxing you. Song Qin thought about it and was quite distressed, but there was nothing she could do about it. Who let the birth of four children at once? For children is not something that an ordinary person can bring up, and if they don't have a strong mental capacity, they would have collapsed a long time ago. Neon Neon was able to pull through by sheer force of will. Now that the child has a father, it's better. However, the father is also young, have to take on such a responsibility, are not easy. Now he could only try his best to bring up the children. Mom, you're also tired for the whole day, go take a bath and rest. Song Mian Yang said. Song Qin nodded, good, it's not early, you guys hurry up too. Before going to bed, the couple discussed about Monli coming over tomorrow. In the morning, they first went to open the door, and left the business matters to Wang Jinglin Yan and the others first. He and Song Mian Yan would entertain Monli at home. Ah. Uh, Debeo, who was lying on the far side, suddenly made a sound. Cheng Xiao sat up and looked, good guy, he thought that all four should be asleep, after all, it was so late. Which into thought, one open eyes dripping look at it, hand in the mouth to na ah na. Nod that call is strong. Babies, it's 12 o'clock, you're still not sleeping ah, stay up late is not a good habit oh. Cheng Xiao pinched a few babies little faces and said with a serious look. Yeah ah. Debeo nod on his hand and forgot about himself, and hiccuped unawares. This hiccup, all of a sudden, the milk that he drank before. This hiccup, all of the milk that he drank earlier was spit out, making the bed all over his body, and when he breathed in, he accidentally choked on it. With a wow sound, Debeo cried hysterically. Cheng Xiao was startled, and hurriedly picked up the child, and brought paper towels to wipe his nose and face, and after wiping, he hurriedly patted his back. Song Mianian was also startled, and carried the children to the carpet and put them on the carpet, changing the bed sheets, a milky odor permeated the surrounding area. Did you forget to burp before? Cheng Xiao kept coaxing, big baby don't cry, don't cry huh, okay okay, just now mom fed big baby, probably forgot, Song Mian Yang just remembered, Cheng Xiao said, it's okay, it's normal for kids to choke, Pat, it'll be okay in a while, Song Mianian is ready to take the bed sheet to wash, Cheng Xiao, I'll go, you first hug Debeo, this child is aggrieved, after a busy day in the daytime, this big night still has to wash the quilt, anytime, anywhere, no wonder they say it's not easy to be a parent, it's really not easy, Song Mianian put the big baby over, coaxed for a while, and so the child no longer cry, bring wet wipes, to the neck of a circle wiped, until the smell cannot smell the smell of milk. Chang Zhao's side washed and rushed over to lay a clean sheet. After tossing and turning, it was already more than 12.40 at night. Drowsiness comes in bursts. When the children fell asleep, the couple went to sleep. The next morning, Chang Zhao called Wang Jing and asked him to come to the door to get the key to open the store. Brother, do you have something important in the morning? Wang Jing hurriedly came and took the key, curious. Cheng Xiao said, there are guests to come to the door, I will go over again in the afternoon, right, you go to the print store to print two entry forms and two resumes, let Lin Yin fill them in. Okay. Wang Jing understood everything. That's fine, go now. Seeing Wang Jing leave, Cheng Xiao closes the door and prepares to go grocery shopping, and when he comes back, he has to wash the dishes and prepare lunch. The babies were lying on the sofa in the living room, Song Yan Yan was sitting on the side, and was changing the diaper of the big baby, this little guy's little legs stomped and stomped, just not cooperating. This little guy's little legs stomped and stomped, and he just didn't cooperate. His mouth made babbling noises. When he saw his dad coming over, he kicked even more happily. Yeah. Cheng Xiao went forward and pinched his little face, Mommy is changing your diaper, don't move around, or Daddy won't take you to the supermarket later oh. You still have to take the kids? Song Mian Yang was puzzled. Cheng Xiao smiled, I just said that. Did you talk to Wang Jing? Song Mianian blanked him and asked. Don't worry, everything's been said and done, when is your best friend coming over? Already on her way here. Song Mianian glanced at her cell phone. That's fine, I'll go buy groceries. Rubbing her hair, Chang Xiao hurried out the door. Debeo stared in the direction his dad left, his eyes unblinking. What's wrong Debeo? 
After changing his diaper, Song Mianyan took him in her arms and kissed his face. Ye hearing his mom talking to him, Debeo turned his face and smiled. Song Mianyang stroked his head and her heart instantly melted. Then glancing in the direction of the crib, Erbao and the others were still sleeping, both could hear shallow breathing. It was also because they slept too late yesterday, in the past few days of opening, they basically went to bed after 12 and woke up at 7 or 8, severely sleep deprived. The children also had to stay up late along with them. The closing time of Tianyi Street is too late, the earliest you can go home is 9.30pm. Even if the children went to bed and came home, they still had to wake up once and then go back to sleep in the middle of the night. It's not only unbearable for the children, but also for the adults. I wanna let the kids stay home. But I'm afraid that mom won't be able to handle it on her own for a long time, after all, there are four of them, not just one. Therefore, now can only aggrieve the child. Just thinking, the cell phone placed on the table suddenly rang. After answering it, Monli had already arrived downstairs. As soon as the two of them met, this one was staggering. Can you keep your voice down? Don't scare the child. Song Nianli said breathlessly. See, you're now a complete baby slave, you don't call me or play videos to let me see the baby, Jimei, you've changed. Monli had a sad face. Song Mianli gave her a blank look, am I not too busy with the baby? It's not like you have anything to do, calling that time, you might as well be busy coaxing the baby. It's this excuse again that makes me powerless to refute. Monli bit her lip. Looking around, she asked, where's your husband? Went grocery shopping. What's for dinner today? As soon as she talked about vegetables, Monli thought of the sweet and sour pork from last time and craved it. She had craved it before, and because of her work, she worked overtime every day, so it was not easy for her to take a vacation so she rushed here to dine and see the baby, of course, the main thing was to come see this good sister of hers and the baby. Song Myanian rolled her eyes, are you here to see the baby or to eat? That goes without saying, it's definitely to see the baby ah, where are the other few? Mon Lee gave a wicked smile, still sleeping, you don't want to go and disturb them. I know, I'm like that. At this time, a loud noise came from the direction of the door, Chung Xiao opened the door and walked in, and at a glance, he saw the woman sitting beside Song Mianyang. Mon Li. Yeah, brother-in-law is back, come in quickly, oops, actually don't need to buy so many dishes, too polite. Mon Li rushed over to help Chun Xiao carry it along. Song Mianyan. Can you be a little more reserved? How come the ones she knows are all like greedy cats? Cheng Xiao smiled as he carried the dishes, you go talk to Mian Mian, I'll do it. Alright then, brother-in-law, remember to make more delicious food. After the explanation, Mon Li returned to the living room. As if remembering something, she asked, Yesterday you told me that you met Lu Fei, is that true? That woman, when you think about it, is really quite hateful. In fact, she wasn't considered Mian Mian's good sister, she could only be described as a friend with a better relationship. She had seen Lu Fei's green tea whore potential before, but Song Mianian was too kind and didn't believe it at all. Song Mian Mian's face dimmed and nodded. If that woman hadn't called out to her, perhaps she would have treated it as if she hadn't seen it even if she had. Just bump into it, if you see it again in the future, don't take care of it, I told you before, stay away from that Lufei, you just don't listen, that woman is not something good. Mon Li sighed. Seeing that you're doing well now, I'm also relieved, this is also because you met a good man, if an irresponsible one, your life is ruined. Next time, don't let me run into her, otherwise there will be a good time for her. After saying that, Mon Li hummed. Song Mian Yang said, she asked me to listen to her explanation. Explanation? Explain what? Explain how she left you behind last year? Alright, don't mention her, it makes me angry. Manny waved his hand, but why is she here? Did her godfather buy her a house here? I don't know. Yikes. As soon as the words fell, a sound came from over the crib, and several babies appeared to have woken up. Manly dashed over at the first opportunity. The babies froze for a moment when they saw that it was a strange aunt who appeared in front of them, and the closest four treasures cried out with a wow. Four treasures has grown so big. Monli even reached out and pinched her little face, sighing. A child's growing body just grows up fast. Seeing just white tender skin and a bit of flesh on her body earlier, now it's all flesh, a circle of flesh, adorable. Monli pinched, all love. To four treasure especially like. Before like four treasure, can only take the toy coaxing let hug, small model cute don't want. The second treasure three treasure okay, blinking eyes looking, full of curiosity. Saw Mayanian holding the big baby over, see mom finally came, the four treasures to stop crying. A grief skimmed his mouth. For treasures, have you forgotten auntie? I even hugged you last time. Monli said, bringing a small toy and shaking it in front of four treasures eyes. After waving it for a while, the child was not moved at all, and even glanced his head to the side with tears hanging from the corners of his eyes. For treasures actually doesn't even want the toy. Monli couldn't believe it. Song Mianli let out a light laugh, put big baby into the crib, and picked up four treasures. Only then did the little guy rebloom his little face, 
burying his head tightly in his mom's arms. Monli was struck, fourth treasure, you've changed too. Yeah. At this time, Urbao made a sound, his eyes looking straight at the toy in Monli's hand, then reached out his hand, wanting. Then you let Auntie hold it, okay? Monli stretched out her hand. Yeah. Urbao stared at Monli for a while, not resisting. Monli revealed a smile and smoothly picked her up. Seeing a toy in her sister's hand, fourth treasure wanted to reach for it. If you don't give Auntie a hug, Auntie won't give it to you. Monli pinched her little face. Soon, it was time for dinner. In the dining room, looking at the table of dishes, Monli's eyes glowed. Why is there so much meat today? Brother-in-law, you're too polite. Monli picked up a piece of sweet and sour pork and put it in her mouth. Mian Mian has been too busy lately and her health is not good, so I bought more meat for her to make up for it. Chang Xiao smiled. What? Monli felt like she had received a 10,000 point blitz. She thought she was entertaining her special purchase? It turns out it was all for his wife. What else could she say except that she was envious and jealous? This dog food. Heartbreaking. She should not have come to find abuse. It's too heartbreaking, isn't it? Chang Xiao gave Song Mianli a bowl of soup. Wife, you drink more, make up for it, look at how thin you are. Monli hurriedly finished her bowl of rice, you guys keep eating, I'm going to go watch the baby. If she stayed any longer, she would be abused to death. This was their world of two, she'd better go watch the babies. The babies were playing by themselves in their cribs, when they saw her come over, they all looked fixedly, looked for a while, and continued to gnaw on their hands. Ah, uh, at this time, Big Baby, who was lying in the very center, suddenly let out a uh, sound, followed by an odd smell. Monli's nose twitched, suddenly having a bad premonition. This child couldn't have pooped, right? It also pooped while his parents were eating, and she wouldn't be able to change it, so what should she do? Open one edge of the diaper and looked at it, yellow, still really pooped. Baby, wait for your parents to finish eating and then come back to change you ah, uh, there is no hurry. Manny smiled. Yeah. Debeo looked at Monli and suddenly revealed a smile. Monli froze for a moment, the baby actually smiled at her. This this this. She had resisted it before, and this caught her off guard, making her a bit unable to react. She was overwhelmed by the surprise. After coming back to her senses, she slowly picked him up, spell it out, Auntie will change it for you. Not knowing the steps, she looked up by Edu. First poured a basin of water, put in a piece of clean disposable towel, wet. When the big baby's diaper off, first wipe with a paper towel, and then a little bit of towel wipe, during the period of several times almost put the stink on the hand, can be considered difficult for her. Song Myanian finished eating is to see such a picture, Monli actually to the teaching video in the phone, in the diaper change to Debeo. The technique is very rusty, and it seems that she has never brought up a child. She wouldn't have been able to do it before, having a baby and learning it the hard way. It's better if I do it. Song Mianyang walked over. Couldn't help but let out a light laugh. The Velcro was all wrong. It couldn't match the position. Monli said, I'm learning in advance, so I won't be fumbling when I have a baby in the future, just watch from there. Song Mianyang sat to the side somewhat helplessly and instructed. That's not how you stick the Velcro, stick it there. Can you stop talking? I think I'll be fine, isn't it just a diaper? It's not that simple. Manny said. She still didn't believe that she couldn't stick such a small thing. All right, let me do it. You can't. Song Mian Yang went over, tore off the Velcro and stuck it right on the right spot. It was done in two swishes. Monli was chagrined, was she too stupid? Couldn't even do such a simple thing right. Taking care of a child is a skilled job. When you have a child in the future you'll naturally be able to do it. Right now you're childless, so you find it difficult. Song Mian Yang said with a smile from the side. Monli only felt a broad brain ache. All right, aren't you going to work today? I'll go later. Or is your husband taking the kids? Aha. Uh -huh. That's too good to be true. She'd seen a lot of moms who brought up the kids on their own while their husbands went out to make money, and when it came to her bestie, it was the other way around. Say, I didn't even ask last time, what's your husband's job? Business. Business? What business? Mon Lee stared. Selling mother and baby products. No wonder you know how to bring up a child so well, you must have studied on purpose, I heard that selling children's things can be lucrative nowadays. It's okay. At this time, Chang Xiao finished washing the dishes and came out from the kitchen, looking at the time. Wife, it's getting late, you have to leave, I'll take the kids over there. Can you bring them there alone? The car she still had to drive away, one person pushing four strollers? Then wife, are you going to send me and the baby over there? Chang Xiao grinned. Song Myanian couldn't help but blush a little, after a while she nodded, okay, go to the store first. The store? Is your store in this neighborhood? Monli said doubtfully. Well, it's in the neighborhood on Tian Yi Street. Tian Yi Street? Isn't this that Netflix street? The flow of people is quite good, and brother-in-law is opening a store there? Monli was surprised. Then I'll come with you guys, just to go and take a look. Okay. 
Song Nianli didn't refuse, and after packing up a bit, the three of them set off with the baby. When they arrived at Tianyi Street, Manli realized just how bombastic the traffic was, there were people coming and going, the drone would have to take a picture from the top to the bottom, and it was estimated to be a black press of heads. The location here is so good, how much does the rent for opening a store here cost a year, at least a million dollars? Manli sighed. Sheep this husband is also too rich. Although not as much as those who are worth hundreds of millions of dollars, but the couple live their own small lives these money is also enough. I'm really envious. A few people saw the big plaque of little baby house from afar. When they arrived at the store and looked at the facilities inside, Monli exclaimed, the decoration is not bad. It was spot on, especially the details that made people feel quite comfortable just by looking at it. Suddenly remembering something, she asked, Mian Mian, why haven't you seen your mom? Didn't you say the old man was with you guys? My mom went early in the morning to deal with things over in the old neighborhood, the house is ready to be retired. Song Mianyang said. The rental period of the house over there was up. Oh, that's so. Well, I have to go to work, it's too late. Song Mianyan looked at the time on her cell phone and said hello and hurried to the car. Manli also had no reason to stay, and after talking for a while, she also slipped away, stating that she would come over next time to take a closer look at this side. The busy afternoon began again. This time it was Wang Jing's turn to cashier, Cheng Xiao put the baby behind the cash register and went to make small snacks. This time, he specially made some more. It was not yet the peak of the crowd. At 2 o'clock in the afternoon, the talent gradually increased. Wang Jing took the flyer and went outside to yell. Soon, the desserts were delivered out. The speed was smashingly fast. At the same time also busy feet, but we can share the work, can be easier. The most tired is also the cashier packing, hand from beginning to end did not stop. Zhang Xiao feel, these days the hands are worn out calluses. Waiting for the busy finish is already 4 or 5 o'clock. After dinner, ready to start busy night, Zhang Xiao's cell phone suddenly rang, look, is an unfamiliar number. Smoothly crossed over to answer. Hello, is this Chang? Zhang Xiao froze for a moment, this voice, isn't it the director's? He called, could it be? It's me. Xiao Chang, that senior said that the new movie will start in half a month, and asked me to ask you if you have any comments to make. Director feel free, I don't have any opinions. That's good that's good, I'll have Li Jin send you the script tomorrow. The director's tone was clearly filled with delight. If Chang Xiao became a hit because of this movie, then his fame rubbed off on him, after all, the first play Chang Xiao acted in was his own. What kind of movie do you want to shoot at that time? After the phone hung up, Chang Xiao fell into thought. Shooting a movie smoothly may also take about 10 days, the child can only let the mother-in-law bring a little by then. However, he still has to come back at night. The store was temporarily handed over to Wang Jing and the others to take care of, which he wasn't worried about. At 6 or 7 o'clock, Song Mianian came back, Chang Xiao told her and Wang Jing about this. Song Mianian didn't have much of an opinion, go ahead, this side is fine. She had been through the hardest part of those two months, and now that the baby is more than three months old, she's a lot more relaxed, and there's no big problem. It's only a matter of ten or so days. Wang Jing on the side was full of shock, crap, brother, you're really going to make a movie? Yeah, just notified by the director. Being handsome is an advantage. Wang Jing was envious and jealous, when you become a big star in the future, you can't forget that I'm such a good brother who silently supports you behind the scenes. Okay, can you speak human language? Chang Xiao was a bit speechless. Hey, I'm not too surprised, witnessing the growth of a movie star is still very fulfilling. Chang Xiao didn't bother with him, alright, the guests are here, start working. Okay. It was busy again until midnight. Several people were tired and sweaty. You two go back first, be safe on the road. Cheng Xiao said to the two Lin Yan. The two nodded and left. How are the sales today? Wang Jing said excitedly. Every time this time of the year, thieves get excited. 200,000 or so, not as good as yesterday. Cheng Xiao said indifferently. Wang Jing's eyes widened, is this still less? More than 200,000. Keep your voice down, the babies are still sleeping. The four little ones had just fallen asleep, Song Mian Yang was coaxing them. Okay, okay. Wang Jing hurriedly silenced his voice. After the store door closed, the car. I remember you seem to have a class this afternoon, right? Why don't you go to it? Chang Xiao asked while driving. Wang Jing gave a dry laugh, I won't go to those unimportant classes, I might as well help out here and earn more money. Anyway, he usually skipped classes and played games a lot, so he had gotten used to it. To be honest, he still envies Chang Xiao, at least his brain is much better than him, he doesn't go to school and doesn't fail his classes, he still gets first place, and there are still a bunch of women chasing after him. I wonder what the trick is, he's curious to know. Near graduation, some courses may seem unimportant, but they can still play some role in critical times, I think it's better for you to go, anyway, this side has already hired people, don't worry too much about being too busy. Say, have you finished your thesis yet? Chang Xiao asked. 
When it comes to the dissertation, Wang Jing only felt one head and two big heads, not yet, you've already finished it? Sheng Xiaohund, thesis, it's a simple matter. Crap, brother, your speed is too fast. If I had half your brain, I would be good, envious to death, you this ten days and half a month without classes exams are better than me, people are really angry than people. Cheng Xiao laughed, what is there to be jealous of, before I work part time, some courses have basically finished in advance, whereas you, playing games every day. The game leisure time pastime can be, has been addicted to, there is no benefit. Some things really don't have to do with whether the brain is good or not, it depends on whether you are willing to put in the effort to learn. Wang Jing had a moment to feel that he was a waste, even if his talent was not as good as others, he was not as diligent and studious as others, no wonder Cheng Xiao was so good. Brother, do you have any tricks here? No, there is just study hard and get better every day. After saying that, Cheng Xiao concentrated on driving and didn't talk anymore. When he arrived at the downstairs of Jiang Cheng Ning Yuan, he parked the car. Wang Jing got down from the car, brother, there is still a class tomorrow morning, I will go back first. Chang Xiao nodded and drove into the underground garage of the neighborhood. After arriving home, after taking a shower it was already midnight, the children were sleeping soundly, the couple carried the four to the children's bed to lie down, then came to the living room, just walked out, just as Song Qin came out from another room, startling the two. Mom, when did you come back? Song Myanian asked. Song Qin smiled, I came back in the evening, I sat at your Aunt Lu's house for a bit longer, and some of the things I used I packed in boxes and sent them back, it took a bit of time. The house is finally retired, there will be no need to run over there. Those neighboring old ladies learned that she was moving to this place, and each one was envious, especially knowing that the house was bought by his son-in-law. It can be considered to have saved some face. Before Mian Mian gave birth to a child suffered a lot of these people's cynicism. On the surface with you polite, but in fact do not know in the back of the thought what it, some broken mouth old lady, not many hope that you have a good life. Thinking about it is still heartbreaking. Mom, are you hungry? I'll go make you something to eat. Chang Xiao asked from the side. Song Qin smiled and waved her hand, no need, I already had dinner when I came earlier. Then you take an early rest. Alright. Song Qin is in a good mood, her daughter is doing better and better every day, her husband and wife are doing a small business and raising their children, isn't this kind of life what she expects as a mother? At night, Chang Xiao turned his head and said, let mom live here, anyway, the old neighborhood side has been returned to the rent, this side of the room is empty is also empty, the children also more personal companion. Son Myanian was about to say this and couldn't help but redden her eyes, hubby, you're so nice, I thought you shouldn't agree to mom living here all the time. According to normal circumstances, how could a son-in-law agree to his mother-in-law living in their young couple's house for a long time? What's there to disagree with? Your mom is my mom, what's the difference, no matter how long you live here, wife, you have the final say, you are the head of the family. Chang Xiao rubbed her head and laughed. Son Myanian's heart was touched by a mess, pounced on Chang Zhao's arms. You're touched by this? What touches you is yet to come. Chang Xiao gently patted her back, it's getting late, go to sleep. Seeing her gradually go to sleep, Chang Xiao opened his cell phone and transferred the money earned in the past few days, divided 3 to 7, to Wang Jing. In 6 days, together with the cash, almost earned about $1,680,000. Transferred 51 million to Wang Jing. This guy is still lying in the dormitory, heard the sound to open the cell phone, saw this huge transfer amount, froze, half a day did not react. Reacted, the first sentence is, lying a groove. Also deliberately counted a few zeros. The whole 51 million. It's a great deal. This brother of his was also too righteous. Wang Jing, do you have a leg cramp? Do you know how much dust I have to eat down here? The roommate who lived in Wang Jing's bunk couldn't stand it and couldn't help but say something. Wang Jing was on a high right now, it didn't matter how others scolded him. Excited like this, getting rich? The roommate got up from the bed and looked towards him. Suspecting that this guy was not stimulated, Wang Jing glanced at him and grinned. The roommate looked at him with goosebumps. Alright, hurry up and go to sleep, it's so late, be careful of sudden death. Wang Jing didn't care about him, lying on the bed, only felt physically and mentally relieved, now finally don't need to worry about money. Before, he had given up on everything because he didn't have the money, but now he could finally buy what he wanted, and he could also give some money to the old man at home, so that the old man would be happy. All this was also thanks to him, this good brother. The next day, the couple went to the store early to open the door. While there weren't many people, Chan Xiao went and made a bunch of desserts and placed them next to the cash register, already wrapped, waiting to send out. The flow of people has not yet increased, still have to wait a while. At this time, from the outside came into a person, Chang Xiao look, Li Jin. A thought, it might be the director who asked him to deliver the script. Brother, how's the business in the store these days? Li Jin asked as soon as he arrived, smiling. Not bad. Not bad? Just opened last time with so many people, I think you've already made a fortune. 
Li Jin ate a candy on the cash register and said with a blank look. Cheng Xiao said indifferently, it's only a small profit, okay, where's the script? Holy shit, how did you know I'm here to deliver the script? Li Jin violently swallowed the candy and, puzzled. Nothing is wrong, you can take the initiative to come here, what else can it be but something? Li Jin didn't know about the director's phone call with Chang Xiao. You've seen it, indeed, I'm here to deliver the script. Speaking of this, Li Jin was envious and jealous, this was only the second movie, without any subterfuge, he mixed up to be the male first, is he still a human being? Thinking about him, he has been mixing for so many years, and now he is still only a male third. Miserable. What makes him most jealous is that the director of this movie, Chang Xiao, is actually the famous director Zhang. He has shot a lot of good international movies and is very famous. The actors that he sees, basically can be a big fire. It's true that those who want to be hot can't be hot, but those who don't want to be hot meet a good director and have a lot of opportunities. I'm so envious. Putting the script on the cash register, Li Jin said, here, this is it, TSK, I've read the script, it's definitely a big production. Chang Xiao picked it up and gave it a cursory look. It was a science fiction movie. The plot is not bad, put it in today's country, it's really good, if the director and actors are strong, it's definitely a box office hit. It really wasn't that Chang Xiao was narcissistic. Brother, the director is really treating you well. Li Jin said. People are still introduced to him, this leap is going to become a big star, hey, why are people so lucky? Well, the acting is really quite good, much better than many of the so-called powerhouses nowadays. Chang Xiao rolled his eyes, what director is good, there is no good thing in the sky, all for their own interests. If he is on fire, then the director's fame will also rise overnight, what drama cannot be shot in the future ah? One could only say that all had their own agenda. Alright, alright, no more talking, the guests are here. Putting the script aside for now, he started to cashier. After Li Jin arrived at the cashier's desk, the babies were lying down here, with Song Qin guarding them on the side. Hello auntie. Li Jin greeted with a smile. Are you Xiao Cheng's friend? Song Qin asked with a smile. Yeah. I'm his high school classmate and good buddy. Li Jin squatted down to tease the baby. At a glance, he recognized four treasures. This little guy blinked his grape-like eyes and looked at Li Jin fixedly. His eyes were full of strangers to this uncle. For treasures, do you remember uncle? Last time uncle even gave you a toy. Li Jin pinched Si Bao's little face and asked with a smile. Yi. For treasures made a sound and then glanced her face to the side as if to say, I don't know you. Li Jin smoothly picked her up and kissed her little face. For treasures, you really don't remember uncle? For treasures froze for a moment, and when she came back to her senses and realized that her strange uncle was hugging her, she cried out with a wow sound. Unstoppable twisting, twisting, struggling. The more he cried, the louder he cried. Chung Xiao who was over there at the cash register turned his face, his forehead slid down three black lines, for treasures doesn't like you, you're forcing yourself on people. Li Jin. Who said that, obviously before still like it okay. It's only been a short while and then you don't want it anymore. Sour heart. Unwillingly put down four treasures, Li Jin was full of grudges, and then looked at San Bao next to him, begging for comfort. San Bao, will you let uncle hold it? San Bao was also very disrespectful and turned his head to the side, not letting him. Li Jin felt devastated. On the side, Song Qin smiled and said, you're just a little rusty now, but you'll be fine once you're familiar with it. Several babies are afraid of being born, can't say that they are afraid of much, they will only give some face when they meet a pretty girl, if a man wants to hug them, don't even think about it. Three words, unwilling. Song Mianian and Wang Jing were busy sending out flyers outside, and Zhang Yu was learning to be a salesman and practicing eloquence with Lin Yan, outside. Although they all looked up and down these days, but standing together with MS. Song, Wang Jing still felt Alexander. After all, it was the relationship between teacher and student, there was always some kind of barrier. Whereas this brother of his ah, completely without fear. He also had a few children with Mr. Song. Too scary. Song Mianian was handing out flyers to the people passing by, looking pretty and having a temperament, everyone took the flyers and couldn't help but enter the store. Everyone come and take a look, new store opening, many discounts oh. Sure enough, the effect of a beautiful woman is different, looking at Wang Jing's eyes are straight. The flyers that he himself could only finish in an hour, people finished it in 20 minutes. So thick a pile. It was too much of a blow. Then, he watched as Song Mianian brought another pile from the cash register and continued to hand them out handing them out one by one to people passing by. At this time, I don't know where to come out of a child, only two or three years old, probably did not pay attention to the road, toward her body bumped over. Luckily, she was wearing a flat bottom, otherwise she would have fallen to the ground. It was the little kid who bounced to the other side. Little friend, are you alright? Rushing to help the child up. An old man hurried over from not far away. Egu, ancestor, don't run around, okay? 
The old man brought the child over and said to Song Mian Yang, I'm sorry, miss, the child is naughty, take it easy. It's okay. Song Mianian looked at the child, this big fall, the upper body is wearing a thin long-sleeved jacket, but the lower body is wearing a thick cotton pants, a look at the clothes on a long time not washed. The child's face was dirty. At this time, a person passing by sighed and said, Isn't this the old man who comes here every day to sell vegetables and his little grandson? It's a cold day and the child is wearing so little, poor thing. I heard that the parents have run away and don't care about the child. Saw my Anian side, now there are still such irresponsible parents, as a mother, seeing such a situation, she unconsciously started to feel sorry for the child. After thinking about it, she handed the flyer to Wang Jing and went to the store to get some food and a few thicker clothes. Since she saw it, let's help. The clothes were not worth much, but, it was her small token of appreciation. Monkler Outlet Online The Monkler Outlet store received these and was moved to tears, thank you. It's cold, Monkler, you also pay attention to keeping warm. Song Myanian said. Good, good. The little kid didn't know anything, he only knew that he wanted to eat, and when he saw something delicious, he yelled for it. Watching the grandparents and grandchildren walking away, Song Myanian only felt heartbroken. If she hadn't met Chung Xiao, was it possible for her to have come to this point? This girl is really nice. Yeah, if it was anyone else, I guess I would have whisked someone away in minutes. Just because of this, let's go into the store and take a look, just in time to buy something for the child. Saying this, several people walked into the store. At lunchtime, Cheng Xiao looked at Li Jin and said, Are you still not leaving? Damn brother, you're not righteous enough, you're kicking me out, at least I've been helping out all morning, I haven't even had a bite to eat. Li Jin's face was full of grievances and sadness. Look, look, is this human language? Seeing him with this grumpy face, Cheng Xiao's scalp went numb, alright, alright, this is yours. That's more like it. Li Jin immediately changed his face. The speed of changing face is simply faster than turning a book. Several people sat in one place. Cheng Xiao said, tomorrow is Saturday, there will be a huge increase in the flow of people, it might be very busy, everyone remember to make sure to divide up the work and not get messed up. Wife, you and Lin Yan will be busy in the store, Wang Jing Zhang Yu you guys are responsible for handing out the flyers, I'll cashier and pack. Cheng Xiao said, and then said to Wang Jing, remember to pull a truck of goods tomorrow morning. Okay. After a meal, Li Jin was full of envy, brothers, you are now ah, is better every day, into a family, nothing is lacking, envy. Which is like me, every day is just crew running, activities running, don't know what else to do. Cheng Xiao patted his shoulder, try to sharpen your acting skills. Alas, no matter how hard I sharpen it, it's not as good as you. In the entertainment industry, those who have been acting for more than 20 years are not as good as him. If this movie comes out, how many people will be jealous? Not to mention the movie, this drama is now out, even if Cheng Xiao only has one shot and one line, with this appearance may be a big fire. Grind well, don't think about these things first. Cheng Xiao said. Zhang Yu on the side listened to the conversation between the two, the more he listened, the more shocked he was, he didn't realize that his boss actually mixed with acting. It's too awesome. And this friend of the boss. No wonder the more he looked at him, the more familiar he felt, he felt like he had seen him somewhere. It turns out. It's incredible. However, he didn't dare to ask, the question was too presumptuous. In the afternoon, he started to get busy again, Li Jin said hello, said he had something to do, and left in a hurry. It was still Song Mian Yang and Wang Jing who were out handing out flyers. The day passed by busily, and by the time it was almost time to close for the night, Lin Yan and the two of them had already left. Cheng Xiao said to Wang Jing, you should hurry up and bring up a car, so you don't have to take a taxi back and forth. He he he, just what I was thinking. Wang Jing gave a dry smile. When he got the money, he thought of getting a car to drive, since he took the driver's license, because of poverty, he didn't even touch the steering wheel of the car. Originally thought nothing, graduated and then slowly fight well, but see Chang Xiao bought a more than 200,000 yuan of Volkswagen, feel stimulated. After closing the door, Wang Jing said, I'll take a taxi, you guys go back first. Well, be safe on the road. After parting ways, the car. Mother-in-law Song Qin said, Xiao Chang, this friend of yours isn't bad, do you have a date? Not yet, single. Chang Xiao smiled. According to this meaning of mom, she should be introducing Wang Jing to an object. As expected. I have a friend's daughter who is about to graduate from college, and the family is arranging a blind date, why don't you let the young man try? Song Qin smiled. Young people, try, in case you see eye to eye? Even if you don't see eye to eye, both sides are not losing out, it can only be said that there is no destiny. Song Myanian covered her face and looked to the side, her mom really wants to introduce everyone ah. Cheng Xiao laughed, okay, tomorrow I'll talk to him, he will definitely agree. As of now this situation Wang Jing would still have the right to choose? Saving every day to spit their own single dog eh, no one love. What if he really sees eye to eye with someone else's girl? The car drove all the way home. To the living room, 
the children are already awake, open eyes looking around. This is the time to drink milk, the child is getting bigger day by day, and the demand for milk is getting bigger and bigger. Cheng Xiao hurriedly went to make milk powder. Sure enough, not long after entering the kitchen, the cries of several little ones rang out. It was the second and fourth baby that cried the most. Wah wah wah, Cheng Zhao's heart hurt. These days are too busy, really neglected the children a lot. For the sake of a stable life in the future, we can only temporarily entrust the children. Song Myanian is one by one coaxing, first to the four treasures fed, this child ate and drank enough, continue to play fingers, brother and sister's cries turned a deaf ear. Soon, the milk washed up, the couple and Song Qin one person to hold a feed. After drinking the milk, the several little ones quieted down. Yeah. For treasures lay in the crib, making babbling noises, gnawing on his hands and barking. The feet also didn't forget to kick and kick, that's what I call an energetic. Huffing and puffing. The strength is quite strong after eating enough. Cheng Xiao came over, fixed her feet at once, picked her up and put her on the children's bed in the house. Bring the sleeping bag and put it on. Completely unable to move, immediately quit. Poof. Grunting sound from her mouth, maybe the next second to cry. This is the killer of the four treasures, Cheng Xiao has basically immunized, this little mind he has long understood. One after another, they carried Debao in. Song Myanian fetched some water and wiped the children's bodies, this weather was too cold to bathe every day. Yeah. Debao they were okay, wrapped in sleeping bags, got used to it, and didn't resist, because it was useless to resist. Babies, hurry up and sleep sleep. Cheng Xiao starts coaxing. Song Mian Mian walked in to take a look, Cheng Xiao said, Wife, it's not early, go take a bath, go to bed early tomorrow is busier. Good. Song Myanian found pajamas in the cabinet and hurriedly went. Soon, the babies were all put to bed, leaving only the four treasures. Blinking his eyes, he looked around, baring his mouth from time to time. The cute little appearance adorable hearts. For treasures, hurry up and go to sleep ha, huh? otherwise mom and dad will go to sleep first and leave you alone. Cheng Xiao pinched her little face, this little one, why so energetic? When her brother and sister are asleep, she is the one who makes noise until midnight every night. Typical if I don't sleep, you don't want to sleep either. Soon after, Song Myanian came back from the bath, Cheng Xiao casually glanced over, saw the person at the door and froze. Today she changed her previous cute style, actually wore a lace edge pajamas, or the kind of halter, very thin and thin band, not to look carefully can not really see. The pajamas as a whole are light pink, loose and loose, but you can also see that proud body. The skin was fair and delicate. The wet hair was still dripping down, dripping onto the delicate collarbone. It was a picture that made people unable to resist spraying nosebleeds. It was too impactful. Especially for a man in his prime like Cheng Xiao, it was inevitable that he would be a little impulsive. Song Yan Yang noticed the look in Cheng Zhao's eyes and knew what he was thinking. Her face instantly blushed with shame, and she hurriedly picked up a towel to wipe her hair, acting as if nothing had happened. But the more like this, the more tantalizing it was. Wife, when did you buy this nightgown? Well, it kinda suits you. Cheng Xiao smiled. The moment these words came out, Song Myanian's face turned even redder, like it was about to drip blood. Flutter, flutter. Song Myanian could almost hear her accelerated heartbeat. Secretly exhaling a breath, she tried to calm her heartbeat down, and pretended to be calm as she straightened her expression, this was bought before, there, what's the big fuss about it? Wife, you suddenly thought of wearing this today, is it? Song Myanian was wiping her hair, Cheng Xiao didn't know when he had already stood behind her, and then the towel in his hand was taken over by him, you're too slow here, be careful of catching a cold, I'll wipe it. After calmly wiping, he brought the hair dryer and started blowing. The warm wind blew out from the blower, the air seemed to be quiet, only the sound coming from the hair dryer remained. Song Mian Yang's heart once again beat wildly, blushing from her face to the roots behind her ears. That, the blow dryer is done, I, I'm a bit sleepy, going to bed. After stammering, Song Myanian thought of hurrying to escape. However, she didn't expect that the slippers under her feet, because they were stained with water, had an unsteady center of gravity, and her feet slipped. Instinctively reached out and grabbed Cheng Zhao's clothes, thought for sure that he would fall, but did not expect that the imagined pain did not come. Cheng Zhao's quick eyes and hands dragged her waist. Wife, be careful. He somewhat helplessly helped her up. After lying under the quilt, Song Myanian's face was still red, and she was a little chagrined in her heart, had she overreacted a little? They had been together for more than a month now. For the things he had done in these days, she had seen it all, she didn't know why, the moment she thought of that thing between a man and a woman, she felt so embarrassed. As soon as it was brought up, she remembered that night a year ago. The mind was a mess. Honey, are you okay? Seeing Song Myanian's expression wasn't quite right, Cheng Xiao asked. No, nothing. A glance saw that little bit of her mind, Cheng Xiao smiled. Wife, actually you don't need to have too much pressure, I definitely won't force you to do things you don't like. As soon as these words came out, Song Myanian felt even more remorseful in her heart. Had she gone too far? 
husband, me, am I an unqualified wife? They've obviously already gotten a license, it's only natural for this kind of thing to go with the flow, but. Cheng Xiao stroked her hair and said, no ah, uh, no matter what kind of person you are, I just like it. Cheng Xiao laughed and lay into the quilt, before he had time to cover the quilt, a reddish face suddenly gradually enlarged in front of his eyes, and then, he only felt a heat on his lips. Time flies, and in a flash it was the day before Chang Xiao went to the theater. The TV show's cast was wrapped up today. Chang Xiao went to the crew early in the morning, and handed over the store to Wang Jinglin Yan for the time being, as for bringing the baby, he first asked his mother-in-law. Anyway, he will be back at night. Since hearing that Chang Xiao is going to play the male lead in director Zhang's new movie, the male lead of that TV series, Qin Feng, was so angry that his head was smoking, gritting his teeth, not understanding what a newcomer to the industry has to do to get the male lead in a big production movie. A certain dressing room. Xiao Chang ah, today is the last scene, tomorrow into the group can be a good performance ah, Zheng director is very optimistic about you. The director patted Chang Zhao's shoulder and instructed. Of course, he still believed in Chang Zhao's performance and would definitely not mess things up. Chang Xiao nodded, okay, director. Seeing that he was not humble, the director was even more satisfied, wanting such a calm and steady actor. Some young actors nowadays, just because they have made a few hot dramas, they are so bullish that they don't know who they are, they play all sorts of big names, and those kind of actors not only have poor acting skills, but also have poor character. How can you make a good movie when you don't even know the basics of being a human being? Director Zhang's vision is very poisonous, he looks after the person, 9 times out of 10 will burst into flames, but the premise is that the person's character is passable, Chang Xiao can get naturally have his advantageous place. The makeup artist is organizing Chang Xiao's costume and makeup, and when everything is done, his eyes look over and he can't help but marvel. This is the face of a god. Too handsome. Simply 36 degrees without a dead angle. It was just a pity that this was the last time his makeup would be applied. Look at you, don't look, the saliva is flowing all over the place. At this time, the makeup artist next to her poked her. It's so handsome, I'm just eating the face value, nothing else. I think you're just having thoughts about someone else, just I, he already has a wife, married man. I know, I just wanna see him. Li Jin is sitting on the side, see this picture, envious eyes are red, why handsome which even married have girls like. He feels that he is not bad looking, before Chang Xiao came, there might be a makeup girl to talk to him, but now there is nothing at all. They all went over to look at Chang Xiao. AI. A handful of bitter tears. The director was also watching from a short distance away, nodding his head, and soon, a person came in, said a few words in his ear, and shouted the person away. Before leaving, he said, Xiao Chang, this side is about to start filming, prepare yourself. The director was looking favorably on the person, and some of the surrounding actors were filled with envy. Some of them became unbalanced in their hearts, thinking that Chang Xiao must have been targeted and adopted by someone else's rich woman with his looks, otherwise how could he have made the director all be so courteous to him? The male lead, Xin Feng, thought so. He had his own separate dressing room, and listening to the news from his assistant, his lungs exploded with anger. Damn it, didn't he say that director Zhang has a background that doesn't allow anyone to rely on subterfuge to get the lead role in his play at all? What the hell is the situation with this damn loser? Xin Feng was so angry that he directly smashed the cup in his hand on the ground, scaring the assistant's face. That, I don't know, they said that it was director Zhang who watched Cheng Zhao's play and directly settled for the male lead. The little assistant was trembling. His play? What's his play? I've already checked, this person is just a white guy, a white guy who has never had a production, not even in the 18th line, what the hell is he based on? Xin Feng gritted his teeth. Before filming started, Chang Xiao organized his costume and calmly went on stage. Other actors would be a little nervous, afraid that they would temporarily forget their lines, or where their performance would lose points, but Chang Xiao was full of calmness. He knew the script by heart and was naturally very familiar with it. There is nothing technical about this kind of drama. The actors who acted opposite him were a little bit more nervous. Every time, they would be pressured by him. That one look after another with a murderous aura, looking at people's hearts were chilling. This scene was the scene where Chang Xiao, the male four, led the box, and the plot was to confront the male one, have a fight, and then the male four was defeated and ended up in jail. However, this scene shot down, the eyes of the male one has always been male four pressure dead, if not know the situation in advance, also thought that Chang Xiao is the male one it. The director was watching Cheng Zhao's performance with great interest. As for Qin Feng, he was directly ignored. After finishing, the director couldn't help but say, Qin Feng, your performance didn't work, you didn't get the point. So, once again, Cheng Xiao times acting are online, on the Qin Feng out a bunch of problems, either this is not good or that is not good, even shot several times, just barely pass. The director was directly speechless, so simple a scene or not, was a male four pressure scene, when the male one really spoiled the role. These years of theater do not know whether to act to the dog's stomach. 
Do not sharpen their acting skills all day long to hook up with those who have nothing. He himself was scolded, but Cheng Xiao was praised. The more Qin Feng thought about it, the more unbalanced he felt. He snorted coldly and went to the dressing room. Awesome, brother, not bad. Li Jin walked over and patted Chang Zhao's shoulder. The performance just now, he watched in his eyes, indeed, this acting skill looks at the entertainment circle, there are not many young fresh meat to compare, fire is sooner or later. No wonder the director is so optimistic about him. You didn't see the look in Qin Feng's eyes just now, he couldn't wait to tear you apart. Li Jin smirked. That guy's own ability was not working, and he blamed it on others. Also an oddball. Cheng Zhao's face is bland as he heads to the dressing room, taking off his costume and removing his makeup. There's still your scene later, right? I'll go back first, I still have things to do tomorrow. Chang Xiao said. At this time, the director happened to walk over, Xiao Chang Ah, there's a dinner party tonight, director Zhang happens to want to meet you. I'll go. Li Jin on the side was envious, with director Zhang, this must be a big dinner party ah, surely he can meet many seniors, it's a good opportunity. Bro, director Zhang personally invited, great opportunity. Li Jin said excitedly. Chang Xiao didn't have any interest in these dinners, he just wanted to act, the so-called dinners would be better to stay home with the kids. The babies are already four months old and getting more and more interesting, the dinner party which is not as interesting as the children. Thinking about it, he said, sorry, director, I have to go back to bring up the kids, I might not have time to go over there. You say sorry to director Zhang for me, I'll take the initiative to invite him when I have time in the future. As soon as these words came out, the smile hanging on the director's face gradually froze. Bringing a child? You're married? Chang Xiao nodded. I didn't expect to get married so young, it's really rare in the entertainment industry. After mixing in the circle for a long time, I've almost never seen one get married so early, it's hard to avoid being surprised. That's fine, it's fine, I'll talk to Director Zhang. Director Zhang is not the kind of narrow-minded person who loves to be calculating, he is quite generous, and he usually doesn't care about this kind of thing. Trouble. Chang Xiao smiled. Parking lot. Brother, you're awesome, even Director Cheng's invitation is rejected, too awesome, it's the first time I've seen a director speak so nicely. Li Jin is still in shock until now. Chang Xiao looks at him, if you're willing you can too. Someone has to invite me too, you don't think there's anything. I'm the one who eats this bowl of rice, every opportunity is precious. Li Jin smiled bitterly. It's not like you, even if you don't act, with that store in your house, it's enough to eat for the rest of your life. Speaking of which, Li Jin is envious, talent is really important. Chang Xiao was born to eat this bowl of rice, but he has no intention of doing so, he wants to develop, but his acting skills are not good enough, and he can't get a good script. He wants to develop, but his acting skills are not up to par, so he can't get a good script. The most difficult thing for him is that other people's families, career success, and he, nothing. This is the gap. Still, it's useless to be envious, honing your acting skills is the key, I'm going back first. Chang Xiao gets in the car and says. Li Jin sighed, then be careful on the road. Chang Xiao nodded and drove out of the underground parking lot. By the time he waited at the store it was just about lunchtime. The weather was getting colder and colder, and the heating in the store was already working. Inside the room was warm, the babies were wearing thin sweaters, their faces flushed as they looked outside the cash register. When they saw their dads come in, they kept stomping their legs happily. Babbling sounds came out of their mouths. Honey, how was your day? Tired? Chang Xiao came in and didn't look at the children for the first time, but instead looked at Song Myanian. Song Myanian replied, it's okay, the weekend was busy, it's normal to be tired. After the couple greeted each other, Chang Xiao looked at the excited children, babies, did you miss your dad? Yeah. For treasures was the happiest, kicking his legs non-stop. This child is getting bigger day by day, and now has grown to be no different from his older siblings. All the same white and chubby. Chang Xiao smiled and picked her up and kissed her little cheeks. For treasures tightly grasped Chang Xiao's collar, this will be even more strong, babbling, small eyes look cute. A few people on the side were adorable and their hearts melted. Especially Lin Yan, envious, these days passed, she also off in contact with the babies, from the beginning do not like not hate, to later especially like. As long as she had time, she would take the initiative to tease the babies and play with them. A few babies were just too cute. She wanted to hurry up and find someone to get married and have children. Otherwise, when would this daily envy end? Wang Jing, who was serving a boxed lunch at the side, asked, Brother, when will you start shooting that movie? Chang Xiao nodded, Tomorrow. Tomorrow? So soon? Wouldn't you not have time to come to the store? Don't we still have you guys? It's only half a month. Chang Xiao said indifferently. Wang Jing put down his boxed lunch and said with a smile, it feels pretty good to be an actor, doesn't it? A few of us have already planned, when the movie is released, we'll pack up the venue for you to brush the box office. Thinking about it was exciting. This would be a great honor to say out in the future. At this time, the door was pushed open from outside and two people walked in. 
The guests are here, get ready to get busy. Chang Xiao put down the four treasures. Lin Nian packed up the boxed lunch on the counter and officially got to work. The ones who came in were a couple, the woman holding a big belly. The man in the back of the jabbering nagging, I have said that this is a waste of money, you have to come in, the child's clothes and things directly with my sister's children on the line, pay so much attention to why? My mom said, use other people's leftover is good for the child. The woman put her hands behind her back, propped up her stomach, and gave him a dissatisfied look, did I ask you to pay for it? Even if it's the money you earned, it's still our joint property now, you can't use it if I don't agree. It's what I earned by my own hard work during my pregnancy, what's it got to do with you? Wang Chang, I am seeing through you. Isn't your money my money? Besides, so what if we use my sister's kid's stuff? It's good that people are willing to give it to us. Then go ahead and use it yourself, I'll buy new ones for my own kids. Don't be unreasonable, okay? Watching the couple bicker, Cheng Xiao and Song Mianian glanced at each other, somewhat helpless. Giving a child old clothes from his sister's family, this. Song Mianian had experienced this kind of thing before. At that time, she really didn't have money and couldn't afford to buy new clothes for the children, so she wore the old clothes of the neighbor's children. Clothes can wear old, but bottles and other things are still better to buy new. Anyway, it is not expensive. Listen to the man that means, is the same thing do not want to buy, the woman has said with their own money to buy, this guy also deadpan that the woman during pregnancy money is also his. I can only say, shameless shameless. Look at the situation of the two of them, is not too bad conditions, can only say that the man dead stingy. They were both guests, and the two of them couldn't comment. At this time, the pregnant woman waved at Lin Yen, beauty, come over here. Lin Yen walked over with a smile on her face, ma'am, may I help you? Bring me a waiting bag, and the child's wrap, some fall clothes. Please follow me. The man cursed in the background as the woman shopped on her own, not even bothering to pay attention to him. Finally, after choosing, when it came to the checkout, as soon as they heard that it would cost more than a thousand. These we do not buy, returned. Mail finished pulling pregnant women want to go. The pregnant woman directly shook off his hand and checked out smoothly. If you keep pushing me like this, we'll get a divorce, there's no way I'll give the child to your Wang family. After settling the bill, the female sneered. With a turn of her eyes, she saw the four babies lying behind the cash register and froze for a moment. Excuse me, are these quadruplets? Song Mianyang nodded awkwardly, yes. Look at others who have raised their quadruplets so well, I've only got one, and you're stingy like this, Wang Chang, you're really not a person. Wang Chang said, my mom said before, some things are not necessary to buy at all, it's all a waste of money, don't be fooled. He said, and glanced at Lin Nian. Your mom said your mom said it, you go over with your mom. The pregnant woman gritted her teeth, took her things and left. After the person left, Wang Jing on the side couldn't help but spit out, shouldn't such a strange man be seen clearly before marriage? To still be able to give him a child is also impressive. Song Mian Yang was glad that she was lucky to have met a good man like Cheng Xiao and not the one she just met. Chang Xiao seemed to be able to see her emotions and whispered in her ear, isn't it lucky to have met me? Song Nian Yang stared wide-eyed and blushed a bright red, is this guy a mind reader? Can he see this too? However, it couldn't be admitted, or else he would let this guy have his way. No, just now I was thinking about the babies. What is it? Tell me? Chang Xiao smiled. Why ask so detailed? I'm curious about my wife's little secret. The two were openly flirting and loving, and Wang Jing's trio was abused again. He hurriedly ran outside to hand out flyers, preferring to freeze to death rather than be smashed to death by dog food. When will there be a girl chasing him backwards too? This was really a solid 22 years of maternal singleness for him. Too bad. A busy day passed, and when he came home in the evening, Song Qin looked at the two sitting on the sofa and came over and said, Xiao Chang, Mian Mian, tomorrow your two uncles are coming over. Uncle? Song Mian Mian frowned, since going abroad to study, she rarely had contact with them. For some reason, she wasn't very fond of her two uncles. Song Qin said, they just came over to see the baby and stopped by to see you. Well, I know. Before going to bed, Cheng Xiao asked, Wife, what just happened? As soon as the word uncle was mentioned, he clearly noticed that Song Mianian's face didn't look quite right. It was as if, especially repulsed. Song Mianian shook her head, Nothing, it's just that the feelings with the two uncles aren't very good. Saying that, she laid down, not wanting to say more. Cheng Xiao also did not ask. Basically, he could guess half of it, it might be something between the elders. Quickly go to sleep, there is something we will talk about tomorrow. Aha! Uh -huh. A night without words, the next day. After the family finished breakfast, mother and daughter sat on the sofa, Song Qin said, Mian Mian, I know you have some opinions about those two uncles of yours. But those are your uncles after all, they are your relatives, no matter what, the same blood still flows in your bones. Song Qin held Song Nian Nian's hand, and said bitterly, those things in the past have already passed, and you've grown up, don't care about it, okay? Don't care? 
Mom, do you know how much you suffered in the beginning? You treat them as your family now, but did any of them ever come out to help you? Song Myanian bit her lip, do you still remember? When I had a high fever and was about to die, you went to borrow money, did they lend you a penny? There were some things that were so deep in the memory that they simply could not be forgotten. Song Qin seemed to have let go of these things a long time ago, in her opinion, there was no such thing as an overnight grudge between relatives. Besides, things had gone on for so long. Some grudges should have been put down long ago. Mian Mian, your uncle already knows that this matter is wrong. Mom, you decide this matter. After saying that, Song Myanian got up and went to the children's room. The children were still sleeping, the room was a shallow breathing sound. Chang Xiao walked in, he heard the conversation between mother and daughter clearly just now. Probably understood the grudge. It is estimated that all individuals will hold a grudge, and it is no wonder that his wife is in such a low mood. Putting his hands on her shoulders, he then gently encircled her from behind. Wife, everything has me, it's fine. Song Mian Yang reddened her eyes and was about to turn around. Poof. Her buzz humming sound came from the direction of the children's bed. Chang Zhao's forehead slowly slid down three black lines. This little guy woke up at too bad of a time. Walking over to take a look, he couldn't help but smile, it turned out to be a stinky poop. Clenching the small fists of the small appearance of the old cute. Before the face can still bring a little expression, grew up a little, then clenched fists, expressionless pull. After pulling, his face was red and flushed, and he let out a sigh of relief. Then, stomped his legs vigorously to express his discomfort. Chang Xiao hurriedly brought a basin of water and took a new diaper. Started to change. Knowing that mom and dad are changing it for themselves, Erba obeys very well and doesn't move a muscle, his little face revealing a smile. Yeah. After changing, her butt is dry, Erbao happily makes a sound. Chang Xiao picked her up from the bed and was about to pinch Erbao's little face. Daddy. An unconscious daddy pops out from Erbao's mouth. Chang Xiao's body was obviously stunned. The air gradually quieted down. Song Mian Yang also froze along with him. Erbao, are you calling daddy? After reacting, Chang Xiao looked at Erbao, his heart was ecstatic, which he tried to suppress. Although he knew it was unconscious, it was the first time Erbao had opened his mouth to call out for daddy. Chang Zhao's mood could be imagined. The elation on his face was clearly unable to be suppressed, yet he was afraid of scaring the child and tried his best to suppress it, revealing a smile. Yet Erbao seemed to respond, blinking his little eyes. Song Myanian was moved to the side and her eyes turned red, a wave of heartache spreading in the bottom of her heart. The first time a child calls out for mom and dad, it's all very meaningful, for Erbao, she may not even know it herself, but for the parents, it's precious. Honey, did you hear that? Erbao was calling out for daddy. This kind of joy, the first thing to do is to share it with the people closest to you. Hear that. Seeing this excited look on his face, Song Mian Yang smiled and nodded. The depression from just now was swept away. Every time he was upset, as soon as he saw the babies, all his worries would dissipate. Erbao is so good. Chang Xiao kisses her little cheek, holding Erbao he can't even let go of his hand, and in his heart he can't help but expect her to call out a second time for daddy. This feeling is really magical, the mood is indescribable, more excited than the first time he met the babies. At this time, Song Qin opened the door and walked in, seeing the husband and wife taking care of the baby, smiled and said to Cheng Xiao, Xiao Chang, their uncle just called and said that he's already downstairs, you. Saying that, her eyes looked to her daughter who was bland on the side, wanting to speak, Mian Mian. Mom, I'll go down with Chang Xiao to pick up uncle and the others. People have arrived downstairs, it's impossible to directly refuse to drive people away, just think of it as being on mom's face, lest the hospitality is not good enough to fall into disrepute at that time. She knew exactly what kind of people her two uncles were. Song Qin froze for a moment, saw Song Myanian did not reject too much, nodded, at the same time also relieved, as long as the daughter cooperation everything is good to say. Between relatives, she really didn't want to get too stiff. That side was at least her mother's family. Let's go, let's go down. Chang Xiao held Song Mian Mian's hand, invariably giving her some courage. Watching the two go out, Song Qin sighed. Then she looked at the babies and muttered to herself, Babies, when do you think this will end? In the elevator. Chang Xiao obviously felt the body of the person next to him tense up, and touched her head in a warm comforting voice, Wife, don't be nervous, hubby is with you. At the entrance of the neighborhood, from a distance, it seems that there are more than two people, there are two women, it looks like they should be Song Mian Mian's two aunts and uncles. A few people were looking around, their eyes glittering with light, filled with fondness for everything here. I really didn't expect that Mian Mian girl to marry so well, this place looks really high class. That's right, if I had known that she married so well, I wouldn't have treated them like that in the past. The two aunts discussed. Aya, you guys should stop talking. The uncle on the side spoke up. Chang Xiao and Song Mian Mian holding hands had already walked over and signaled the security guard to open the door. Only then were the four able to enter, and at a glance, they noticed Cheng Zhao's husband and wife. 
Mian Mian, is that you? Although they hadn't seen it for years, with such an outstanding appearance, a few people still recognized it at once. Uncle, auntie. Song Nian Nian's face was full of indifference and her tone was detached. Mian Mian you've grown so big, I think back then you were still a little girl when you first left the country, and in the blink of an eye you've gotten married and become a mom. Great Aunt Zhang Shui, wearing a floral dress, rubbed her hands together and came over. She didn't see any outsiders at all. Yes, since you went back to China, you don't come to find us to talk, your second uncle and I have been thinking about you, what happened in the past was our fault, so don't take it personally, okay? Second Aunt Li Ying also said. Song Mianian was inexplicably a bit annoyed by all this, and faintly said, go up first. As they walked along, the few people looked left and right, occasionally letting out gasps of amazement. Aya, this place is really nice ah, uh, there's a water spray over there. Zhang Chui pointed at a certain spot. Li Ying looked disdainful, you've never seen the world, that's called a fountain, my son brought me to see it with my own eyes, it's much more spectacular than this. Mian Mian ah, uh, your vision is really good, the husband you found is quite handsome. Yes, he's handsome and rich. He's a second generation rich man, right? What kind of business does the family do? All the way to gossip, finally arrived home. When you see the decoration in the living room, a few people are more excited, change shoes and hurry to look around, on the balcony, kitchen, dining room, room, and even that home entertainment small theater did not let go. Song Myanian was so embarrassed, she secretly glanced at Cheng Xiao, saw that he didn't show any dissatisfaction, and then sighed with relief. She was afraid that Cheng Xiao would get angry if he saw her uncle and the others like this. Wife, it's getting late, I'll go cook. Chang Xiao smiled. Song Mianian hurriedly followed him, I'll go help. The living room sofa. The three women sat in one place. Sis, congratulations, Mian Mian married such a rich husband, you, you won't have to live the kind of hard life you had before. Li Ying smiled. Second uncle Song Jinxing coughed and gave Li Ying a wink. What a pot calling the kettle black. What hard life ah, sister can enjoy the blessing in the future, sister, nephew son-in-law do what business ah? This family conditions, business must be doing great. Maybe he owns a company. In the kitchen, Chang Xiao was busy washing vegetables, Song Mianian was wiping the spotless stove back and forth, her thoughts drifting. Chang Xiao helplessly took the rag in her hand and said, Wife, go rest and relax, I'll do it. Just in time to see if the babies are awake. Song Mianyang nodded and went out. Chang Xiao sighed, continuing to wash and cut vegetables. Suddenly, the system's voice rang in his ears. Ding. Congratulations to the host for being called daddy for the first time by the baby, reward, piano master skill. Piano master? Chang Xiao frowned, what kind of reward is this? The idea enters the system and looks at the description of the reward, piano master skill, as the name suggests, the world class piano master is yours, as long as the hand touches the piano, it will be able to merge with the piano and play an amazing piece of music. Seeing this description, Chang Xiao falls into deep thought. Since the system rewards this, it should be of some use in the future. His expression returned to normal, and after finishing the dishes, he began to fry them. Song Mianyang was taking off the sleeping bag and dressing the child, the babies were awake and were babbling and shouting, from time to time they put their hands in their mouths and barfed, drooling everywhere. Their little fists are also covered with it. Mom to put on the pants still do not cooperate, little legs kicking and kicking, that is a happy, mouth grunting. Especially big boy and three boy. These two children were the most mischievous, and it was not easy for them to put on their pants. At this time, Song Qin opened the door and came over to help, Zhang Chui four people also followed in, when they saw a few little ones lying on the bed, they froze. Seriously, they had lived to this age, and had never seen such good looking children. White and tender, delicate like porcelain dolls, loving. Although they weren't very fond of children, seeing such a cute baby, it was inevitable that their hearts would be fond of it. 4, 4, Li Ying's eyes widened in shock. They knew that this niece got married and had a child, they only thought it was one, they didn't expect it to be four. Giving birth to four at once? This, this. It was really unbelievable. Sister, these four children, they were all born by Mian Mian? Zhang Chui felt her tongue tie. Song Qi nodded and smiled, yes. This, but four, how were they born? She had seen twins, never quadruplets. The babies looked in Li Ying's in their direction, their little faces filled with curiosity about strangers. After spending a lot of time in the store and seeing a lot of people of all shapes and sizes, they were basically immune to strangers and wouldn't be as timid as they were in the beginning. After Song Mianian changed the baby's clothes, they were carried one by one to the crib in the living room to lie down. Then went to the kitchen to brew milk powder. A few people, Li Ying, came over to the crib side, their eyes seeming to sparkle with light. These kids are so pretty. Like Mian Mian. Yeah, I like them a lot even when I look at them. It's also true that the parents are good looking, and the children, well, they're not that bad. I just saw, this nephew's son-in-law is still a good looking man. The two couldn't help but praise. 
Song Qin stood by the side, any grandmother would be in a good mood when she heard someone praising her grandson. Liying walked over and picked up Air Bao, the child observed her carefully, his large grape-like eyes blinking. Look guys, this child is still not seeing the outside world. The words just fell. Wow. Er Bao cried without giving the slightest bit of face, his body twisting and twisting, clearly not giving Li Ying a hug, strongly resisting, and could be described as extremely reluctant. Li Ying's face instantly became embarrassed. There was no choice but to put her back into the crib again, just put it in, immediately. The milk powder was brewed in Song Mayani and came over to feed them one by one. Neon Neon, how old are the several children? Zheng Chui asked. Song Mayanian casually replied, four months. Speaking of the children's months, a few people remembered, Neon Miana, look at you, you got married and the children's full moon lines without informing us elders, and it was only a few days ago that I found out from your mom that you got married. Auntie and uncle you were all quite busy working outside, this little thing is also too embarrassed to delay you, so I simply did it. Song Mayanian smiled faintly, not losing her manners. Soon, the meal was ready. A group of people sat in the dining room. This decoration, there's a special dining room, it's really nice. Li Ying looked left and right. Zhang Chui on the side also said, yeah, only seen it on TV, only rich people get this. I wonder how much this house cost. The two of them said one thing to each other. Sa Mayanian sat there, still quite uncomfortable, if it wasn't for the sake of considering her mom's face, she probably wouldn't have answered her uncle's phone calls from them at all. Because she didn't think it was necessary at all. Since they had done so much in the first place, even to the point of severing their relationship, what was there to talk to each other about? If she was as miserable as ever, or as a single mom as before, these people would still take the initiative to come to the door? Probably, it is too late to run far away. Today, purely for the sake of mom. Cheng Xiao quietly held Song Nian Nian's small hand, eyes to give support, no matter what she does, he unconditionally support. In the face of this so-called uncle, there should be polite or must have, strictly speaking, and then how to have had a bad time, but also elders. He knew that his wife had concerns. Politely rise to toast. After the toast, second uncle Song Jinching said, the young man is not bad, come on, drink. Seeing that Chang Xiao had already put it into action, Song Qin breathed a sigh of relief. The meal was quite awkward, Song Mian Mian finished picking the last bite of rice in the bowl and left the dining room. Mom, uncle, aunt, I'm going to check on the baby. Okay, go go go. After she left the dining room, Zhang Chui asked Chang Xiao, little Chang Ah, how did you and Mian Mian meet? Met through a friend's introduction. Chang Xiao casually found a reason. Oh, so, do you have any single friends? I want to introduce one to our nana. Zhang Chui smiled, Chang Xiao was so rich, there must not be a single simple friend of his, this if nana was allowed to marry into a rich family, she would be clothed and fed for the rest of her life. Most of my friends are married, many of them aren't very familiar, usually doing business, the ones I come in contact with are customers. Chang Xiao smiled. Li Ying secretly cursed, this woman is also too shameless, this is blatantly looking for a golden son-in-law. Blatantly bullying her, Li Ying for not having a daughter? Xiao Chang, look, my nana is not young anymore, she is late in marrying, this mother, in her heart, is also anxious, so she thought that you could introduce one. Zhang Chui sighed. Anyone could see her crooked mind. Li Ying smiled and said, Egu, sister-in-law, didn't Xiao Chang say so? Most of his friends are married, nana is still young, what's the rush? Zhang Chui glared at her, all pissed off. Song Qin came out to round up the situation, the food is getting cold, I'll serve you some rice. Chang Xiao is full and says hello and goes out as well. In the living room, Song Mayanian is changing Four Treasures diaper, Chang Xiao walks over and sits next to her. Alright, don't mope, hubby will take you to buy clothes this afternoon, okay? Seeing her face drooping, he went up and squeezed it. It was quite fleshy, finely gruesome meat, delicate and smooth, full of collagen, feels so good. Which I have. Song Mayanian lowered her head, her voice muffled. Okay, okay, in fact, mom is not easy, she has to take into account both sides, you just give some face to cope with it on the line, moping will only smother yourself, fool. Cheng Xiao touched her head. Probably thinking that what Cheng Xiao said was a bit reasonable, Song Mianian raised her head and said with a red face, I know. Yeah. For treasures changed her diaper, her eyes turned to her dad, happily stomping her legs and babbling. Cheng Xiao smoothly picked her up, now holding her horizontally she was still not happy, had to step on daddy's leg vertically, stomping and stomping. The legs of small babies are very strong, but the month is too small to do this kind of action often, it is not very good for bone development. At least wait until after 7 months. Chang Xiao often reads the explanations of those moms in the parenting app, and has learned a lot about parenting, or else he wouldn't have been able to bring the baby so smoothly by himself. Holding four treasures horizontally in his arms, the little guy immediately quit and grunted. Seeing Song Mianian's puzzled face, Chang Xiao smiled and explained, babies less than six or seven months old often standing is bad for bone development. So that's how it is. 
Song Mianian was embarrassed, her face slightly reddened. At least she was a mom, but she didn't even understand this, not as much as Chang Xiao, the dad. Chang Xiao understood all aspects in detail, as if there was nothing he didn't understand. He was a qualified father, while she was not a qualified mom. Without Chang Xiao, it was possible that her life would still be a mess up to now. In Manli's words before, how can she raise a child if she can't even take care of herself? These will just be understood slowly later, what's the rush, experience is groped for. Looking at her like this, Chung Xiao knew that this little woman must be imagining things again. Got it, I'll go change first, we'll go out later. Song Mianian got up and headed to the master bedroom. Good. The side in the dining room seemed to have ended, and several people from Song Qin came out from inside. By the looks of it, the chat was pretty good. Song Qin was a very good person to talk to, to put it bluntly, she was a good old man, no matter how she was treated before, for the sake of kinship, she wouldn't care too much. Song Jenhua and Song Jinxing were her own brothers, and with her character, there was no way she would directly turn them away. Seeing that the babies were lying on the sofa, Zheng Shui sat to the side and smiled, Xiao Chang, just now Auntie asked a bit suddenly, don't mind it, I was just too anxious. What Auntie said, we are all family. Alas, Mian Mian is truly blessed to have met you, Zheng Shui said with a sigh. At this time, Song Mian Mian had already changed her clothes and came out, today in a casual style with a white duck tongue cap. Her face was unpowdered, even so, it was pleasing to look at. Mian Mian, are you going out? Song Qin asked. Song Mianian nodded, well, I want to take advantage of the weekend and take the kids out for a spin, and buy some things along the way. It was really embarrassing to face her uncle and the others at home. The previous things had left a mark in her heart that lingered, not wanting to force herself to forgive, to accept, even if it is a loved one. Song Qin and Wai do not know the daughter of that point of minded, nodded, also, come back early in the evening. After cleaning up a pass, the family of six went out. They drove to the city center. Cheng Xiao intends to take Song Mian Mian to buy some fall clothes to wear, usually see her wearing old clothes, basically never bought a new one. The baby sat in the car and fell asleep. Arrived at the destination, the car parked in the underground parking lot of the mall. The elevator is so small that only one person can push two cars up two separate elevators. This mall is the biggest one in the city center. It has food, clothing, and accessories. Everything is available. Chang Xiao of course will not bring Song Mianian to buy ordinary clothes, how to say also have to buy some good. Take the elevator directly to the 6th floor. There is a luxury goods section, with big name brand clothes and bags and shoes. This is. Song Mianian quickly realized something was wrong, she frowned and whispered, Hubby, are you in the wrong place? This first floor seemed to be selling luxury goods, a single piece of clothing would cost thousands and thousands of dollars, not something an average person could afford to shop. That's right ah, uh, this is where I brought you. Ah, the clothes here are so expensive, let's. What's wrong with expensive? Buy it for my wife, it's worth it. Song Mianyang blushed a little, but she was still unwilling to move her steps, let's just go downstairs and take a look. Chang Sha pulled her hand and looked at her with a serious expression, wife, we're earning money now too, buying a few clothes is just a matter of buying a few clothes, it won't cost much. That money is also earned by your hard work every day. When a man earns money, besides raising children, isn't it for his wife to spend? Besides, you are also busy in the store, it's not like I'm the one who earns the money. Chang Sha was helpless, this silly woman, what was she thinking? I, Song Mianian couldn't help but stir her two hands together, very tangled. Being used to being strapped for cash and suddenly being extravagant, it was inevitable to feel this kind of emotion. Let's go. Chang Xiao was already pushing the baby towards a clothing store. Song Mianyang bit her lip and hurriedly followed. After entering the store, the female sales clerk hurriedly greeted them, two of you, can I help you? Then her eyes looked towards the four baby strollers with a surprised expression. Quadruplets? Hello, are there any clothes for my wife to wear? Chang Xiao pointed at Song Mian Mian. The female sales clerk looked over and smiled. Yes there is, this wife, please follow me. On the other side, a few sales clerks were discussing. I didn't see my eyes blink, did I? Is that one a quadruplet? It should be, for babies at once, so impressive. To be able to afford to raise four children, what kind of family, looks like a rich person, envious. Did you guys notice that mom's figure is really good, I'd believe it if she went out and said she was a teenager. Song Mianian is trying clothes under the introduction of the female sales clerk, it's a fur top, the whole is very high class feeling, then with a pair of black tight pants, a pair of white boots. It was very suitable for fall wear. Entering the fitting room, sneaking a glance at the price above, his face changed slightly. This fur is going to be $30,000, the boots are a big foreign brand, more than 10,000, and this pants, said something about designer production, to 6 or 7,000. A set down 50 to $60,000. Coming out of the fitting room, Song Mianyang changed oddly. Sir, what do you think of this set? The female sales clerk's voice rang out. Chang Xiao looked over, although he could see it every day, 
but his wife was still quite stunning when she was so slightly dressed up, and this outfit seemed to be customized for her. The perfect figure was completely set off. This is still the case of veiled face, it can be seen that the value of this face is how heavenly. A few shopkeepers not far away had their eyes staring straight this way, not returning to their senses for half a day. Gosh, this is also too good looking, right? This figure, this temperament, this match, it was simply customized for her. It was too beautiful. It's so good looking, I admit I'm envious. Even if her face value is not as good as others, her life is not as good as others. The female sales clerk serving the couple was also just coming back to her senses. We'll take this set, and go look at the others. After trying a few sets back and forth, Chang Xia took them all. The shop girl was delighted in her heart, this was a big customer. This month's commission is estimated to be quite a lot. The other several clerks were envious. When checking out, they came over and looked at the babies in the stroller. The little ones had already woken up and were blinking their eyes at a few people. Wow. I didn't look closely just now, but this look, it's too cute. Look at those eyes, flickering and flashing, the eyelashes are even longer than mine, and they all have double eyelids. It's really cute. What should we do? I want to have a second child again. Go ahead and have it, we support you. Hey, can't afford it. When the couple pushed the babies to leave, these shopkeepers were full of reluctance. Beautiful and cute little babies are everyone's favorite. After buying the clothes, Chang Xiao pulled Song Mianian to buy shoes. Having spent quite a bit of money, Song Mianian stood in front of the shoe store and refused to go in. She felt that even if they made money, should not be so squandered, luxury goods that is the patent of the rich, they are still in the entrepreneurial efforts, who knows what will be encountered later need money. Clothes shoes ordinary a few hundred dollars on the line. Seeing this tangled little look of hers, Chung Xiao let out a light laugh and rubbed her head, okay, listen to you, let's go downstairs and look at other shoes, okay? Hearing him say this, Song Mianian's face then slightly soothed, pushing the babies to take the elevator downstairs. They looked around the general area on the second floor and chose some that they needed. The four babies can be said to be extremely windy, turnaround rate of 100%, coupled with the baby's super high face value, want to let people not look at more than two eyes are difficult. Besides, the parents' face value is so high, the children will definitely inherit their parents' advantages. A family of six not only attracts adults, but also attracts small children. Some of the children were asking for younger siblings from their own moms. Mom, they're all so cute, I want them to be my younger siblings can I? A five or six year old girl said. The mom on the side cried and laughed, baby, the younger siblings are that aunt's babies, not moms. But I want a younger sibling too, I don't care. The little girl said and started wailing. Okay, okay, want a younger sibling, mommy will give it to you when she gets back, okay? Don't cry. Really? The little girl stopped crying and blinked her big eyes. Mommy doesn't lie to you about being a puppy dog. Chang Xiao and the two of them came to the underground parking lot and just got on the car and sat down, Song Mian Yang thought of something. Hurriedly asked, hubby, aren't you going to the theater group today? She had forgotten about it and only remembered now. Yeah, there's no rush, I already told the director yesterday, I have something to do at today's opening ceremony that I won't attend, so I'll go directly over to the shoot tomorrow. Chang Xiao smiled. Anyway, the script had already been memorized, and it was fine to save some of the process without affecting the start of the film. Alright then. Thinking that starting tomorrow, for half a consecutive month, basically not being able to see her husband during the day, Song Mianian's heart is a bit uncomfortable, that feeling can't be described. It was blocked. All the way was a bit mopey. The two drove back home, Song Qin was sitting on the sofa watching TV. Song Mianian asked as she took off her shoes, mom, uncle and the others went back? Uh, went back. Song Qin's line of sight looked over, only to see, these two people had big bags and small bags, all carrying things in their hands, and a lot of them were hanging on the four baby strollers. What did you guys buy here, a bunch of stuff? Cheng Xiao smiled and said, bought some clothes, Mian Mian also chose some for you. Next, it was time for mother and daughter to discuss clothes. Cheng Xiao wasn't interested and carried the babies into the children's room one by one. Yeah. Several babies lay on the bed, chomping on their hands, drooling, the more they chomped, the happier they got, and their little legs kicked and kicked. Without the constraints of a sleeping bag, the babies started to roll over again. Turn over and over. Chang Xiao did not pay attention to see, the three treasures flip-flip, directly oblique pressure on the four treasures are turning over the body, all of a sudden two cannot move. What makes Chang Xiao feel funny and helpless is that San Bao also turned his head to look at him, his eyes were pitiful, aggrieved. Has not been able to turn over the four treasure is not dry, directly anxious, while cry out. This voice is not to mention how aggrieved. Chang Xiao hurriedly turned the three treasures over, picked up the four treasures, this child, the tears in the eyes are already spinning, small mouth, so grievous. San Bao, look, you made your sister cry again. Chang Xiao took a tissue and wiped fourth treasure's tears. You can't roll over in the future okay? Fourth treasure is also a quick-tempered person. 
the kind that can piss himself off if he can't roll over. Song Mianian opened the door and walked in, looking at Cheng Xiao holding the crying four treasures and coaxing, she came over and asked, what's wrong? Cheng Xiao told her what just happened. Put. Song Mianian couldn't help but laugh out loud, these few children, really can't be directly placed here to lie down, they have to be restrained one by one with a sleeping bag in order to be a little more honest. Forget it, it's better to put it outside. In the crib, these few were only honest. The bed has a fence and is not spacious, so if you want to turn it over, you can't. Glancing at the time, Cheng Xiao said, it's late, I'll go make dinner, I'll go help. Song Mianyang hurriedly said. Cheng Xiao's eyes teasingly looked at her and flirted, wife, why don't I teach you how to cook? What? Song Mianyan froze for a moment, then shook her head with a red face, or not? The last time she almost burned down the kitchen, she was still a bit self-conscious and was afraid of getting into trouble again. It was lucky that it didn't cause any other accidents that time. You look after the babies, it's better for me to do the cooking. Cheng Xiao couldn't help but laugh. Song Mianyan didn't die and whispered, then I'll just wash the dishes, this is always okay. Every time, her husband was the one who was busy in the kitchen, and it looked like he was going to be in the group tomorrow. How could Cheng Xiao not see this little thought of hers? His wife wanted to be alone with him for a while. After all, the movie starts tomorrow, and I'm not sure if I'll be able to come back at night, so if I can't come back, it's going to be a long night. Not poking through her small mind, Cheng Xiao smiled and nodded, okay. In the kitchen, the two of them washed vegetables and cut vegetables, quietly, no one spoke. Only the sound of clattering water remained. Song Mianian lowered her head and earnestly washed the vegetables, over and over again. Wife, if you wash this dish again, it will melt. Cheng Zhao's voice suddenly rang in his ears, and the dishwashing basin in his hand was already taken over. Song Mianian's face reddened slightly and bit her lip, I didn't do it on purpose, I. Cheng Xiao puts the dishwashing basin aside and pinches her face, looking at her sullen face, he lightly smiles and asks, what's wrong? Are you unable to let your husband go? I, I'm not. Song Mianyang hurriedly said, her face turning even redder. Still saying no, look at your face as red, it's just going to shoot a movie, it's not like you're not coming home. Cheng Xiao was helpless and heartbroken. That, aren't all the actresses in the theater group beautiful? A sudden question directly confused Cheng Xiao. Not sure, no matter if they are good looking or not, it has nothing to do with me, I only have my wife in my heart. Chang Xiao realized what this little woman was thinking. Dare to be worried about this ah, uh, is this a problem? The wife is also too unconfident about her looks. Looking at the entertainment industry, how many female celebrities can compare their looks to hers? With Chang Xiao's words, Song Mianyang blushed while her heart warmed up. Alright, just don't worry, you still don't trust your husband Mia, you're the only one in my heart. It took a while to coax Song Mian Mian. A sentence of earthy love language soared out, making her blush, and she didn't wash the dishes, directly ran out. Chang Xiao, the corner of his mouth rose, continued to cut vegetables. When the meal is ready, it is already dark. At the dinner table, Chang Xiao told his mother-in-law about his entering the group to shoot a movie. What? Shooting a movie? Song Qin was astonished. In the eyes of their older generation, making TV and movies was a particularly powerful thing. Being on TV, isn't that being a star? Can it not be powerful? She actually didn't know any of this news. Yes, I was too busy to tell you before. It's okay, it's okay, it's just as well to say it now, I'll take care of the baby, and you, you and Mian Mian can just work at ease. The babies have gradually accepted Song Qin, after all, for such a long time, the four treasures have slowly grown up, no longer like the first three months, every day as long as mom and dad, others a sweep. This also had something to do with being in contact with more people. After dinner, the husband and wife were teasing the babies in the children's room, Cheng Xiao said, Wife, tomorrow is the day for the babies to get their vaccinations, can you and mom both do it? Do you want me to ask Lin Yin to help? It's inconvenient to have Wang Jing come over, Lin Yin being the same female is better. No need, I'll be fine with mom, I'll take a vacation tomorrow, the health center isn't far away anyway. That's fine. As the two were talking, De Bao wrapped in his sleeping bag suddenly made a humming sound. The body moved around, Cheng Xiao took a look and knew what this little guy was doing. Stinking. Just eaten, turn around and pull. When Debeo finished pooping and opened the velcro of the diaper, a sour and odd smell came out. Usually poop smells kind of faint, this wasn't quite right today, and neither was the color. It's supposed to be golden yellow, but today's was dark green. The flavor was also odd. What's going on here? Song Mianyan asked with a frown, a little worried. Cheng Xiao carefully recalled every post he had read from the baby moms, and if his guess was good, Debeo should be on fire in this situation. Children, fire is very normal, not a big problem. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get a good deal of money for this. The baby is too small, it is better not to take medicine. On fire, buy some honeysuckle back tomorrow, drink it for two days and you'll be fine. Song Mianyang nodded inside. 
After changing the diaper, the little one continued to play with himself, Cheng Xiao brought a small toy and was about to give it to Debeo to play with, but unexpectedly, the other three saw it and stretched out their hands to take it. Naiha lying there simply cannot get up, can only look at the dry anxious, especially the four treasures. A sea mom and dad in the hands of the thing, a cry, too, the mouth issued a humming sound, the hand stretched out the longest, mouth pouting, a you do not give me I will cry to you see little expression. It's so cute. Tried to bring the toy to her hand, this little one hand is quite fast, however, did not succeed, Cheng Xiao again brought back the toy. A few times back and forth, the little guy was directly pissed off. Wow. Stormy cries came out from Si Bao's mouth, tears falling like broken pearls to the sides of his eyes. Alright, alright, here you go. Really can't see children crying, especially Erbo and Si Bao, girls crying, pearly, looking at it all makes people's heartache. Song Myanian laughed from the side, this has become four treasures killer. Just don't give it and cry to you. Oi. Cheng Xiao smiled, girls, normal, must be coaxed, just like I coaxed you. When this came out, Song Myanian's face instantly turned red, what's this with what? We are obviously talking about children, okay? How did it come to her? Also, where did she let him coax her, there was no such thing. When Four Treasures got the toy, he immediately stopped crying and turned his face over like a book. Not long after that, he revealed a smile, babbling, his little hand holding the toy and shaking it around, so happy. Husband and wife. Helpless, Chang Xiao went to get a few more small toys and gave one to Debeo and the others. It was still early, only 8 o'clock. Chang Xiao proposes to give the children a bath, Song Mianyang nods and goes to the washroom to put hot water. This time, starting with Si Bao first. This child saw her father take off her sleeping bag and picked her up, not knowing what was going on, she happily stomped her legs and babbled. The hot water had already been put on, just waiting for the babies. As soon as they entered the washroom, Song Myanian began to undress four treasures, the cool feeling, for treasures quickly realized something was wrong and began to struggle. Hoof. Protest. Little hands grabbing in the air haphazardly, Chang Xiao was not paying attention and was directly scraped by four treasures little nails on his face, instantly, a bloodstain appeared. Startling Song Mianmian who was on the side. Hubby, is everything alright? She subconsciously touched his face with her fingertips. After reacting, her face reddened once again and she withdrew her hand. It's fine. Chang Xiao holds four treasures, takes a deep breath and slowly puts her into the warm water. The temperature was all measured, just right. For treasure's least favorite thing is taking a bath, the moment she touches the water, she will definitely wow and cry. As expected, just a few seconds after being put in. At the beginning of the four treasures still struggling violently full of protest, the face instantly changed. Crying tears and snot, that is a sad. In the end, the couple watched all heartbroken. Hurrying to wash and wrap up with a bath towel. Okay, okay, no more washing. It's really hard to bathe a few little ancestors. For treasures wrapped in a bath towel, crying with a twitching nose, causing heartache. Song Myanian hurriedly carried it to the room, put on clothes and wrapped the sleeping bag. Chang Xiao then changed the water again. The next is the most obedient three treasures, not only do not cry on immunization, bath that is not a word, self-conscious lying there, look at the ceiling and look at mom and dad. It's not a normal obedience. Put him into the water, just like nothing, blinking like a grape like small eyes, look east and west, see mom and dad, will also smile a little. Song Mian Yang laughed, Sanbao is so good. Wife, who do you think this character is inherited from? Chang Xiao asked with a smile. I don't know. Song Mianian said in a muffled voice. Well, it wasn't her anyway, she definitely wasn't this calm as a child. Chang Xiao laughed lightly and didn't say anything, his eyes somewhat meaningful, continuing to wash San Bao. Smoothly washed, then carried the room to change clothes. Followed by second treasure. This little girl is better than the fourth baby, just the beginning of the cry for a while, as long as the toy is given to be honest. Soon, the babies were all washed, Song Myanian looked for quite a few clothes out of the closet, struggling with what to wear for the babies to go for their immunizations tomorrow. Just take a few random pieces, anyway, the babies have a lot of clothes, just look good. Chang Xiao is not obsessed with this aspect. He understands that girls have so many clothes in their closet, and they feel like they don't have any clothes to wear when they need more than one. The baby's choice of clothes is also a bit tangled. Song Myanian ignored him, hum, straight male thinking. Isn't she trying to make the babies look good when they go out? They must be well matched. How could she just perfume it casually? What's wrong? Angry with me? Song Myanian was in the middle of organizing her clothes when Chang Xiao suddenly wrapped his arms around her from behind, causing her body to stiffen. Biting her lip, her face turned red. How could this guy walk without a sound? Chang Xiao instantly felt the sound of her accelerated heartbeat, pounding. The corners of his lips rose slightly. You, can you let go first? Song Mian Yang whispered, sounding like a kitten purring, her face already red. It made Cheng Zhao's heart touch a little. Wife, are you still angry? If you're still angry, then I won't let go. 
Hot air sprayed in his ears, smelling his proprietary flavor, full of hormonal scent, Song Myanian felt her brain was a little confused. The heart was beating faster and faster. Her face had reddened from her neck to the roots behind her ears, and she opened her mouth, unable to say anything. After a while, she took a deep breath, will you let go? Not until you say you're not angry anymore. I haven't been angry. The body loosened up, Cheng Xiao really loosened up. It's not too late to find clothes tomorrow, go to bed early. No, tomorrow will be too late. She wants to leave early, if she doesn't look for it now, she should be in a hurry again early in the morning, how would she have time? Watching her match one piece at a time, Cheng Xiao sighed helplessly. This little woman, can be really stubborn. It wasn't until the babies had all fallen asleep from playing that Song Myanian's voice came in, quite happy. Matching is done. Wear these four sets tomorrow. Cheng Xiao looked over, four sets of clothes, two sets of lavender, two sets of gray. Male baby, female baby models. This is the onesie they wholesaled before, it's thick and best suited for this time of year, not easy to catch a cold. In the store this sold quite well. Seeing her happy like a child, Chang Zhao's eyes showed favor. This wife is also too interesting. This tangled problem is so cute, isn't it? Alright, it's getting late. Wife, we should go to bed. Good. After choosing their clothes, the two of them stopped obsessing. Early the next morning, Chang Xiao drove off, this half a month, he brought up a new BMW car for his wife to drive to work. He then drove the original Volkswagen. Song Myanian packed up and headed to the health center with Song Qin and the kids. This time earlier than last time, not many people. There was no need to queue up, and they got their number plates without any problems. Everyone knew to take advantage of the early hour, and after she arrived, a lot of people came one after another. Because of the mother and baby store, many mothers and fathers had gone to patronize it, and immediately recognized Song Myanian and the four babies. Even if they couldn't recognize them, a few of the little ones were still very recognizable, and there were a few families that could give birth to quadruplets in this hundred mile radius. The mom's recognizability was also very high. Are you the baby mama who owns the mom and pop store? At this time, a mom came over and asked, holding a little boy in her hand. Song Mianyang nodded and smiled, yes. Your baby is so pretty, this is the first time I've seen it up close. That mom said with a smile. Thanks. Regarding the quadruplets, everyone cast a curious look. Not to mention the four of them, but just the unbelievable face value alone, all of them were unforgettable, and people couldn't take their eyes off of them. Song Myanian was embarrassed and just wanted to finish her immunization and hurry home. The radio finally called out to her, and she hurriedly pushed the baby towards the small room. Chang Xiao had already arrived at his destination and looked at the building in front of him, it was a super large factory. By the looks of it, it should be specially rented out for filming. Sci-fi movies are usually filmed in these factories. Just as he walked into the factory, he was directly stopped. What kind of person? This place has been cleared. Idle people hurry up and leave. Chang Xiao said, Where is your director? You still want to see the director? I'm Chang Xiao. Your director should know. Chang Xiao took out his script. The man took a look at the script and was a bit skeptical. You're the male lead? All right, come in first. I'll go talk to the assistant director. With the script out, it wasn't good to kick people out. So he asked the assistant director to confirm. Soon, the assistant director came and took a look at Cheng Xiao, and with this outstanding appearance, he quickly confirmed that it was indeed the male lead candidate. This appearance, very recognizable. At that time, when he watched his performance through the video with director Chang, he instantly remembered it. The assistant director brought Chang Xiao towards where director Zhang was. Director, the people have arrived. Cheng Xiao looked over, director Zhang was a somewhat slightly chubby man, just around 30 years old, looking quite serious. Director Zhang, hello. After the two shook hands, Chang Xiao realized that this director Zhang didn't seem to be as serious as he appeared to be. Director Zhang was a bit excited and said, Young man, I can finally wait for you. I'm really sorry about yesterday, something came up temporarily. It's fine, as long as the person is here when the movie starts, it's fine. Director Zhang smiled. The people next to him had already been petrified when they saw director Zhang like this, and stood dumbfounded at the side. This this this. When did director Zhang become so good at talking? He was known to be strict in the circle, whether it's in front of the stage or behind the scenes. If you don't shoot any of his movies well, you'll be scolded, or you'll be scolded by pointing your nose. Some actresses were directly scolded to tears. As the main character of his movie, being scolded hundreds or thousands of times is a normal phenomenon. Cheng Xiao, a newcomer, was chosen as the male lead, so it was inevitable that some people were not convinced in their hearts, but because of director Zhang, they didn't dare to squeak, because he hates fighting in his crew. Once found, directly expelled from the crew. After that, no one would dare. He has a poisonous eye, and most of the actors he chooses are of good character, but there are some who are high and mighty. For example, the actor who plays the second male lead, Chen Xin. He's not a bad guy, but he's a little too high-minded. 
His curiosity in the entertainment industry belongs to the first line, the acting skills are noteworthy, other people looking for him to shoot are the male number one, and Zhang director here only took a male second. Seeing as it's a big production, he tolerated it. The only thing he couldn't tolerate was that the actor of the male one had chosen a newcomer who had just entered the circle. How could this make him happy? How did director Zhang choose him? What's so great about this guy? Seeing Chang Xiao conversing with director Zhang from afar, Chen Xian asked the assistant beside him. From what they said, it seems like director Zhang watched a video clip of him acting and settled on the person on the spot. The assistant whispered, just afraid that a louder voice would anger this ancestor. Chen Xian frowned, just watching a clip and directly settling on the main character? Looking at the entertainment industry, where was there such a rule? Unless it was a particularly strong background. For someone like Chang Xiao, he didn't look like the son of a powerful and influential family. Why would director Chang choose him? Seeing Chen Xian look like he was dying of anger, the assistant hurriedly said, Brother Xian, don't be impulsive, we can't do anything about the person director Zhang chose. If you are secretly fighting with Chang Xiao, you might be kicked out of the crew if you are found out. It's also impossible to directly confront director Zhang, right? He knew that Chen Xian had a bad temper, and if he impulsively went to someone else, he would be blamed by his manager and lose his job. Chen Xian gritted his teeth and took a deep breath, am I that calm? He couldn't understand, director Zhang wasn't even this polite to him, so what does a newcomer have to do? Over there, director Zhang and Chang Xiao were communicating very well, talking and laughing, and didn't know what they were discussing. Seeing director Zhang's stereotypical face with a smile on it, Chen Xian was sour. This side, little Chang Ah, have you read the script of Super Guardian? Director Zhang asked. Chang Xiao nodded, that's a must. It's like this, director Lin said that you have a unique insight into this aspect of the plot, I want to ask, do you think there's any part of the plot that's not good, or where it needs to be revised? Chen Xiao had sort of studied the script thoroughly, and quite admired director Zhang's side of the screenwriter, after reading around, the plot was not bad, quite compact. It should be good to shoot out. But, there's no problem with the big plot, it's just a few small details that would be more perfect with some revisions. Chang Xiao smiled. Director Zhang immediately took Chang Zhao's advice and called out the screenwriter to make the changes he requested. The director had given the word, and the screenwriter, even if he was reluctant, had to go and obediently modify it. Shooting starts today, and the actors and crew are busy preparing. This movie was basically shot inside a green screen, testing the acting skills of the actors. The special effects artists are even more tested in the later stages. As long as the special effects are real enough and the plot is good, the box office will not be too bad. It all depends on whether or not you're willing to spend the money. After talking with director Zhang, Chang Xiao went to the dressing room. The assistant director walks in front and leads the way, his mouth blah blah blah, I'm telling you, Xiao Chang, you're really lucky, director Zhang attaches great importance to you, I've never seen him like this before. A smile appeared on that serious face, which was still unbelievable when he thought about it now. This is the dressing room, the main characters are all together. The two stopped at the door of the dressing room. Chang Xiao opened the door and walked in. Only to see that there were four dressing tables inside, three of which, already had people sitting there, with makeup artists in action. The assistant director smiled and introduced, this is the female lead and the male one and two. Chang Xiao nodded and sat on his own makeup table. Immediately, a makeup artist came forward. Started to put makeup on him. Xiao Chang, you make up first, there's something else at the director's place, so I'll go over first. After the assistant director left, the dressing room was quiet. The female lead at the makeup table next to her, Yen Muan's eye sneakily glanced at Chung Xiao, just curious about what the male lead looked like, and at first glance, froze. This little brother is also too good looking, right? I heard that director Zhang randomly chose a newcomer as the male lead, and felt that it was quite unfair, several people here, which one is not experienced? A newcomer, on what grounds? Blame it on the fact that she is a face dog, just Chung Xiao this looks, completely defeated her. It's too handsome for her. In an instant, I felt that those so-called handsome stars in the entertainment industry were nothing. Chen Xian was sitting not far away, watching the script, glancing this way from time to time. His eyes were disdainful. What is the use of being handsome? The makeup artist got on and put Chung Zhao's makeup on, the whole time with a nymphomaniac face. Hey, you're the male lead? How come I didn't see you come to the opening ceremony yesterday? Yen Nuan couldn't help but open her mouth. Cheng Xiao glanced at her, didn't have time. That was the opening ceremony. What could be more important than the opening ceremony? Chang Xiao didn't say anything. Yen Wan really didn't stop. Why did director Zhang choose you? Is it because you're a particularly good actor? I'm glad to be your partner. Let's work well together in the future. Yen Wan had already extended her hand. Chang Xiao squinted her eyes and ignored her. However, she wasn't angry at all. Just take it as a he's high and cold. Oomph, this hasn't even caught fire yet, and you're playing a big game. 
Chen Xian snorted coldly. Yen Nuan in turn helped Cheng Xiao. What playing a big game? Chen Xian, can you be more polite to others? Cheng Xiao frowned. Why are these two so noisy? Soon, after applying makeup, they changed into their costumes again. Ready to start shooting. Director Cheng's side was already ready. Those who suspected that Cheng Zhao's acting skills were problematic in the beginning, after seeing his first performance, they all froze on the spot. Dumbfounded, they watched him finish. This. They were all in disbelief, a newcomer actually had such explosive power? By the way, how could such acting skills be a newcomer? It was like a veteran who had been acting for decades, no matter what the expression was, it was all familiar. Other actors need to brew, he does not need. I told you, director Zhang Zai for choosing people is so accurate, how can it be wrong? Chen Xian's face was unsightly on the spot, but it was Yen Nuan who looked at him with a smile, didn't you say Cheng Zhao's acting skills were bad? Look, this is something we can't compare to. Such excellent acting skills, even if she honed her skills for a few more years, she couldn't even compare it to her horse. Almost all of them were passed over once, and director Zhang was so satisfied that he was even a little teary-eyed. This was what the main character of Super Guardian should look like. Very good. After filming this scene, everyone couldn't help but applaud. Yen Nuan hurriedly went over, Cheng Xiao, you're acting so great, your acting is so good, can you teach me? Miss Yen is joking, I'm just a newcomer to the circle, you haven't been acting for a short time, you shouldn't need me to teach you, right? Cheng Xiao smiled faintly, turned around and walked away. The second scene, with martial arts, director Zhang was originally prepared to have a stand-in, but he didn't realize that Cheng Xiao proposed to do it himself. It was a martial arts fight, how could it work without a professional martial arts stunt double? Wow, so dedicated. The female staff member held her face. He's really handsome, more handsome than any male star I've seen. Not only is he handsome, his acting skills are so good. Director Zhang Zai for choosing people is just different. A few people gathered to watch and discuss, each one starry-eyed. To be honest, Chang Xiao being so good in martial arts was completely unexpected by director Zhang. This one action and stance, it was as if he really knew martial arts. It went very smoothly. When director Zhang shouted click, his heart was shocked beyond words. How many surprises did Cheng Xiao have that he didn't realize? It's too awesome, isn't it? He shot the scene, to be honest, did not invite young and good-looking fresh meat to play, or strength, if not see Cheng Xiao video performance, just this face really cannot convince him. I did not expect Cheng Xiao this surprise is really endless. Nowadays, this martial arts don't even need a stunt double, they directly go up themselves. Not bad, not bad acting. Director Zhang smiled. The crowd looked like they had seen a ghost. After acting can let Jing director so praise, basically no, those who have shot his scene of the predecessors have not a not been pointed at the nose scolded. Chang Xiao can be considered the first person to be complimented after one performance. This world is too mysterious. Chang Xiao finished the scene, walked off the stage, thanks to the system this reward movie star acting ah, too awesome. There is also this god of fighting that plays a role at a crucial time. Subsequently as the male second and the female lead out of the scene, the two are a bit of strength, acting can only be said to look past. Compared to Chang Xiao, it's far worse. When it ended, they were scolded by director Zhang, especially Chen Xian. When it was time to wrap up, the director had already booked a hotel for all of you. Chang Xiao proposed to go home, and director Zhang didn't refuse, but just asked him to come over early tomorrow. It's a good thing we're shooting in Xingzhou, if we were somewhere else, we wouldn't see our babies and wives for half a month. Where can you stand that kind of pain of longing? After driving home, Song Mianian was breastfeeding her children, each one crying and wailing. Seeing Chang Xiao come back, Song Mianian froze for a moment and thought he was going to spend the night in the place arranged by the crew. Chang Xiao rushed over to help. When the children saw their father, they immediately stopped crying and blinked their eyes. Babies, you're disobedient again. Chang Xiao picked up the teary-eyed Er Bao and pinched her little face. Last night, she was tickled by Er Bao's face, and if this wasn't for the fact that the bruises were shallow enough to be covered, she probably wouldn't have been able to shoot the scene today. How are you today? Did it go well? Song Mianian asked quite smooth. If the supporting cast also gave a good performance, then the movie would be finished soon. Director Zhang was very demanding of these actors, he had to be perfect before letting them pass, otherwise he would let you reshoot again and again until he was satisfied. In the end, everything was for a good work to be born. That's good. At this time, there was an aroma coming from the dining room, Zhang Xiao had long been hungry. Putting the children in their cribs, the couple headed to the dining room. Just in time, his mother-in-law brought up a bowl of soup. Little Chang, how's it going? Are you still adapting to work? Song Qin hurriedly asked. Pretty good. That's good. You didn't see that our Mian Mian was worried about you the whole day. Song Qin smiled and said. Oh, Chang Zhao's eyes looked at the person beside him. Song Mian Mian blushed a bright red, and had already been too shy to raise her head, let alone meet Chang Zhao's eyes. 
After a meal, in the room, Shang Xiao pulled Song Mianian's hand and laughed, Wife, are you worried that I can't act well? Or being bullied on the set? Hearing his mother-in-law say that, he felt something was wrong. Song Mianian bit her lip, then met Sheng Zhao's eyes and nodded. That previous TV series was introduced by Li Jin, and it was also to make money to relieve her immediate needs, so she was more relieved to have an acquaintance. This time, it was a brand new drama, and she was playing the male lead. There will definitely be some people who are not convinced and will ostracize him. Chang Xiao had already thought of this and comforted, Wife, you have to have some faith in your husband. Song Mianyang sighed and went to one side to organize the cabinets. A pile of sun-dried clothes needed to be organized. The babies lay in a row, not sleepy either, babbling. One by one, they put their hands in their mouths and sucked and sucked, making drool everywhere, especially on their own clothes. These few little ones had to change their clothes almost every day, because when they were busy with the store, they were washed in the middle of the night, and they didn't have time during the day. For treasures drooling the most ferocious, Cheng Xiao also deliberately viewed this little girl, there is no sign of teeth ah, smooth on the bed of the teeth. Could it be that the teeth are about to emerge? Wife, come and take a look. Song Mianian had just finished working when Chang Xiao called over. What's wrong? I have a feeling that Four Treasures is about to sprout teeth recently as well. After all, it's already been four months. Really? Song Mianian didn't believe it and checked Four Treasures' teething bed and there was nothing. Before, before Debeo didn't have his teeth popping up he was also drooling all the time. The same thing happened with Four Treasures, I guess it's just in these few days. Chang Xiao said. How do you know? Observed ah, when I brought the babies, I would often observe some of their changes. As soon as these words came out, Song Mianyang let out a bitter laugh, more and more feeling that she, as a mom, was really inattentive, and these details were not thought of at all. Too unqualified. Ah. Uh, seeing both mom and dad staring at themselves, Si Bao's big eyes were loaded with small doubts, his little legs stomped and stomped, wanting to roll over again. Chang Xiao went over and wrapped her into the sleeping bag with his backhand. Reacting, she struggled desperately. Hoof. Same expression, same voice. The couple chose to ignore it. It took a while for it to subside. Song Nian Yang sighed, Hubby, do you think I usually don't care about the babies in particular? Not even the most basic ones. No ah, you've said this sentence a hundred times already, didn't you say it? As long as I'm around, you don't have to worry about anything. Alright, it's getting late, go to sleep, you still have to go to work tomorrow. Chang Xiao rubbed her head. Good. After seeing that she had gone to sleep, Chang Xiao sent a message to Wang Jing to ask him about the situation in the store today. However, he never received a reply, and looking at the time, he should still be busy in the store at this time. The store's monitor is connected to Cheng Zhao's cell phone, and he opened it to take a look. This is the peak season, three people can be said to be busy feet. It was at 10 o'clock in the evening that Wang Jing returned the message. Today's business is not bad, brother, how is it at your place? Not bad. That's good, right, bro, the warehouse is almost out of stock. Well, I know, I've troubled you these days. What are you talking about? How can that be called trouble? If it wasn't for you, I would still be a poor loser with no savings. The two of them chatted for a while longer. Chang Xiao opened the wholesale website and wholesaled a bunch of goods again. Maybe it's because Debeo is a bit noisy with their humming, but Sambao and Sibao refuse to sleep even though they are yawning. At this rate, I guess it won't be long before they're all refreshed. Have to head to the theater set early in the morning tomorrow. Around 7 or 8 o'clock. Debao Air Bao, hurry up and go to sleep and sleep. Daddy can go to sleep oh. Yeah. Erbo opens her eyes and looks over to him, her eyes are curious, at a glance, she is not sleepy. Cheng Xiao hurriedly carries her over, pinches her little face and laughs lightly, little one, are you sleeping or not? If he didn't have the skill of stealing sleep, bringing up a child like this, he would be sleep deprived every day. Yi. Erbo takes his little hand out of his mouth and violently grabs at Cheng Xiao's pajamas, and all of a sudden, the pajamas are stained with drool and wet, then buries his head in his arms. This child. Cheng Xiao helplessly shook his head. Gently holding her, walking around, coaxing, in no time she nestled in his arms and fell asleep, in the quiet environment can be heard subtle snoring. Line of sight toward the children's bed, only to see, all three babies are asleep, the big baby just was quite energetic, do not know when also followed the sleep. Gently put the second baby to the side and covered it with a quilt. Turn off the light and go to sleep. The next day, Chang Xiao got up early to make breakfast. Song Mianian stared sleepily up, looked at the time, and was jolted. It was going to be late. There was a meeting at 8 o'clock. It was now 7.20. Quickly, she washed up and changed her clothes. Hubby, I'm running late. I'll leave first, you feed the baby later. After saying that, she took an egg cake and left. These were specially made for her by Chang Xiao, delicious and much cleaner and more hygienic than the ones bought outside. You could at least take a bag of hot milk. I'll go first. Slow down on the road, rush hour. Got it. As soon as the door closed, Song Mianian left. 
Cheng Sha shook his head helplessly, this monkey in a hurry, just eat that much, don't know if it's enough. Mother-in-law came to the dining room at this time and asked, Mian Mian left? Yes, at 8 o'clock said that there is a meeting at school. Mom, the child is going to trouble you again. Song Qin waved her hand, that's not true, don't worry, you guys just focus on your work, leave the child to me. After eating, Chang Xiao also went out. At school, Song Mianian was a few minutes late, and after parking the car, she was running and huffing and puffing. Teacher Song, you just came too? Teacher Wang's voice rang out from not far away, and she stepped on a pair of semi-high-heeled shoes as she walked over. I was stuck in traffic on the road. I did oversleep and woke up at almost 8 o'clock. M.S. Wang was a little embarrassed. With a glance of her eyes, she instantly noticed the BMW keys in Song Yan's hand. Wow, are these your new car keys? I just noticed it. Yes, yes. Jeez, your husband is too good. A BMW car costs a few hundred thousand dollars at least, I'm envious. M.S. Wang's eyes were glowing. Envious and jealous. It's great to have such a husband, to have whatever you want. Alright, the meeting has started, no more talking, hurry up. Song Mianian headed for the conference room. Hey, wait for me. After the meeting, in the office. Tisk, teacher Song, I just heard from Mr. Wang, your husband is giving you a new car again, or a BMW. Teacher Lee had a gossipy face. Song Mianyang was embarrassed by what they said. Really envious ah, met such a good husband. He can cook, he's rich, and he's considerate. M.S. Wang's two eyes were filled with envy. Yeah, unlike us single dogs, no one is considerate. Teacher Wang and Teacher Meng Yan leaned together. Most importantly, there are four such cute little babies. When can we visit the babies again, miss them? M.S. Wang said. The babies must have grown up a bit and become better looking now. Yeah, each one is so cute. Especially that eye, it's almost exactly like Teacher Song. I might not have time recently, my husband is rather busy. Song Mian Yang said awkwardly. The crew was filming for half a month, so they really didn't have time to entertain the teachers. It's fine, let's talk about it when we have time. A few people didn't think anything of it, people said they didn't have time, so they couldn't possibly be dead set on going, right? On the other hand, on the other side, in the theater set, Cheng Xiao had just finished his makeup, and before he got up, Yen Muan walked over and moved a stool to sit next to him. Watching you perform yesterday, did you purposely learn it before? Just not into acting? Yen Muan was particularly curious. She didn't believe that someone who had never acted before was born with such good acting skills, saying that there was was all nonsense. Like Chang Xiao, he must have put in a lot of hard work behind the scenes. It's just a bit strange to put in the effort to learn acting but never shoot a movie. So, she wanted to ask. Chang Xiao turned his head and said faintly, Would you believe me if I say I haven't studied? Don't believe it, definitely don't believe it, it's impossible. Yen Nuan shook her head. How is this possible? Then no, that's my answer. Not getting the desired answer, Yen Nuan was a little disappointed. She felt that Cheng Xiao was just like ice. Answering questions was also cold. Only with the director did he have so much to say. However, there was a question. So do you have a girlfriend? Yen Nuan continued to ask. Cheng Xiao glanced at her, I'm already married. Yen Nuan froze for a moment and reacted with a face full of shock. Married? Cheng Xiao looked like he was in his early 20s and had just graduated from college, married? It can't be. This is also too fast. You won't just find a reason to put me off, right? She was a bit unconvinced. Cheng Xiao sipped his water, is there any benefit to me in lying to you? Seems like it doesn't. Yen Muan only felt a brain ache, getting married so young, this this this. Isn't your wife pretty? Just based on Cheng Xiao's face value, his wife definitely wouldn't be any worse. Speaking of Song Mianian, Cheng Xiao's features softened a lot. That's a must. His wife must be the most beautiful. Just by looking at Cheng Xiao's expression, he knew that his wife must be as beautiful as a flower. Then what does she do for a living? Chang Xiao didn't answer anymore. Yen Nuan felt particularly bored, skimmed her mouth and sat down in front of her dressing table. In the next scene, the male and female number one and the male number two all appeared. Chang Xiao basically didn't need to read the script and had already memorized it anyway. These two even glanced at the script to familiarize themselves with the lines. Yen Nuan saw this, don't you even need to memorize your lines? No need, I memorized them a long time ago. Awesome. Yen Nuan admired, this man, a little too excellent ah. It was a pity that he was already married. When it was their turn to go on stage, because it was director Zhang Xin, Yen Nuan and Chen Xian were both nervous and cautious, afraid of being scolded. Director Zhang was notorious for scolding actors on set. But there are still a lot of people who are interested in his plays, and they all have their heads cut off. Because his movies are guaranteed box office. Even if you play a supporting role, your resources will be very good in the future. Therefore, the always arrogant Chen Xian also curbed his arrogance. 
When he went on stage, he took several deep breaths in succession. Action! The shooting began. Halfway through filming, director Zhang shouted cut. Chen Xian, what's your situation? Can you act or not? Can't even act out a surprised expression? Chen Xian's heart thumped. Only to see that director Zhang came over with an impatient face. Director, I'm sorry, I'll do it again. Chen Xian lowered his head. All right, all right, get ready. The surrounding staff were all staring tightly over there. Cheng Xiao and Yen Wan were both quite on form, twice in a row. It was Chen Xian who made mistakes. Being lectured in front of so many people, Chen Xian only felt humiliated, which time had he been spoken to like this in a movie. He felt that his acting skills were recognized as good in the eyes of the public, but in director Zhang's case, they were simply reduced to nothing. This was already the second time he was said by director Zhang. The third time he was shot, the entire person was nervous. After hearing director Zhang say it passed, he was completely relieved. It's too bad that this scene was pressed. Someone in the crowd of onlookers spoke up. Yeah, I used to think that Chen Xian's acting skills were quite good, with several movies that did well at the box office, but now that I'm watching him play opposite Cheng Xiao, there's really no harm without comparison. In the past that was all because there were peers to set them off, now that there's a great one, you can see the gap. Listening to the crowd you and I, Chen Xian's face was ugly, he grunted and went back to the dressing room. When this scene ended, Yen Muan looked at Cheng Xiao, you're really good, I was almost pressured by you. You're not bad either. Cheng Xiao glanced at her lightly, amongst the ordinary star actors, this Yen Muan's acting skills were really excellent. Seeing that she was only in her early 20s, having this acting skill was also God's reward for good talent. I think you must have learned it on purpose, the subtle expressions are handled so well, it's very impressive. Yen Muan did not mince words in her praise. This was the first time she admired someone so much. Wanting to ask him for advice, thinking that he had a wife, it was better not to get too close. The next scene was for the supporting cast, Chang Xiao lifted his steps and headed for the dressing room. Sitting in front of the dressing table, the makeup artist rushed over to do the makeup. Halfway through, he received a call from Li Jin. She answered. What's up? Brother, have you already entered the group? Aha! Uh -huh. How's it going? Are there a lot of beautiful actresses? Li Jin was very excited, it was director Zhang's movie, not to mention whether the actresses were pretty or not, just the lineup, it was not comparable to the average crew. I heard that Chen Xian only took the second male role as well. It's okay, average. Chang Xiao was speechless. Li Jin rolled his eyes, Che, you have such a beautiful wife, of course you can't look at her, a single dog like me, what do you look at if not beautiful women? By the way, I heard that director Zhang often scolds people when he's filming, you have to take it easy, director Zhang has that temper. Do you have anything else to say besides this? Chang Xiao said. I can't come to say hello? If it wasn't for not being allowed to visit the class, I would have gone over to see. Now, before the words were finished, Chang Xiao hung up the phone. Li Jin was spitting on the other end of the phone. Shit. This guy, should he hang up so fast? Soon, it was Chang Xiao's turn to play again. Without realizing it, the day passed and there was another scene in the evening. When it was dark, director Zhang came over and said, Xiao Chang. It's not convenient to go back after shooting at night, the hotel has been booked, stay over here for a night. Chen Xiao thought about it and looked at the time, it would be after 11 o'clock when he wrapped up. That's fine, I'll trouble you director. No trouble, it should be. Director Chang nodded and went about his business. Before it started, Chang Xiao sent a message to Song Mianyang. I can't go back tonight. Song Mianyan didn't say anything, took a few pictures of the baby and sent over a small video. Still that cute little look, still know to look at the camera. Chang Xiao unconsciously raised the corners of his mouth. What are you laughing at? Yen Nuan's voice came from the side. Wow. Whose baby is this, so cute? Farah, uh, it's also too fertile, but it's really cute, these eyes, this little face. Yen Nuan revealed her aunt's smile. Eyes shining brightly as she looked at the several children in the photo. Chang Xiao turned off his cell phone. A black screen went off, pulling Yen Nuan's thoughts back. Who's the kid? Don't you just look at it? Really? As she said that, she felt something was wrong and pointed at Cheng Xiao, the child, it can't be you, right? Does it have anything to do with you? Cheng Xiao said indifferently. During the day you said you are married, then the person you just sent a message to should be your wife, this is your child, right? Yen Nuan was full of gossip. Cheng Xiao lazily ignored her. One hour later, it was their turn to go on stage again, and after the daytime shooting, they weren't as nervous as they were the first time. Just the thought of being pressurized by Cheng Xiao, Chen Xian felt suffocated panic, he was actually being pressurized by a novice, the set out face where to put it? Director Zhang also said in front of so many people that he didn't know how to act at all. There are only two scenes tonight, all give me a boost. Director Zhang shouted over there. The staff was ready. Start. This shot was a dialogue scene between Male 1 and his parents. Male 1 wanted to go and do what he wanted to do, and his parents didn't agree. 
He was in the rebellious stage and had a big fight with his parents. This kind of very test of the actor's acting skills, some expression details must be in place, in order to drive the audience. On this quarrel scene, Jung director in the camera watching, cannot help but be brought to that emotion. Acting male parents are old actors, completely by Changshou this acting completely convinced. Among these juniors, there is actually such an excellent existence. It's really not easy. So when they finished filming this scene, both of them couldn't help but go up and praise. Good acting, young man, very good. Act well for a few years, in the future, ah, the future is boundless. Cheng Xiao smiled, many thanks to the two seniors for their compliments. This face of modesty, the two nodded in satisfaction, really good. Started shooting the second shot. Until the evening wraps up, Cheng Xiao looks at the time, it's 11.30 p.m. Half an hour more than expected. Among the several people, the one who was dragging his feet the most was Chen Xin. After three or four consecutive shoots, he couldn't get past a single shot, so the other actors had to start all over again just like him. After wrapping up and returning to the hotel, Chang Xiao sent a video to Song Myanian at the first opportunity. She hadn't slept yet and was putting her baby to sleep, but when she saw the video from Chang Xiao, she hurriedly answered it. After connecting, Chang Xiao didn't have time to speak before hearing the baby's babbling voices coming from the cell phone. The fatigue of the day was instantly swept away, and he couldn't help but smile. These few little ones, once the night comes, they are so spirited that they don't let anyone sleep. Do you know that their mom still has to work tomorrow? You're still awake? Song Mianyang looked at Cheng Xiao in the video, a face put on big, look closely, is really handsome. Looked at her heart thumping. Taking her cell phone over a bit, she only took pictures of the kids. Wife, turn the camera around, let me see you. Seeing her turn the camera over, Cheng Xiao knew that this little woman must be shy. What's there to see about me? Song Mianyang said in a weak voice, just not giving it a look. Over here, the babies were so happy to see their dad from the video. Their little legs were still stomping and stomping. Yeah. The happiest of all is four treasures. Big eyes fixedly looking at the video, as if he is talking to Cheng Xiao. Four treasures is so good. Cheng Xiao smiles. Sure enough, seeing the babies will put you in a good mood, this cute little face, too healing, isn't it? After chatting for a while and talking to the babies, Cheng Xiao said, it's getting late, wife, go to sleep, you have to get up early tomorrow. Right, remember to buy breakfast, okay? Not eating breakfast is not good for your body. Song Nian Yang said, you too, take care of yourself. Did you miss me? Maybe your husband will go back tomorrow. Chang Xiao laughed. After the video hung up, Chang Xiao couldn't help but see Song Mianian's face in his mind and unconsciously raised the corners of his lips. The next day, packed up early and rushed to the theater group, put on makeup, and changed costumes. Just ready to go shooting, the director of the previous drama actually came to visit. The drama has not yet been finalized? He actually had time to come to visit. Ever since Chang Xiao entered the cast of Super Guardian in the past two days, he thought of coming over to see his performance. Director Zhang's side was demanding, so I guess the play would be better. He was a person who always appreciated talent. Watching the filming begin, director Lin's eyes tightly stared over there. When he saw that Cheng Xiao appeared on his own in the martial arts scene, with a stance that was even better than a professional martial arts stunt double, he was filled with shock. This. This time, director Chang has dug up a treasure. This young man will definitely have a great future in the future, it depends on whether he is willing to sign the company or not, after signing the company, with a little bit of packaging, he will be a big hit. After filming, Director Lin went to Director Zhang's side. How's it going? Director Zhang, the person I recommended to you, not bad, right? Director Lin smiled and said. At that time, when he saw Chang Zhao's performance, he thought of Director Zhang. Not bad not bad, the entertainment industry already has very few young actors that are this good. Director Zhang was satisfied. After thinking about it, he asked, has Xiao Chang signed a company? Not yet, I asked him last time and said that he doesn't have any ideas in this regard yet. Well, I'll find a chance to talk to him about it when the time comes. Director Zhang said, he had already decided to sign Chang Xiao. Such a good seedling couldn't be wasted. Other companies could refuse, but Director Zhang shouldn't be able to refuse, right? Director Lin thought. Who dares to steal someone from Director Zhang? In the dressing room. Cheng Xiao is making up her makeup, there are two more scenes in the afternoon, and she can go home after the shooting. I haven't seen the kids for a day and a night, and I can't stop thinking about it. Just after fixing her makeup, director Zhang's side was about to start. After the two scenes in the afternoon, Chang Xiao was ready to go home and was called out by director Zhang. Xiao Chang. Cheng Xiao looked back in confusion, director Zhang, what's wrong? Chang, do you have any plans to sign a company? I see that you're doing well, you have a lot of potential, do you want to come to my studio? Yen Wuan and Chen Xian, who were walking not far away, happened to see this scene. Stunned. Couldn't even believe it, was this really that stern, scolding director who didn't blink? 
actually taking the initiative to invite Chang Xiao to sign into his studio. This, Chen Xian instantly felt unbalanced in his heart. That was director Cheng's studio, how many artists couldn't even get in? To actually take the initiative to invite a newcomer. The two looked at Cheng Xiao to see how he reacted. Facing director Zhang's invitation, Cheng Xiao smiled faintly, sorry, director Zhang, I currently have no thoughts in this regard, and feel a bit freer to be on my own. Don't worry, our studio's contract terms won't constrain you too much, if you're not satisfied midway and want to change companies, none of us will stop it. Director Chang guessed his concern, but he thought wrong, Cheng Xiao didn't even think about this aspect, he only felt that a person is free to take it if he wants to, and if he doesn't, it's just like that, and the proceeds don't even have to be shared equally with the studio. It's okay if you don't want to, this is my business card, you can contact me at any time, I will consider you if there is a good movie. Director Zhang, after saying that, turned around and walked away. Oh my god. He actually rejected Director Zhang. Yen Nuan had a look of disbelief. Chen Xian snorted coldly. A little bit of acting skill only, too arrogant and cocky, also a person free, no company packaging, whoever looks for him to shoot a movie, nothing. Yen Nuan looked at him. Look at your jealous look, now he doesn't also have no company, he is still not seen by director Zhang, everything ah, uh, can't look at the surface, you are too superficial. You, Chen Xian clenched his teeth in anger, just because director Zhang chose him doesn't mean that other directors chose him. Che, I've heard that the other director Lin who made the TV series also chose Cheng Xiao. If the movie catches fire this time, even if Cheng Xiao doesn't have a company, with that heat and acting skills, will there be a lack of movies to shoot? Yen Nuan gave him a disdainful look. These words completely blocked Chen Xian's mouth. Angry, his face turned green. Yen Nuan hurriedly ran towards Cheng Zhao's side, tapped his shoulder, and said with a gossipy face, Cheng Xiao, why did you reject director Zheng's invitation? I want to go to his studio and I still can't. Does it have anything to do with you? Cheng Xiao was a bit annoyed. Che, I'm just asking, can't I do that? No. Cheng Xiao had a cold face and headed for the parking lot. This guy, really high and cold. Looking at Cheng Zhao's back as he left, Yen Nuan bristled. Chen Xian walked over and disdained, what, you like that guy? Isn't it just a good looking skin? What does this have to do with liking? Isn't it good to be friends? Besides, I don't have a chance if he's married. Since they're married you still don't stay away. Chen Xian rolled his eyes. I. The two chatted, Chang Xiao had already driven back. Looking at the time, his wife happened to be off work at this time. After returning home, Song Mianian was breastfeeding the baby. The big baby and the second baby were making quite a lot of noise, and their cries could be heard from a long way away. When he suddenly came back, Song Myanian froze for a moment, then her eyes became a little red. Not coming back for a night, it's strange to not get used to it. Before, when he was beside her, she felt safe, and she slept uneasily all night yesterday. Chang Xiao observed this situation with sharp eyes and went up and pinched her face, smiling, did you miss your husband? Song Myanian threw her head over and whispered, I didn't. Still saying no. When I finish filming this, I won't take on a movie for a while to stay home with you. Filming is not as good as a wife. Where's mom? Chang Xiao asked. Out shopping for groceries. When Debao and Erbao saw their dad, they quickly stopped crying and looked fixedly, their eyes still glistening with tears. Chang Xiao rushed forward and breastfed with Song Mian Mian. After they had eaten, they were carefully burped. How is it? Is it okay? Song Mianian turned her head to ask. Chang Xiao turned on the TV to watch and said back, Pretty good ah, uh, no problem. That's good. You didn't even ask me if the female lead is pretty? Chang Xiao had a bad smile on his face. Speaking of this issue, Song Myanian's face turned red with shame, and she punched her pink fist over and said in a bad mood, Do you think that the female lead is pretty? What do you say? Humph. Then you go find her, the child belongs to me. Chang Xiao. That won't do, I can't give it up. You can't give up the child or you can't give up me? A giveaway question. Seeing her this exasperated little look, Chang Xiao continued to tease her, Well, let me think about it. No need to think, you hesitated. Song Myanian grunted, hugged four treasures and sat far away, and moved her bow and the others inside. Ignoring him, Chang Xiao cried and laughed. Of course it's all shedding ah, you fool. Seeing that Song Myanian still looks angry, Chang Xiao is helpless, this is playing a big game, making his wife angry. Wife, I was just joking with you, just wanna make you happy. Let's not get angry, okay? But he didn't expect that how to coax Song Mian Mian ignored him. There was no way out. He had no choice but to carry the children to the crib and put them there, sit next to Song Myanian and continue coaxing, Honey, don't be angry with me, okay? How am I angry? Song Myanian glared at him, looking angry, but the corners of her mouth hooked up slightly. Unexpectedly at this time, Chang Xiao suddenly got up and pressed over to her, the two faces gradually getting closer. Song Myanian's brain went blank for a moment, completely unresponsive. 
Looking at Chang Zhao's face leaning closer and closer, her face reddened completely, her heart thumped, unable to control it. Then, only feeling a coldness on her mouth, the eyes fiercely widened. Instinctively, he turned his head to the side. What are you doing? Song Myanian's face was already red as if it was dripping blood, and she didn't dare to look directly into Chang Zhao's eyes at all. Chang Xiao brushed her face with his hand and said with a smile, still angry with me? If you're still angry, then you haven't kissed, or maybe you want to. The meaning was self-explanatory. Song Mianyang's ears turned red with shame, and she stuttered a bit as she spoke, I, I didn't. Then are you still angry with me? Not angry. The voice was small, looking like a poor little sheep. Song Mianyang really couldn't do anything about him, this one word. It's good that you're not angry, I knew that my wife is the best. Cheng Xiao naturally sat next to her, as if what just happened hadn't happened. Hoof. At this time, San Bao, who was lying in the crib, hummed and grunted. Cheng Xiao walked over and picked him up, scratching his little nose. What's wrong Sambo? In his arms, Sambo's little body was still twisting and turning, wrinkling his little face. Song Mianian walked over, is it somewhere uncomfortable? After carefully checking, Cheng Xiao found that where Sambo's neck was, there were two small packets, like he had been bitten by a mosquito. What's the situation? This weather can still get mosquitoes in the house? Wife, do you have flower water? Song Mianyang nodded, I'll go get it. Putting some flower water on, San Bao quickly stopped moving around. Chang Xiao checked the windows in the house to see if the screens were closed, and after looking around, he realized that the kitchens was not closed and the window screens were open. Although it is already autumn, but sometimes there will still be mosquitoes. The child does not know anything, and the body has a milk flavor attraction, accidentally will be bitten, the baby's skin is tender, a bite will grow a big bag. After closing the screen window, Chang Xiao carried San Bao into the children's room, and changed his fall coat and pants. Soon, his mother-in-law came back with groceries. Xiao Chang, so early today. Yeah, it'll be good when it's over in a few days. Song Qin went to do the dishes, Chang Xiao hurried over. I'll do it tonight, mom, you rest. You've been busy all day here, it's better if I do it. Song Qin smiled. Cheng Xiao took the dishes in her hand, I'll do it, you go rest. Okay. Soon, a table of delicious meals was served. Song Mianyang smelled the aroma all her appetite and couldn't help but swallow her saliva. Since eating Cheng Xiao's dishes, she doesn't have much of an appetite for anything else, she used to think that mom's cooking was the best, but now, Cheng Xiao's cooking is still delicious. I haven't eaten in two days, I just feel greedy. After the table, ready to move chopsticks, Song Qin gently patted away her chopsticks, said, You this girl, Xiao Cheng has not yet on the table, so impatient, rude. We're all married, what more manners do we need? Song Mianyang skimmed her mouth in aggravation. Song Qin seriously said, We're family now, what if there are guests? Bad habits must change. It was impolite behavior to start before people were even seated. Okay. Song Mianyan looked at the meal, looking over her shoulder. Soon, Cheng Xiao came over with a big bowl of soup. Why don't you eat yet? There's no need to wait for me. Only after seeing him sit down did Song Myanian dare to start. Clipped a piece of her favorite braised fish. Tasting it, her eyes lit up. It was as delicious as ever. Seeing her eat so quickly, Chang Xiao gave her a bowl of soup and helplessly said, eat slowly. Seeing that several dishes on the table are almost swept away. Song Qin took a bite of the braised pork and couldn't help but praise, it's true that it's still Xiao Cheng's cooking skills that are good. Basically all of the dishes I've made in the past two days have been left over and poured out quite a bit. Mom, what are you talking about? This is just me learning a little bit from a chef friend. Song Myanian was embarrassed to death by what was said, indeed, her appetite wasn't very good in the past two days, most of the dishes that mom made were left over, and could only be poured out after the night. After a meal, Song Myanian ate two whole big bowls. When cleaning up the dishes, taking advantage of the mother-in-law is not there, Cheng Xiao smiled, wife, your appetite is not bad ah, uh, you should eat more, nourish the body, thin or not good looking, or fat better. I've gained several pounds now. There's meat on my waist. Song Myanian voice muffled. It's good to be fat. I like it. Oomph. I don't like it. It's ugly. Cheng Xiao pinched her face. Before your face was dry and thin, now it's fleshy and nice. It feels good to pinch it. Being said by him, Song Myanian's face flushed red and couldn't help but mutter, which is not true. It's always been like this. Okay. Alright, quickly go take a bath. Didn't even sleep well last night. Go to bed early tonight. Seeing her sullen face, Cheng Xiao let out a light laugh and rubbed her head. Song Mianyang's cheeks were red and she ran out of the dining room as if she was escaping. Cheng Xiao finished washing the dishes and went to the children's room. At this time, Song Mianyang just finished showering out, because of the previous things, she did not dare to wear that lace-edge pajamas, but wore a set of particularly conservative long clothes and pants, so as not to be laughed at by Cheng Xiao again. Seemingly guessing this thought of hers, Cheng Xiao wanted to tease her and asked with a smile, Wife, why don't you wear that nightgown today? How nice it looks, I like it. The lace-trimmed ones are especially figure-revealing 
and this one directly covers the advantages of the body. A good figure has to be set off with good clothes. Where is good looking? I don't like it. Besides, this weather is so cold. Song Myanian grunted without any good humor. Cheng Xiao smiled, isn't there a heater in this house? What are you afraid of, or is it that you, wife, don't dare to wear it at all? Saying this, he once again took a step closer to her. Seeing Cheng Xiao getting closer and closer, Song Myanian's heart skipped a beat and her face reddened once again. What is this guy going to do again? Afterwards, she was directly pressed against the wall by Chang Xiao. What are you doing? Song Myanian didn't dare to look directly into his eyes at all. The heartbeat was getting faster and faster. Having just washed her head, her hair hadn't dried yet and was dripping down drop by drop. Seemingly finding a reason, she hurriedly said, that, I'm going to blow dry my hair, you. I'll blow dry it for you. No, no need, I can do it myself. Chang Xiao had already gone to get a hair dryer. Finally not having to be tied down, Song Myanian immediately breathed a sigh of relief. However, the next moment she started to get nervous again. Come over here. Chang Xiao was beckoning to her. The hair dryer was in his hand, so there was no choice but to obediently go over. It's better if I do it myself, just go take care of the kids. The babies were lying on the children's bed babbling. Little hands in their mouths gnawing and gnawing. The babies are playing by themselves, they don't need me. Chang Xiao grinned, wife, are you shy? I'm not, I don't need you for a small thing like blowing my hair. I can do it myself. Chang Xiao laughed, wife, if you say it again, it won't be long before this hair of yours dries up, say it, do you want me to finish blowing your hair as soon as possible, or do you want to continue to talk to me like this? Hmm. Song Myanian bit her lip, her fingers stirred together, and finally compromised. After blow drying her hair, he carefully combed it for her. Looking at her delicate side face from this angle, Chang Xiao smiled. This little woman is good everywhere, but she is too shy and can't let go. Every time she teases, her little face turns red like an apple. It seems that she still needs to get used to it more. Feeling that hot line of sight, Song Myanian's face turned even redder and hurriedly said, that, after blowing, I'm going to look at the babies, the bayo diapers should be changed. Saying that, she ran towards the children's room. Chang Xiao turned off the hair dryer and followed in. Song Myanian was sitting on the edge of the bed checking the baby's diapers. He glanced at it and smiled, it was clearly just changed. Several babies were looking at their mother one by one, their mouths babbling as if they were really talking to her. Yeah. For treasures opens her eyes wide, looking at her mom and then at her dad. Chang Xiao brought a small toy, the kind that plays songs, and shook it in front of the bed. It instantly attracted the baby's attention. Yeah. For treasures little hands out, sleeping in the sleeping bag is not honest at all, if this is a little bit bigger, I guess the sleeping bag can't subdue her, last time she directly kicked the zipper of the sleeping bag off. Chang Xiao wiggled around to attract, just do not give. For treasures quickly moved out the killer. But it didn't work. She herself didn't know if she realized it, stopped humming, and her little eyes looked seriously. When Debeo and the others saw that they couldn't get it, they gave up and continued to eat their fingers. After a while, they fell asleep. Only four treasures was left awake, eating her hands for a while, kicking her sleeping bag for a while. She is the last one to go to bed every time. Too able to stay up all night. At 10 o'clock, Song Myanian really can't stand it anymore, yawned and went to sleep first, tomorrow she has to go to work, she is afraid of being late again. For treasures, mom is asleep, why are you still so energetic? Chang Xiao cried and laughed. These eyes are open, for a while I guess I can't sleep. Yeah. For treasures kicked her sleeping bag, seemingly in response. Chang Xiao instantly understood what she meant. He remembered, every time four treasures and the other three didn't sleep in the middle of the night, he would pick them up and coax them to sleep by walking around. For treasures probably meant this, right? As expected, after picking her up and walking around and coaxing her, she soon started squinting and yawning and fell asleep in no time. Gently pinching her little nose, Chang Xiao smiled, this child. Putting them on the children's bed, he covered them with a blanket. The next day, Chang Xiao made breakfast early and prepared to leave. Before leaving, he instructed Song Myanian, wife, I put breakfast on the table, eat it while it's hot, and all your lunchtime meals are packed for you. Song Myanian was still lying under the covers, looking sleepy, and agreed in a daze, okay, I know. Chang Xiao went to the theater set. This time, the shooting location was changed to the rooftop of the next building. There was another scene to be shot there. Several brothers agreed to enter the military school together to realize their dreams. Cheng Xia plays the role of an 18-year-old high school student, Lin Yuan, dreaming of enrolling in the military academy to protect the country, but was opposed by his parents, who thought that once their son became a soldier, they would see each other very little, and only wanted him to live his life in peace and security. But Lin Yuan is in the rebellious stage, once the idea arises, it is basically impossible to turn back. This has always been his dream. After entering the army, an accidental contact with extraterrestrial organisms, and later with his comrades to face the invasion of aliens. 
The first scene today, to say that the difficulty is not too high or too low, mainly some treatment of the details, Chang Xiao put on his makeup and changed his costume. On the rooftop, before the shooting started, the actors were quite nervous, one by one, they were all taking deep breaths, looking at the script from time to time to familiarize themselves with the familiar lines, and some of them were still working on the lines to find the feeling. Beginning. The scene was filmed quite smoothly, and when director Zhang said it passed, they all sighed in relief. You guys shouldn't be too happy, the afternoon scene is much more difficult than this. Director Zhang had a serious face. Saying this, the originally relaxed atmosphere became tense again. Especially Chan Xin. He had already seen director Zhang's ability to curse and was a bit scared. If it was another crew, facing such a tricky director, he might have already gone on strike. His agent said that director Zhang's movie was a great opportunity, and it was hard to get it for him. As long as the movie was released, it would absolutely explode. It doesn't matter what the first or second actor or other supporting roles are, they'll basically all be on fire. Director Zhang, that is a proof of strength, has a very poisonous vision. The choice of actors, all the major theater groups are rushing to get it. Those companies are squeezing their heads to recommend their artists. Whether or not they get selected depends on luck. Cheng Xiao such a newcomer is the first man, he really cannot figure out why, no company no background, in the end, based on what? He admitted that this Cheng Xiao acting skills are really good, but, cannot serve as the male one of the movie, or this kind of big production. 1. No works. 2. No seniority. 3. No company. Just one person single-handedly. End of the scene, the makeup artist rushed over to replenish the makeup, continue the next scene. Continuing to change to the previous venue, a room where Lin Yuan conversed with his parents. Soon, the morning passed. And at this time in the school office, when it was lunchtime, the teachers all went to the cafeteria, Song Yin Yang took out the lunchbox Cheng Xiao had prepared for her. It was still insulated, and as soon as she opened it, a stream of hot air wafted out, accompanied by a rich flavor. The lunchbox has three layers. A glance at the eyes, a convenience sticker quietly lying there, pick up a look, it is written, wife, a bowl is certainly not enough to eat it, especially for you to load two bowls of rice. Seeing this, Song Myanian face couldn't help but redden and quickly put the note into her pocket. This guy, talking as if how much she could eat. It smells so good. The few teachers who had already finished eating walked in and smelled this fragrance. The line of sight quickly locked onto Song Mian Yang. M.S. Song what are you eating that smells so good? A few teachers, Mr. Lee, walked over. Yeah, this smell hasn't been smelled in a long time. The cafeteria is full of vegetable smells. I got tired of it a long time ago. Teacher Song, it's your husband preparing it for you again, isn't it? Teacher Wang let out a bad smile. Song Mian Yang was a little embarrassed and nodded. How thoughtful. Teacher Wang couldn't help but gulp as she smelled the aroma. Teacher Lee, who was on the side, glared at her when she looked so gluttonous, can you restrain yourself? This is prepared by someone's husband, you still want to be as brazen as last time to ask for food. I, I'll just take a look. Mumbled mess. Wang, come on, I still don't know what's on your mind. Not to mention that you've already eaten in the cafeteria, and MS. Song is still breastfeeding, is it okay to be a human being? Okay. Song Mian Yang felt weirdly embarrassed and wanted to ask if they wanted to join her, seeing that everyone had already returned to their posts before she started eating. When she had eaten and drunk enough, she tidied up her desk and everything was back to its original state. MS. Song, do you have any recent pictures of the babies on your phone? Send me a couple. Teacher Wang smiled back and asked. Song Mian Yang didn't say anything and sent them over smoothly. There was one of the child lying on the sofa, taking a panoramic view, but to her surprise, it happened to capture Chang Zhao's side face and full body. Song Mianian was startled when she viewed it, and when she reacted, she couldn't withdraw it anymore. Over there, Mr. Wang looked at the photo and his mouth was watering. Wow, this is growing bigger and better looking every day. Yeah, so cute, super cute. Teacher Lee also said, take a look at these eyes, watery, so pretty. When can we go see it again? As he was talking, teacher Rong, who was on the side, suddenly said, Ha, huh, is this teacher Song's husband? Song Mian Yang's face stiffened, and she began to panic in her heart. Blame her for sending it out without even checking it. At a glance it is. Teacher Lee stroked her chin, Why do I feel so familiar, have you guys noticed? It does a bit. Teacher Meng Yan said, This side face looks like Mr. Song's classmate Chang Xiao. Teacher Lee enlarged the photo and the more he looked at it, the more he felt a strong resemblance. The last time she saw teacher Song her husband felt familiar, and now that she looked at it like this, it was more than familiar, it was like she had seen it somewhere before. Very familiar very familiar. Teacher Li you don't say, really like hey. There are many imaginary people in the world, mister. Li you are probably overthinking it, right? How could it be student Cheng Xiao? Teacher Meng Yan said. Besides, didn't we see MS? 
Son's husband last time? It's not that at all, it's just a bit of a resemblance. That's true, maybe I'm overthinking it. Teacher Lee said. Teacher Wang smiled, let's just look at the baby, it's not good to keep staring at someone's husband. Seeing that they were no longer paying attention, Song Yang breathed a sigh of relief. It was really scared to death. This would have been the end if it was discovered. It was also her fault that she didn't pay attention to the photo or the angle at which it was taken. She accidentally photographed Chung Shou in it. Alas, that was close. Now that the photos have been sent out, it's impossible to get Mr. Wang to delete them, right? Doesn't it make it look even more like there's nothing here? Suspicious people will soon suspect Chung Shao. After looking at all the photos, Mr. Wang turned back and suddenly asked, Mr. Song, speaking of Chang Shaoing your class, I just remembered, when is he coming to class? Ever since the last exam, no one has seen him. I contacted him before and said that he didn't come because of something at home. Song Mian Yang said in a serious manner. Something? What could be more important than studying? Teacher Song, you'd better persuade him, this is about his future job, if he can't get his diploma, what can he do? Teacher Li was worried to death. Although this student's grades are good, but also cannot be so screwed ah. I've never seen such a capricious student. Song Mianyang nodded, got it, I'll get in touch after work. At night, she told Chang Xiao about today's incident. Hubby, do you think this will be revealed? Song Mianyan was nervous. Chang Xiao said helplessly, no, you're just being overly concerned, besides, so what if it's found out? I don't believe it's illegal for two adults to get married. But I'm older than you and the relationship is sensitive. So what? It's only three years older, I don't mind. Cheng Xiao smiled, just rest assured, if you really want to find out, relying on this store of ours can also live a prosperous life, no matter what others say. But, no buts, just put your heart back in your stomach. Song Myanian wrinkled her face inside, it would be a lie to say she wasn't worried. Ever since the photos were sent out, she had been on edge. Alright, let's eat, don't think so much. This time Song Mianyang ate half a bowl of rice and went to take a shower. When she went to bed, she was still moping. Okay, don't worry about it, it's fine, the big deal is that it will last until I graduate and you quit, we're not short of money anyway. But I, okay, Chang Xiao hugged her, go to sleep, I'll take care of anything. Time flew by and soon it was the day of the finalization. Now it was time to shoot the last scene, the ending. Driving away the alien intruder, and making peace with the female lead. The kind of eyes that Chang Xiao interpreted after the two were together after their ordeal. Yen Nuan on the opposite side looked at his eyes and expression, love, favor intertwined in it, if not no Chang Xiao cold and indifferent, almost she would have thought it was real. Can only say, this acting is very good. The emotions that the eyes reacted to were really easy to make people's hearts flutter and fall deeper into them. If he didn't have a wife, he might have been able to chase him backwards, but unfortunately, he already had one, and he even had a child. Yes, she was sure that the baby she saw in the last photo were definitely his. Parents who didn't have a good face value would never be able to give birth to such good-looking babies. Every time she asked this guy, he was reluctant to answer, cold and indifferent. Halfway through filming, director Zhang suddenly yelled cut. Yen Nuan, what's wrong with you? You're still distracted by the movie? Director Zhang frowned. Sorry, director, I'll do it again. It took one reshoot to get through. The super guardian is killed. The moment director Zhang shouted down to kill the production, the entire crew cheered. Phew. It was finally killed off. For the past half month of filming the movie, they didn't know how many times they had been scolded. Especially Chen Xin. He was directly scolded by director Zhang for his poor acting skills and being unsuitable for acting. But he endured it all. Previously, he was unimpressed with director Zhang's reputation out there, but now he finally experienced it. Xiao Chang, you can't not come to the kill banquet later, director Zhang said to drink together to celebrate. After filming, Chang Xiao was about to head to the dressing room to remove his makeup when the assistant director walked over. This director had personally invited him, and it was just a meal, so it was not good to refuse. He could only agree to it. The assistant director smiled, good, then I'll go and talk to the director. After removing his makeup and taking off his costume, he had just finished cleaning up when the assistant director came over to inform everyone. Later on, everyone don't leave, take a picture together and then go to Hotel Maria for dinner and drinks. This was a process that had to be gone through after the greening. Those who went were the main characters and important supporting characters, and the producer would also go over to get to know each other, which would be very helpful for the future theater path. When everyone was packed up, they took the car and left. Chang Xiao drove himself. The crew specially booked a very large private room, and when Chang Xiao went in, everyone was talking and laughing, and the atmosphere was very cordial. The actors were all sitting together, Yen Muan waved towards Chang Xiao, Chang Xiao, there's a seat here. Is this the actor you're particularly sure about? At this time, a middle-aged man asked director Cheng next to him. 
Yes, this young man, his future development will be very good. After all, the acting skills were here, and his achievements in the future would not be low. It's the first time I've seen you so optimistic about a young actor. The middle-aged man laughed. The two did not mince words in praising Chang Xiao, and several actors were envious. Being able to get such a favorable opinion from director Chang, in the future, would there still be a lack of movies to shoot? Too envious. I heard that Chang Xiao doesn't have a company team behind him, he is completely relying on his strength. The dishes were served one after another, and the banquet began. Come on, drink, wish us a happy kill. The assistant director shouted and everyone started toasting. Yen Wan smiled at this time and asked, Director, have you set when the movie will be released? Ah, we can't wait to publicize it. Yes, yes, yes. Specific time, wait for the notice. Director Zhang replied. There was still a lot of work to be done after filming the follow-up. The most important thing about this movie was the special effects, even the details had to be taken care of. Halfway through the greening banquet, everyone was immersed in the joyous atmosphere of the greening. Chang Xiao who was drinking water felt a naked line of sight staring at him, itching to stare a hole in his body. It was too hot to avoid, he looked up and saw that he was looking at a somewhat obese middle-aged woman with a shiny gold bracelet on her hand. There was a smile and salivation in her eyes. Chang Xiao frowned, instinctively disgusted by this gaze. Yen Wan next to him also noticed the situation and knew that Chang Xiao was too good looking and was being stared at. Chang Xiao, this woman is the producer's wife and is notorious for spoiling beautiful men, take it easy. She reminded. Chang Xiao raised his eyebrows, the producer's wife? The husband is present, this still dares to blatantly hit on someone else. Husbands and wives are playing their own game, whatever, in short, just be careful, whatever she says, just don't fall for it. Do you think I look like such a stupid person? Chang Xiao said faintly. That's not like it, well eat eat eat, just eat and hurry to get out of here. Yen Nuan snapped. The producer was the middle-aged man who was talking to director Chang, he wasn't stupid and must have noticed the situation. Only turning a blind eye. Which of the things this bitch did did he didn't know? Just too lazy to care. When it was almost over, Chang Xiao got up and greeted director Zhang to say goodbye. Director Zhang had already decided to give Chang Xiao the lead role in his next movie, and when he asked him what he wanted to do, Chang Xiao only said he would think about it and left. This caused the crowd to be envious and jealous. See, I said he doesn't lack a movie to shoot, you still don't believe me, even if people's studios, the director still looks favorably on it, that's what you and I can't compare. Yen Nuan looked to the side of Chen Xin. Chen Xin hummed. Without the support of the company, it won't last long, just watch. Is it so hard to admit a sentence that someone else is excellent? Yen Nuan was truly speechless towards this guy. Incorrigible. Chang Xiao went to the underground parking lot and was just about to open the car door when a chubby figure appeared not far away, stepping on a pair of high-heeled shoes and was looking at him with a burning gaze. Those eyes, looking at Chang Xiao was like looking at prey. She had long been eyeing him, the moment Chang Xiao entered the private room. This face was the most handsome and good-looking she had ever seen, so she couldn't just let it go. For her conditions, she didn't think any male actor would refuse. Those little fresh meat were still eager to climb into her bed in order to have resources. This lady, can I help you? Chang Xiao inquired. Don't play dumb, young man, you should know very well the purpose of me coming to you. The middle-aged woman let out a laugh. Chang Xiao let out a light laugh, I'm sorry, I'm really not sure. You want to continue in the entertainment industry, I can help you. The middle-aged woman said, I think you will be satisfied with the conditions I offer, I know quite a few people in this circle, it will always help you, if you want to shoot a movie, I can invest. Director Zhang's drama isn't a long-term solution either, do you think that if he promises you the next drama he will really give it to you? Why would so many actors choose you? You still have to rely on a capable person to stand firm, like me. Saying this, she took out a room card, Sky City Hotel, consider it? Looking at this handed over room card, Chang Xiao couldn't help but smile. Thank you really auntie, I don't have any interest in continuing to develop in the entertainment industry. He had no intention of being in the entertainment industry, and shooting two movies would just earn him some fame to use for live broadcasting and selling goods in the future. The middle-aged woman froze for a moment, then became a bit annoyed, you actually rejected me? Do you know who I am? Noah, your husband is the producer, you are the producer's wife. Then you still dare to reject me, looking at you is just because your skin looks good, don't give your face away. The middle-aged woman sneered, believe it or not, I will let you be blocked by the whole network in a minute? You can, I don't care. Chang Xiao shrugged his shoulders with a face that didn't care. You. Seeing Chang Xiao's softness and hardness, the middle-aged woman's face turned green with anger. Chang Xiao was too lazy to talk nonsense with her and desperately wanted to go home. Auntie, I won't keep you company if there's nothing else. After saying that, he drove away. Brat. I'll remember you. As he drove the car out of the parking lot, Chang Xiao received a transfer message. A whole 30 million dollars. The note was for his paycheck from the movie. 
For a newcomer in the show business, this was a very high paycheck. He didn't intend to tell Song Myanian about this for the time being, for fear of scaring her. He would talk about it later. When he returned home, it was already dark, Song Myanian was sitting on the sofa coaxing the babies, the TV was on, playing cartoons. Several babies lying there, open eyes unblinking watching, small expression cute. Maybe they were too absorbed in what they were watching, and they didn't even know that their dad was back. Song Myanian also did not realize. When Shang Xiao approached, she was startled. A pink fist came over and she was full of depression. How come you walk without a sound? Scared me to death. There is sound ah, it's just that you didn't realize it. Hearing their dad's voice, the babies realized it, and one was overjoyed. Has it been killed? Song Mian Yang asked. Cheng Xiao nodded and laughed, it's killed off, so I can stay home with you more from now on. Who wants your company? She said with a muffled voice. Cheng Xiao smoothly held De Bao in his hands, glanced at the other few little ones, and said, Wife, I think it's very necessary for us to buy baby seats, the kind that are placed on the sofa, the babies are uncomfortable lying down all day and night, and occasionally come out to sit and exercise their back strength. But you can't sit for long periods of time, that's not good either, it's easy to get into trouble. Song Myanian thought about it. Nodded, that's fine too. Cheng Xiao opened his cell phone, I'll see if there's any on the wholesale network, wholesale some, in case a customer needs it? After looking carefully, there were really some. In addition to baby seats, there are other ones that have been wholesaled as well, and the warehouse shouldn't have many goods left. Where did mom go? Cheng Xiao then realized that his mother-in-law wasn't there and asked suspiciously. Mom went out to buy eggs. Hungry, right? I'll cook first. Aha. Uh -huh. Just after walking to the kitchen, he received a call from Li Jin. Answer it. Before he could say anything on this, he heard an excited voice from the other end of the phone, Brother, you killed the movie? Yes. Then do you know that you're going to be on fire? I'm telling you, the crew of Superpower is on the major video apps, starting to put out highlights to publicize it, it can be said that it's on fire before it's aired. Everyone's comments are all about your face value and acting skills, TSK TSK, the first blooper video they posted had tens of millions of views. Chang Xiao was speechless, how do you know? I've watched all the various video platforms, so naturally I know, I'm really envious. Director Lin also put up the highlights of this drama we filmed, attracting a wave of fans it, you can be said to be a dark horse. I really can't imagine, when this movie of yours is broadcasted, the box office. Li Jin was getting more and more excited as he spoke, his tongue was about to get tied up. It was as if the one who caught fire was himself. He was so happy. Cheng Xiao was okay, didn't feel much, but it was out of his expectation. You called just to come over and tell me this? I'm still driving, I'm almost at your house, I'll eat at your house tonight. Cheng Xiao? This guy, it's also too sudden. Don't worry, bought gifts for your little boys. Li Jin grinned. Alright, it's getting late, come and hurry up. Okay. After the phone hangs up, Chang Xiao opens his cell phone Douyin app, looked up Super Guardian. Sure enough, like Li Jin said, the number of video views is in the tens of millions, and it's still rising. This operation method was indeed bullish. Opening the comments section, he glanced at the first few comments. Wow, such a handsome actor with good acting skills, how come I didn't know about it before? Never seen it before. I heard that it's a novice who was unearthed by the director of this movie, it's simply a treasure boy. Director Zhang's vision is as good as ever. Really handsome, looking forward to the movie release. The comments at the back were basically all clear. After looking around, he turned off his cell phone and hurriedly cooked. Not long after, mother-in-law came in carrying eggs and put them in the refrigerator, then hurried over to help. Mom, you go and rest, you are also tired from taking care of the babies these days, just leave it to me. Chang Xiao said. Okay. Mother-in-law smiled. Just after the meal was ready, the doorbell rang. Song Myanian was full of doubts, who came over to knock on the door so late. Opening the door, she froze for a moment when she saw it was Li Jin. Hi, sister-in-law, hello again. Li Jin grinned. After greeting him, he walked in carrying his things, the bags no doubt full of things bought for the babies. I'm sorry to come and bother you couple at this late hour. Facing Song Myanian, he was strangely embarrassed. Song Myanian said, it's fine. Meal time. In the dining room, Li Jin could be said to have opened his mouth and couldn't stop talking. Brother Ah, you're about to be on fire, when this movie is released, it will absolutely explode. You didn't see Wang Chang's jealous face, he was so angry that he said you did something unseemly to make director Zhang praise you. Seeing him ramble on and on, Song Qin was listening in the clouds and didn't understand. Does that mean, to be famous? She asked. Li Jin nodded, more than being famous, it's making a lot of money, brother Xiao is going to be rich. Chan Xiao was calmly eating his meal on the side, as if it wasn't him who was talking. Li Jin saw that only Ante Son was listening, as if she had found her soulmate, she started to explain, and the two of them soon chatted. The bastard spoke with a fluttering brow, and the couple glanced at each other, both somewhat speechless. 
After finishing the meal, Song Mianyang was a bit worried. If you're famous, you're a public figure. You'll be living under the eyes of many people in the future. In case we go out one day and get photographed, we'll talk about this when the time comes. There's no rush. Chang Xiao was not in a hurry. What can we do if we find out? We can just disclose it. We're all adults. Who can say anything? Who can say anything? The big deal is that the teacher's job is over. If Song Mianyan didn't agree, he would have let her leave the job long ago. The teacher's salary is not high, and she wears herself out every day. After washing the dishes, the couple sat on the sofa and coaxed the baby. Li Jin sat over. Cheng Xia glanced at him. It's getting late. Aren't you going back? I will go back later. At least I told you the good news. Are you kicking me out just like that? Li Jin said sadly. Besides, I mainly came to see the babies. I haven't seen them for many days. Can't I come to see them when I miss them? The babies blinked their eyes and looked on, seemingly not having the slightest impression of Li Jin. Their eyes were full of curiosity. Li Jin stretched out his hand to four treasures. For treasures, uncle, give me a hug. For treasures, looked at him, then at mom and dad, then buried his head in reluctance. Even his little hand retracted. Now even San Bao was not happy. How about tempting with toys didn't work? Li Jin was confused. What happened to these little ones? They don't even want the toys anymore. They don't give face at all. Cheng Xiao couldn't help but laugh. Look, they don't want you to hug them. Li Jin pretended to look sad. Babies, do you really not want uncle? He was also holding a small glowing balloon in his hand. At this moment, De Bao suddenly stretched out a small hand. The little eyes stared straight at Li Jin, his cute appearance adorable. Give it to you if you let uncle hold it. De Bao didn't resist. Only then did Li Jin reappear with a smile on his face and looked at Cheng Xiao with a rather smug look. See, De Bao still lets me hold him. Cheng Xiao wanted to say, you are still too young. De Bao's character is still not clear to him as a father? Right now it's letting you hold it, when it gets a toy. Poof. As expected. As soon as DeBeo got the balloon, he started to struggle, his little body twisted and twisted with a reluctant face. Li Jin reacted to this afterward, this little guy was purely for the balloon. After getting the balloon, he had a look of, if you don't put me down, I'll be in a hurry. Li Jin had to put him on the sofa and let him play by himself. A low sigh escaped. Well, don't stay much longer, there's something else I have to do, so I'll just head back. Li Jin headed for the door. Song Mian Yang gave Cheng Xiao a wink, well at least see him off. Chang Xiao put down the baby and sent him downstairs. When he arrived downstairs, Li Jin asked seriously, Bro, do you have any plans to stay in the entertainment industry for a long time? Chang Xiao shrugged and said, Not really. He knew that once he stepped into this circle, all kinds of announcements were rushed day and night, and he also had to shoot movies and advertisements, which was strange and tiring, so it would be better to do some small business or open a company by himself. Going to the theater is just for a business opportunity. He wouldn't do anything without a goal, it's purely a waste of time. Okay right, if I were you, I'd probably take advantage of the heat and sign up for a really good company. But then again, you have that little store, you're not short of money to spend, you're happy to be happy, me, I'm just running for my life. Li Jin smiled. As if thinking of something, he asked, how's the pay for the movie this time? Not bad, 30 million dollars. The air was quiet for a few seconds. For a while. Crap, what did you say, 30 million dollars? Li Jin was shocked, almost thinking that he had misheard. It's only the beginning of the movie and the payoff is 30 million dollars. You know, although Chang Xiao is very strong, he's a complete newcomer now. For a newcomer to give this much, director Chang is too generous. He admitted that he was envious. The air was filled with lemon flavor. Brother, I admire you, I admire you to the core, you're also too awesome. 30 million dollars, enough to spend for a lifetime. Improving your acting skills is the important thing, don't look at the immediate in everything. Chang Xiao patted his shoulder. After sending people away, Chang Xiao went back home and prepared to wash up. Song Mianian had already put the children into the children's bed to lie down and found a pair of pajamas to prepare to take a bath. This time, she turned over the kitten head pajamas from before. Wife, you're going to wear this? Chang Xiao walked in and said with a smile. Song Mianian glanced at him, is there a problem? There's no problem, only that this dress doesn't look as good as the one from last time, I think it's still that lace trim that looks good. Said so again. Song Mianian face couldn't help but redden too lazy to listen to him, circled around and headed directly to the washroom. Looking at her back, the corner of Chang Zhao's mouth rose. This little woman, she's still shy even though she's an old married couple. After San Mianian finished her bath, this time she learned her lesson and blew her hair dry in advance, lest Chang Xiao find another opportunity to flirt with her. What are you looking at? You're still not quick enough to take a shower. Seeing Chang Xiao keep staring at herself, Song Mianyang rolled her eyes. Obey! When he came back from the bath, Song Mianian was already lying asleep under the quilt, and so were the babies, except for four treasures. Still staring with a pair of big eyes open. Four treasures, you're still not sleeping? 
Cheng Xiao smiled and scraped her little nose. Yeah, it looks like she is not sleepy yet, her little mouth goes up and she smiles. Cheng Xiao knew her little mind and gently picked her up to coax her. There has to be a process like this every day. Otherwise, you won't sleep. I don't know how this little one tossed her mom when he spent the night in the hotel arranged by the crew. Obviously felt that his wife's face was a bit more haggard during this period of time. It's hard to go to work and bring up a child at the same time. Tomorrow is fine, just go to buy some supplements back, also take the children to the store to see go. I've been bored at home for half a month. The main reason is that it's not convenient for my mother-in-law to take them out by herself, so it's impossible to push four cars with two hands, right? It's tiring to bring up the kids every day. The wife has to go to work again. I'm not going to take on any more theater for a while, so I'll just stay home with my wife and kids. After putting four treasures to bed, Chang Xiao also went to sleep. The next day, Chang Xiao still woke up early to make breakfast, today is the weekend, no need to go to school. So he let Song Mian Mian sleep a little more. When breakfast was ready, it was exactly 8.30 a.m. Song Mianian reluctantly got up from the blanket and yawned, what time is it? Almost 9 o'clock, get up and eat breakfast, we have to go out later. Aha! Uh -huh. After washing up and coming to the table, Song Mian Yang was instantly energized. Such a sumptuous breakfast today. Song Mianian smiled. Song Qin sat on the side and said, sleeping in until now at this hour, you should also learn from Xiao Chang and get up early in the morning to make breakfast. Song Mian Mian was weirdly embarrassed by what was said, I know mom, I'll try to get up earlier in the future. Her stomach rumbled with hunger, she picked up a burrito and started eating. After eating and drinking, the couple set off with the baby. First, they bought some things and then went to the store. There was a big mall just over on Tianyi Street. Chang Xiao drove all the way in the direction of the mall. Isn't this the wrong place? Song Mianian thought she was going to the store and wondered. It's not the wrong place, I'll take you to buy some things to go. Won't be buying clothes again? Didn't we buy them last time? There's no need to buy them again. Song Mianian's first feeling was clothes and other luxuries. She had all these things and didn't need them at all. Not clothes, I'll take you to buy some supplements. You see your color has deteriorated a lot lately, you've worked hard with the child, so I'll give you a supplement. Song Mianian's heart instantly warmed up, so it was to buy these ah. She didn't even think of it herself, so he thought of it first. After parking the car at their destination, the couple pushed the babies into a store. Chang Xiao bought some good bird's nests and other supplements. These were quite expensive, but compared to the clothes they bought last time, they were so much cheaper that Song Mianyang didn't say anything. She came from the days of breaking a penny into two, naturally knowing how useful money can be when it counts. I don't dare to be too reckless. After thinking about it, Chang Xiao bought some more for his mother-in-law. After buying, put things in the trunk, set off to the store. Wang Jing was diligently greeting customers at the door and froze for a moment when he saw two familiar figures pushing four strollers over. After reacting, he grinned. Waiting for Chang Xiao to approach, he slapped him on the shoulder, Brother, you haven't come to the store for half a month, right? Still really relieved to leave it to me? Come in first, it's cold outside, the baby can't stand it. Pushing the babies into the store, seeing this somewhat familiar environment, the children one by one happily stomped their legs. Chang Xiao put them behind the cash register. Looking around the circle, the three people have already divided the work, Zhang Yu is responsible for cashiering and packing, Lin Yan sales, and Wang Jing sends out flyers outside. Both of them did not expect Chang Xiao to suddenly come back. One of them was quite happy and came over to say hello. Lin Yan misses the babies and wants to tease them, but now there is a steady stream of customers coming in, so she can only be busy with the matter at hand first. Chang Xiao looked at Wang Jing and asked, How are the new employees? Pretty good ah. They are all pretty hardworking, I've already given them a trial period, and the first batch of paychecks have been issued. There are guests coming, let's get busy first, let's talk afterward. Chang Xiao looked toward the door. Aha! Uh -huh. Customers came in one after another, some of them were old customers, seeing the babies finally appeared, one stretched their necks to watch. You guys see, haven't seen them for half a month, the babies have all grown up a bit. Yes, they're getting better looking. Don't say it, I miss them. Someone couldn't help but ask Chang Xiao boss, is there something you've been doing for the past half a month? It's been a while since I've seen the babies. That's right. I've come here many times and I haven't seen the babies. Cheng Xiao smiled. It's true that something happened temporarily. I went back home and was delayed for half a month. Wang Jing secretly gave a thumbs up. This lie doesn't even bring a blush. Without realizing it, it was soon time for lunch. Wang Jing was ready to order fast food. Cheng Xiao opened his mouth and said, everyone has worked hard over the past half a month. I'll treat you all to a big meal today. The few people froze for a moment. Lin Yan said, then the store. We'll open it again in the afternoon, let's talk about it after dinner. Chang Xiao booked a large private room at a nearby restaurant. 
Wang Jing deliberately checked. The restaurant is in the neighborhood, almost three thousand per capita from Ah. Also too generous. After finding the location of the restaurant, he just went in and the waiter greeted him. Hello, may I ask how many of you have a reservation? Cheng Zhao's cell phone was taken out and shown to her. The waitress immediately made a pleased gesture and said, "Several people, please follow me." After being seated, Wang Jing purposely sat next to Cheng Xiao and asked, "Brother, how's the shooting of your movie going? Has it been finalized?" As soon as he asked this, Lin Yan and their eyes also looked over. Aha! When will it be released? I can't wait to swipe the box office for you. Wang Jing rubbed his hands together excitedly. I'm not sure. The director will inform when the time comes. What's the name of that movie of yours? I'll search and see if there are any bloopers. Wang Jing laughed. Super Guardian. Wang Jing said, "Sounds like a lofty name. I'll search." He opened Weibo and searched, and really found an account certified by the crew. Inside were movie set photos, bloopers, and whatnot. Wow, bro, your makeup photos are awesome. It's too handsome. Wang Jing said. Cheng Xiao was helpless. Keep your voice down. Don't scare the baby. The baby looked around with open eyes. Lin Yan was teasing them. Pretty young lady, De Bao and San Bao loved it the most and were teased with giggles. San Mianian also glanced at the set photo and was slightly touched in her heart. Cheng Xiao's face value was indeed impeccable. At least so far, she hadn't seen anyone better looking than him. Especially in this makeup photo, it was even better. It's estimated that any woman would be touched by this, right? No wonder there were so many people chasing after him before. He was a school bully and handsome. This kind of person was the most pleasing to the eye. If she was a student, she probably wouldn't be able to help liking this boy either. To meet such a perfect him and become her husband, there was no doubt that she was really lucky. Wang Jing flipped through the bloopers and watched all of them, even Chang Zhao's martial arts scenes that didn't require a stunt double to get into the ring, and simply admired them. It was too awesome, brother. Look at the comments. It's going to be a big hit. Wang Jing said excitedly. One by one, they were all praising Chang Zhao's acting skills to the point of blowing up, and just the unbelievable face value had harvested a bunch of fans. It's time to eat. We'll talk later. The dishes had already been brought to the table one after another. Chang Xiao affectionately gave Song Mianyang dishes and soup, explicitly stimulating a few single dogs. I feel like this meal is to see you in MS. Song show their love. Wang Jing said as he ate. Right, boss. You have to take into account the feelings of us single dogs as well. Lin Yan chimed in. Song Mianyan's face had long since turned red as she listened to them and elbowed Chang Xiao. Eat your own. Don't clip it for me. Okay. Listen to your wife. Chang Xiao smiled, not avoiding the bystanders at all. Song Mianyan all hated to hide under the table. A meal was eaten. The three of them were stuffed full of dog food. Such a good meal. Suddenly, it didn't smell good anymore. When checking out, quite a few people were lining up, and when they saw the four babies, they all revealed looks of surprise. I've seen twins, but I've never seen one that gave birth to so many. It's too awesome. Someone gave a thumbs up. All so cute and adorable. The parents' genes are really good. That should be the parents, right? What a groom and daughter. Why do I think that little brother looks a bit familiar? At this time, a girl pointed at Cheng Xiao's side. The partner next to her stared carefully at Cheng Xiao and said, "It really does. It seems like I've seen it somewhere." Oh, I remember. The girl tapped her brain. He's the one we swiped. The super handsome lead actor of the upcoming movie Super Guardian, Cheng Xiao. Oh my God, I can't be dreaming. I actually ran into him in person. Really handsome. He looks even better in person than in the footage. Quick, go get a signature and a photo. Chang Xiao and the others had just finished checking out and were about to leave when they turned around and saw two girls blocking in front of them. That, may I ask, are you Chang Xiao? The lead girl asked with some excitement. Chang Xiao instantly reacted, presumably swiping the highlights video posted by the crew. Without denying it, he nodded. Is there something wrong? Can we take a picture with you? The girl was especially excited in her heart. If Chang Xiao agreed, then the two of them would be the fans who had taken a picture with Chang Xiao before he became a big hit. In the future, those people must not die of envy. A photo shoot? Chang Xiao frowned. Wang Jing on the side was envious. This has just been killed. The fame has gone out, and on the road there are still girls who recognize and ask for a photo. How nice! Unable to help it, he came next to Cheng Xiao and bumped him with his elbow, grinning. Brother, you have a fan so soon. It's too good. Well, at least it's the first batch of people asking for a photo together. How about agreeing to it? Even Song Mianyang said, Wang Jing is right. Wife, you're not jealous. I'll reject them if you mind. Cheng Xiao laughed softly. Song Mianian's face immediately turned red and said breathlessly, "I'm not. Isn't it normal for fans to look for you to take a picture? What's there to be jealous of? It's good if you're not jealous. Taking a picture with a female fan, with his wife by his side, he definitely had to ask for advice. He didn't want to make his wife angry for a stranger." Cheng Xiao agreed to take a picture. The two of them were especially happy, 
and Lin Yan help take pictures, the former can be said to be 360 degrees without dead angle handsome. He was also tall, tall, and handsome, causing the two girls to be filled with stars. However, the two saw a few babies. One of the girls asked with some uncertainty, little brother Chun Xiao, are you married? Chun Xiao graciously admitted, then swept Song Mianian into his arms, yes, this is my wife. The two girls looked at each other, ah, married. So young, looking like she just graduated from college. Then the baby is also yours? Yes. Seeing him just admitted in public, with a bunch of people watching, Song Mianian was so embarrassed that she couldn't wait to burrow into the ground, her face flushed red. Your wife is so good looking and has a good body. Yeah, the babies are super cute too. The two girls were envious, but other people's wives are also good looking, handsome men with beautiful women, is really a couple ah. It is said that star actors in the entertainment industry basically don't get married early, and even if they do get married, they don't announce it for fear of affecting their careers. By the way, a handsome and young actor like Chang Xiao should still be single. However, that is also the matter of others, even if single, also do not see them these ordinary people, or do not worry about that. After the group photo, several people left to go to the store. The meal has been delayed a lot of time. Just open the store door, clean up a bit, there are already customers come in. Chang Xiao continues to work at the cash register, Zhang Yu is responsible for packing, Song Yang and Lin Yan are selling, and as for Wang Jing, he continues to hand out flyers outside. At this time of the day, it was the peak season, and there were many people coming and going, in and out. Busy feet do not touch the ground. Busy to the evening, the goods are not enough, and let Wang Jing pull the car of goods over. The day passed in such a busy manner. Recently maybe close to the relationship of the mid-autumn festival, this side of the more and more people, turn over day by day more and more. It is a good phenomenon. At night when they went home, the couple counted the account, the turnover in the past half month has exceeded 4 million. About 4. 5 million or so. After thinking about it, they directly sent 135W to Wang Jing. This can be a huge amount of money for a student. To have so much money after being busy for most of the month, Wang Jing could not even think about it and almost thought that he was dreaming. The previous month was so poor that he had to borrow money from his roommate even to buy something better, but now he was finally lifting his chest. The deposit has been more than $2 million, and also bought his favorite car. It is also considered a little money. This money he intends to carefully save, give some to mom and dad, so many years the two old people in order to provide him with education, spent a lot of money, it is time to let people enjoy the blessings. Wang Jing's recent moves, the roommates are in the eyes. Every time after class, out of school, the game does not play, become like Chang Xiao, secretive, how to invite or not going. This makes a few people particularly puzzled, ask him, the answer is particularly perfunctory. This makes them even more curious, ready to track down one day to see, this kid in the end in the ghost. Over here, Chang Xiao finished calculating the account and smiled, wife, we'll save this money first, and then open a chain store when we have enough. Before that, let's make a name for ourselves first. The reason he took on the theater was to draw traffic to himself, and when the time was right to live stream the goods, get the fame of their store up, and then open a factory to get their own brand afterward. All of these have to be considered in the long run. Told Song Mayani in the idea, she agreed without much thought, these you make the decision on the line. As long as Chang Xiao was there, she believed that the days would get better and better. Alright, go take a shower, it's getting late. Good. After the couple finished washing, they were ready to wash the babies again. The little ones had grown up a bit, and they were really much more obedient, not as rowdy as they were when they were bathing at the two or three month mark, and they were especially content as long as they were given a toy. Only the four babies are still not very adaptable, but after giving the toys, they immediately became honest, babbling. After the bath, I hurriedly dry off. When blow drying for Treasure's hair, Chang Xiao laughed softly, wife, for Treasure's hair should be cut, it's already very long. Song Mianian glanced at it, several babies hair hadn't been shaved since birth. At that time, some people suggested shaving the fetal hair after the full moon, and the child's hair would be dark and shiny in the future. At that time, she was rather busy, running back and forth from school and home every day, so she ignored it. Well, tomorrow. She nodded. In the children's room, after changing the baby's clothes, Chang Xiao went to the kitchen and brewed milk powder. Feeding time arrived. The babies were still eating their fingers one by one, Chang Xiao carried a few bottles of milk over. After feeding them, he looked at Song Mian Yang. Wife, tomorrow we'll go buy some milk powder, we don't have much left at home, it's just enough for a few days. We also need to buy some tools for making complementary foods, the babies are over 4 months old, it's the time to grow their bodies, it's time to add them as well. Okay, go tomorrow. Somewhat tired today, Song Mianian coaxed the baby to sleep after a while. Now that it's past midnight, the babies are also a bit unable to hold on and fall asleep after playing for a while. Cheng Xiao was about to go to sleep when the system suddenly spoke out at this time. 
Congratulations to the host for taking care of the baby for 60 days, reward, divine medical skills, 60 days already? Cheng Xiao lamented, this time flies really fast. However, God level medical skills. The mind enters the system and looks at the notes underneath this divine level medical skill. Chinese medicine, western medicine, cure all diseases, cure all poisons, can be a wonderful hand, people on the verge of death can also be snatched back from the hands of the grim reaper. So bullish? Chang Xiao raised an eyebrow, the things produced by this system are different. It might even be able to cure cancer. Nowadays, today's medicine doesn't have the technology to completely cure cancer, and even if it does, it's estimated that it will have to wait until a number of years from now. After thinking about it, he asked, System, can this divine medical technique cure cancer? System. After waiting for half a day without waiting for a reply, Chang Xiao was too lazy to ask again. After closing the system page, he felt that there was a lot more information in his mind. This information was deeply engraved in his mind, as if it was originally his. He felt that right now, even if he was in an operating room, he would be able to complete a major surgery very quickly. After thoroughly accepting this information, he closed his eyes and activated his sleep-stealing skill to sleep in seconds. The next day, Chang Xiao had just finished making breakfast when he received a video from director Zhang on WeChat. It was a clip from the movie after the special effects. I have to say, director Zhang really spent a lot of money this time, the special effects are done very real, not worse than those European and American blockbusters. It was worthy of being produced by him. Coupled with director Zhang's high demand for the actor's acting skills, the plot was also quite good. This movie wouldn't be anywhere near as bad. Chang, what do you think of this? Director Zhang asked with a smile. Chang Xiao replied over, it's okay, quite good. The movie will be released after the year, the special effects still need to be finely polished for a period of time, I'll notify you of the specific time to set the schedule then. Director Chang said. Chang Xiao nodded, the special effects aspect of a movie is the most difficult, without proper polishing, even if the actors are good, it is easy to flop. After that, it still has to pass the audit of the radio and television. Only then can it be officially scheduled for release. After ending the chat, Chang Xiao continued to make breakfast and shouted at Song Nian Nian to get up afterward. As the family sat in the dining room, Song Qin, who was drinking soy milk, suddenly spoke up, Nian Nian uh, your cousin Ant's family's oldest son, also known as your cousin, has gotten seriously ill, and I heard that he's going to die, so let's go over and take a look. Cousin Ant? First cousin's family? Song Nian Nian stopped her chopsticks. Aha! Uh -huh. Song Qin nodded, her face full of sorrow. Only 27 years old, so young. Song Mian asked, when will you go over? This first cousin and was Song Qin's cousin, and had even lent money to help mother and daughter when she was sick as a child, she was quite nice, Song Mianian always remembered. It was necessary to go and see it anyways. Chang Xiao asked, what's wrong? The eldest son of my first cousin aunt's family, who is also my cousin, is seriously ill, and the person is about to die, so I'm going to go over to take a look. Song Mianyang said. She vaguely remembered that this cousin was okay with her when she was a child, and would share whatever was good with him, and then she didn't see much of him after mom stopped communicating with her mother's family. I didn't expect to get so seriously ill. Seriously ill. Chang Xiao thought of the divine medical skills rewarded by the system yesterday, maybe he could try it. Mom, I'll go with you guys, it's just as well that I'll drive. Song Mianian glanced at him and said doubtfully, you don't have to go, I'll go with mom and come back. Besides, it's not convenient to bring the baby. Song Qin said, since you've gotten a license your husband and wife, going is definitely going together. What about the babies? Song Mianyang said, bring them with you. Ah this. Just like that, after breakfast, the family packed up and drove off. An hour later, arrived in an old neighborhood. Finding the specific door number. Knock knock. Knocked on the door. Soon, the door was opened from the inside and it was a woman, full of haggard face and half white hair. Seeing Chang Xiao and the others, she froze for a moment. Cousin. Song Qin shouted. You are Song Qin? I didn't even recognize you, come in quickly. Song Yin completely didn't expect Song Qin to suddenly come to the door and wasn't even prepared. Wiping her hands on her apron, she went to pour water. You guys sit down, I'll pour the tea, the house is a bit messy, don't mind. Song Mianian looked around, suddenly a little heartbroken. In the past, my cousin's aunt had married well, and was considered to be one of the better off amongst her relatives, but now she had gotten herself into such a state in order to cure her son's illness. It was also the fate of the people. How is little wind? Song Qin asked. Song Yun sighed. The situation is not very optimistic. The doctor has already asked to prepare for the aftermath. She only had two sons. The younger son was already abnormal. And the older son had such a serious illness that she had almost lost all of her family's money. And had sold her previous house. Wanting to continue the treatment. The money for the follow-up simply could not be taken out anymore. Let's take a look at little wind and go. Song Yun nodded and led them to open the door of one of the rooms. 
Inside the room, the environment was dim, with basically no sunlight shining in. A man with a waxy face was lying on the bed, his eye sockets were deeply sunken, and his entire body was thin beyond recognition. The exposed arm was only skin and bones. Song Qin frowned, how could this happen? Seeing her son on the bed like this, Song Yun couldn't stop her tears from flowing down her face in pain. The doctor said that the treatment is meaningless, is to add to the pain of Xiao Fong, a week ago let from the hospital to bring back, want to treat also cannot borrow money, I know that you guys are also difficult, so I did not open the mouth, forget it, and then treatment is also a toss, do not want to let him go so painful. Song Qin also followed the heartache, the world's parent's heart. At this time, Cheng Xiao suddenly stepped forward, sat on the edge of the bed and grabbed Xiao Feng's wrist. The three of them? Song Mian Mian hurriedly asked, Cheng Xiao, what are you doing? Before, I learned something from a friend who studied Chinese medicine, so I'm checking to see how my cousin's condition is doing. Chinese medicine friend? Song Mian Mian was puzzled, how come she didn't know he had friends who were doctors? Looking at auntie cousin, she was afraid that she would mind. Aunt cousin sighed and said, it's fine. Chang Xiao felt the pulse, the condition in his body was indeed serious, many organs had basically failed, to put it bluntly, now Xiao Feng was terminally ill, a person who was about to die. Today's medical techniques were indeed incapable of treating it. However, it didn't mean that he couldn't be cured. This is indeed not a good situation for him, however, there is still salvation. A short sentence, Song Yun heard it in her ears, and her originally cloudy eyes, all of a sudden had a light. Song Mian Yang couldn't help it, Chang Xiao, what are you saying? Isn't this rubbing salt into cousin aunt's wounds? She was already upset over her son's matter, but to say this, isn't it irritating? Song Qin also felt that there was something wrong with Cheng Zhao's words. It's true that this one is hopeless in western medicine, but there is still a cure in Chinese medicine, and no matter what, we can still let cousin live for a while longer. Cheng Xiao said, this one would require acupuncture, combined with some medicines. There was still hope for a cure. Song Mian Yang was dumbfounded, where in the world did Cheng Xiao learn these things from? Is it really a friend? How could she be a bit unconvinced? Song Yun did not want to let go of an opportunity, then what should be the cure? Acupuncture. Song Yun never thought of treating with Chinese medicine, thinking that this is very slow, western medicine is fast, but in the end, it cannot save her son's life. Chang Xiao gave her hope. This needs to be prepared, I'll go out and buy something. After saying that, he hurriedly went out, Song Mianian followed closely behind, she had to ask what was going on. How did Chang Xiao suddenly know Chinese medicine? In the car, she hurriedly asked, what's the situation? When did you know Chinese medicine? Didn't I tell you before? Learned from my friend. You're lying, you don't have any friends who know Chinese medicine at all, right? Song Mian Mian wasn't stupid. Besides, if the hospital couldn't cure it, how could it be cured in one acupuncture session? It was simply blind bullshit. Wife, you believe me. Chang Xiao looked straight into her eyes. When they arrived at their destination, they bought needles for acupuncture, which had been sterilized, and some Chinese herbs. After returning, Chang Xiao kicked everyone out and stayed in the room. Xiao Feng is still unconscious, he turned him over on his back and took off his shirt. He started. According to the method in his mind, he quickly inserted needles all over Xiao Feng's back, pulling them out half an hour later. Cough cough cough. A violent cough rang out, and Little Wind slowly opened his eyes. Seeing a stranger in his room, still dressing him, Little Wind's voice was weak, are you? His body was so weak that he couldn't move at all. Alright, you guys come in. The three of them walked in and saw Xiao Feng lying on the bed, already awake, Song Yin ran over, Xiao Feng, you're awake? After a greeting, the three of them exited the room, leaving the mother and son alone to spend some time together. Not long after, Song Yin opened the door and came out. Preparing to go cook, Song Qin said helplessly, no need to bother, just take good care of little wind, hey. Chang Xiao had already bought the Chinese medicine and popularized how to boil it and how much to get for Song Yun. Just call him if anything happens. After talking for a while, the three of them were ready to leave. Before leaving, Song Yun also wanted to give the children some red envelopes, which was rejected by Song Qin. Aya, give what red packet ah, what can a child buy, you keep it for yourself, buy something good for little wind. The two said half a day, finally Song Yun still sighed and put it back. On the way, Song Qin asked, Xiao Chang, can this really be cured? Can. Song Qin sighed, nowadays she could only try, to put it bluntly, a dead horse is a living horse. The reason she believes in Chang Xiao is that this kid has always been steady in his actions, so he definitely has his reasons. Song Mianyang only felt that Chang Xiao's skills were endless, as if he knew everything. How many more secrets does he have? Chang Xiao didn't drive straight home, heading in the direction of Tianyi Street, ready to buy some milk powder at a milk powder store and give the babies a haircut on the way. He picked a milk powder store, which was a chain with the one he bought milk powder from last time. Once inside, the staff came over, how can I help you several people? We're here to buy milk powder. Okay, 
please follow me. The salesman was about to introduce it when Chang Xiao named the one from last time, directly asked for three big boxes, startled the salesman. Seeing a few babies, immediately relieved, people this is more children, naturally buy more. Quadruplets, great. A proper big customer. Those who came to buy milk powder were all baby moms, and when they saw the four babies, they all felt especially impressed. The most admirable thing is Song Mianian's ability to maintain her figure as a mom. It's like being a teenager. This was giving birth to four, not one, and to be able to maintain this figure, there was no telling what methods were used. These babies are so cute, one by one they all look so good. Our child inherited from his father, ugly, half not inherited my advantages, look at other people's babies, one by one delicate as a doll. Who says otherwise? The two baby moms discussed, disliking their own dolls. Hearing Song Mianian was strangely embarrassed. After buying the milk powder, he also purposely checked it out, there was no problem, and then bought a complimentary food machine or something like that, to make complimentary food for the baby to eat, to supplement the nutrition. Isn't this buying too much? Looking at the three boxes of milk powder, Song Mianyang whispered, not too much, save running later. Okay. After buying these, they took the babies towards the nearby barber store again. Give the babies a shave. In the barber shop, Chang Xiao was sitting on a chair, holding big baby in his hands, and the barber was pushing the little one's head. At first it was fine, but later it cried uncontrollably and kept struggling. Except for San Bao, all of them were crying with tears and snot in their eyes. Especially four treasures, that aggrieved Yo, tears, small mouth skimming. The barber stopped and was still crying. Until Song Mianian rummaged through her bag and gave her a toy, only then did she stop. After cutting the hair, they were ready to go back. The baby's necks were covered in broken hair so they had to go home and wash it. When they got home, they hurriedly gave the baby a bath and put it on the children's bed. Chang Xiao sat on the edge of the bed and pinched the faces of several babies, teasing them to play. Song Mianian sat down beside him, with many questions in her heart, but she didn't know where to start. Auntie Cousin was too anxious and only thought about saving her son, she wouldn't even think about other issues, and mom trusted Chang Xiao more, thinking he had his own ideas. It's not that she doesn't believe him, she just thinks it's all too amazing. Cousin was sick and Chang Xiao just happened to know how to heal. Could he really have learned some from someone before? Indeed, he was quite capable of learning, and many quite difficult lessons were learned on his own. It was not strange to learn some Chinese medicine techniques. The strange thing is, Cousin's doctors cite all advice to give up the treatment, why Chang Xiao can guarantee that it can be cured. Seeing Song Mianian's expression of wanting to speak, Chang Xiao knew what she was thinking and let out a light laugh, is it because you want to ask me about my medical skills? Being poked through her mind all of a sudden, Song Mianian was strangely embarrassed, but still nodded. It's true that I didn't learn it from my friends, I actually learned these when I was very young, the dean who adopted me at that time was a very powerful Chinese medicine practitioner, and I learned by ear. Chang Xiao smiled. Find a reason, it's impossible to give up the system, right? Song Mianyang then somewhat believed it, still asked, really? Really? Okay, I believe you. Seeing that she believed, Chang Xiao sighed in relief, this kind of thing, it was really impossible to explain. Even if he explained that it was rewarded by the system, would she believe it? It would only be thought that he was possessed. Hubby, I feel that you are so powerful. Song Mianyang suddenly wrapped her arms around Chang Xiao's waist and buried her head in his back. Chang Xiao laughed and turned around to touch her little face, don't forget, your husband is omnipotent. The two looked at each other and couldn't help but laugh out loud. Ah. Uh, Seeing mom and dad showing their love, Debeo seemed to be a bit unhappy, grunting twice, his little legs kept stomping and stomping towards Chung Xiao, a face of unhappiness. The baby's heads were shaved, now they are big bald heads, Chung Xiao picked up Debeo, touched his bare head and said with a smile, our Debeo is now a big bald head. Wife, do you have a thinner little hat at home? Put it on the babies, it's cool and prevents freezing colds. Song Mianyang nodded and went to look in the cabinet. Soon found a few thin little hats and put them on all four. The second and fourth babies are girls, so I didn't shave them, I just cut them short, and I still have small hair on my head. They are cute and adorable. Song Mianian couldn't help but smile when she saw a few little ones like this. Alright, wife, you watch them, I'll go cook, and by the way, put the milk powder I bought in the storage box. Good. Today Cheng Xiao is going to stew a fish soup for Song Mian Mian to drink, and make some light food, the weather has been dry lately, and it's a bit on fire. Wash and put good, cut ginger and garlic, onion knot, into the stew pot. Then started washing and cooking, everything became a habit. Xiao Chang ah, who did you learn this good cooking skill from? Song Qin walked in from outside, ready to help, and saw Chang Xiao's knife skills and exclaimed in admiration. Chang Xiao smiled, learned from a friend of mine who owns a restaurant, that would have been doing odd jobs in his store, so I learned back some. Well, not bad, I'll do the dishes. No mom, you go and rest. Oh yeah, Chang, your cousin Ann asked me to send you her contact information. Song Qin just remembered. 
Thinking of Xiao Feng that way, she couldn't help but sigh. Regardless of what kind of outcome, even if she lived for a while longer, Song Yun would be able to get some comfort in her heart. Pity the world's parents. Cheng Xiao took out his cell phone and added his cousin's aunt's contact information, then continued to cook. While eating, Cheng Xiao suddenly asked, Mom, is this symptom in cousin's family? Song Qin thought for a moment and said, I only realized it later, I thought it would be fine after treatment, but I didn't expect things to develop to such a serious point, as for whether it's hereditary or not, it's not clear. Chang Xiao was silent for a while, this kind of still need to go to the hospital to check if there is an invisible cause of the disease, otherwise it's not good to conclude, it's impossible to see it just by taking the pulse. He felt that this kind of disease was likely to be hereditary. For example, if Xiao Feng's father is fine, maybe the grandfather went away because of this disease, passed from generation to generation, some descendants can inherit it, it depends on which one is unlucky. I think that it could be genetic. Genetic diseases are the most difficult to treat, and it's no wonder that hospitals can't do anything about it. Song Qin paused for a moment and asked seriously, Xiao Chang, then can Xiao Feng be cured of this disease or not? Song Nian Nian also looked at Cheng Xiao somewhat nervously. Cheng Xiao ate a mouthful of food and spoke, there is hope, but it's not 100%. As long as there is a ray of hope, I don't think cousin he will give up. Song Qin said. Song Nian Yang also said, indeed, with cousin Ant's character, she won't give up. Many of cousin's organs have failed, he needs some medication to keep him alive, with a few more acupuncture sessions, things should be good. Chang Xiao said. After a meal, the couple went back to the children's room. The babies were already asleep, Chang Xiao said, wife, you rest too, I'll ask the dean if he has any solutions for this disease. Song Mianian did not become skeptical and hurriedly went to the master bedroom to rest. After traveling back and forth in the car today, it was inevitable that she was a bit tired. Seeing Song Mianian went out, Chang Xiao was also a bit tired and lay down on the carpet, quickly falling asleep. Waking up again was awakened by the cries of the babies. Hungry. Rushed to the kitchen to make milk powder and feed it on, which was a little better. The four babies were crying with tears around their eyes, Zhang Xiao took out a new pack of tissues from the drawer and prepared to use them. The line of sight turned, only to see, in the innermost part of the drawer, placed a silver box, looking at a very ancient style feeling, there are carvings on it. What is this? With doubt, I took the box out and opened it, it was a cloth bag. Unfolding the cloth bag, it was a set of silver needles. The delicacy of this set of silver needles was too much better than the ones from the drugstore, and there was a faint glossiness on the surface. This one was rewarded by the system? Not expecting the system to answer of its own accord, Cheng Zhao's mind entered the system and checked, in addition to rewarding divine level medical skills, there was also a set of divine level silver needles attached underneath. Having this rescuer has the ability to snatch people from the hands of the Grim Reaper. Ordinary silver needles could only temporarily suspend life. Cheng Xiao had never been so speechless. You didn't say anything earlier even though you were rewarded with silver needles. This system rewards things with a half? It's too unreliable. Forget it, for the sake of medical skill, I don't care. Put the silver needle away, find a chance to go to cousin aunt's side again. Pulling out a tissue, he hurriedly wiped the tears of the four treasures, then carried the babies to the sofa and put them there. Stay in the living room for a while. Song Mianian slept for the afternoon, and her whole body woke up quite a bit. Seeing Chang Xiao watching TV with the babies, she sat over and asked, Hubby, what are we going to eat tonight? Hungry? Aha! Uh -huh. This afternoon, can one not be hungry? Watch the baby for a while, I'll go make dinner. Oh, good. After the family ate and drank, they sat on the sofa and chatted. Chang Xiao is now very confident in treating his cousin, as long as he has this set of silver needles, it shouldn't be a problem. Wife, tomorrow I will go over to my cousin's aunt's place. For what? Didn't you say to let cousin take the medicine for a while? How? I asked the dean this afternoon and he told me the method, I think there is hope. Really? Upon hearing that there was help, Song Nian Yang's eyes widened with some excitement. Then tomorrow I'll go to work, you go over and take a look, the child will be brought to mom first. Chang Xiao thought exactly this way. Those medical knowledge from ancient times to the present day were deeply imprinted in his mind, and the diseases that used to be difficult for him to treat were now as simple as they needed to be, they just hadn't been practiced yet. The next day, Chang Xiao said hello and set off to Song Yun's house. A person is faster, and soon arrived at the old neighborhood. Song Yun didn't expect Chang Xiao to come over today and froze for a moment, Xiao Chang, what are you? I've come to check on my cousin's condition, yesterday I consulted a senior Chinese medicine friend and said that my cousin's illness is still salvageable, it's just a matter of time. Upon hearing this good news, Song Yun was pleasantly surprised, really? Really, I'll go check on my cousin, how was it last night? Pretty good, this morning he drank some porridge and said his throat didn't hurt as much. This is if usually, usually do not want to eat in the morning, really hungry and anxious to eat some. Opening the room, Chang Xiao walked in and checked Little Feng's situation, it was indeed better. 
only that it was still very serious. Cousin Auntie you go out first. Song Yun nodded and went out. Lying on the bed, Xiao Feng was still awake. Chang Zhao's identity Song Yun had already informed him. Don't say anything first, it's not too late to wait until it's done. Chang Xiao very sharply peeled off his upper body's clothes, turned his back and began to apply needles. Soon the back was densely covered with needles. It was taken off after half an hour. His technique was fast and skillful, Xiao Feng did not feel a trace of pain and fell asleep without realizing it. When everything was taken care of, he put away the silver needles and opened the door. How's it going? Song Yun hurriedly asked. It's nothing serious, a few more acupuncture sessions and a period of medication will be fine. Song Yun this moment do not know what to say good, to say doubt she also doubt, after all, a hospital are not good treatment, how can a few needles can be based on the dead back to life? However, in order to save her son, she did not want to miss any opportunity. She chose to believe it. After leaving his cousin's house, Chang Xiao went back home, taking the baby towards the store. The foot traffic on Monday was not as good as the weekend, but it was busy. Taking advantage of the empty space that wasn't busy, Chang Xiao went to the room at the back of the store and made a bunch of small desserts and took them to the cash register, ready to send them out when the customers bought something. Wang Jing came over at this time and spat out, bro, those boys in the dormitory knew about me buying a car yesterday and are pressing me to tell them how I earned the money, what should I say? He didn't expect these guys to follow up, one of them was a loudmouth, and quickly spread the news, and now the teachers all know that he bought a Mercedes Benz. He was approached several times in a day, thinking he had done something illegal, and asked him to give an honest account. He perfunctorily passed, said his father earned a little money at home. Teachers did not pursue, as to whether it is really not pursued is unknown. The few things in the dormitory do not believe it at all, and have been pursued. You don't have to say, as the saying goes, the more you describe it, the darker it gets, you just keep biting the money earned by the family on the line. Chang Xiao said. Those guys he still understands, you can't take you even if you bite the bullet. Aha. Say, brother, when are you going to class? The group of people in the class are talking about you every day, are you committing something to escape outside? Speaking of this, Wang Jing was a bit speechless. Those guys were simply speculating and making up rumors. Cheng Xiao faintly said, doesn't matter, what do you care about other people, just mind your own business. Brother, have you ever thought that when your movie is released and bursts into flames, there will be more trouble then? Wang Jing thought of this problem. It will all be graduated then. Even if the relationship is publicized by then, there is nothing much, he has left school, it is always impossible for the school to still be in charge of students who have graduated. As for his wife's job, if it's not possible, he'll just quit, and his current status is just a substitute teacher anyway. Once Mr. Lin comes, it's up to her if she wants to stay on. Being a teacher is so hard and the salary is not much, Cheng Xiao is not recommending her to continue. That's true. Wang Jing sighed, alas, busy going. Cheng Xiao and MS. Song have never been able to go public because of this relationship, listening to him, it should be that MS. Song prefers the job of a teacher, and that's why she has been. If it was an ordinary person, it would be fine. It's not uncommon for college students to get married. The problem lies in the status of a teacher. After a busy day, in the evening, Song Mianian finished her shower and talked to Cheng Xiao about what happened at school today. Wang Jing was a student in her class, and the teacher had asked her to ask Wang Jing where he got his money from and if his family was really rich, just in case he had done something illegal. Song Mianian naturally knows Wang Jing's details, the first time to ensure that the money is not from bad channels, is the family earned money to give. With her as a teacher to testify, those teachers only subsided. However, there were also a few skeptical ones. However, it was also a case of caring about the student and not wanting him to go astray. Tomorrow you have a more important class, going to it? Song Mian asked suddenly. It really wasn't an option not to go to class right now. Teachers had to ask about the situation every few days, and as a student, how could it be okay to take time off every day? It couldn't be justified in terms of sense and reason. Chang Xiao nodded, since you say it's important, wife, then go. The next day, the couple went out together and headed to school. As soon as they arrived at the school entrance, Chang Xiao got off the bus, and the two of them were like strangers, each going their own way. Wang Jing was packing up his things in the dormitory, and his roommate on the side kept burying his head. Wang Jing, we at least often hack together, is considered a very good brother, right? Now that you've gotten rich, you don't care about our brothers? That's right, bought a car and did not tell us, too not enough. That's right. Chang Zhao's arrival made this originally noisy dormitory quiet. Rare guest, Cheng Xiao, why do you want to come to school today? One of them spoke out to break the silence. Yeah, aren't you usually on good terms with Wang Jing? Quickly persuade him of some way to make a living. Cheng Xiao packed up his textbooks, he would need them for class later, looked at them and said, there's no way to make money, didn't people say so? The family earned some money, parents bought a car for the future graduation to marry a daughter-in-law, what's wrong with that? 
When the two thought about it, it did seem like there was no problem. But, that's a Mercedes-Benz hey. What kind of life did Wang Jing have before, often borrowing money from us, this fortune was too sudden, right? If my guess is right, this Mercedes-Benz costs more than $300,000, where did their family get so much money? The two didn't believe that any family had gotten rich. No matter how he bought it, it doesn't seem to have anything to do with you guys, right? Also, haven't you guys heard of the word installment? What if people are staging it? Wang Jing secretly gave a thumbs up, admiring Chang Zhao's eloquence too much. Staging could even be messed up. He couldn't explain it in any way. Are you still good brothers or not? You guys are too inadequate. I've explained to you guys many times, it's my own family's money, not mine. Being messed up by them, this time the whole school knew that he had a Mercedes Benz. Although the Mercedes Benz in the school those rich second generation acting nothing, but he a poor student suddenly buy a car, it is difficult not to let people suspect. Cheng Zhao's mouth is not soft, not afraid of offending or not offending, directly opened his mouth and said, if you really take Wang Jing as a brother, will you tell the whole school about this? Such a soul torture question made the two men silent immediately. Wang Jing leaned aside and only felt that it was a good question. If you want to know it yourself, it's just a matter of time, once you tell everyone, what will you think? Forget about it, just know it, he is doing the right thing. Not afraid of anyone looking for trouble. Let's go, class is going. Cheng Xiao glanced at Wang Jing, who hurriedly followed. When the people left, these two in the dormitory were filled with displeasure. Isn't it just a question? Why so serious? I think they are a gang, maybe they are doing something outside. Maybe they've committed a crime and are on the run, just like the class said. That's right. Classroom. Cheng Xiao suddenly came over to class and the class exploded. One by one, the students talked. Cheng Xiao hasn't come to school for a month now, right? I don't know what he's doing. I heard he's been hiding because he committed a crime. If he had committed a crime, would he be here? There's a limit to rumor mongering. At this time, a female student said, Che, then what do you think he's doing? Still raising kids outside? As the words fell, the teacher walked in from outside. The teacher is here. Chang Xiao looked up and saw that the teacher for today's class was Song Mianyang. In the face of the students, Song Mianyang's face is full of coldness, completely without a trace of her usual smile. A real iceberg goddess. Since knowing that she was married, these people didn't dare to flirt, and this song was quite scary when she was serious. Class. The students flipped open their textbooks. After a lesson, Wang Jing sat next to Cheng Xiao and said, Teacher Song always looks like this in school, her eyes are a bit scary. When she arrived at the store, she changed to another expression, like a big sister next door, especially sweet to customers. This was the so-called face change faster than the weather. Scary? Cheng Xiao's gaze glanced at him. Feeling the pressure from his eyes, Wang Jing immediately changed to a smiling face, no, not scary, I mean serious, serious. Senior Wang Jing. At this time, a soft female voice sounded. Wang Jing looked up, standing in front of him was a very good looking girl, lowly type. He remembered that it was also from the finance department and was still enrolled in the second year. What's the matter? If it's because you want to deliver a love letter to my brother forget it, people already have someone. Wang Jing waved his hand. Lori said in a small voice, that, this is not for senior Cheng Xiao. Then who is it for? It's not like I have a fetish for collecting love letters for people. This one of mine is for you, Lori said. What? Wang Jing stared in shock, it was actually for him. For the first time in his life, he was sent a love letter, this this. Cheng Xiao was on the side with the corner of his mouth rising, this is given to you by the other young lady, it's not easy for someone to like you, so just take it. Wang Jing was in an agitated and nervous mood, calmed down a bit, took a deep breath and said, schoolmate, you're not playing a prank, are you? It was unbelievable how such a good thing could fall on his head. He didn't even know what part of himself was being looked at. Height, looks, studies, he couldn't do any of them. Just a little bit of money now, but not many people knew about it. Prank? Why do you want to play a prank? I've liked you for a long time, I just haven't dared to. Lori's expression was a bit confused. Today she came over with all her courage. Wang Jing was still a little bit not back to God. He only felt that this all came too suddenly. He needed to calm down and calm down. Let's collect people's love letters first, Chang Xiao said. After receiving it, Lori ran away with a shy face. Brother Ah, after four years of this university, this is the first time I've been handed a love letter. Chang Xiao looked over and was speechless, only to see that the guy was touched with tears and snot. Can you be a little outstanding? Isn't it just a love letter? Okay, you see, I'll go back first, remember the book to take it back to the dormitory for me. Oh, that's fine. Wang Jing did not dare to be so capricious with Chang Xiao, in case the examination really failed, it's over, can't get a diploma at home, the old man will not peel off his skin. Chang Xiao said hello to Song Mian Mian and took a taxi back. She still has two classes. At this moment in the teacher's office, 
Teacher Song, has Mr. Cheng Xiao come back to class yet? Teacher Wang asked. Song Mianyang nodded, coming. This is really capricious, don't come for a few days even if you don't come, directly don't come for a month, which school students would be like this, there's still two months to go before graduation, and there's still exams in a few days. Teacher Li also said. If you keep taking vacations like this, why don't you just stop going to school? Song Mianyang was embarrassed in her heart, but she couldn't say anything, she could only nod her head vigorously. Going back to see if she could give him some tutoring, she was also afraid that something would go wrong. Hey, let's not talk about this, talk about something else. Speaking of this, Teacher Wang's tone changed, looking at Song Mianyang with a smile, Teacher Song, is brother-in-law free lately? Why? I wanna go see the babies, it's been over four months I think. Teacher Wang said, they must be cute as hell. Teacher Li said breathlessly, you're just doing it for that bite of food. Aren't you ashamed enough of what you packed last time? I call that not wasting food, okay? Isn't Qin Zhou promoting the CD-ROM action now? Teacher Wang stiff-armed. Song Mianyang thought about it and nodded, there's time. How about this Saturday then? We'll bring the food over so you don't have to buy it. Mr. Wang set the date with an excited face. Song Mianyang was embarrassed, ah, that's fine. Then it's a deal. The thought of having a delicious meal again made Teacher Wang a thief happy. Teacher Li shook his head helplessly, this was the world of foodies. At this time, Teacher Meng Yen, who was playing with her cell phone on the side, suddenly let out an eek. What's wrong? A few people looked over. Why does this person look so familiar? Meng Yen was swiping a small video when a movie clip came into her eyes. Pressing the pause button, she looked carefully at the main character in the video. Teacher Wang came over and looked at Teacher Meng Yen's phone. Ah, isn't this student Cheng Xiao? As soon as she heard it was Chang Xiao, Song Mianyang's heart tightened, thinking that he had discovered something. This kid actually went to make a movie. Teacher Wang was filled with disbelief. Several teachers looked over and it was really Chang Xiao. I said he doesn't come to class every day, so it's because he went to shoot a movie. Teacher Li frowned. Teacher Wang smiled and said, don't say it, this kid's face value is quite high, and he's really suitable to be a star. Song Mianyang sighed in relief, thinking that she had been photographed along with her. She was startled. Teacher Rome on the side said, indeed, but now at this stage it's better to focus on learning, and when you successfully graduate you can shoot however you want. Seeing as how the official number had already started publicizing it, he was afraid that the fire would affect the order of the school and the students would be affected by it. This video has such a high airplay, so I guess there are students who have swiped it. It's not that we don't let you follow the stars, just a big star in the school, the students hold the mentality of watching, this class still wanna go on? It's not like it's a movie or something like that. It's normal to have stars. The teachers were all a little worried. Song Mianian came over and looked at the highlights video, squeezing out a smile. Isn't there a date on it? It's being released after the year. Chang Xiao will graduate in two months, so it shouldn't have any effect. She had a point, and a few teachers nodded. That's right. Hey, I'll go to the movie theater to support it then. Teacher Wang smiled and said. Teacher Li looked at Teacher Wang and laughed. You're really something too. Then it's a deal. We'll all go to the theater together. I'll pack the theater. It's fine. Don't back out when the time comes. Teacher Meng Yan also said. Whoever backs out is a puppy. Chang Xiao returned home and it was already noon. Song Qin was bringing the babies on the balcony to get some air. The windows were open and the breeze was blowing in. Sensing a sound in the living room, Song Qin turned back and said to the babies, Little ones, your dad is back oh. Immediately after, she picked up four treasures and headed towards the living room. The four treasures are closest to their dad. Sometimes mom doesn't even want them. Sure enough, seeing Chang Xiao, the four treasures were instantly happy, their little legs stomped and stomped, but they were happy, their mouths gurgled and gurgled, not knowing what they were saying. There was drool all around his little mouth, and one hand was still in his mouth. This child is really like you ah, also rely on you, every time a return, happy as anything. Song Qin couldn't help but laugh. Receiving four treasures from his mother-in-law's hand, this child instantly buried his head in Chang Zhao's chest, babbling, adorable as hell. The other three heard a familiar voice and looked up from the stroller, squinting with laughter when they saw it was their father. Ah, uh, Erbo opened a pair of grape-like eyes and looked fixedly at Cheng Xiao, the front of his scarf was basically soaked with drool. After teasing the baby for a while, he rushed to cook. After dinner, around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, Song Mianian came back. Seeing her face look strange, Cheng Xiao thought something was wrong and asked, what's wrong? Sullen. Nothing, just that the school teacher brushed up on those footage of you making a movie and was worried that you'd mess up the school if you caught fire. Then wife you helped me explain right? Chang Xiao smiled. There are still two months before you graduate, and there are still exams in a few days. The teachers don't want to be on leave all the time, they all want you to go to school, and that's really quite a long time to be on leave. Got it wife, you've told me all this no less than a hundred times. Chang Xiao put his hands on her shoulders and smiled. 
Are you tired of my nagging? I'm not doing this for the sake of your studies, if you don't have a diploma, haven't you studied these four years for nothing? Song Myanian paid special attention to the issue of Cheng Zhao's graduation certificate, four years of time. It's impossible to take the college entrance exam again, right? When it comes to this issue, she is particularly serious. Too wordy? Injustice ah. Chang Xiao had a bitter face. Wife, you can't misunderstand me, I know my wife is the best to me, how could I possibly think you are nagging? Too wronged. You just don't have patience for me anymore, you should have more patience for your ex-girlfriend than for me, you can find her. Son Myanian grunted and glanced her head to the side. It was the ex-girlfriend again. Ever since the last time this topic of breaking up was brought up, his wife would bring up the so-called ex-girlfriend from time to time when she was angry, and then she got herself all pissed off. It's too hard. He had long ago had nothing to do with that woman, Lin Feifei, who was not in a department, and the opportunity to meet was not there, which could be too wronged. And at that time, sometimes the face could not be seen, where to have patience with her. Wife, I swear, in my heart there is only you, what you think of is simply not the case. Cheng Xiao held up three fingers, if I lie to you, I'll become a dog in my next life, okay? Finally, Song Mian Yang was amused. Still a dog, I think it's better for you to turn into a woman, you're responsible for giving birth to children. Okay, that's fine, as long as you don't get angry, you can make me turn into a little cockroach. That won't do, how disgusting. Xiao Chang, how cute, where is it disgusting? The two of them talked and laughed, and soon it was time to put the baby to sleep at night. Song Myanian was a bit unable to resist the urge to sleep, so she went to sleep first. Waiting for the babies to fall asleep, Cheng Xiao had time to open his cell phone, looked at the logistics, ordered a batch of goods, tomorrow to arrive. Including baby seats and stuff, a lot of new goods. Time flies, soon, to the day of the mid-autumn festival. Song Qin decided to take her daughter and son-in-law babies to the countryside home for a few days. The city, especially the upscale neighborhoods, didn't show any signs of activity and remained as usual, except that there were more cars coming in and out, many of which were returning to their hometowns. As for the things in the store, Chang Xiao hired another person to come, Wang Jing's parents asked him to go to his home for the holidays, and it is estimated that it will be a few days. He asked Lin Yan if they wanted to go back for the holiday, if they wanted to go back, suspend business for a few days and come back after the holiday. If they didn't want to, he would hire another person to come over and help out. The two insisted on working and did not intend to go home. Some things in the store were basically given to Lin Yin to take care of, she was experienced and better at these business issues. It was also reassuring to leave it to her. After the things in the store are settled, you can go to the countryside with your wife and them in peace. The kids haven't been there yet, so it's a good idea to bring them there to see the world. This is still the first time Song Myanian went back to her hometown in the countryside after she left the country, before she hated to run away far away, not willing to face it, there are a lot of bad memories there. But now it's different, she has her own happy family, for some things slowly let go. After all, that was also the place where she grew up. Babies, we'll take you back to mommy's old home later, happy? The children were now five and a half months old and could sit up by themselves, and the stroller had been adjusted from lying down to reclining. The children are growing fast, the change is the most big, the skin is white and tender, the eyes are big, like grapes, blinking lovely. The weather is cold, one by one wearing quite thick, wearing a small hat is even more adorable. Song Myanian was very good at matching her children's clothes, and she was very fashionable. Yeah, ah. Uh, for Treasure's little hand shook, a little look of being about to speak. It was too delightful. Hubby, are you ready? Song Myanian held the children's necessities in her hands and looked in the direction of the bedroom. Okay, okay. Cheng Xiao packed a large bag of things in a suitcase, mostly for the kids. The baby's clothes had to be brought more, as well as diapers and such, they all had to be prepared. Song Qin also took a small bag and packed some clothes to change into. It's all ready, let's go. Soon, a few members of the family headed to the underground garage in great numbers and drove off. It took two hours to reach their destination. A few babies have fallen asleep, huffing and puffing, as long as the car ride little ones sleep in the dark without waking up. The car stopped at the door of the old house, Song Myanian got off and glanced around. The environment is the same as before, or so familiar brick houses, the reason for the mid-autumn festival, there are more people. There are still firecracker residues in front of the houses after they have been lit. As soon as the babies got off the bus, they all curiously opened a pair of eyes and looked at this unfamiliar environment. Still no changes at all. Song Qin sighed. A few people entered the house, Chang Xiao observed the house, in the past, among a group of neighbors, it was estimated that the mother-in-law's condition was the worst that could be seen. The decoration is very sloppy, there are places where it is directly a brick wall, the cement is not end. Wife, is this where you grew up living? Chang Xiao asked. Song Mian Yang nodded, aha. Uh -huh. She lived here before she left the country, and then she never came back. Even New Year's Eve was spent outside in a rented house. It's a bit dirty and broken, don't you mind? 
Song Mianyang whispered. Cheng Sha touched her head and let out a light laugh, how could it be, since it's my wife's home it's also my home, how could anyone mind their own home? Next, the three of them cleaned up the house. The quilts in the cupboards were spread one by one, cleaned up a bit, and the table and stools were wiped down. By the time they finished cleaning, it was already afternoon. Their stomachs were a bit hungry, Cheng Xiao and Song Mian Mian went out to buy food. When the two drove out, they were seen by the neighbors who gathered around to chat and chatter. Hey, when did that family come back? It's been years since I've seen them. Who knows? Couldn't have sold this house to someone else, right? Otherwise they could afford to buy a car? I think so. Probably sold it to someone else. Why don't we go and take a look? Anyway, it's the mid-autumn festival, whether it's been bought by someone or not, it's okay to take a look. A few people said, and together they went that way. Town. In this kind of town, there's usually no food market, it's all roadside stalls or old people who come out to sell the pork. Today, on the mid-autumn festival, the streets and alleys are very lively. I should have known to bring the babies out to see the world. Chang Xiao smiled. It's better not to, there are so many people, push the babies out how much it hinders the traffic, it's not too late to come back to play when there are fewer people. The high face value of the two attracted passers-by to look back frequently. This man is really handsome. Yeah, the girl beside him is also good looking. It's simply grown on my aesthetic. This small place of ours actually has such handsome men and beautiful women. Those who spoke were a group of nymphomaniac girls. Chang Xiao looked over, there are a lot of spiritual girls and spiritual guys, one by one in the roadside chatting, motorcycle parked there, one time can take four or five of the kind. The bullishness of the blowing that is called a powerful. The couple shopped around and bought a bunch of vegetables to go back. Tonight to do a big meal to eat. The countryside are burning wood pots, I heard that the kind of pot to burn out the things is the most delicious. After arriving home, the car was parked in front of the door, and before walking into the yard, they heard the sound of chatter coming from the hall. Opening the door and going in, Song Qin was sitting at the door of the hall, and across from her was a group of women. You mother and daughter ah. Now you've also met a good son-in-law. Yes, you all look a lot younger than before. Mian Mian is truly blessed. The couple walked in, and a few people noticed at a glance. Aya, is this Mian Mian? It's all grown so beautiful. Look at what you're saying, she was pretty before, but she's even prettier now. The young man looks good too. Several people complimented. Song Mianian greeted them politely one by one, then prepared dinner. Finally getting rid of the people, Song Qin breathed a sigh of relief. Turning around, she went to help wash the dishes. It was completely dark, and by 8 o'clock in the evening, a large table of dishes was made. The aroma was overwhelming. The dishes cooked in this wood-fired pot were more fragrant than those cooked by natural gas, and the aroma drifted throughout the living room, making people's appetites widen when they smelled it. Before the last soup was brought out, Song Mianian couldn't help but move her chopsticks, and Song Qin, who was on the side, gently slapped her hand over. How many times have I told you, before everyone is seated, you move your chopsticks, today is the mid-autumn festival, it's not like normal. Song Qin educated. Usually you don't let me eat first. You still know you won't let me, you move your chopsticks before other people's Xiao Cheng is even on the table. Song Mianian skimmed her mouth, got it. Silently, she put down her chopsticks. Cheng Xiao came out with a big bowl of soup and placed it in the very center. Why don't you eat ah, uh, the food is cold, mom, in the future, you guys don't wait for me, if you're hungry, you eat first, what are the rules of the family? Cheng Xiao looked at Song Mian Mian's aggrieved face and knew what had happened. Song Qin smiled and nodded. After a meal, the babies happened to wake up, and the family sat at the door to enjoy the moon. On the small table next to them, there were mooncakes that had already been cut. Song Mianian was teasing the babies, when the cell phone suddenly rang. At a glance, it was a video call from Monli. After picking up, Sister, today is mid-autumn festival, how did you couple spend it? Monli's face appeared on the cell phone screen and asked with a smile. Went back home with my mom. Ha, huh? why are you thinking of going back home? It's so much fun outside, and the countryside is only crowded for New Year's Eve. Monli said carelessly. Song Mianyang said, I brought my husband and child to visit. That's great. Monli looked envious, having a husband and child is good. Song Mianian tuned to the rear camera and took a picture of the surroundings. Wow, this moon is so close, it's not bad. This is in front of my house, do you want to come? It just so happens that I'm on vacation these days. Enjoying the moon up close and eating mooncakes felt the best. Monli took a sip of tea and slowly said, it's a long way, so I won't go, but I originally wanted to go to your new home for a few days, so it seems like there's no chance. You can't come even if we're at home. Song Mianyang said breathlessly. There were only four rooms, two for the children, one for the master bedroom, and the second bedroom was already occupied by mom. There were no more extras. Why? Is it because I'm not welcome? Or is your husband not allowed? Manny pretended to look sad. Boing boing. 
She wanted to go to her best friend's house for a few days but she was actually rejected. Rejected. It's not good to disturb the couple, but can't she just not disturb them? Just be quiet as a chicken and coax the baby. One more person to coax the baby is still not happy. Hmm. It's not that you're not welcome, it's that there's no place to stay. Song Mian Yang awkwardly said. What? Your house is so big, 150 square feet, and you say you don't have a place to stay? Song Mianian, can you find a better reason? Manli was about to spit out a fragrance. It was so sad. She clearly didn't want her to live there. Song Mianian had no choice but to explain, there are only four rooms, the master bedroom, two children's rooms, and the second bedroom where my mom lives, so where will you sleep? Sofa or floor? Sleeping on the sofa is fine, it's not easy to go on vacation, I haven't seen the babies for a long time, two months. Manny had a sultry look on his face. But the problem is that I'm in my hometown now, so I guess I'll have to stay here for a few days and can't go back. Ha, huh? how many days do you have to stay? I only have a week's vacation hey, Mon Lee said. Three or four days or so, then let me know when you get home, I'm going to see the baby. Okay, turn the video around, I'll take a look at the babies. Song Mian Yang pointed the camera at a few little ones. I haven't seen them in these two months, they've grown up a bit more, more like you couple, envious. Four treasures is still so cute. Monli still instantly recognized four treasures. Greeting her, this child, as before, had her head tilted to the side. Monli sighed, AI, for treasures doesn't recognize me at all now. After seeing the child, Song Mianli said, okay, okay, I should wash up and go to bed, I'm hanging up. Going to bed so early? Monli was still a bit reluctant to leave. The video had already hung up. Wife, the water is boiling, hurry up and take a bath. Chang Xiao shouted from inside the house. Got it. Song Mianian was looking for pajamas in her suitcase. It was colder in the countryside at night, so she purposely brought a set of thicker pajamas over. The two of them took a shower and went back to their room. A family of six definitely can't squeeze into a bed, so Chang Xiao moved a single bed from the grocery room, spread the quilt, and slept on it himself, letting Song Mianian take the kids to sleep. This night's sleep is quite unsettled, the babies are more recognizable bed, most of the night is still tossing and turning, how do not sleep, and from time to time, cry too, humming and humming. The couple had to get up in a while to coax them. Song Mianian sleepy eyes cannot open, instinctively get up to coax the child. Wife, you sleep, I'll do it. He had the skill of stealing sleep, so he wasn't afraid. When the babies fell asleep, he tuned in for two hours, which was equivalent to ten hours of sleep. Honey, are you sleepy too? It's better if I join you. Song Mianyang forced herself to get up and glanced at him. Every time, he was the one who came to take care of the four children and let her go to bed early. Tonight, she should accompany him anyways. I'm not sleepy, it's you who's sleepy, go to sleep. That won't do, before I was going to work and had to go to bed early, tomorrow I don't have to, it's okay to stay up for a while. Song Mianyang said. Chang Xiao let her be. The kids tossed and turned until 3 o'clock in the morning before falling asleep. Song Mianyang couldn't keep her eyes open anymore and fell asleep. Chang Xiao activated his sleep-stealing skills and fell asleep in seconds. The next day, he got up as usual to make breakfast and feed the baby. He's the hard-working man of the house. Song Mianian was still a little sleepy when she was called up. Chang Xiao laughed and said, Eat before you go to sleep. It's not good to not eat breakfast. I'm too sleepy. Let me sleep a little longer. There was nothing he could do for her, so he could only wait for her to get up and heat it up again. I didn't expect the sleep to go straight to noon. Only then did she wake up in a daze. Smelling the fragrance came to the kitchen. Hubby, where's breakfast? Song Qin walked into the kitchen at this time, and when she heard this, she said, still breakfast, it's noon, we'll eat lunch later. Saying this, she brought out a bowl of kanji from the pot on the other side, saying, this is what Xiao Cheng purposely left for you, for fear that you'll wake up and not have anything to eat, hurry up and go wash your face. Oh, after washing up for a while the whole person woke up a bit. Hungry chest to back, curry to drink the bowl of porridge. After patting his stomach, he felt a little better. Dinner time. The family sat at the dining table, Chang Xiao gave Song Mian Mian a bowl of soup and asked, still sleepy? Having never stayed up until that point, suddenly like this, her body couldn't take it. The babies almost stayed up all night and were still sleeping, but they were fed once in the morning when they were hungry. Still a little. Song Mian Yang nodded and yawned. Finish eating and then go take a nap. Cheng Xiao was heartbroken, the child is not adapted to this place, the one who was tossed is the parents, he is lucky, there is a skill, otherwise this will also be the same cannot climb up. A couple of little guys are too good at tossing people around. Recognize the bed is too powerful. Just thinking about it, the house resounded with their cries one after another. I'll go take a look, mom, you guys eat first. Song Qin looked in her eyes and sighed, Xiao Cheng has suffered a lot taking care of a few children during this time. One is fine, but four, no matter which family, it's probably too much for them to handle. 
He was still a child himself and had to take on the responsibility of taking care of four children, it was really rare for young people to have this heart. In the room, the babies are all lying on the bed crying, once they see their father coming in, they slowly stop crying and look at him steadily. Cheng Xiao opened their sleeping bags one by one, one by one, the diapers are bulging the boss, the morning feeding the milk, a moment are full of urine. Bring the wet wipes, quickly wipe the ass to change. To the big baby change when this little guy under the butt cold piece, look at him all heartache, hurry to play a basin of warm water, gently wash, with a towel slowly dry. After the butt is dry, pat on the talcum powder, big baby immediately changed into a smiling face, babbling, followed by the other babies. Fourth baby pooped right through the diaper, changed the tub of water, and continued washing. After the change, exhale. Taking care of it was basically a breeze now. You guys, you're too tossable, look at how hard mom works, staying up all night to take care of you. Chang Xiao sat on the edge of the bed and pinched the little faces of several little ones, in the future, ah, you have to be filial to her. Yeah. Erbo looks at Chang Xiao as if he understands and is responding. Our Erbo is so good, daddy give her a kiss. Chang Xiao gave her a kiss on her little face, causing this child to giggle. Adorable as hell. Ah. Uh, over there, for treasures was a bit unhappy, her little hands picking at the air and kicking at his waist. Chang Xiao knew what she meant. This is for a cuddle. He could only pick her up and hold her in his arms, smiling helplessly, you're the most capable. As long as she was held by her daddy, for treasures was happy, her little face was pressed against Cheng Xiao's chest, babbling. Alright, you guys stay here for a while, daddy is going to eat. Cheng Xiao touched four treasures little head and prepared to put her in a sleeping bag to prevent her from rolling over. This bed is not big in the first place, it's more dangerous for a child, where does she know anything but fun? Just put into the sleeping bag, the zipper has not yet been zipped up, this little foot of hers kicked and kicked, grunting, a look of reluctance. What's wrong? You want to go out to eat with daddy? Cheng Xiao smiled and said, yeah. For treasures looked at him, the meaning was self-evident. Wanting to follow daddy to eat in the living room. Cheng Xiao really couldn't look at this little look in her eyes and instantly softened his heart, alright, take you to take you. Just carrying four treasures up in the stroller, when she turned her face, the other three were all looking at her with open eyes. Ouch. This little eyes, proper super cute storm, no way, had to take a few on. Put into the stroller and push out. In the living room, the mother and daughter sat at the dining table and said one sentence without a sentence, from a distance, Song Mian Yang this dark circles under the eyes are a little serious, the face is not very good. The consequences of staying up all night. Advise all readers big brother, regardless of boys and girls, do not stay up all night do not stay up all night. Seeing the babies being pushed out one by one, Song Mian Yang hurriedly finished the last bite of her meal, then put down her chopsticks and walked towards the babies. You go eat, I'll take them. Song Mianian said. Cheng Xiao smiled, you go rest quickly, look at these dark circles under your eyes, they can be compared to the national treasure pandas. Saying this in front of Song Qin, Song Mianian was still a little bit weirdly embarrassed, nodded, and went to her room, sleepy, just laid down on the bed and fell asleep in almost seconds. Xiao Chang, you didn't sleep well last night either, right? I'll take care of the kids, you and Mian Mian take a rest. I'm more able to stay up, I've long gotten used to it, it's fine. Cheng Xiao smiled. This is not a good habit, you can carry on, your body can't, you'll know when you're old. Song Qin's face was serious. That's fine, mom, trouble you. Aya, what are you talking about trouble, hurry up. Cheng Xiao smiled and headed to his room. The child stays in the living room. Seeing her father leave, for treasures even looked back and then looked at Song Qin. All of them look familiar, otherwise they will cry to you in minutes. Cheng Xiao walked into the room and looked over to the bed, Song Yin Yin was still sleeping quite well, and the sound of shallow breathing came from her. Lay down next to her, covered the quilt, and started to steal sleep skills. This sleep directly slept until dark. Song Mianian got up in a daze, this time the whole person could be considered quite awake. Awake? Preparing to get out of bed, a voice came from his ears, only to realize that Cheng Xia was lying beside him. His face flushed red. Why are you sleeping here too? Song Mianyang whispered. Cheng Xia smiled and said, I've always been here, what's wrong? Shy. I'm not shy. Song Mian Mian wanted to argue, but the words came out of her mouth like a kitten purring, softly. All old married couple, still so shy why, as your husband, sleep next to you is not very normal? Chang Xiao continued to flirt. Seeing that this little woman's face was blushing to dripping blood, flirting could not go on, he smiled helplessly, okay, I won't tease you anymore, get up. As soon as she heard him say that, Song Mian Mian hurriedly got out of bed, straightened out her clothes, and darted towards the living room. She was going to go outside to get some air. Doorway. The slightly cool air blew on her face, icy cold, before it made her wake up a bit. This just came out, and she bumped into Song Qin face to face. What's wrong with this? Isn't somewhere uncomfortable? Blushing like this. 
Song Qin said, as if she realized something, smiled, and immediately changed her words, it's fine, it'll be fine with a breeze. Now, Song Mianian was even more embarrassed. The babies are still sitting in the yard, their eyes looking straight at the kitten hanging around the door, probably feeling particularly novel, giggling happily. For treasures this child actually directly stretched out his hand in the direction of the kitten, but also looked at Song Mianian, the meaning is self-evident. Finally finding a reason to digress, Song Mianian came to see Bao's side and laughed, you child, you still want to catch the kitty? Yeah. Four treasures responded. The toy can be given to you, this can't be scratched, the cat will scratch your hands. Song Mianian looked at her seriously. Killer moves up. Starts humming. Song Mianian saw through it long ago and pushed the stroller inside. The other three did the same. One stared at the kitten. Gawking. In the room, looking at Four Treasures' aggravated little mouth, Chang Xiao asked, What's wrong Four Treasures? Song Mianian said somewhat helplessly, Must have the cat at the door, not giving it to her like this. Look at this little mouth. Cheng Xiao picked up the Four Treasures, scraped her little nose, laughed, For Treasures, the cat does not recognize you, will scratch your little hands though we cannot scratch. This little kid knows to ask for this and that. Also know to play with small animals. If you don't give it, you will cry. Seeing that dad is not toward himself, for treasures tightly buried his head in his chest. Aggrieved to no end. Okay, okay, next time daddy will buy you a cat toy, okay? Oi. It's only been more than five months, why is it like a little person? After coaxing for a while, this little guy only gave up. When I went to look again, the cat had already run away. The babies soon forgot about it. In the evening when we were ready to eat, someone came to the house. The one who came was a woman with something in her hand. Song Mianyang instantly recognized that this woman was that good friend of mom's, who had gone to visit her when she suddenly returned to her hometown. You said you didn't call to say anything when you came back here, or did people tell me before I realized it? The woman put down her things and said with some complaints. Song Qin hurriedly got up and greeted, Aya, I wasn't too busy and forgot? Quickly sit down. Have you eaten yet? If you don't want to eat something here. I've already eaten, so I won't eat, this thing can also be too busy to forget, you are also really, next time you come back, be sure to greet me in advance ah. Uh. Aha, uh -huh, sure. This side of the elders were chatting. Chang Xiao and Song Mianian hurriedly opened their mouths to greet them. Aya, this is Mian Mian, she's getting prettier and prettier. Is this one next to you? The young man is good looking. But when her eyes turned, she saw a few babies behind the two. Froze. This, for ah? Uh? She knew that Song Qin had gotten her grandson and thought it was just one. But she didn't expect that it was actually four. Quadruplets? After living for such a long time, she had never seen quadruplets being born. Song Mianian smiled, yes, auntie. Xiao Qina, you're really lucky, you got four grandchildren in one go, look at each one of them, they're really handsome. The woman complimented. Seeing such exquisite and beautiful children, one couldn't help but feel fond of them. Each one of them is just like a porcelain doll, with big watery eyes. More than five months old, they could already tell what mom and dad looked like, it could be said that the more they grew, the better they looked. Song Qin was complimented in the heart also happy, smiled and said, Your family does not also have two small grandchildren? Each one of them is also very good looking. Where where, compared to your families, it's one heaven and one earth. The woman laughed. Eh, words can't be said like you, the children are so handsome, how is it heaven and earth, they are all your own precious grandchildren. That's right too, ha. Huh? The two were very chatty. After a while they chatted a lot. They chatted about everything, women's topics, the long and short of the family, completely ignoring the fact that there were two young people present next to them. The husband and wife looked at each other. Some awkward. Cheng Xiao smiled helplessly, I'll go boil water. Good. The baby's eyes squinted one by one, looking like they were about to fall asleep. Get the babies to bed first. In the room, after putting on the sleeping bags for them one by one, Cheng Xiao was tired, serving a few children was not easy. Song Nianyang took a piece of tissue and instinctively put her hand to his forehead to wipe his sweat. Because he was taller, Song Mianian could only stand on her tiptoes. Cheng Xiao smiled and lowered his head a bit, leaning over some more, wipe it like this, isn't it better? The two of them were leaning so close that they could clearly feel each other's breathing. This sudden movement made her realize what she was doing, and she was busy retracting her hand, her face reddening into an apple. Why are you leaning so close? How bad would it be to let the elders see it? Song Mianian lowered her head and whispered. What's so bad about this, the door is closed, this is now our place as a couple. She looked for an excuse, the kids are still here. Wife, are you being shy again? Chang Xiao reached out and pinched her little face. I'm the one who isn't. Really not? Chang Xiao laughed. No. Song Mianian glanced her face to the side. Alright, I won't tease you anymore, I'm going to boil water, I'll take a bath later. Chang Xiao smiled and went out. Only then did Song Mianian sigh in relief taking two deep breaths and waiting for the red color on her face to fade before heading for the door. 
This is a red packet for a few little grandchildren. Take it and buy some good food for the little ones. Just don't push it around. Take it. At the table, the woman held several red envelopes in her hands and shoved them to Song Qin. Song Qin was unwilling to accept them. Look at you. You're just a little sick. How much money do you have left over? Keep it for yourself or buy something nice for your child. A few days passed by in a flash, and it was finally time to go back to the city. The couple got up early in the morning to pack their clothes and the baby's things. After packing for a long time, they got in the car and prepared to go back. You're going back already? Aren't you staying for a few more days? The next door neighbor asked. I don't want to stay. It's time to go back. My daughter and son-in-law still have to work. Song Qin said, "On the road." Song Mianian played a text message to Manli, told her that today is ready to go back. Which thought this girl child was waiting for this moment, hearing her say so, immediately excited. You can finally give up and come back. When will you arrive home? I'll pinch the time to go over. About noon. Okay. After the phone hung up, Song Mianian glanced at the children. Several of them fell asleep as soon as they got on the car, huffing and puffing. Song Chin opened her mouth at this time and said, "Last night your cousin Zan called and said that Little Wind is doing much better. They had also asked if they wanted to spend the festival together during the Mid Autumn Festival before." But they had already arrived in the countryside at that time, so they declined. It's still effective. Song Mianyang was full of surprise. It's already possible to eat normally, and my complexion is much better. Speaking of this, Song Qin was quite happy. This was a disease that even the hospitals found hopeless. This son-in-law of hers had such a remarkable effect after a few treatments. It seemed that he really wasn't lying. Not to mention Song Qin, Song Mianyan felt even more incredible. It also gave Chang Shao a clear perception of the current medical skills. It's really okay. This silver needle rewarded by the system was good. The effect was remarkable. When we go back, I'll check on my cousin's condition. Two hours later, the car was steadily parked in the underground garage. It was finally back. The babies were still sleeping and were put into the stroller to lie down, probably sensing the movement and immediately waking up. Opening their eyes, they looked around and saw that the people whose faces were familiar were there and continued to sleep at ease. This child, Song Qin, couldn't help but let out a laugh. After going upstairs, opened the door. The home is clean and tidy as always. Chang Shao hurriedly put the babies in their cribs. This time, completely woke up. Seeing mom and dad, the four babies immediately revealed smiling faces. Little ones, hungry. Dad went to rinse grandma for you. After all, it had been more than two hours. After drinking the milk, the babies got energized. Chang Shao picked them up one by one from the bed again and put them outside on the sofa to lean against. At this time, the doorbell suddenly rang outside. Song Qin went to open the door. Hello, Auntie. The one who came was Manli. This one was carrying a bunch of things in her hands. There were food and playthings. Of course, the food was definitely not for the baby, but the adults, or maybe it was for herself. The toys were all the baby's favorites. What with the ragdoll dolls, the kind that sang and glowed, and the dolls, the Ultraman toys, and so on. Your Manny? Song Qin looked left and right before remembering that her memory was getting worse as she got older. Yes, Auntie. This change is quite big. Auntie did not recognize. You say you come to just buy so many toys. Why? The children do not need. Song Qin helplessly said, "Now can't use. Later, ah, certainly use." Manli laughed. "You girl, when did you return home? Almost three months. So long, ah. Look at you. Come back. Also, do not say a word." Manli smiled. "I told Mian, Mian, didn't she tell you? Don't stand there. Come over and sit." Song Qin pointed at the sofa and hurriedly went to pour the tea. Manli had long noticed the babies. Putting the gifts she had bought to the side and recognizing four treasures at once, she hurriedly darted over to her. There was also a toy in her hand. This is a must-have. Otherwise, with four treasures' character, it was absolutely impossible to let her touch it, not even to be next to the edge. Sure enough, with a fresh toy in hand, it instantly attracted the attention of several babies. Now that the babies were older in months, one by one, they were so powerful that they actually directly wanted to move over and grab it. Song Nianli was watching closely from the side, just afraid of which one would accidentally fall. For Treasures was closest to Manli. The latter smoothly picked her up and waved the toy in front of her. For Treasures, do you want this? Ye responded, "For Treasures." With that, she tried to reach out and grab it. Over here, Chang Shao packed up his things and prepared to go out. Wife, I'll leave first. If you guys don't want to cook at noon, just order takeout. After saying that, he walked away. What? Manli, who was sitting there teasing Four Treasures, was dumbfounded all of a sudden. Didn't she come just to watch the baby and dine? As a result, today so coincidentally go out. Just now also thought that this time there is Auntie and better not to be a light bulb. She is going to eat a big meal. This will be good. Cannot eat, honey. Brother-in-law went out for what? I won't be able to eat his cooking again today. Manli wilted. 
I'll be back in the evening, I'll make do with what I have for lunch today, my mom's cooking is also very good. Thinking this way, Monli's heart finally balanced out a bit. In the past, she often ate the dishes made by Song Qin, and the flavor was also very good. Although it was a bit worse than Chang Zhao's, it was already very good. On the other side, Chang Xiao arrived at the old neighborhood, knocked on the door. Song Yin opened the door and saw that it was Chang Xiao, smiled and said, Chang, you're here, come on in. Chang Xiao went in and observed a circle, the living room obviously had some life in it, much better than the last time he came. It wasn't so dead. Auntie cousin, how is cousin? Chang Xiao went straight to the point. Song Yin said, he can already eat normally, his complexion is much better. I'll go take a look. Entering the room, the curtains, the windows were open, the house was cleaned and disinfected properly. Nodding, this situation was much better than last time. Xiao Feng is sitting on the bed, the spirit is indeed much better, just still some yellow face, this kind of will need time to slowly recuperate. After taking his pulse, Chang Xiao was quite surprised at his recovery speed. I don't know whether the silver needle is good or his own recovery is good, has already failed organs are at a very fast rate of repair and improvement. To know, organ failure in western medicine, it is difficult to control, many patients with cancer, is not organ failure led to death? Chinese medicine is very slow, according to the treatment of organ failure is also not very good, if it really works, cancer or cancer? I can only say that the system is really awesome. Song Yun looked at him nervously from the side and asked, how is it? It's not life threatening anymore, one more acupuncture, a good conditioning for half a year, and it will be no big deal. Chang Xiao smiled. Song Yun couldn't believe her ears, a bit skeptical if she was dreaming. A kind of heartache spread in the bottom of her heart. She had been looking forward to this day for a long, long time. Xiao Feng was also clearly feeling the condition of his body in the past two days, much better than before. Some days ago, either hanging water or chemotherapy, the effect is minimal. Basically, he has already despaired. Cheng Xiao in fact he did not hold much hope, if Chinese medicine can treat his disease, who still go to see western medicine ah. After Song Qin went out, Chang Xiao began to administer needles to Xiao Feng. Not long after, it was densely packed all over his back. Twenty minutes later, the needle was removed. In the living room, it's okay, there's nothing serious now, just need to recuperate. This side of the matter is finished already in the afternoon. Chang Xiao returned home. Opening the door, Song Nian Nian and Man Li were watching a recently hit dog food drama. Their eyes were glued to the male lead inside. The two of them were watching with such vigor that they didn't even know he was back. Ah, it's really handsome, that look is so oh, oh, oh. Man Li kept shaking Song Mian Yang. Song Mian Yang also said, indeed, quite handsome. It belonged to that little wolf dog type. It's too handsome, okay. Cheng Xiao frowned and glanced at the male lead in the drama. It was average, not as good looking as him at all. This little woman was actually staring at another man. What are you guys looking at? Cheng Xiao asked. Man Li replied, what else can I watch? Idol dramas. The two women were flamboyant. I really don't know what's so cool about it. At night, Song Mianian arranged for Man Li to sleep in the master bedroom. Man Li originally wanted Song Mianian to accompany her, but this was in someone else's home, and splitting up a couple to sleep with them was going to be struck by lightning. In the children's room, after Chang Xiao arranged the babies into sleeping bags and put them to sleep, Song Mianian came over and asked, Are you still angry? Don't be angry, okay, I'm just responding to Man Li, it's really not what I wanted to see. Song Mianian didn't expect that this man was so jealous and angry because of an idol drama. Chang Xiao looked at her and suddenly turned around and pressed her against the wall on one side. Do you think that guy is as handsome as your husband? With this sudden question, Song Mianyang's brain quickly reacted. No, no, how can he be as handsome as you? He can't even compare to a single finger of your husband. Afraid that he would get angry again, Song Mianian squeezed out a smile with a pleasing face. Do you like watching this kind of idol drama? Second question. Chang Xiao wasn't angry, just a little sour. This was the first time he had heard her praise another man for being handsome. This was intolerable. I don't, I don't like. Song Mian Yang shook her head. It wasn't like that male lead was her cup of tea, even without Chang Xiao she didn't like it. No staring at a man for so long in the future you hear me? Chang Xiao said. No, no. Song Mian Yang nodded, her husband's jealous look was so scary. However, this feeling was also quite good. It showed that Cheng Xiao cared about her ah, that's why he was jealous. Cheng Xiao rubbed her head, alright, you quickly go take a shower. Oh. Song Mianian red-faced, found her pajamas and hurriedly escaped from the room. Seeing her go out, Cheng Xiao opened his cell phone and looked at the wholesale network. The mid-autumn festival store was busy, the turnover directly skyrocketed, the need for a lot of goods. Before doing enough preparation, wholesale a lot, but still not enough. No way, can only wholesale some more. After wholesaling, I sent a message to Wang Jing in passing. I don't know if the goods are back yet. In the old home have stayed a few days. 
Wang Jing replied in seconds, saying that he would be back tomorrow. Come back early. Okay. Ending the conversation, Song Mianian had already returned from her bath. Before going to bed, the couple looked at the babies, and sure enough, it's much better to come back and not make a fuss. Several children recognize the bed is too powerful. Once they sleep in other beds at night, they don't sleep, net tossing adults. Hubby, how is cousin's situation? Just remembering this matter, Song Mianian asked. Shang Xiao smiled, there's no big problem, it'll be fine after a half a year of recuperation. Hubby, how on earth did you do this, it's too amazing, right? Song Nian was shocked. I heard that my cousin was born quite sick, and had chemotherapy countless times before and after, until the hospital gave up. Cheng Xiao leaned close to her ear, how did it happen? You want to know? No, don't want to know, I'm going to sleep first. Song Mianian directly covered her head with the quilt, turned her body around and slept. Cheng Xiao smiled helplessly. The next day, after breakfast was done, he was about to tell them to get up. When he turned around Monli was standing behind him, a smile on his face, brother-in-law, is breakfast done? It's done. Okay, then I'll go shout at Mian Mian. After saying that, she turned around and ran towards the children's room. Song Nian Nian was completely dragged up from her sleep by force. When she got up, she was still disoriented and her hair was a mess. Why are you pulling me up so early? I haven't slept enough. Song Nian Nian looked at Monli with dissatisfaction. Monli bounced her head, your husband made breakfast early in the morning, why are you still sleeping? She was too embarrassed to sit at a table alone with someone's husband for dinner, how embarrassing. So, had to drag the person up. What time is it? Song Mianyang yawned and started to wash up and wake up. It's 7 or 8 o'clock Missy, do you really think it's the old days when you were a little girl? Now you're a child's mom and you still need someone to take care of you. Monli said helplessly. Before when there was no child, Song Mianli that was not even able to take care of herself, breakfast often did not eat, then gave birth to a few babies, the whole person changed. The change was especially big. It's so important to meet a good husband, if you don't meet one, you probably won't have a good life in this lifetime. Auntie will also have to work for the rest of her life. Envious, right? That's because my husband is willing to take care of me, you find one too. Song Mianli finished brushing her teeth and smiled. Monli pinched her waist, you're just fooling around, bullying me for not having a husband, aren't you? Yeah, just bully you for not having a husband. You, I'll tickle you. The two of them fought and a burst of laughter came from the bathroom. Chang Xiao sat in the living room and listened plainly. The corners of his mouth rose. Song Mianian finished washing up, as soon as she left the bathroom, she saw Chang Xiao sitting in the living room, looking at herself with a smile on her face. Seems to guess what, instantly embarrassed, coughing, quickly walking towards the dining room. Song Qin came back from outside, wearing sportswear, and went for a run. Early in the morning to exercise. In her words, this is called health. It's even more important to pay attention to your health as you get older. Look at auntie, she knows to go out for a run early in the morning, and then look at you, I don't even want to talk about you. Monli scared in Song Mianian's ear. Song Mianian gave a blank look, hurry up and eat, or else you keep talking about you, don't eat. Che, who said I won't eat? Monli picked up a piece of leek cake and started to nibble. After a quiet breakfast, Cheng Xiao planned to take the kids to the store. There are still two days left in the mid-autumn festival vacation, Wang Jing that guy came back today, and I don't know if he's arrived at school yet. Wife, are you going shopping with Monli or going to the store? Cheng Xiao asked after putting the babies in the stroller and packing them up. Song Mian Mian was a bit hesitant, and was about to open her mouth, when Manli on the side hurriedly took her arm and said, I'll take Mian Mian out to go shopping, I didn't even take a good look when I came here, it's just right to let her accompany me. Cheng Xiao looked at Song Mian Mian, saw that she didn't object either, and nodded, that's fine. He had already transferred a million dollars to Song Mian Mian's card. Feel free to spend it. He wanted to make more money before, but this woman didn't want it, so she just brought a few tens of thousands of dollars with her. This can't be used, that can't be used. Want to buy her a few expensive clothes, but also not happy, hard to say too expensive. Although their current conditions couldn't be said to be much richer, it was enough to buy some good ones, there was no need to save too much. That's great. Finally we can go shopping together. Monli was thievingly happy, after saying it several times before, Song Nianyang didn't agree, thinking it was too spendy. The two packed up and rushed out. Before leaving, Monli kissed Si Bao's little face, Si Bao, auntie is going to take your mom away yo. Chang Xiao shook his head helplessly and waited for them to leave before taking the babies towards the store. Song Qin also followed along and watched the babies. During the mid-autumn festival holiday, there were more people, so they had to watch at all times. Underground garage. Wow, you got a new car again? Seeing a BMW in front of her, Monli's eyes widened. This husband is also too good. The moment he took the plunge, it was a several hundred thousand dollar car. Song Mianli sat in the driver's seat and said helplessly, because I have to go to work and a car is inconvenient to go anywhere, 
he bought an extra one. Being rich is good. Manli was envious, your husband is really good to you. Saw my Anian heart sweet, after meeting Cheng Xiao, a lot of things do not need her to worry about, everything is Cheng Xiao to, with the child does not let her worry about a point. The two drove the car, did not go to Tianyi Street, directly to the city center. Shopping mall. Came to the door of a bag store. Come on, let's go in and take a look. Manli smiled. Song Mianli looked at the name of the store and frowned. Dior. The things here weren't cheap, whether it was makeup or bags, there wasn't a single price that was low, after all, it was a big international brand. It's too expensive here. Manli helplessly said, look at your unproductive look, it's not a crime to go in and look. Like to see not by not embarrassed? Embarrassed what? We did not rob, who is not like this? Do we still have to buy and sell? Look, it's not like everyone who comes in will buy. Manli pointed out the people who came in. It was so well said that she couldn't even refute it. This one was too articulate. After her softening song Nianli still went in. The clothes she was wearing were all name brands that Cheng Xiao had bought for her, and the clerk recognized them at once and greeted her enthusiastically. In their line of work, one must be a bit discerning. Both ladies, may I help you? We'll see for ourselves. Manli smiled. Good. Yell at me if you need anything. Aha. The two of them turned around and came down, Song and Yang didn't see anything she liked, but it was Manli, who liked this one and that one too, only the price was, up, uh, out of reach. A bag costs hundreds of thousands of dollars. The limited edition is even more expensive. A few tens of thousands of barely acceptable, hundreds of thousands of Song and Yang do not even look at a glance. Manli's eyes went straight. Mian Mian, look at that white one, isn't it super nice? She pointed at a bag in the glass cabinet and asked. Song Mian Yang glanced at it, it's okay. The styles of these bags were actually not as nice as ordinary bags, it was just that the brand was hanging there looking good, the styles were not complimentary. You don't think it looks good? Song Mianli shook her head, it's too expensive. Manli had a black line on her head, took down the bag and looked at the price. Good lord, $600,000. Silently put it back. After looking around, Song Mianli didn't have a favorite either. You don't have a favorite? Manli asked. No. You're too unambitious. This has nothing to do with whether or not there is no pursuit, it's you who drag me in, moreover, luxury goods don't necessarily look good, I can make it clear to you, if you want to buy it, you can buy it yourself, I'm poor, I don't have any money. Song Mian Yang had a haughty face. You are also too stingy. Man Li had a bitter face. Not buying luxury goods is stingy? If you want to buy them, you should also buy them according to your own conditions, or else, you should go find a rich husband? Song Mian Li glanced at her and said. You can get away with it, and a rich husband, I want to be able to find one, I still need you to say it. Manli rolled her eyes. The two went out of the Dior store and sat on a public chair not far away. Watching people come and go, Manli began to doubt life. Which part of the process went wrong? Why was she just not wanted? Bad personality? Too feminine? Or too violent? No, she is obviously very gentle, okay? After thinking for a while, cannot think, simply do not want to, raised his head to see the opposite side of the LV store. He was about to ask Song Mianian if she was going, but he didn't expect her to flatly refuse. You go, I'll wait for you here. Manli was bitter, you're also too inadequate, right? Accompany me to take a look. Just take a look. It's okay to look, but it's still the same thing, I'm not buying. You're just stingy. End of conversation. This floor is full of luxury goods, but I didn't buy anything. Some things are too expensive, not moving hundreds of thousands of dollars, the cheapest are tens of thousands, where to buy. Song Mianian felt sorry for Chang Xiao. It's not easy to earn some money. In the end, the two were tired of turning around and came to the dining place. Buy something to eat, then stroll. In the restaurant. Mian Mian, let's buy this set meal? It looks so delicious. Manli pointed to a set meal on the menu. It contained juice, a small dessert, some small snacks, all sorts. For a foodie like Manli, she couldn't resist the temptation at all. Why don't you take another look? There's nothing you like. Manli passed the menu over. Song Mianli glanced at it, flipping from top to bottom, page by page, and finally, her eyes rested on the last set meal. Two cups of juice and a few egg tarts. Manli glanced at it, and her face immediately drooped. Song Mianian, are you having a baby to make people stingy? Is that how you treat me? So, are you going to eat it or not? If you don't eat it, I'll let the waiter return it. Song Mianian laughed. This, for the sake of a bite of food, Manny still stepped back. It was better than nothing. Soon, the juice and egg tarts were served. The bastard swished and ate that fast, and in a short while, a few egg tarts went down. The juice also quickly bottomed out. Full? Song Mianian couldn't help but laugh. Manli said sullenly, full. After paying the bill, the two sat on the chairs at the entrance of the restaurant and looked at the crowds coming and going. This shopping has been a lonely shopping. 
Monli was still a bit depressed. What's wrong? Monli skimmed her mouth. When did you become so stingy here? I don't call this stingy, this is called saving money understand? Cut. Your store's one day turnover is so much, what's there to save, should be spent on spending. Saw my Annie and shrugged, I'm not married, maybe you say so I still think it makes sense, now I'm a family man, for children to raise, the future to spend a lot of money, how can I spend money on luxury goods? You'll understand the benefits of money when you're in my situation. This is called not being in charge and not knowing how expensive it is. The kind where one person is fed and the whole family is not hungry. Behind her was a family with daily expenses, so she couldn't save, and it wasn't easy for her husband to make money. All right, you win, I can't say it. Monli helplessly waved her hand. Let's go, go to the fourth floor, just now that bag I fell in love with, today I want to buy it. What kind of expression do you have, can't I just buy it myself? Seeing Song Myanian's expression of resistance, Manli immediately understood what she was thinking, I had a black lines. Song Myanian then went upstairs with her. It was the same familiar LV store. The familiar store clerk. The attitude of the staff here is quite warm, see two beautiful women came in again, welcome as usual. The rich people, more choices. Maybe this time come in to buy directly take it? This may also be possible. After all, Song Myanian body this clothes ah, worth a lot of money, the inner wear are to $20,000. All Chung Zhao's masterpiece. According to her size, secretly buy clothes for her, come back and say it is not expensive at all. Song Myanian also believed it. She believes whatever her husband says. The beauty around her is not bad, the bag she carries and the shoes she wears are all brand name. There's no such thing as a miscellaneous brand. The body with the worst are several thousand. Monli directly took the tens of thousands of dollars of bags, is a limited edition, brown, style is okay. Song Myanian didn't like it anyway. She liked the several hundred dollar ones downstairs with a better style. Are you sure you want to buy this? Song Myanian asked. Sure ah, come all the way here, it's impossible to come empty handed? Monli said to the female sales clerk next to her, hello, help me pack this. Okay, beautiful. After packing it up, the credit card was handed to the shop girl, paying very generously, without any physical pain at all. You're good, you've actually become so rich. Song Mianli hammered her shoulder. Monli ate the pain, hiss. You woman, can you lighten your hand, it can hurt. Sister who is ah, at least a little deposit, see like to buy it, you are so rich, and do not give me to buy. Monli hummed arrogantly. Song Mianli pretended to be poor, I don't have any money. Che, you can get it, a day turnover so much, still pretend with me. It's not that exaggerated. Song Mianyang said. The couple was now in the saving stage, preparing to open the store into a chain, in which case they couldn't have too much spending money, and for luxuries, they would talk about it later. Beauty, please take it. The shop girl smiled faintly. She went out from the LV store and turned around and walked into another clothing store. You're still buying? Song Mianyang's eyes widened. Just now a bag was $50,000. Looking at the name of the clothing store, it was also a big international brand. Guess it wasn't cheap. Casually glanced at the glass wall and saw the price, good lord, a trench coat cost $50,000. Made of gold ah. Yeah, bye. Life is so short, isn't it good to enjoy yourself more? The big deal is to earn it back. Monli was very open-minded. Also, Song Mianyang nodded, she had a point. However, she wasn't as open-minded as Monli, after all, she was just a single person, and she still had a family to take care of. Every aspect was different. Monli is not married yet, what if she marries a very good husband in the future? These will be even less to worry about. The two walked into the clothing store, and immediately a clerk greeted them. It was really two big beauties that attracted too much attention. Both of them had excellent looks, especially one of them, it would not be an exaggeration to say that it was a heavenly fairy who descended from the heavens. That body, is really good. This look was from a rich family. Both of you, can I help you? We'll see for ourselves. Song Myanian sat on a chair on one side, you look, I have something to do. Opening her cell phone, it was a message sent to her by Chang Xiao. The shots were of babies. The store was particularly lively at this time, and Chang Xiao was busy taking videos of the babies. She couldn't help but smile. A few little ones didn't know what they saw, laughing so happily. Especially Debeo. Probably saw the beautiful lady again, right? The child is getting older day by day, and knows more about looking. Turned off the video, not long after, Chang Xiao sent a voice. Asked her how the shopping was going, did she buy anything? Also urged her to buy more. After all, this was the first time since she was pregnant that she went shopping with her best friend. Haven't bought anything yet, those things are too expensive, or forget it. Song Myanian skimmed her mouth. Don't save ah, take whatever you like. Just now I transferred some more money to you, buy it, remember to buy me two dresses. Cheng Xiao knew that this little woman must be saving again, somewhat helpless. What Song Myanian didn't know was that Monli was right behind her eavesdropping on their conversation. 
Let's see. Yikes, it's only half a day since we've seen each other, and we're chatting? Monlit sked and flirted, look, your husband told you to buy 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 don't save, look at you this stingy look. Song Mianyan was too lazy to talk to her. After ending the conversation. Finished? Well, accompany me to look at the clothes, don't worry, don't want you to buy, just help me palm my eyes. Monli was helpless. It's the beginning of the fall season, of course it's time to buy fall clothes. What trench coat denim, through arrangement? Seeing a navy blue trench coat jacket, Monli took it down, put it in front of her body and compared it, smilingly asked, how is it? Good looking? Good looking. Song Mianli glanced at it and thought it was okay. Che, what kind of tone is this, is it good or not? Not bad. Why is it okay again? Can you be more serious? The two of them were saying one thing to each other. At the moment, in the eyes of the shopkeeper, Song Mian Yang was like an indifferent husband, and Manli was the grumbling little wife. This. It's just fine, you're so temperamental and pretty, you're not a walking clothes rack anymore ah, uh, it sure looks good on you. Manli's figure is indeed very good, can be called the devil's figure, 170, belongs to the temperament type of beauty. Even wrapping a rag looks good. That's more like it. Manli's face then recovered. That's not it. Her walking coat rack isn't for nothing. Fitting room, took off the jacket and tried it on. When she wore it out, she hurriedly asked, how is it? Good looking? Good looking. Song Mianian surveyed, this figure which wear clothes do not look good. That's good. I'll take this one. Immediately after that, she looked at the pants on one side of the rack. Wear them with a trench coat. In the end, a pair of loose black wide-legged pants was chosen. After the purchase, the two were still wandering around the mall. Song Mianyang swept around the general clothing area. Not long after a large bag was carried out, Monli directly looked dumbfounded. I say big sister, what are you? What's wrong? Hundreds of dollars of clothes that are also clothes ah, everyone wears this kind, what's wrong with it? Song Yan Yang was carrying a bunch of things and had just bought a few more for Chang Xiao. On the road. Look at this stingy look of yours, all you buy for your husband are these two or three hundred. Monli didn't even know what to say to her. Song Mianli glanced at her, alright, my husband doesn't mind what do you mind? Strike bullying her again for not having a husband. Fine. She didn't say anymore. The car drove all the way to the parking space near the mom and pop store. The two of them got out and headed to the store. Looking at this big bag, Chang Xiao hurried over to help carry it. This wife ah, finally enlightened, willing to buy buy buy. But I didn't expect that Monli on the side said breathlessly. Brother-in-law, this wife of yours, I'm really speechless. Monli beeped out the cause and effect of the matter in a while. Chang Xiao thought that his wife had gotten the hang of it, but as a result, eh, forget it, let's go back at night and talk about it. Song Mian Yang awkwardly hid behind the cash register and went. The babies were all sitting there, happy to see their mom back. More and more customers are coming in, and the store is getting busy again. Monli was a bit overwhelmed and looked to Chung Xiao and asked, what can I do? There were enough employees in the store, dividing up the work and being organized. No, you and Mian Mian can just coax the baby. Oh, okay. It's weirdly embarrassing to come on a trip and not help with anything, dabbling with food and drink. The babies one by one looked with their eyes open, babbling, Monli hurried over and pinched the little faces one by one. Babies, did you miss me? The four treasures looked at her with small eyes for a while, then withdrew their eyes and looked away. On the contrary, it was Debeo, who kept staring at Monli, his face full of seriousness. You little guy, what are you looking at me for? Is it because you think auntie is pretty? Ahem. Song Mianli was in the middle of drinking water, when she heard this, she immediately choked on the water. She coughed non-stop. You can stop, what does a child know? Che, I'm asking Debeo, not you. Monli gave her a blank look. Yeah, Debeo responded. He loved pretty young ladies the most. See, Debeo thinks I'm pretty too. Song Mianli was completely speechless to her. The afternoon was spent in teasing the baby, and in the evening, Chang Xiao ordered meals for a few employees. Then went home. After arriving home, the babies had all squinted their eyes and fallen asleep. Chung Xiao carried them one by one to the bed and put them there, getting the sleeping bags. After dinner and a shower, Chang Xiao remembered today's events and asked, Wife, what clothes did you buy me? Song Mianian went to the living room to bring the new clothes in a big bag. One by one, they took them out and put them on the floor. This jacket is yours, and those pants. Song Mianian picked up a long black jacket, a very literary kind, suitable for a college student like Chang Xiao. Cheng Xia put down the clothes, helplessly looking at her, said, Wife, how many times have I told you, our current situation, as long as you like it, it doesn't matter if we buy more expensive, isn't my earning money for you to spend it for my wife? This little woman, it is estimated that she is afraid of adding burden to him, thinking that he makes money hard, so she can't afford to spend it. You don't like it? Song Mianian lowered her head and whispered. Cheng Xia thought that he scared her, touched her head, his voice softly said, 
you say you're stupid or not, you give birth to a child for me, I spend money for you is not it should be, you don't have any burden, also don't think that I make money hard, I don't think it's hard at all, for you and the child, I do all this is worth it. Cheng Xiao heartbroken, look at her hands still holding that jacket, heart softened, I like, as long as it is my wife to buy I like. Really? Sam Mayanian is still a little bit of disbelief, raised his head, blinking his eyes looking at him, this look is more heartbreaking. Cheng Xiao smiled, really, I won't lie to you, I like it. Like it, then you go and try it. Song Nianyang stood up with her jacket and compared it on Cheng Xiao. With his 185 height, Song Mayanian needed to stand on her tiptoes to accomplish this. Seeing this serious look on her face, Cheng Xiao smiled and took the jacket, good. And this one, this one, the ones that go together, try them all. Song Mayanian stuffed two more pieces to him. A few minutes later, looking at the man standing in front of her, Song Mayanian froze. It had to be said that Cheng Zhao's face value, no matter what he wore, he looked good, and the clothes that cost several hundred dollars were hard to wear out a sense of high class. Coupled with this is tall, hold up, as if tailored for him to customize the general. It seems that his own vision is still good. Wife, how is it? Chang Xiao smiles. Quite, quite good. Song Mianyang came back to her senses and hurriedly retracted her line of sight. What's wrong? Were you mesmerized by your husband's handsome look? Not at all. Song Mianyan was instantly embarrassed, pretending as if nothing had happened, she cleaned up the clothes on the floor and then hid under the quilt. It's getting late, you should go to sleep. After saying that, she directly buried her head in the quilt. Cheng Xiao lightly laughed, helplessly took off the clothes on his body and lay beside her. Knowing that this little woman is definitely still awake, he sneaks close to her ear and whispers, Wife, shy again? Doesn't make a sound. The second time he shouted, still no sound. Cheng Xiao directly used a master stroke. Scratch the itch. He knew that Song Mianian was most afraid of this, as long as he put his hand on her waist, he immediately reacted. As expected, the hand just touched her waist, this little woman began to have a movement, hurriedly moved forward two times, and stealing a smile. Cheng Xiao still did not stop. In the end, she really couldn't help it, ha, huh? don't you scratch, okay? This guy, just on purpose, knowing full well that she was ticklish. Who let you ignore me? Cheng Xiao laughed. I really didn't, I just think it's getting late and it's time to go to bed. We'll wake up the kids later and have to coax them again, and we have to get up and get busy tomorrow. Song Mianyang said with a yawn. Cheng Xiao also stopped tossing her around and got ready for bed. Yeah. At this time, for treasures suddenly made a sound. The couple looked at each other and smiled helplessly, it's over. This little ancestor woke up. Song Mianyan chagrined herself for this crow's mouth. Cheng Xiao couldn't help but laugh, you sleep, I'll do it. It's not like I have to work tomorrow, I'll be with you. Have you forgotten the other day? Still want to be like the pandas, huh? Okay. This reason managed to convince Song Mianyang, but, aren't you sleepy? It seemed like she had never seen Chang Xiao sleepy in the middle of the day, getting up so early every day to make breakfast, and being especially energized. It was obvious that he stayed up late every night to bring up the baby. Is this some kind of secret? I'm not sleepy yet, I can carry it for a while, you go to sleep. Alright then. Song Mianyan said sleep and went to sleep two minutes later. You little guy, how did you wake up so quickly? Cheng Xiao looked at four treasures and rubbed her little face. Four treasures let out another O. Oh. Seeing her face look a bit odd, Cheng Xiao felt that something wasn't quite right. Opening the sleeping bag, a strange smell came from it, good guy, pooping. I said why aren't you sleeping, so it's pooping. Cheng Xiao shook his head helplessly and hurriedly changed it for her. After changing it, he continued to put it in the sleeping bag and coaxed it as usual. It was not until the latter part of the night that she was able to be coaxed to sleep. Looking at a small sleeping face, Chang Xiao then lay down at ease, start to steal sleep skills. In the morning, he got up early to clean and make breakfast, completely explaining what it means to be a good man in history. After the whole family had breakfast, because they had to go to work tomorrow, Monli planned to leave after lunch. Don't you want to stay for two more days? It's not easy to come here. Song Qin asked with a smile. Next time auntie. This light bulb had already been a light bulb for two days, she was afraid that if she stayed any longer, someone should be unhappy. Every time she pestered Song Mian Mian wanting to sleep with her, Chang Xiao would pass over a look with deep meaning. It was clearly written that he couldn't do it. A look that said, in your own home, you want my wife to sleep in a separate room from me? That's not possible. The look. So, after finishing her last lunch, she hurriedly slipped away. After all, she is a bosom friend, Song Mianian is still a little reluctant to leave, and because of work, she doesn't know how long it will be before she can see each other. After the people left, Chang Xiao said, wife, let's set off too. Going to the store to help go and let the four babies increase the traffic some more. You know, on the day of the mid-autumn festival, the sales directly exploded. One day's turnover was $400,000. With this heat right now, it's more than 300000 a day. 
After all, it's the mid-autumn festival holiday. Plus the national day is coming soon. Good. Song Mianyan nodded, changed her clothes and set off. Arriving at the store. Wang Jing had already returned from his hometown and was handing out flyers there, and this time of the year had not yet reached the peak of human traffic. Seeing the couple over, he smiled and said, Brother, haven't seen you for a few days, how was the mid-autumn festival? Chang Sha nodded, not bad. Not bad? You didn't take a mess. Song out to play? Do you think a small baby is suitable for a long distance ride? Chang Sha was a bit speechless. Also ha, huh? that's too bad, going out in the middle of the fall, it's a hoot out there. It's not at all what everyone says that they all go home for mid-autumn festival, young people work outside and rarely go back because of mid-autumn festival. Originally the vacation is short, running around is also troublesome. Walking into the store, the couple first pushed the babies behind the cash register. These four babies are the signature of Little Baby House, and many people come here to see what the so-called exquisite high-value babies really look like. It's just that sometimes the babies aren't here, so it's a matter of luck if you want to see them. Wang Jing walked in from outside and took the key on the cash register, bro, I'm going to pull some goods over. Aha! Uh -huh. He went back to his hometown in the past few days, and the goods were all pulled in with Zhang Yu's help. Throughout the mid-autumn festival holiday, Lin Yan and Zhang Yu were busy and had to bring in new employees. Zhang Yu is responsible for the cashier packing piece, Lin Yan is sales, but also responsible for other things in the store. Chang Xiao and his wife decided to promote Lin Yan to store manager. In this way, many things can be completely handed over to her, without the two of them having to worry about them, including buying goods, counting accounts, and so on. Chang Xiao told Wang Jing about this, and the latter didn't have any opinions and was in favor of it. After all, Lin Yan had many years of experience, and the position of store manager suited her perfectly. When Lin Yan learned that the boss and the boss's wife valued her so much, she was somewhat flattered. She had only been here for two months as well, and she had managed to be promoted to store manager. It was completely something she didn't dare to think about. Before has been in the sales world to fight, experience is there, only the talent is abundant. Big than her excellent people have seized the first opportunity, good opportunities certainly not her turn. Over the years, the best position is only the sales manager. She had never received this kind of favorable treatment. Looking at the couple with a face full of gratitude, thank you boss. You're welcome, your ability and experience is here, we think highly of you, go for it. Good. The guests were getting more and more. The store started to get busy, everyone was busy with their own work and sharing the work. The baby looked drowsy, Chung Xiao put them in the back room to sleep and took advantage of this time to make a bunch of small desserts out. The aroma was overwhelming. The customers smelled the flavor. So fragrant ah what is this smell? It seems like a dessert, or strawberry flavor. Some of the customers on the scene were the ones who had eaten the small desserts sent by Process Xiao, and the familiar flavor was naturally unforgettable. Their eyes instantly lit up. They thought that it would be impossible to eat it again in the future, but they did not expect to have good luck today. Chang Xiao gave Zhang Yu an explanation of the activity of sending small desserts and continued to go to the back to make some. I was afraid that it would not be enough. This busy was busy until 9.30 p.m. The couple excused themselves and went home. Tomorrow Song Mian Yang still has to work and can't stay up any longer. When they got home, they washed up and went to bed. While lying under the covers, Song Mian Mian said, Hubby, you'd better go to class, after all, it's close to graduation, if you don't go, it's not easy to explain on the teacher's and principal's side. If the child, I'll talk to mom. There's no other way to do it during an important time, so I can only trouble the old man. Okay, listen to your wife. The next day, the two drove a car each to the school. Teacher's office. Song Mian Yang was packing up the things on her desk when Mr. Wang walked in with a book. As soon as she came in, she spoke, guess who I saw? Who? Several teachers asked curiously. The little star of our school, of course. Teacher Wang grinned and smiled with such a little, uh, flamboyant smile. Song Nian Yang guessed who it was without thinking. Every time a few teachers mentioned Chang Xiao, she would subconsciously get a little flustered. I don't know why. Obviously, people didn't notice anything. It was like she had done something wrong. Little star? Chang Xiao? This kid actually managed to get up for school. Teacher Song rested her cheeks. Teacher Wang laughed. There's less than a month until graduation. If he doesn't come, the vice principal will probably come to the door himself. Such a schoolmaster, if he flunked out, it would really be a waste of such a good talent. Teacher Song, the vice principal has looked for you several times, right? Teacher Lee asked. Song Mianyang nodded, a little embarrassed, indeed, it had been no less than five times. Every time, she was asked why 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 Cheng Xiao hadn't come to class yet, what exactly was more important than studying? Seeing that there was still a month to go before graduation, what can be said now to make Cheng Xiao come to school on time? I don't know why, when I see him this time, I always feel that it's not quite the same as last time. Teacher Wang said, 
I really didn't think that our school would be able to produce a star in our lifetime. Speaking of this, Mr. Wang already had a bit of a flowery face. Teacher Lee was speechless, can you put away your nymphomaniac face, people are students, we are teachers, is this expression appropriate? A student is a student, besides, I'm simply appreciating the face value. Teacher Wang bristled. He himself is not much older than Chang Xiao by a few years, besides, isn't he about to graduate? In the future, he will be a member of society, who says that after students enter society, they can't fall in love with a school teacher. Even if they can't, there's always no problem to appreciate their face value. You can get over it, nymphomaniac. Teacher Li said helplessly. Teacher Wang opened his cell phone and still had the Chung Xiao set photo saved in the album, handsome and amazing. Walking over to Song Mian Yang, she shared, Teacher Song, look at this, it's not bad, right? Song Mianian only felt embarrassed, but showed calmness on her face, it's okay. Shay, MS. Wang hummed as she hugged her phone, you have such a handsome husband, surely you can't look down on him. Song Mianian was embarrassed in her heart, wondering what her expression would be if the truth was known to MS. Wang. At this time, the class bell rang. All right, class is in session, don't be a nymphomaniac. Teacher Li patted Teacher Wang's desk. Over here, Chung Xiao sat in his seat, not coming to class for a while, everyone was basically used to it. As graduation was approaching, everyone was worried about their own things, so they didn't care about others. The class was quiet. Wang Jing sat next to Chung Xiao and asked, Brother, when you graduate, are you going to go to graduate school or continue to work on the store? He remembered that Chang Xiao was thinking about improving his education before he got together with MS. Song. Now that he had a child, he didn't know if his thoughts had changed. Go to graduate school. There was always no harm in upgrading one's education, there was always a time when it would be useful. When Wang Jing heard this, he couldn't help but give a thumbs up, awesome, you're bringing up a few babies every day, the pressure isn't small, and you have to raise a child and study, alas. Unlike him, his grades are not good, after graduation, even if he wants to go to graduate school, 80% will not be able to get in. There is no brain of a schoolmaster like Chang Xiao. People learn a lot of things in advance, and occasionally play games, he, the time is used to play games, waste not. I don't expect to go to graduate school. I'm thankful if I can successfully graduate. Then follow Chang Xiao properly, the monthly income is not bad. Classes are in session, let's talk about things after graduation when the time comes. Chang Xiao said. Well, that too. Soon, the teacher walked in. Chang Xiao took a look and it was actually Mr. Wang. Still with a serious face. The other party even gave him a special look, his eyes were a bit odd. After one lesson, when class ended, Wang Jing was a bit puzzled, why do I feel like Mr. Wang kept looking at you during class? Brother, did you do something to offend her? Chang Xiao shrugged, I don't know. Could it be that MS? Wang found something? Wang Jing guessed. At noon, the two sat in the school cafeteria to eat. A few teachers came over and naturally sat across from each other. Mr. Chang Xiao, we're sitting here, do you mind? Chang Xiao looked over, Song Yan Yang was among them. He smiled slightly, don't mind. I heard that you've been filming in the theater group during this time? Teacher Wang was the first to ask. Where was that serious look in class? Chang Xiao nodded. Since everyone thought so, it could just be a reason. When something came up afterward and didn't come to school, there was no need to explain too much. Have you signed an entertainment company yet? Teacher Wang asked. Chang Xiao shook his head, no. What's the point of signing a company? It's not like you're going to develop in this circle for a long time. Cough cough, the teacher thinks that you should focus on your studies for the time being, and that filming and other things can be put on hold for a while. The side of Mr. Lee hurriedly agreed, yes, filming after graduation there are plenty of opportunities, like your performance, I think the examination can be, the teacher still suggests that you have been up to study. Several teachers nodded their heads. Wang Jing faced a few teachers, a little scalp numb, looked at Chung Xiao beside him, did not expect him to be very calm, a little bit without tension. You know, the opposite side is a group of teachers ah. Several teachers take turns to educate, where to eat. Teacher Song, don't you think so? My suggestion is to continue studying, go to graduate school, and in the future, you might have a chance to stay in the school and serve. Teacher Rong pushed the glasses on the bridge of his nose. Regardless of what the several teachers said, Song Mianyang nodded her head without any comments. Student Chang Xiao, what do you think? Teacher Wang asked with a smile. Chang Xiao took a bite of his meal and smiled, don't worry several teachers, I will continue to study for the exam. Hearing his words, the teachers were relieved, Song Yan Yang glanced at Chang Xiao and secretly let out a breath, he finally got the hang of it. She had always hoped that Chang Xiao could move up the ladder, this would be of great help in the future. After a meal, the teachers had just left, and a few female students came over again. A few people stared at Chang Xiao for a while. One of them spoke, that's right, it's him. May I ask if it's senior Chang Xiao? 
Wang Jing frowned, do you guys have something to do? We're sophomores from the foreign language department, we're here to look for senior Chung Xiao, isn't he the little brother who starred in that movie Super Guardian? They didn't recognize him at first when they looked at the highlights, but only realized that he looked familiar when they looked closely. With such an outstanding appearance, it would be hard for people to overlook him. But isn't he the senior in the finance department? It's amazing. I heard that he doesn't come to school much and must spend most of his time on the set. So a big star is hiding in their school. Why didn't I realize it before? A lot of girls in school swiped this footage and wanted to find Cheng Xiao, but he was often not in school. Today, they happened to bump into him. Cheng Xiao was still messaging with Song Myanian, asking when he was going home. When he heard the sound, he raised his head. I'm Chang Xiao, what's up? Ah, Chang Xiao, can you give me an autograph? At this time, a girl hurriedly took out a pen and paper from her bag. Chang Xiao didn't refuse and signed one by one. After signing, he found an excuse and went back to the classroom with Wang Jing. After those girls got their signatures, they were so excited. They quickly told a lot of people about the news. The highlights had been released on various platforms and had tens of millions of views, so the girls at school had naturally swiped it. Shang Xiao couldn't find anyone even if they wanted to because he often didn't come to school. This was an instant, direct fire. As for why the girls in his class didn't pay attention to this, near graduation, everyone was studying hard and getting their thesis done, how could they have the heart to brush the small video, and even if they did, they wouldn't necessarily be able to brush this. Bro, you're being discussed on the school forum, you're on fire. Wang Jing flipped through the forum posts. There were girls taking sneak peeks of Chang Xiao, one photo, deathless handsome. By the way, this drama of yours has also been greened for more than a month, and the bloopers were sent out before, so how come you're not on fire until now? Speaking of this, Wang Jing was quite puzzled. Chang Xiao wasn't interested in this and didn't say anything. Finished the class quietly, packed up and prepared to go back. Just as he was about to leave, a few girls in the class surrounded him. Chang Xiao, you're also too uninterested, you didn't even tell us about making a movie. Yeah, if it wasn't for the forum breaking out, we wouldn't have known. It feels like you look too much better in real life than in makeup photos. Wang Jing spoke up at this time, look at it, don't think about it, he already has a girlfriend. We know, just take a look, it's not like we're doing anything. One of the girls rolled her eyes and said. Cheng Xiao smiled faintly, sorry, I still have something to do, I'm in a hurry. Going to the theater group? Another girl asked. It was hard to get out of the school, Wang Jing guessed, these girls are so crazy. Let's go to my house first. Cheng Xiao said. You're not waiting for MS. Song? She still has two more classes. Wang Jing nodded and the two of them drove towards Zhang Chang Ming Yuan. Song Mianian finished her day's work and was ready to leave work, and teacher Wang was a bit puzzled as they were still brushing the school for him. The most unwanted thing still happened. The girls at school were like crazy. Girls from other departments have come to the finance department to join in the fun, stuffing love letters in Chang Zhao's desk. To say that before it was okay, now it is completely without restraint. In a short while, the desk was stuffed. After work. Song Myanian went to her home, which suddenly caught fire in the school, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Arrived home. Chang Xiao was coaxing the child on the sofa, Wang Jing was sitting on the side, holding Debeo in his hands. A look as if nothing had happened. As if it didn't feel anything about today's events. Wang Jing knew that it was a two-person world now, and he got up to say goodbye, brothers, mister. Song, I still have things to do, so I'll leave first. When he left, Chang Xiao smiled and looked at Song Mian Yang, what's wrong wife? Don't you know that your matter has spread on the forum? I know, what's wrong? Song Myanian froze, why didn't you react at all? What reaction can there be? If it's rumored, then it's rumored, what's wrong with that? I only have you, my wife, in my heart, and nothing else can affect me. Hate, who said this to you, if this spreads, we will be in more and more trouble, do you know? Song Myanian was thinking about this. Now that all the girls in the school know about Chung Xiao, there must be a lot of eyes staring. I've already publicized that I have a girlfriend, even if they know about our relationship, it's fine, don't worry. Chang Xiao rubbed her head. Ya seeing mom and dad discussing something, sitting on the sofa for treasures looked on with open eyes, babbling. Song Mian Yang wrinkled a small face. For treasures suddenly stretched out his hand at this time. Seeing this meaning, she should want to be hugged. Song Mianian smoothly took her in her arms, this child, came up and buried her head in her chest, rubbing and rubbing. The meaning is self-evident. Song Myanian had no choice but to go to the children's room. Chang Xiao also followed over, carried the babies to the children's bed and put them there, and then opened the school forum with his hand. The top posts were all about him. The first post, today can finally let me shoot, Chang Xiao's senior brother really handsome ah. Below that, there were a few sneak peeks, photos taken, all of which were of the side and the back. Scroll down, a bunch of comments. He's so handsome, I feel like I'm in love again. I didn't think so before. 
but now I really think it's 360 degree handsome. I heard that Mr. Cheng is the best student in the finance department. I really envy the girls in his class, they can be in class with him. I really envy the girls in his class, they can be in class with him. Cheng Xiao was paying attention, and naturally Song Miani and was paying attention as well. Looking at the bottom of a slip of comments or praising their own husbands, the mood cannot be said, a little proud and at the same time a little tasteless. If you're famous, how many people are going to be staring at you every day? If there is a person who likes to stir up trouble, will their relationship be? Thinking about it, she was a bit worried. After breastfeeding, she gave four treasures a burp and continued to read the forum. After a while, she asked, Hubby, after this, when you become famous, and so many pretty girls like you, will your heart be moved? Song Mianyang stared closely at Cheng Xiao, afraid to miss any subtle expression on his face. But to her surprise, Cheng Xiao moved to her side, smiled and touched her head, Wife, you guess. Guess? I'm not going to guess, so you mean you like other girls? Song Mianyan hummed. I knew that men are fickle creatures. How? Cheng Xiao let out a light laugh and held her hand in his palm, You're the only one in my heart, no one can replace you. I don't believe it. Song Mianyan angrily pulled her hand back. Ignoring him. Cheng Xiao faced directly to her closer, staring tightly at her eyes, smiling and asked, Really do not believe? Song Mianian didn't say anything. Instead, she saw Cheng Xiao directly take off the jacket on his body, unbuttoning the shirt inside one by one, and then, seeing this action of his, Song Mianian instantly thought of an indescribable picture and her face instantly turned red. What are you doing? You don't believe me, now prove it to you. Cheng Xiao smiled and continued to undo the buttons. The fine and strong chest was gradually revealed, the skin was very white, without a trace of flab, the figure was so good that it was bursting. Song Mianyan froze as she watched. Seeing that it was all undone, Cheng Xiao bullied his way over, until he stopped a centimeter away from Song Mianyan. There was still one last button left, and Cheng Xiao had already reached out to undo it. Song Mianyan immediately stopped him and whispered, Don't, I believe you okay? Really? Really, I believe you. Afraid that he would make the next move, Song Mianyan surrendered. There was absolutely nothing she could do about him. That's right. Cheng Xiao rebuttoned his buttons and got up to head to the kitchen to make dinner. Seeing him go out, Song Mianian breathed a sigh of relief. Her eyes turned to the children's bed, where Debeo, lying on the side, was grunting and kicking his legs, the diaper underneath him bulging. It had just been changed, and in this short while he had peed so much. You child, just how much did you eat? Song Mianian let out a light laugh. When she changed his legs, they were so thick, one section at a time. Similar to lotus root, it wasn't generally pleasing to look at. Yeah. Debeo loved his mother the most, after changing the diaper, his little hand grabbed Song Mian Mian's sleeve. His small eyes looked straight at her. It wouldn't let go no matter what. Debeo, what's wrong? Song Mianian took his hand down, but she didn't expect this little guy to do it, so she tugged on it tightly. There was no choice but to pick him up, nor did he want to, and kept struggling. It's strange. Once again put him on the bed, just ready to let him lie down, this little guy is struggling and unwilling to lie down, humming. Song Mianian pondered for half a day before she realized what he meant. This is to sit down? As expected, when he was helped to sit upright, he immediately stopped grunting and even revealed a smile. One of the little guy's teeth was completely emerged, tiny, and the second tooth next to it was coming out. I can't help but think back to the time when I was in labor, the nurses were holding the babies out, and they were all so small, red, and skinny. In the blink of an eye, they grew white and chubby, fatter than a normal single-born child. I can only say that Chang Xiao is too good at bringing up children. A few babies with careful, everyday cooking and doing housework with them but also to take care of her, everything is organized. If she was alone, it would be like fighting a war. Such an excellent man, was met by her, only feel that her luck is really good. Soon, dinner was ready and the family sat in the dining room. Song Qin opened her mouth at this time and asked, Xiao Chang Ah, do you still go to school these days? This question was asked suddenly, and Song Mianian felt that there was something in her mom's words. She hurriedly asked, what's wrong? Mom, suddenly asking this. Oh, it's like this, your great aunt asked me to go over and stay for a few days, I thought I'd come and ask you guys for your opinion, and if Chung wants to go to class, I'll refuse them. Song Qin smiled. At the mention of her great uncle, Song Mianian's face became a little subtle, why was mom thinking of going over there again? Sighing, she said, mom, it's not that I'm speaking harshly, they're asking you to go over there to live, who knows what they're resting on. You say this, they are at least your uncle. What kind of heart can they be resting on? What happened in the past is in the past. Song Qin frowned. Whether it's over or not, things have always happened, this can't be changed. They were the ones who said to sever ties in the first place, not us. This topic, Song Mianian did not back down. Song Qin sighed. This daughter of hers has the same temperament as that father of hers, exactly the same. 
particularly stubborn, tenacious, and particularly vindictive, once a beam is formed, it can be remembered for a lifetime. When things you cannot forget it, that will be difficult, they do not lend money as normal, we are not already survived? Song Qin said, she is a good old man, opposite are her brother, how can say cut off really cut off? Mom, I won't stop you if you want to go, after all, that is indeed your own brother. Song Myanian finished this sentence and continued eating. Watching the mother and daughter discussing back and forth, Song Myanian could clearly see some anger. As long as this topic was mentioned, her entire body would be irritated. After thinking about it, Zheng Xiao said, Mom, if you were thinking about your mother's home, you can go and stay for a few days, after all, that's where you grew up, there would definitely be feelings. After an early dinner, Song Myanian put down her chopsticks and packed up to go out to work. Zheng Xiao looked at her like this, it was 80% that she was angry. He ignored her even when he called out to her. Downstairs in the garage. He quickly ran in front of her and blocked her advance. Wife, are you angry? Song Myanian threw her head to the side. No. No, look at you, your head is on fire and you're still not angry. Cheng Xiao was a bit helpless, it was 80% because of what he just said to mom. Wife, you should be clear about mom's character, she values affection very highly, the two uncles are her own brothers after all, with her character it's definitely not possible to just say cut off the relationship, you as a child, you still have to be considerate when necessary. If one strongly refused, or even brought the relationship between mother and daughter to a standstill as a result, it would not be worth the loss. Therefore, it was necessary for him to come out and mediate. I know that the reason you are angry is also because you care about mom. Chang Xia meets her eyes and looks straight at her, full of seriousness. The old man is getting older day by day, it's normal to care about family love, you would just let it go, don't be angry, wait for some days, my husband will take you out to travel for your honeymoon, okay? Chang Xiao took her into his arms. It took a while to coax her. Song Myanian only feel aggrieved, if it is not in the way of mom, she would have flipped with them. Last time, did not directly chuck people have been very face. This will be that aunt and uncle also let the mother to go over to live a few days, who knows what is in the heart. Okay, okay, don't be angry. Chang Xiao was somewhat helpless. After getting into the car, he urged, drive slowly on the road, pay attention to safety, don't be in a hurry. After the people left, Chang Xiao went back to the living room. Mian Mian left? Song Qin asked. Chang Xiao nodded. This child, in his heart, he still can't forget about that previous incident. Song Qin sighed, alas, she has this stubborn temper, just like that father of hers. Mom, you don't have to think about this, I just communicated with her, she doesn't object. Song Myanian belonged to the kind of person who had a nice mouth and a tofu heart, and in the end, she would still have a soft heart. It was estimated that she herself didn't want the mother and daughter to make a gap. It's fine, forget it, I won't go this time. Song Qin smiled faintly, I'll call them back later and say I'll bring my grandchildren. Since her daughter doesn't like it, forget it, of course she's towards her own daughter. Chang Xiao? Then what he just said, wasn't it all for nothing? Alright, you still have classes at school, right? Go now. Okay. Driving to the school, in order not to be recognized, he even put on a mask. Just as he sat down on the seat, a few female classmates came over as if they were waiting for him here. Chang Xiao, why are you free to come over today? I thought you weren't coming. For Chang Xiao not coming over to class often, they had all become accustomed to it. Chang Xiao didn't say anything. Aya, don't be so high and mighty, at least you're in the same class. A female student said. Now the female students in the class are all surrounding Chang Xiao, making those male students feel very unhappy in their hearts. What's so great about it? Is it necessary to surround like this? Thinking that most of the girls in the whole school were like this, they were even more upset. It's not just a good looking skin, I really can't figure out what's so attractive about it. So that my girlfriend is now brushing the forum all the time, I really can't understand, not just an actor in a movie, pretending to be so high and mighty for whom? Now that she's on fire, she's hardened. A few boys secretly discussed. They were soon heard by the girls on the side. Look at how sour you all are, why don't you talk about other people's grades? Even if they don't come to class, they still beat you in the exams. That's right, no matter what aspect, it's better than you guys. Thinking about how to talk about others behind their backs is better than improving yourself. Those few male students who were talking about it were made speechless by the girls. One by one, they shut up. At this moment, Wang Jing walked into the classroom and was startled to see the scene in front of him. Only to see that a bunch of girls were surrounding Chang Zhao's desk. He hurriedly squeezed over and pulled the girl sitting next to Cheng Xiao away and sat on it himself. Wang Jing, what are you doing? The girl was full of anger. Not doing anything, I'm sitting next to my brother, what's wrong? I sat here first. I'm sorry, your seat is there, I moved my seat here before, so I'm sitting in my own seat, what's wrong with that? Wan Jing had a pissed off expression. You, you remember that? The girl gritted her teeth. Cheng Xiao was a bit speechless at the side, he finally knew why this guy was single. 
It turned out that everyone was single for a reason. Wang Jing shrugged his shoulders and didn't want to give up his seat. At this time, the class bell rang. Song Mianian walked in from outside with her lesson plan, glanced at the classroom, and froze for a moment when she saw Cheng Xiao sitting in his seat with a smile. Why was he here? Mom went to uncle's place, who brought the babies? The two looked at each other, and Shang Xiao even winked at her. Song Mianyang turned her head awkwardly, coughed, and shouted, Class! During this class, Cheng Zhao's eyes never left Song Mianyang. When class ended, she didn't stay long, took her textbook and hurriedly slipped away. At this time, I don't know which student suddenly spoke up. Did you guys notice that just now, Cheng Xiao has been looking at Teacher Song? Teacher Song is such a beautiful goddess, who wouldn't want to look at her more, as long as a man likes it, it's just a pity that she's married, AI. You guys don't say, I think a miss. Song and Shang Xiao are quite compatible, both have high face value. A girl held her face. What are you babbling about? It'll be bad if you talk nonsense and someone hears you and tells the teacher. The person next to her hurriedly covered her mouth and said, the other teacher, Mr. Song, already has a family, isn't saying this sincerely breaking up the couple? Wang Jingta wanted to go up and defend himself. The two of them are husband and wife, but this relationship can't be publicized at all. It's a rush to death. Chang Xiao did not listen to what was going on outside the window and kept reading and taking notes. The table was stuffed full of love letters, and Wang Jing was so envious. Brother, you haven't dealt with these yet? Why don't you help me deal with it? Chang Xiao looked at him. The whole table was full of them. Some of them had been taken apart, and it was estimated that the girls in the class had even peeked at them. All right help you deal with it later. Wang Xiao nodded. After lunch, Chang Xiao went to the dormitory and put the textbooks back. There are no classes in the afternoon, so he is ready to go home. Wang Jing packs up and is also ready to go to the store to help. The two just walked out and met the two roommates from the dormitory head-on. I thought it would be another inquiry, but I didn't expect their tone to soften. Chang Xiao, Wang Jing, I'm really sorry about last time, we apologize to you. We've lived in the same dormitory for a few years at least, we're all good brothers, so don't sweat it. Since yesterday, the hottest thing on the school forum was Chung Xiao. It turned out that he had been secretly making a movie, not running away after committing a crime as rumored by the school. If you're making a movie, you're getting paid a lot of money, and Wang Jing must have gotten a lot of money to buy a car. Now, they are regretting their intestines are green. They should have known that they shouldn't have questioned them that day. If they had a good relationship with Chang Xiao, they might have a car in their dormitory now. Wang Jing opened his mouth and said, let's forget about what happened last time. As long as you guys don't get angry. Alright, we still have things to do, so we'll leave first. After saying that, Chang Xiao and Wang Jing left and headed for the school entrance. Chang Xiao, wait a moment. However, he didn't expect that just as he walked to the school entrance, he heard a familiar voice. Seeing that person, Chang Xiao was not feeling anything, but it was Wang Jing, whose eyes were dropping in shock. Lin Fei Fei. It was actually her. How did she still have the face to face Chang Xiao? What are you looking for my brother for? Before Chang Xiao could speak, Wang Jing asked first. He was most disgusted by women like Lin Fei Fei. He felt that this woman was not a good thing before, and after that incident last year, he was even more sure. Cheating. Being adopted by a rich second generation. What tricks have been played by her? That will often persuade Cheng Xiao, but this brother is very stubborn, still insist on being with her, preferring to choose to turn a blind eye, but also to protect their own love. But this woman? This will have the face to find the door. I guess it is to see Cheng Xiao fire. People have money, and shamefully come over to find. This is between me and Xiao. what does it have to do with you, get lost. Lin Fei Fei was very rude to Wang Jing. Calling Xiao with every mouthful was quite intimate. Wang Jing was about to dislike him. Chang Xiao gave him a wink, signaling him to keep quiet. The latter had no choice but to shut up. This student, who are you? Chang Xiao smiled slightly. Lin Fei Fei looked incredulous, Ah Xiao, you don't remember me? I'm Lin Fei Fei Ah, your Fei Fei. In the past you liked to bring me breakfast the most, I still remember it. Chang Xiao naturally remembers, in the past he was like a licking dog, insisting on bringing her breakfast every day. What did he get in return in the end? Ruthless betrayal. Isn't it very dog-blooded? Oh, come to think of it, what's the matter? I know I did wrong in the past, I've drawn a line with those people now. Can you forgive me once more? Lin Fei Fei went forward and wanted to pull his hand. Chang Xiao avoided it without a trace, men and women are not related, it's better for Lin to pay attention to the boundaries, lest you get misunderstood by your boyfriend. I, I really know it's wrong. Lin Fei Fei instantly burst into tears. She didn't expect Chang Xiao to go make a movie, and when she saw that he was on fire in the school forum, she regretted it and came to him to try and redeem herself. Thinking that Chang Xiao would definitely come around because no matter what he did in the past, Chang Xiao would forgive himself. Wang Jing rolled his eyes on the side, too good at acting. How can there be a brazen and shameless woman? Truly unable to bear it anymore, he disdainfully said, 
What's the use of knowing it's wrong now? He's already the man you'll never get. Lin Fei Fei didn't understand what it meant for a moment. He already has a girlfriend and is about to get married, you don't have a chance. Wang Jing smiled sarcastically, if it wasn't bad for Mr. Song sighed, he really wanted to painfully tell the truth and piss her off. What? You're getting married soon? Lin Fei Fei's face was full of disbelief, it's only been a year since they broke up and he's getting married? Is what he said true? Eyes looked towards Chang Xiao. Chang Xiao shrugged, he's right, I'm getting married soon, is there a problem? No, it won't, how can it be? Why didn't you wait for me? Lin Fei Fei still couldn't believe it. The two of them didn't bother to talk to her anymore and turned to go. After leaving the school gate, Wang Jing asked, what's the mood? Chang Xiao used to like Lin Fei Fei to the point of obsession, now. What mood can there be, I just want to hurry home and take care of the baby. I haven't seen it for a day, and I can't stop thinking about it. Okay. Chang Xiao went home, Wang Jing went to the store. In the living room, mother-in-law was playing with the babies on the carpet, and now one by one, they were sitting up, holding toys in their hands and putting them in their mouths to barf. These toys were made of safe materials, plus he had deliberately sterilized them, just to prevent the babies from putting them in their mouths. When they saw that their father was back, they were all very happy. Especially four treasures, her body moved. She was already unsteady in her seat, and when she moved, she fell directly onto the carpet. There was a bang sound. Chang Zhao's face changed and he immediately took off his shoes and ran over. Song Qin was also frightened. A heartbreaking cry came, Chang Xiao heart tightened, and hurriedly held the four treasures in his arms. Fortunately, it is on the carpet, the hair is quite thick, if the tile floor, this will be the back of the head is estimated to get a big bag. However, such a fall is also very painful. Chang Xiao was heartbroken, gently rubbing, for treasures, does it hurt? Daddy will rub it for you, don't cry anymore. For treasures cried with a twitch, tears kept flowing, little mouth aggrievedly skimming. It's all daddy's fault, I, for treasures, won't cry anymore, won't cry anymore. Chang Xiao blamed himself to death. If he didn't suddenly come and this wouldn't have happened. Seeing four treasures crying so sadly made his heart even harder. After coaxing for a while, the crying stopped, but it was still humming. Chang Xiao deliberately checked, except for some redness, there is no big problem. For treasures will still not be able to sit still, because of the physical reasons from childhood, from rolling over to sitting up, are slower than older siblings. Carry the babies to the stroller and lie down, Chang Xiao rushed to make milk powder. Song Qin came over to coax four treasures, pinched her little face, heartbroken, for treasures, does it still hurt? Yeah. This little one seemed to have forgotten what had just happened, and smiled at her grandmother. Song Qin's heart melted as she watched. This child. After feeding the formula, the baby started yawning and taking a nap. After the children fell asleep, he hurriedly went to cook, ate, and carried the children one by one to the children's room. He was also going to take a short lunch break. 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Song Mayanian came back from work and the living room was quiet. Opening the door to the children's room, the corner of her mouth couldn't help but raise when she saw the harmonious scene in front of her. Gently closing the door, she was about to go and pour a glass of water to drink, when she turned around and was startled to see her mom standing right behind her. Mom, didn't you go over there? Song Qin shook her head and smiled, mom knows that you've always had a problem with your uncle and the others, this time, mom isn't going, she's at home with Debeo and the others. No matter what, she was still on her daughter's side. Mom, I'm sorry, I. Song Myanian lowered her head with some self-reproach, I shouldn't have spoken so harshly in the morning. Mom knows your temper, it's fine, mothers and daughters don't have overnight grudges. Song Qin patted her shoulder. Thank you, mom. Song Mianyan's eyes were a little red, a thousand words that eventually turned into these few words. You silly child, I'm your mom, what thank you or not thank you, don't say this again in the future. Song Mianyang let out a soft sob and nodded, good. Song Qin also couldn't help but redden her eyes. After a while, the two of them were able to ease their emotions and stop talking about this topic. At this time, the baby's voices came from the children's room, it was time to wake up. Song Mianyan hurriedly opened the door and went in. Chang Xiao had already woken up and was changing the children's diapers, when he saw her walk in, he smiled, wife, go find clothes for four treasures, her back here is a bit wet. Oh, good. The baby's clothes all have separate organizers, one for each person, combined together, so it's better to look for them. On this point, Chang Xiao had to admire the humanization of the system. It's all based on human needs. Soon, found four treasures clothes and started to change. After taking off the small clothes on her, and all of a sudden coming into contact with the slightly cool air, the smile that was originally hanging on four treasures face instantly froze. This child was more afraid of the cold than the other three, and couldn't stand the slightest bit of cold. Chang Xiao brought over the clean clothes, and before he even started to change them, this little guy's mouth started to skim. Aggrieved. Turning his eyes to see his mom, I don't know if he thought of what happened before when he fell on the carpet, but he was even more aggrieved. 
he cried out with a wow sound, tears like broken beads in general. The couple's hearts ached as they watched. Chang Xiao said a little before he went home, this child must have remembered to see his mother aggrieved. When Song Mianian heard this, she was even more distressed. After changing the clothes for four treasures, he held her in his arms and gently walked around, rubbing her little head, our four treasures don't cry. Cheng Xiao smiled helplessly, this child, in the future, the absolute little tattletale essence, look at that aggrieved. When coaxed almost, Song Mianian from the side of the toy cabinet to bring a doll, handed to the four treasures. Which thought, this little guy had turned, do not. She does not like dolls. Song Mianian laughed softly, just remembered, for treasure does not like this, two treasure only like. As expected, the doll out, the second baby over there looked straight, but also stretched out his hand. Chang Xiao took the doll over and handed it to Erbao. The little guy grabbed it and revealed a smile, but happy. Yi. Chang Xiao simply helped her to sit on the bed and play slowly. Without realizing it, it was dark. He rushed to the kitchen to cook. Song Nian Nian followed and walked in, rubbing her stomach, hubby, what are we going to eat tonight? Too hungry after a busy day. Chang Xiao opened the refrigerator and took out fresh vegetables and also meat. How about braised meat? That one is too greasy. It's okay to eat it occasionally. It's easy to get fat if you eat it often. Song Mianian was a bit disgusted. Chang Xiao lightly laughed, eat a lot. Now you're starting to dislike it, huh? Which has ah, just a kind of dish eat more and then delicious will also be tired, okay? You're really tired of it? Then let mom do it, okay? Chang Xiao put down the dish in his hand and smiled. Song Mianian thought that he really didn't cook anymore, and hurriedly stopped, that won't work, my mom's cooking isn't as good as yours, and I didn't say that I'm tired of it all, just the braised pork is a bit. Okay, don't do braised pork, how about steamed pork? Song Mianian had never heard that meat can be steamed, thinking, new flavor, it should be very tasty, right? Nodded, okay then. Are you hungry? Chang Xiao asked while handling the dishes in his hands. A little. Wait for me for a while. Knowing that her favorite food is stewed eggs, he pounded on the stovetop for a while. Not long after, a bowl of fragrant stewed eggs came out of the oven. The aroma immediately stimulated Song Mianyang's taste buds. She was too hungry and hadn't eaten enough at noon. In the past, she was able to eat some of the cafeteria's food without feeling anything, but since she ate Chang Zhao's cooking, the cafeteria auntie's cooking became tasteless. Bringing the stewed eggs to a small table on the side, you eat some first. As soon as the words fell, Song Mianyang's person had already sat down at the table and started eating. Hiss. In her haste, just as she entered the mouth, a hot sensation hit her. She hissed when it was hot, and her small face wrinkled into a ball. Eat slowly, it's not like anyone is grabbing it from you. Chang Xiao saw this and hurriedly handed her a cup of warm water. Song Mianian shook her head, it's fine. Look at how hungry you are, next time early in the morning I'll prepare school lunch for you, so you don't have to eat in the cafeteria in the future. Chang Xiao rubbed her head with some heartache. After dinner, Song Mianian went to take a shower as usual, and only halfway through the shower did she realize that she didn't take her pajamas. She grinned, she frowned and wanted to call out to Chung Xiao to help her get it, but felt embarrassed. This guy would definitely laugh at her. However, the large bath towel was still drying on the balcony, and there was only a small towel on the shelf. Mom had already fallen asleep. It's impossible to just go out, right? There was no way out but to call Chung Xiao over. Taking a few deep breaths, she pulled the bathroom door open a crack and called out, Hubby, help me get my pajamas, I forgot to take them. Chang Xiao was teasing the baby in the room, vaguely heard Song Mianian's voice, his face tightened, thought something had happened, hurriedly put down the debeo in his hands and headed to the bathroom. Through the glass door, wife, what's wrong? Hubby, go get me a set of pajamas, I, I forgot. Song Mianyang was embarrassed. Okay, I'll go get it for you. Chang Xiao was a bit teary-eyed, this little woman, this can also be forgotten. He hurriedly went to the closet side to look for it, rummaging around, the lace-trimmed pajamas from before suddenly fell out. Chang Xiao was puzzled. Chang Xiao was puzzled, this thing wife did not say already said thrown away? This is still the same. Thinking of Song Mianian's sexy appearance in this nightgown, Chang Xiao was a bit pressed to see her in it again. The corners of his mouth rose slightly. Through the glass door, Song Mianian stretched out her hand to get the pajamas, and when she saw the lace-trimmed pajamas she brought over, her face instantly burst into red. This, this. It was actually turned out by him? She clearly hid it. What's wrong wife? Cheng Xiao saw that there was no movement inside and asked in mock confusion. Song Mianyang was about to die of embarrassment, this guy was too annoying, humph, it must be on purpose. Yet she had to put it on, it was impossible to go out directly, right? Thinking that Cheng Xiao was waiting at the door, it was even more awkward. What should I do? Wear a hard hat out. Dawdling dry the water on the body, put on this lace edge halter nightgown that she is extremely reluctant to wear. The face burst red. Opening the glass door, when she sees Chang Xiao standing right in the doorway, 
staring straight at herself, she beeps in a small voice, who let you take this nightgown? It fell out by itself. Wife, didn't you say that this has been thrown away? Cheng Xiao smiled and said. Speaking of this, Song Myanian was embarrassed, she did say she threw it away, and said with a red face, I, I didn't forget about it, and you still turned it out. It's okay, it's not quite good looking, it's a pity to throw it away. Don't be so shy, anyway, it's for me alone, there are no outsiders at home. The corner of Chang Zhao's mouth raised. Song Myanian blankly glanced at him, blocked her face with a towel, and quickly walked towards her room, I'm not shy. In her heart, she meditated that she must remember to take her pajamas next time. Ever since she gave birth to the baby, this memory of hers was not as good as it used to be. Some small things could be forgotten, resulting in this big embarrassment today. Embarrassed to death. In the room, the children were playing with toys on the bed, babbling. Cheng Xiao followed behind her and walked in, closing the door smoothly. Song Myanian was still rubbing her hair with a towel, and after wearing this nightgown, her figure was simply amazing. Especially the two legs, slim and white, of course, it would be better if they were fatter. It was still too thin. Cheng Xiao thought, the daily meals are not bad ah, meat and vegetables, are all very high nutritional value, how come I didn't see any meat growth? Meat are long face. Could it be that this little woman behind the scenes to lose weight? Or is it eat not fat physique? Hair wipe almost, Song Myanian in the closet to find another set of pajamas out, ready to change back. Wife, you've worn it, you're still changing it, isn't this one quite good? Now that it's on, how could Cheng Xiao let her change back? No way. It's not easy to have this opportunity. Have to grasp it well. The weather is cool, wearing this is cold. Song Myanian made an excuse. Cheng Xiao smiled, the heating is on in the house, if you really feel cold we'll go to sleep now, it's not cold under the blanket. The two of them lay under the covers, Song Myanian's back was to Cheng Xiao, curled up, completely afraid to look back at him. I'm going to sleep first, I have to work tomorrow. She said. Don't rush to sleep first, wife, there's something I don't know if I want to tell you, I feel like you must want to know. Cheng Xiao glanced at her, deliberately wetting her appetite. What is it? Song Mianyang smothered her head and casually asked. If you turn around, I'll tell you oh. Forget it if you don't tell me. Cheng Xiao directly released a heavy bomb, about my ex-girlfriend. Before he could continue, Song Mianyang jerked her head back, her voice a few points higher. What did you say? Your ex-girlfriend? Did she say something to you? Or did you change your mind about her back? Cheng Xiao. This reaction, isn't it a bit too fast? A delivery question ah, goddamn change of heart. Looking at Song Myanian with that look in her eyes, he hurriedly shook his head, it was she who took the initiative to talk to me. What did she say? Calm down, don't be so excited. Chang Xiao calmed her down. What exactly did she say to you? As soon as this issue came up, Song Mianyang did not come with reason and was sensitive to the three words ex-girlfriend, begging to get back together. Chang Xiao begged for life, his wife was serious and a bit scary. She actually has the face to find you begging to get back together? In the beginning it was her own suspicion that you were poor and betrayed you, and now she still has the nerve to come over to you? Song Myanian was angry, especially angry. Wife, calm down, it's not worth it to get angry for this kind of person, what if you get angry? Cheng Xiao said helplessly. I should have known not to talk to her about this. What's wrong? You've turned back to her? Song Mianyang narrowed her eyes. Cheng Xiao immediately shook his head, no no, how could that be? I only have you and the child in my heart right now, everyone else rolls to the side. Are you still thinking about her in your heart? Song Myanian said in a cold voice. Injustice ah, really no. Cheng Xiao egged, if you don't believe me, ask Wang Jing, I've already rejected her. If you don't reject it do you still want to agree? I didn't. Cheng Xiao was overwhelmed by all these questions. His brain hurt. If I had known, I wouldn't have brought this up, how nice to let it go, it's not important anyway. What's her name? I should have an impression if it's a student from our school. Song Mianyang said, I'd like to see how good looking she is. Where's the good looks, not a tenth as good as you wife? Completely one heaven and one earth, not comparable at all. To put it in layman's terms, Lin Fei Fei was like that kind of mediocre powder, while Song Myanian was the goddess who didn't eat earthly fire. Humph. Song Myanian turned her head away, snorted coldly, and stopped ignoring Cheng Xiao. Sleep. Wife, are you angry? Seeing that she didn't speak anymore, Cheng Xiao asked tentatively. There was no reply. Wife, shouted a second time. No reply. This is really angry. Wife, don't be angry, I swear, this life heart only you alone. Still no response, Cheng Xiao looked over, good guy, thus sleep. This, second sleep ah. Alas, forget it, get up tomorrow and coax. Put a few little ones to sleep one by one, Cheng Xiao also hurried to sleep. The next day. As usual, I got up to make breakfast, just finished, was about to go to call Song Myanian, she had already gotten up, in the wash. When she saw him, she didn't say anything. 
should still be angry about yesterday. Song Qin saw this and was a bit puzzled. What's going on here? Cheng Xiao smiled. Nothing. She was pissed off last night and is still angry with me. Couples have a little conflict. Normal. Song Qin helpless smile. Are married. This child's temper is still unchanged. It's fine. Just coax it. At the dinner table, Song Myanian just ate her own, swiping her cell phone, and didn't speak. Cheng Xiao looked over and she was brushing the school form. After finishing eating, she got up. I'm leaving first. Wait, lunch hasn't been taken yet. Cheng Xiao hurried to the kitchen to get lunch. When he came off Song Myanian had already gone out. You go quickly, just in time to send the lunch over. Song Qin couldn't help but laugh. Arrived at the school. Straight away, she took her lunchbox and went to Song Myanian's office. The latter was preparing materials for class, when she heard a knock on the door, she subconsciously turned her head and froze when she saw Cheng Xiao appearing at the door with a lunchbox. The few teachers in the office also froze. Cheng Xiao, did you come for something? Teacher Wang was the first to ask. I came to deliver something. Cheng Xiao calmly walked to Song Nian Nian's desk, Teacher Song, this is what Wang Jing asked me to deliver, saying that you were in too much of a hurry to go out and forgot to take it. At the last hot pot restaurant, several teachers knew that Wang Jing was on good terms with Teacher Song's husband. Seeing this, didn't think much of it. It only felt that her husband was really so sweet. He even made a special effort to have his good friend send the meal to the school, how nice. Song Nian Nian froze and took it, saying, thank you. You're welcome, then teacher I'll leave first. After Chang Xiao left, she stared blankly at the lunchbox in her hand. Teacher Wang came over, her eyes were starry, teacher Song, your husband is too thoughtful, he even purposely asked his friend to send it over to you, envy. Envy from a single dog. Teacher Meng Yan also said. Song Mian Yan only felt a complex mood, and after a while, the corners of her mouth lifted slightly, putting the lunchbox into the table. However, oomph, don't think she can forgive him just because of this. Cheng Xiao sat in the classroom, brushing the forum, just opened, saw the top of the posts, the corner of the mouth twitching. Yesterday, I met my ex-girlfriend by chance. Open the post, there are photos on it. This group of people is not a little too gossip. It seems that there is a need to publicize the news of his marriage. I don't want my wife to be unhappy when she sees these posts. Wang Jing sat over at this time and was also looking at the school forum. Brother, this group of people are simply like paparazzi, the speed of spreading is also too fast. You spoke with Lin Fei Fei yesterday, and in the twinkling of an eye, it was spread on the forum. They're insisting that you're getting back together with your ex-girlfriend, mister. Song will definitely not be happy when he sees this. How about this? Why don't you just make your relationship with teacher Song public? Lest this bunch of people chew on you day in and day out. Chang Xiao turned off his cell phone and fell into deep thought. Why would he not want to? He had to consider his wife's feelings. Let's endure for another month. At this time, a few female classmates walked in from outside, saw Chang Xiao, like yesterday, hurriedly came over. They opened their mouths and asked questions. Chang Xiao, I heard that you got back together with your ex-girlfriend Lin Fei Fei? Wang Jing didn't have the good sense to say from the side, who did you guys listen to? Everyone on the forum is saying it. Moreover, someone else asked Lin Fei Fei, she didn't say anything, so she must have acquiesced. Didn't you say you have a girlfriend? The still can't forget your old love. Chang Xiao was too lazy to care about them and looked at the book by himself. Wang Jing was responding for him. Who the hell is spreading rumors? I'll beat him to death, get back together, my ass, he and his girlfriend are in a good relationship, you guys come out to stir up what? Just Lin Fei Fei, is he worthy of my brother? The girls were about to say something. The bell suddenly rang. They could only return to their seats unwillingly. Song Myanian walked in with a lesson plan, her face full of indifference, this time because of her anger, her aura around her was even colder. He glanced at Chang Xiao and immediately withdrew his gaze. On the surface, she was calm, but in fact, her heart was already a bit tense, especially when facing Chang Zhao's burning eyes. Try not to look his way, and call the roll as usual. One class was quite depressing, and when class ended, a few students gathered together. What's wrong with MS? Song today? Why do I feel like she's not in the right mood? Did she have a fight with her husband? I think it's possible. What's wrong with her husband? If my partner was this good looking, let alone making him angry, I would definitely treat him as an ancestor. A male student said. At this time, female classmate A said disdainfully, Come on. You won't be able to find such a good looking wife. You need to have Cheng Zhao's looks. Noon. Song Mianyang sits at her desk, opens her lunchbox and prepares to start eating. Her cell phone rings at this time. It's a message from Chang Xiao. Wife, have you eaten yet? She turned off her phone and didn't reply. You're still mad at me, huh? Don't be angry, okay? Chang Xiao was helpless, so he had to use the killer tactic. Wife, if you don't reply me back, I can go directly to the office to find you, huh? Sure enough, this sentence worked. Song Myanian quickly replied, What's the matter? Aren't you looking for your ex-girlfriend? Go find it. 
When did I say I was going to look for her? They all said you promised to get back together with her. Cheng Xiao really wanted to pull out that credulous guy and beat him up. Who said I'm going to get back together with her? Honey, I swear that you're the only one in my heart, if I lie, let me be bitten to death by a snake. Son Myanian read this message from him while eating and couldn't help the corners of her mouth from rising. It was no longer returned. Chang Xia finished eating and returned to the classroom, still thinking about how to make his wife happy. Bro, did MS Song get angry when she saw those posts? Wang Jing remembered that face of teacher Song during class. Chang Xia nodded. After the day's lesson, at night time. Wife, you haven't paid attention to me for a day. Chang Xiao looked at Song Myanian who was teasing the child by the children's bed, helpless. If you're really upset, then I'll make our relationship public now, okay? Still not speaking. There's no way out, soft doesn't work, only. Song Myanian was playing with Sibao, still holding the little car in her hand. But she didn't expect that Cheng Xiao came over, hugged her, and in the process bullied her up and pressed her onto the carpet. The air stood still. After reacting, Song Myanian's face was red through and through, and she asked without any good humor, What are you doing? It's all like this. What do you think? Cheng Xiao met her eyes, the two of them only a centimeter away. Are you sure you want to continue to be angry with me? I'm not. Song Myanian's voice was small, like a kitten purring. Then why are you ignoring me? Still because of what happened last night? Song Myanian didn't say anything. Last night and the things on the forum are all nonsense from those people. Don't pay any attention to them. I've explained everything here. If you're mad at me again, it's... Chang Xiao looked at her white collarbone. The meaning was self-evident. You let go first. Don't let go. Chang Xiao looked at her. What if you let go and you continue to be angry with me? Can't I not be angry anymore? Song Myanian said sullenly, then next time that woman talks to you, you're not allowed to ignore her. Sure enough, it was still because of this. Looking at this jealous little look of hers, Chang Xiao smiled helplessly. Okay, ignore, listen to my wife, next time I see her I'll pretend I didn't see her either. Song Myanian hummed, then you let go of me first. After letting go, seeing her red wrist, Chang Xiao's heart ached, chagrined that he had just hit too hard. Song Myanian went to lie down in the quilt, burying her head, obviously shy. Cheng Xiao was about to enter the quilt to enhance the relationship with his wife, when a voice came from four treasures sitting on the bed. Yeah. Making his head spin, these few little light bulbs. No way, still have to serve several little ancestors. It was hard to put them to sleep, and then went to see, good guy, his wife is also asleep. I can't bear to disturb, so I have to follow the sleep. For several days in a row, Cheng Xiao and the so-called ex-girlfriend incident is still fermenting saying that Lin Feifei responded and did get back together. While saying that they are back together, they say that they have a girlfriend. It is quite a big mess. Wang Jing once suspected that it was Lin Feifei who pushed behind the scenes and intentionally did this. In the teacher's office, the female teachers were also a bit gossipy. It's true that people are red and there's a lot of right and wrong. Two factions have formed on this forum. One side says that Cheng Xiao has a girlfriend, and the other side says that he got back together with his ex-girlfriend. Mr. Wang was even more gossipy than a few other teachers. It was a great pleasure to watch. Not only did she love reading celebrity gossip, she also loved student gossip. Teacher Li was dying of speechlessness. Song Mianyang held back from looking at the forum and just focused on her own business. Anyway, she chose to believe Chang Xiao and didn't want anything else. Teacher Wang came over and asked, Teacher Song, what do you think about this matter? Song Mianyang didn't expect Teacher Wang to come over and ask her froze for a moment and replied, the students own affairs, as long as they don't violate the law, we can't control it. I told you, you're too nosy. Teacher Li looked at Teacher Wang and couldn't help but say, so which faction do you guys think is telling the truth? One side says that Cheng Xiao has a girlfriend and it's impossible to get back together, while the other side says that he's already gotten back together with his ex-girlfriend. Teacher Meng Yan held her chin and said, I think, it should be impossible to get back together, what's the point of getting back together when you've broken up? Have you seen which couple who got back together don't spend every day together? That's true. Mr. Wang nodded his head. Teacher Lee didn't have the good sense to say, okay, okay, what's the point of gossiping so much? It's all about the students. Teacher Wang looked at Song Myanian, Teacher Song, what do you think? Song Myanian didn't want to hear this, she had already tried very hard to suppress herself from thinking about this, but Miss Wang just came over to ask, smiling as if it was none of her business, I think Miss. Meng Yan has a point, didn't Mr. Cheng Xiao say that he has a girlfriend? Then it's impossible to get back together with some ex-girlfriend. This issue was discussed for half an hour. The office was a hoot. Not only were the people in the school gossiping, but even the teachers were gossiping. Cheng Xiao was completely indifferent to this matter and was busy with his studies. With less than a month to go before graduation, there are a lot of things to be busy with. In the cafeteria, 
Chang Xiao and Wang Jing are sitting in their seats eating their meals when a person suddenly sits over across the table. Looking up, Lin Fei Fei. Wang Jing frowns, why is this woman still pestering? Chang Xiao, are you angry because of the post on the forum? That really wasn't my doing, it's all those people who are spreading rumors. Lin Fei Fei explained. Wang Jing sneered, who is it if not you? People are getting married with their dates, getting back together with you? Do you think it's possible? The brother's reputation was going to be messed up, and now there were actually people saying that he had his foot in two boats. It's really hard to lead this session of gods, too capable of creating rumors. After dinner, Chang Xiao headed to the classroom, Lin Fei Fei was like air, directly ignored. At night, in the living room, Song Mian Yang sat on the sofa playing with her cell phone and swiping through the forum. Now seeing those posts had basically become numb, subconsciously skimming directly and looking at something else. Tomorrow was the weekend, and Mr. Wang and the others had an appointment to come over. When Chang Xiao brought her a glass of milk over, she opened her mouth and said, Hubby, tomorrow Mr. Wang and the others are coming over, you. Come on, I don't have a problem with it. Wife, you make the call. Now that graduation is approaching, Song Mianian is still quite nervous. When the time comes at the graduation party, their relationship will definitely be publicized. If MS. Wang and the girls knew that Chung Xiao used to rely on makeup to hide his face from the world, would they be angry at their deception? Alas. Seemingly seeing her anxiety, Chung Xiao soothed, it's okay, the big deal is to tell the truth. Song Mianian was still a little worried. Before, she only thought that it would be good to hide it, and she didn't even think about how to come back. It's a pain in the brain. As they were discussing, mother-in-law came out of the room, her legs limping, seeing this, Song Mianian hurriedly got up and came over to support her. Mom, what's wrong with you? Nothing, just the old cold leg is offending, an old problem. Song Qin waved her hand. I'll go get you some medicine. No, just bear with it and it will pass, medicine doesn't help. Song Qin sighed. There was no cure for the old problems that had fallen in the past. Chang Xiao got up and came over, taking his mother-in-law's pulse. After releasing his hand, he frowned. Mom's physical condition is really not very good, there are quite a lot of dark illnesses, all of which have followed her for many years. However, it wasn't impossible to recuperate. Before, she was too busy and didn't pay attention to some of the people around her. It was not too late to temper now. How is it? Song Mian Yang asked. Cheng Xiao smiled, it's fine, I can cure this one at its root. Root cure? The mother and daughter seemed to have heard a fantasy. This kind of old disease was almost deeply rooted, suppressing it was fine, curing it, how could it be possible? Wife, while the pharmacy is still open, let's go buy some medicine and come back. Cheng Xiao smiled and said. Song Mian Yang froze for a moment and nodded, good. The two of them went out and headed for the drugstore. On the way. Hubby, can this really be cured? She was still a bit in disbelief. Chang Xiao, yes, this is simple. Song Mianian thought of her cousin's disease, the hospital couldn't cure it, and sent it back to wait for death, after Chang Xiao's hand, a few times of acupuncture, it's almost good, this can be cured, and mom's this should not be a problem. To the drugstore. Named a few herbs and packaged away. Bought a clay pot for boiling medicine by the way. Just rely on medicine? Song Mian Yang asked. Cheng Xiao smiled mysteriously, you'll know later. After returning home, Cheng Xiao first went to the kitchen to boil the medicine and then took out the needle bag. Song Qin's pain was mainly in the joints, and with acupuncture combined with Chinese medicine, the effect could be seen in a few days. After removing the needles, the medicine was almost ready. Song Qin only felt that her knees were hot, not as painful as before, and it did relieve some of the pain. It was rather magical. Mom, how do you feel? Song Mian asked. Song Qin said, it doesn't seem to hurt very much anymore. That's good. Song Mianian heard her say this, and already had 100% trust in Chang Xiao. To say that there was still a bit of doubt before, today it was completely verified on mom. When I get up tomorrow, it should be better, it's not a big problem. Mother-in-law this is not very serious when she says it's serious, a few times of acupuncture and it's cured. As we were talking, the babbling of several babies came from the children's room. The little grandparents woke up. I'll go take a look first, hubby, you go make milk powder. Song Mianian said, heading to the children's room. Opening the door and seeing the scene in front of her, the corner of her mouth twitched. Only to see, for treasures didn't know how to roll, actually lying horizontally on his sister's body, the two children were like a cross. Grunting and slobbering all the way down, the sheets were wet, and their little faces were suffocating red. She shook her head helplessly, this child. Hurrying to pick up the little one. For treasures, do you know how much you weigh? Look at the pressure for sister. With a circle of fat on his body, the little fatty one. Cheng Xiao didn't choose to make milk powder for a few little ones, but instead made supplemental food. Milk powder is now not enough to meet the daily demand for food, not hunger. All five or six months, food must be nutritionally balanced, you have to add supplemental food. 
You have to eat even if you don't eat. I've done it before, but my baby didn't really want to accept it and wouldn't eat it, so I couldn't get used to it. It's been a month and it's still not working. There's a lot left over every time. He's not very good at making complimentary foods, so he's been learning about it in the last few days. Because babies are also concerned about taste, and will definitely not eat if it is not delicious. Seeing that bowl of complimentary food, Song Mian Mian's head became a bit big, this one they don't seem to be too willing to eat, hubby, why don't we wait until the kids are a bit older? It's been done quite a few times, and the kids are hardwired not to eat it. It's really too much of a waste. After thinking about it, it's better to wait until the kids are older, it should be more acceptable. No, it's time to eat it this month, other children start adding it at 4 months so that they can keep up with the nutrition, Debeo, and the others are almost 6 months old, they can't be left to their own devices. Chang Xiao had a serious face. You can't be spoiled in this kind of thing. For the sake of the children's development, they have to eat even if they don't. Song Mianian thought about it and secretly chided herself for not being thoughtful enough. Chang Xiao knows a lot more than she does as a mom, so it's a shame to say that. Carry the children to the sofa and put them there, feeding them one by one. Still not quite willing to eat. Debeo, hurry up and open your mouth and eat, or I won't give you any more grandma. Chang Xiao is relatively more serious about Debeo, after all, boys. Head turned, not eat. Don't eat, right? If you don't eat you don't want to drink milk, starve. Immediately after that, feed the second baby, the third baby and the fourth baby. Except for Sanbao, the others don't eat. How to dislike the mouth does not eat, Cheng Xiao cruel heart. Simply do not make milk powder, let them starve, hungry naturally eat. It's just a little problem that comes out of inertia. Song Mianian looked, this is not too harsh on the child. After all, it is still small. Look at his wife's face distressed, he said, wife, in the future cannot be so spoiled, lawlessness also, do not eat, do not eat. I don't know if a few little ones know that dad is angry, one by one, they stared at him, their eyes unblinking. This serious little expression, Song Mianian couldn't help but let out a laugh as she watched. Chang Xiao continued to feed Debeo, as expected. Just now the words of the babies understand, once fed, open their mouths and hurry to eat. Chang Xiao felt both distressed and amused. Soon, several bowls were empty and cleanly eaten. Couples are a little helpless. These few, feed a supplemental food have to be whipped, otherwise do not bring food. After feeding the children, Chang Xiao rushed to cook. After dinner, back to the room. Wife, let's go grocery shopping together tomorrow morning. It's been a long time since I went to the supermarket with my wife. No need, MS. Wang said they brought it over themselves. I know, I mean, let's go buy some hot pot base. Hmm, what's the point of buying this? Of course it's to make hot pot ah, the mandarin duck pot has it, it's just missing the base and the vegetables. Alright then. The next day, the couple packed up and prepared to go out. When they got downstairs, Song Mianian received a call from teacher Wang. Teacher Song, we're ready to go buy the dishes, wait for us at home yo. Okay. The phone hangs up and Chang Xiao asks, coming? Not yet, I'm in the middle of buying groceries. Well, let's go. The two of them set off in a small electric donkey, the distance was short and there was no need to drive. In the supermarket. Honey, which pot base do you like? Here we have clear soup, tomato, spicy and tangy. Chang Xiao pulled Song Mian Mian to the hot pot supply section. Looking at the things on the shelves. Song Mian Mian chose. Just clear soup and spicy. Good. After buying this, the two went back to look at the vegetables. What with the enoki mushrooms, lettuce, seaweed, mutton rolls. Honey, what do you like to eat? Lamb rolls and this beef roll. It's her favorite. How can you miss these two in a hot pot? The golden mushroom lettuce can't be missing either. Beef meatballs to eat? Chang Xiao took out two bags of beef balls from the refrigerator on the side. Okay. Bought some more chili peppers for seasoning. After buying and returning home, Chang Xiao hurriedly put the dishes and stuff in the kitchen and asked, Wife, ask Mr. Wang if they've come over yet? So that he can make preparations. Soon. Song Mian Yang was still a little nervous. Ah, uh, good. Turning around, he went to the restroom. Not long after, he came out and had changed into a different face. Just after getting it done, Song Mianian looked at her cell phone, they're already here, I'll go downstairs. While his wife went out, Chang Xiao carried the kids to sit on the sofa and turned on the TV. Soon, the sound of several people chatting came from the door. The door was opened. Mr. Wang was the first to walk in. Hello brother-in-law, we came over to disturb again, I'm really sorry. With his mouth saying sorry, his movements didn't stop as he quickly took off his shoes. Several teachers were carrying things in their hands. There was meat and vegetables in a box, it looked like it should be milk tea. Or Yurumi. What's the matter? Putting down the things in their hands, Mr. Wang hurriedly dashed over to the babies. Babies, really missed me, haven't seen you for a long time, you've grown so big, time flies. 
Teacher Wang pinched the small face of Debeo on the far side, fleshy and smooth skin. This skin, it's so good. Teacher Li also came over. The first thing she noticed was the innermost four treasures. It's getting prettier and prettier, looking at four treasures, it's like she saw her future daughter-in-law. Such a beautiful baby, when her own child was older, she had to let him catch up and chase after it. Teacher Song, your family's four treasures is getting prettier and prettier. Yes, the older he grows, the prettier he gets, several children are. Teacher Song followed suit. Song Mianian was strangely embarrassed, where where where? Over there, Teacher Wang finished teasing the baby and sat down on the sofa. Brother-in-law, today I'm going to eat sweet and sour pork ribs and braised pork, cola chicken wings, garlic bok choy. We've bought all the vegetables. She grinned, thinking about the cravings. She hadn't even eaten breakfast in order to have more. With this shameless look, the other three teachers couldn't help but cover their faces. Can you have some face? As soon as you come here, you know to eat and eat and eat. Cheng Xiao smiled, no problem. After talking about the food, Mr. Wang pulls a few people to start chatting about gossip. It's school gossip again. This time it wasn't about Cheng Xiao and his ex-girlfriend getting back together, but Cheng Xiao's new movie. Look at the trailer, it's not bad. I just don't know when it's going to be released, I can't wait to pack the theater and brush the box office to go. Alas, it's really more and more handsome, it's just a pity that there's a girlfriend, they're all getting married. Teacher Lee on the side said, what's wrong? You still have thoughts about a student, ah? No way. What nonsense, as a teacher, how could I have thoughts about a student? Mr. Wang immediately retorted. Song Mian Yang was about to die of embarrassment, if Mr. Wang knew that the person standing in front of her was Chang Xiao himself, she didn't know what his expression would be. She could already imagine the embarrassment. Teacher Song, when the movie comes out I'll pack the venue and invite the teachers of the school to watch it, will you and your husband come then? Song Mianian was about to say something when Chang Xiao was the first to say yes, yes, we don't have a problem with that. Great, then it's a deal. Teacher Wang laughed. As they chatted over here, Song Qin walked out of the room. Several teachers rose to greet, hello auntie, hello you guys. She smiled and nodded. Song Mianyang had made a point of explaining both sides, even telling Song Qin about the makeup, just in case something went wrong at the critical time. Right now, they couldn't let Mr. Wang and the others know Chang Zhao's identity. At 10.30 in the morning, prepare to cook. Chang Xiao got up and headed to the kitchen, you guys chat, I'll go cook. Seeing that others had already entered the kitchen, M.S. Wang said quietly, brother-in-law I think is not worse than Chang Xiao Hei, both are quite handsome, M.S. Song has a good eye. Yes, where can I find a husband who is rich, handsome, and gentle? Song Mianian listened to their discussion and was embarrassed. Without interjecting, she quietly listened. In passing, she hugged the closest Sanbo over and gave him a kiss. Yeah. Feeling her mom's loving kiss, Sambo smiled. Two tiny teeth showed, adorable. Yikes, the baby is teething so soon? Teacher Lee noticed this with sharp eyes. Song Mianyang smiled and nodded, well, it started growing at three months. That fast? Teacher Lee couldn't believe it. Her son was seven or eight months old before he started sprouting out, and now his teeth were still too small to see. For a while, she wondered if the development was delayed compared to other children. No, this time, I have to go back and check. The child's problems could not be neglected. Have the other few grown yet? Teacher Lee continued to ask. Big treasure has grown, and second treasure and fourth treasure have only just popped up. Song Minyang smiled. Your parents' teeth are all so fast, this one in our family is almost eight months old, and it's only just popped out so much. You can't even see it if you don't look closely. Teacher Lee sighed. Teacher Song said, it's normal, my child didn't grow until 10 months. Isn't it fine now? Time passed by, and Teacher Wang, hungry chest to back, looked in the direction of the kitchen. Is brother-in-law still not ready? I'm so hungry. Her stomach growled with hunger. You bought so many dishes, it won't take a while for people to make it, right? You can go do it yourself if you're not happy. Teacher Lee didn't have the good sense to say. Teacher Wang smiled sarcastically, I'm just too hungry. Everyone is eating. Another half hour passed before Chang Xiao came over and shouted, in the dining hall. Upon seeing the sumptuous table of dishes, Mr. Wang's eyes glistened, especially the hot pot in the very center. There's still hot pot, this is too good. Drool was already swirling in his mouth. I said why is it taking so long, so brother-in-law you're getting the hot pot. Unceremoniously sitting down, he picked up his chopsticks and was about to start eating. On the side, teacher Meng Yan said, you're moving your chopsticks before the elders have come. I, I didn't do it on purpose, sorry sorry sorry. Teacher Wang was overwhelmed by the food, mainly because he was too hungry, so he couldn't help but move his chopsticks. Boing boing. She didn't mean it. Song Qin had already walked in from outside. What is everyone waiting for, no need to wait for me, let's start. After sitting down, start eating. 
Cheng Xiao puts the lamb rolls in front of him into the pot to cook, then fishes them out and puts them into Song Mian Mian's bowl. Because you still have to breastfeed, you can't eat too spicy, so you can only eat it cooked in clear soup. The only thing you can do is to eat it in a clear broth with a little bit of sauce on the side. The child is ready to be weaned after six months. Nowadays, breast milk no longer has enough nutrition for the child, and has to rely on complementary food intake. Mr. Wang and the others were no longer concerned about the two people spreading dog food, they were starving and just focused on eating, filling their stomachs first. Yummy! And this, give it to me, I want it. This sweet and sour pork is so delicious. Love it love it. The braised pork is also good. Brother-in-law, I feel like your cooking has improved so much again. Teacher Wang couldn't stop talking as she ate. Teacher Meng Yan and the girls also nodded in agreement. It was too delicious. The table of dishes was quickly swept away, and Song Yin Yan's jaw dropped as she watched. Teacher Wang gently burped. With the elders here, he didn't dare to be too indulgent. Song Qin smiled, it's a blessing to be able to eat, eat more. A meal was finished. A few teachers were strangely embarrassed, and Teacher Li proposed washing the dishes. Teacher Li, you go rest, I'll do it. Chang Xiao smiled. How is that a good idea? They've dallied so many times, and they didn't wash the bowls even once, how embarrassing. It's fine. Alright then, just call us if there's anything. Aha. Uh -huh. On the sofa. A few people discuss things after vacation. Because Song Mianian was coming over to substitute teach, Miss Lin was coming back after the new year, and they didn't know if she would continue to teach at the school. Those of them who were younger had been at the school for a year or two, and those like Miss Lee, who had been there for several years, were definitely staying on. If M.S. Song wasn't there, it was still weirdly uncomfortable. Teacher Song, will you continue teaching if Mr. Lin comes back? Teacher Wang asked. Yeah, the principal and vice principal are quite optimistic about you, because of your arrival, the students' grades in the class you teach have improved very quickly, it's very good in our group. Several people looked at Song Mianian. She coughed and replied, I don't know about this, we'll see when the time comes. Hearing her say that, the teachers scrunched their faces. It always felt like teacher Song definitely wouldn't go. After all, her husband had a business and her family's condition wasn't bad, so there was no need to go out to work. If it was them, they would probably just stay home and be full-time housewives. However, M.S. Song is such a good husband, where would she be allowed to do things at home herself? Other than envy they didn't know what to say. I think it's still possible for me to continue teaching. Song Nianyan looked at their faces of pity and spoke helplessly. The profession of teaching was her hobby. She was just afraid that after her relationship with Cheng Xiao became public, it would be awkward to get along with them in the future. After all, heads up, heads down. Don't make it all awkward because of this. Really? Upon hearing this, Emma's Wan was most excited. Aha. Uh -huh. Song Mianyang nodded. Teacher Meng Yan asked, then will brother-in-law agree? He should. After chatting for a while longer, a few people were ready to say goodbye. There was some reluctance to part. Babies, auntie is leaving oh, remember to miss me oh. M.S. Wang kissed a few babies, waved her hand, and took a few pictures in the process. The babies were inexplicably mooching, but also a little confused. The little models were adorable. I'll see you guys off. Song Myanian got up and shouted towards the house, hubby, take a look at the baby. There's no need to send, just take the baby, it's not like we don't know the way. Teacher Meng Yan smiled. That's fine, you guys be safe on the road. Good. Cheng Xiao comes out of the kitchen, teachers are leaving? Aha. Uh -huh. Song Mianyang nodded. Thinking about what just happened, she asked, hubby, after the vacation, do you think I'll stay at the school and continue to serve or leave? I just discussed this topic with MS. Wang and the girls and asked if I want to continue teaching. Cheng Xiao laughed lightly, it depends on you, do you want to continue or leave? However, no matter what you choose, hubby will support you. Really? Song Mianyang looked at him. Cheng Xiao rubbed her head, fool, you're my wife, since it's your choice, how can I not support you? Saying this, Song Mianian became even more entangled. She knew that Cheng Xiao definitely didn't want her to continue teaching in her heart, and had said this before. Just because she said she liked the job she acquiesced. I'll think about it again. Good. Cheng Xiao naturally didn't want her to go teaching, it was exhausting and didn't pay a few dollars a day. But he respected Song Mianian's choice. Hobby or job, let her go. Time flies, and it's Cheng Xiao's graduation day. The school was very busy. It's busy with photo shoots and other things. The senior graduates had already put on their bachelor's degree uniforms, and Wang Jing brought a set over to Cheng Xiao to change into. Bro, the photo shoot is coming up soon, hurry up. After the two changed their clothes, they ran towards the photo location. The person in charge of taking pictures was the English teacher of the class and was waiting there. Are there still students who haven't come? Teacher, no more, it's ready to be photographed. A certain male student spoke up. The female student next to him blared at him, 
What are you talking about? Cheng Xiao and Wang Jing aren't here yet. Taking a picture is also a bit of a grind, really. Someone was already disgruntled. Isn't it time for the photo shoot yet? What's the hurry? The girls were basically all towards Cheng Xiao, even if he had a girlfriend, based on his looks and the movie he shot, they were still on Cheng Zhao's side. It's a big deal to be a fan. How rewarding to have a good relationship with a future movie star. How many girls would be envious of this? A few minutes later, Cheng Xiao and the two of them arrived late. The English teacher didn't say anything, is everyone here now? All here. Well, good, remember, when I call out to three, you guys throw up your bachelor's caps. Such a cheesy photo, but it makes sense. Click. The picture was taken and several more were taken in quick succession. Then, a few female students borrowed the English teacher's camera and continued taking pictures. After taking the pictures, I don't know which student shouted out. Should we organize a graduation party at night? Call up all the classmates and the teachers in the class, I'll treat them. The crowd looked over, the one who spoke was the rich second generation in their class, Meng Yang. Wang Jing said quietly from the side, this Meng Yang likes to stand out every time at times like this. Just watch, it's not like we have to pay for it. Chang Xiao shrugged. That's true. Alas, but finally graduated, that old man in my house won't have to nag anymore, it's great. Wang Jing couldn't wait to sing a song. Chang Xiao looked in the direction of the teacher's office, tonight, it was time for the couple to open up their relationship. They can't live underground all the time, they still need to see the light. If they keep it under wraps, they might end up hiding something. After the movie is released, Ken will surely have a lot of people know him, if he goes to the store, how many pairs of eyes, be photographed and posted on the internet. The netizens didn't matter, it was mainly these teachers at the school, what would they think? He had to think about Song Mianian's reputation. It's better to show the cards in advance. It's better to show his face in advance, so as not to be embarrassed at that time. He himself is indifferent, mainly his wife, cannot be ignored. The KTV room was noisy. Meng Yang, as a rich second generation, naturally to pretend to be full of pussy, opened a large private room, can accommodate hundreds of people. The tables in front were filled with drinks. This time, all the teachers who had taught their classes were invited, and MS, Wang and the girls were all here. It was even more unlikely that Song Mianian would be absent. As soon as she came in, she noticed Cheng Xiao at a glance. At the moment, she was nervous. Because, tonight was the time to make it public, I don't know if MS, Wang and the others would be angry because of this. After all, it had been hidden for so long. No matter who it was, they would be angry. In his heart, he was nervous, but on his face, he could only show calmness. The couple's eyes collided and Shang Xiao winked at her. The spoken words signaled her to relax, everything is with him. The teachers are here, welcome welcome welcome. Meng Yang led the applause. Taking his seat, Mr. Wang spoke, it's quite lively. Song Mian Yang kept quiet, a few people were quite puzzled, teacherly asked, what's wrong? Nothing. The wine and fruits were already ready. We won't drink, just sing and eat. Mr. Wang said. The teachers didn't drink, so everyone didn't force them, they should play and eat. The female students sat and sang. It was very lively. Finally graduated, in the future you can enter society, the mood at this moment can be imagined. Filled with nervousness about the future, but also longing. Anyone who hopes to be outstanding, graduates can do a big career. Halfway through the party, Chang Xiao suddenly took the microphone on the table and turned off the music. Can everyone stop for a moment? Allow me to say a few words. The students were filled with question marks. They all looked over curiously, did Chang Xiao have something to say here? The air had gone quiet. Meng Yang was a bit irritated, if you have something to say, say it quickly. Song Mian Yang was now tense to the extreme, her body was trembling a little, and her hands were full of cold sweat. This moment had still come. So nervous. I believe everyone is especially curious about that girlfriend of mine right? Yes, girls are nosy creatures, naturally, they are curious as hell. Today, she is present. Chang Xiao opened his mouth in a deep voice, his eyes kept staring in Song Mian Yang's direction. Who the hell is it? Yeah, don't hang everyone's appetite so much. Too curious. Didn't he say he got back together with Lin Fei Fei before? That's a rumor. Song Mianian's face had already turned red, and her nervous heart was about to jump out. Cheng Xiao at this time didn't know where to take out a ring and a rose. Wow, too romantic. So envious of that girl. Really handsome, who is so lucky. Watching Cheng Xiao walk step by step in a certain direction, the final point of that direction, Mr. Song. What the hell? Isn't Mr. Song already married? Teacher Wang on the side was also a bit dumbfounded. She was pretty sure that the direction Cheng Xiao was walking towards was indeed Song Mian Yang. This this this. Gosh, it can't be Teacher Song, right? Isn't MS. Song already married? She even has a child. Cheng Xiao wouldn't be confessing to her, right? Oh my god. Heavyweight news. 
only to see that Cheng Xiao held the flowers and walked to stop in front of Song Mianian. That look, deep in love, was a tenderness that these people had never seen before. Song Mianian's heartbeat missed a beat, as if she was struck by lightning, frozen in place, motionless. Several teachers were directly dumbfounded. This, what the hell is this? Teacher Wang was dazed, completely unaware of what had happened. Mr. Cheng Xiao, confessing his love for Emma's song and sending flowers? Gosh, Mr. Song is already married, what the hell is going on? But then, Cheng Xiao over there handed the flowers to Song Nian Nian. Mian Mian, it's time for our relationship to be publicized, I don't want to keep hiding it from everyone like this. Shocked. What did they hear? Hiding it? That means they've actually been together all along, only hiding it from everyone and not disclosing it, and Mr. Song's marriage partner is actually Chang Xiao? They also have a child. This this this. Can it get any more bloody? Chang Xiao pulled Song Mianian to the front of the screen and faced everyone. I'm sorry, because of my identity, I haven't been able to tell you guys the truth. In fact, I met Mian Mian earlier, established a relationship to marriage, the reason I haven't told you guys is because I'm afraid of hurting her. Song Mian Mian kept her head down the entire time, not even daring to raise it. The whole person was nervous. Chang Xiao pulled her hand tightly. It was very normal for adults to get married and have children, even for college students. It's just that Song Mianian's status is different. I told you, the back figure I saw before was definitely Chang Xiao, right? The few girls who initially bumped into Chang Xiao and Song Mianian buying things together spoke up. So they've known each other for a long time. The reason Chang Xiao doesn't come to school, is it because he's at home with the kids? I think it should be. Bringing up children is the main occupation, filming is the secondary occupation. That's not bad. Teachers are teachers. They're all about the same age, so what's wrong with that? That's right, I agree. The students didn't feel anything, and the male students couldn't be jealous, how can they be jealous of a man and a woman who are both talented and beautiful? They don't have good grades. Secondly, they are not as handsome as others. How to compare? M.S. Wang, a few people, is still in the midst of stupidity. They didn't expect that M.S. Song's date was Cheng Xiao. These two, just how big of a secret are they hiding? Teacher and student, this is ridiculous. But think about it, the age difference is not more than a few years, so it's really nothing. It's just a little weird. Cheng Xiao is Mr. Song's husband, so the person they saw. Is he an actor? This actor's cooking is too good, isn't it? And his acting skills are also great. I didn't see any flaws at all. Now that I think about it, it really isn't quite right. Thinking about a photo that Mr. Song had sent earlier, the side profile on it was definitely Chang Xiao. Previously, they thought it was just a case of mistaken identity. Now it seems that it was a mistake, it was him in person. This is incredible. M.S. Meng Yan said dumbfounded. Yeah, it's hard to believe that Miss Song's husband is actually Chang Xiao. And I've been calling my brother-in-law for so long, it's... Teacher Wang was embarrassed. They weren't that kind of curmudgeonly people, they were all adults, as long as it was true love, there was nothing wrong with being together, plus Chang Xiao had already graduated and wasn't a student anymore, there was nothing wrong with being together. The ones Chang Xiao should say sorry to the most are still MS. Wang and the others. Teachers, I'm really sorry for hiding this from you for so long. Chang Xiao said. Song Nian Yang was also apologizing. MS. Wang pretended to be angry, so your husband is Chang Xiao, you don't even tell us, still not a good friend. That's right, in fact, it's no big deal to tell us, we are all our adults, to put it bluntly, as long as there is no blood or messy relationship, marriage is free. Meng Yan teacher said. Song Mian Yan was quite moved, you guys don't blame us? Blame. Several people said in unison. Song Mian Yang had an embarrassed face, huh? Blame you guys for not telling us. The openness of the relationship seemed to lighten the burden on her all of a sudden. There was no need to live her life in hiding anymore. Chang Xiao had already successfully graduated, so it didn't matter even if the school didn't hire her. Teacher Wang asked at this time, if you're with Chang Xiao, then the one we saw before. It was him too. Speaking of this, Song Mianian kind of wanted to laugh, her husband's makeup skills were quite impressive, his own mother didn't even bring him to recognize him after the makeup. Ha! Huh? Several people expressed shock. That was a completely different face ah, thought it was a hired actor. He purposely put on makeup so you guys wouldn't recognize it. Makeup? Teacher Wang was puzzled. Makeup can transform a face into another person's appearance, isn't that? A bit too amazing? It's completely impossible to tell. The makeup technique was awesome. Brother, want to come over for a drink? Wang Jing came over to call him at this time, and even smiled at Song Nianyang. But it was finally out in the open. Before this, it seemed like he was the only one in the school who knew. It was too hard to hide it. Now that it was made public, it made that group of people still chew on it. Today was a complete slap in the face. Then I'll go over first, wife, you chat with Emma's. 
Wang and the others first, I'll come back for you later. Cheng Xiao smiles tenderly and heads over to Wang Jing's side. A few male students were drinking together. It was so late and they would have to drive back later, Song Mianian couldn't drink, so they drank orange juice and chatted. You said you're hiding this from us so badly, it's so annoying. Teacher Meng Yan said. Teacher Son, when did you and Cheng Xiao meet? Almost two years. The babies were all over six months old, counting the time, almost almost two years, a year and a half was there. Wow, that long? M.S. Song had only been here for about three or four months, and she did know them from before. Then that made it even more okay. You can't just forcefully break up the two because of the woman's job. It's too immoral to do so. It will be struck by lightning. At this moment, they only had heartfelt blessings in their hearts. Song Mianian's worries were all superfluous. The party proceeded to a white-hot stage, to the singing session. Chang Xiao, you are at least in the entertainment industry, sing a song for us, someone coaxed. Yes, yes. Sing a song. Wang Jing was a little drunk, under the anesthesia of alcohol, he also followed the coaxing. Yes, brother, you are the only one among us who is in the entertainment industry, sing a song for us. Chang Xiao was in a good mood today, took the microphone over and used his cell phone to scan the code to order a song. A song called What's Not to Like. The familiar intro sounded. It seems to have brought everyone back to that era. Chang Zhao's voice is very suitable for singing, he used to love it, but he didn't have the money to continue his dream. Later, when the system rewarded him for his movie star acting skills, he thought that acting would be good, so he didn't think about singing or anything else. When he opened his mouth and sang the first line, the entire audience fell silent. Everyone listened quietly. It was obvious to feel that Chang Xiao had put in a lot of emotion whether it was the lyrics or the melody. The voice was perfect. It was even comparable to the original singer. It was awesome and strong. What KTV, it's totally a live concert, okay? Great to listen to. I didn't realize that not only could he act, he could also sing super well. Those girls took out their cell phones to shoot and record this moment. It's so cool, isn't it? Song Mianyang also froze as she watched and listened, and at this moment, her heart was beating especially fast. Fluttering. Cheng Zhao's gaze was also looking over from time to time, as if he was an idol on stage. Teacher Song, I envy you too much. M.S. Wang had a young girl's heart that had nowhere to rest. The interaction between the two was so sweet, wasn't it? Looking at each other across the sky. Full of dog food keeps spreading out. A single dog can't eat it. Mr. Lee and Mr. Rong, both married people, were full of envy, so romantic. Their husbands don't know how to do this. Although it is all about pleasing girls, but as long as it is a female, cannot withstand this kind of scene, right? Song Mianyang was so shy that she didn't even dare to raise her head, and now almost the entire audience's attention was on them. A song was finished. After three seconds of silence, the crowd began to clap and cheer. A female student shouted, It's so good, sing another song. Yeah, yeah, sing another one I haven't heard enough. After graduation, maybe everyone will only be able to see him on TV from now on. Or maybe they'll never see him again. Alas, I really envy Mr. Song, too happy. It's really because Chang Xiao is too good of a person, who wouldn't envy him? But any girl would be heartbroken to see this scene, okay? Facing everyone's cheers, Chang Xiao had to order another song. When the intro sounded, in the crowd's excited gaze, he walked to Song Mianian and pulled her into the center. In passing, he took out the diamond ring. He had secretly bought it before and had never told her. What are you doing? Seeing that ring box, Song Mianian's breathing tightened. We haven't made it public before, so now of course I'm confessing to you openly, to fulfill our one regret. Confession? This. Song Mianian blushed bright red and couldn't help but say, we've been together for so long, and we have a child, why confess? There are so many people here. Just stand here, I'll do everything. Chang Shao let out a light laugh and temporarily turned off the music. The ring box was opened with a snap. Everyone subconsciously quieted down. Looking in the direction of Chang Zhao's couple. I go, is Chang Shao asking for marriage? No. People are married what else to ask for? It should be a romance that belongs between them. So envious. Now it's not just the girls, some of the single dog boys are starting to be envious as well. Over there, Chang Xiao looked at Song Mianian and said slowly with the microphone. Wife, before, because of various reasons, I didn't give you a perfect confession ceremony. Today, I want to confess to you properly again in front of everyone. Every couple is hoping to receive everyone's blessings. My gosh, this, let me just go to my death. It's too much of a dog abuse. I'm full of dog food. Song Mianian looked at Chang Xiao fixedly, her eyes reddened without realizing it. A warm current crossed her heart. The corners of her mouth rose slightly. The students were quite cooperative and shouted, Teacher Song, promise him. Promise him. Promise him. Since this was a confession ceremony, it was important to respect the ceremony and cooperate a bit. Although knowing that the two had already gotten married and had babies, 
Song Mianyang shyly stretched out her hand and the ring was quickly put on. The diamonds on this diamond ring were not small, and at a glance it was worth a lot of money. Rich people ah. The moment it was put on, the whole room cheered. At this time, somewhere in the corner of the private room, there was a person sitting. Lin Fei Fei. She was also invited. Seeing as Chang Xiao was also there, she came over, not expecting to see this scene in front of her. She only felt an incomparable sting. Originally, all of this should have belonged to her, not knowing when it had turned into what it was today. She also didn't expect that Chang Zhao's so-called girlfriend was actually a mess. Song. Even more confused, two people who can't fight each other will be together, and also know each other for almost two years. According to this time, Chang Xiao should have met MS. Song right after he broke up with her. The comments on the forums didn't seem to have the slightest effect on him anymore, and he even directly publicized his relationship with Song Mianian. The Chang Xiao of the past was also so pleasing to her. Looking at the incomparably well-matched two people on the stage, his heart was not in a good mood, and he was even jealous. Tightly clenched her teeth and clenched her fists. Full of unwillingness. The room was buzzing with excitement, and no one noticed her. At the same time, there is also Wang Yu who has a bad taste in her heart, she has liked Cheng Xiao for a long time, and it was not easy for her to muster up the courage to express her feelings. As a result, she was rejected in seconds. No wonder Chang Xiao prevented her from getting to know his girlfriend in the first place, it turns out that his girlfriend is in the school, and everything is to protect her. Jealous? Girls, that's definitely a little bit. But more is envy. The two quietly looked in that direction, with different thoughts. KTV room there are a lot of other departments of the girls, to put it bluntly is to come over to join in the fun to play a game. I didn't expect to see such a romantic confession scene. Eating dog food or full. The ring was put on, Chang Xiao ordered a song, today you will marry me. Cheers, cheers. Song Mianian was about to die of shame, Chang Xiao let go of his hand, she rushed to Mr. Wang sighed. It was the first time the students had seen the usually so high and mighty teacher song so shy. A little bit cute. Her face was red. Teacher Wang hurriedly asked, Teacher Song, what are you doing over here, look at Cheng Xiao, how romantic, alas, my teenage heart. That's right, my image is gone. Song Mianian was bitter, the iceberg image that she had managed to create in front of her students had completely collapsed. It was too embarrassing. Teacher Li teased, at this point in time, what do you care about image ah, in the face of confession, this kind of reaction is normal, okay? It's okay, let's just pretend we didn't see what happened today. That's right, that's right, we'll pretend we didn't see it. Song Mianian was even more embarrassed. Over there, Chang Xiao had already finished singing. I have to say, his voice and singing skills are good, and several songs in a row are no worse than the original singer. It was really too good. Everyone continued to drink and fool around. Without realizing it, it was 11 o'clock at night. Several teachers were a bit sleepy and couldn't help but yawn, it was time to go home. This group of students really could stay up all night, being young is good ah. Teacher Song, we'll leave first, after deceiving us for so long, you must treat us to dinner some other day to make amends. Mr. Wang said. Song Mianyang froze, then smiled, good. Then we're off, bye. Be safe on the road. The line of sight turned around, Chang Xiao was still there drinking and chatting with his classmates, Wang Jing and a few other classmates on the side had long been drunk, only Chang Xiao was still quite sober. Taking advantage of this time, Lin Fei Fei came to sit beside Song Mianyan. The status of the two belonged to ex-girlfriend and wife and there was naturally a lot of gunpowder between them. Song Mianyang had never faced Lin Fei Fei so directly before. The aura around her body became cold all of a sudden. It was still that familiar iceberg goddess. It was this woman who had abandoned her best husband for money in the first place. Towards Song Mianyan, Lin Fei Fei was still a little jealous. Wasn't this woman just a little bit of good looks? Nowadays, can looks be a meal? On what grounds could she be favored like this by Chang Xiao? Are you really married to Chang Xiao? She was still a bit in disbelief. Song Mianian smiled slightly, do you need me to show you the marriage certificate? To say that I know him is also me who knew him first, no one knows him better than me. You know him? What do you know about him? How does he feel about you cheating on a rich kid? Hit the nail on the head. You can't be too polite when facing someone like that. The two of them have only been together for a few months, do you really think you've been together for a few years? Song Mianian had long looked at her with displeasure, only there had been no opportunity to confront her head on. Now that the opportunity had come, how could she let it go? You. What do you know? I had no choice in the first place. Lin Fei Fei roared. That's not a reason for you to cheat, is it? Song Mianian sneered, student Lin Fei Fei, at your age, it's better not to think about all that nonsense, just study hard and live your own life, why bother pestering a person who has already broken up and won't let go? That said, I have to thank you, if it wasn't for you, I probably wouldn't have met such a good husband. What you're saying isn't enough to enrage me. Song Mianian finished, still looking calm, her expression didn't fluctuate in any way. 
Dealing with just a little girl, what's so hard about that? This scene had long been captured by Chang Xiao. Just wanna say a word, wife domineering. The female students next to him heard and even came over to help Song Mianyang speak. M.S. Song is right, you have broken up with Chang Xiao, why are you still stalking her? That's right, at first said the breakup seems to be your own right, and now see people get married and then come over to make trouble, you in the end is the heart of what? Do people still have to be good, don't end up making a mess of it all? Speaking of which, this is the graduation party of our senior year in the finance department, what are you doing here as a foreign language faculty member? Only then did the crowd realize something was wrong. When did they invite Lin Fei Fei? This woman couldn't have snuck in on her own, could she? Lin Fei Fei was completely speechless by her dislike, there were several girls, and she would not be drowned in saliva if she refuted a sentence. However, there was one sentence she still had to say. I was also invited here. Invited? Who is it? Is there anyone in our class that you're familiar with? Lin Fei Fei pointed at Meng Yi who was sitting in the pile of boys. He's the one who asked me to come over. Meng Yi was a notorious loudmouth in the class, that was something everyone knew. The girls were disgruntled. Meng Yi, you don't think things are big enough, do you? Deliberately looking for people to mess things up? That's right, people are fine with Chung Xiao and Mr. Song, they have to find someone to make things unpleasant for everyone, don't they? This is really too much. All of them are senior students of the finance department, one class, naturally they are towards their own class, where would they be towards outsiders? Everyone was helping Chang Xiao and his wife. Lin Fei Fei's scalp went numb, she couldn't stay at all, and slipped away. She just saw Chang Xiao come over tonight and followed her too. Never seen such a shameless one, the things on the forum are probably caused by this woman. It's all Meng Yi's fault for being such a loudmouth and inviting her over for what? Looking for trouble? Meng Yi's scalp was numb, he was just gossiping, it's not like he knew that Chung Xiao was going to confess his love to him as Song, or else he wouldn't have brought Lin Fei Fei over even if he was dead. Chang Xiao walked over to Song Mian Mian's side and rubbed her head, wife, let's go back. This time the party was almost over. It was too late for fear that it wouldn't work on the children's side. Song Mianian nodded, good. Mister. Song, you guys are going back here? Well, there are still children to take care of at home. She smiled. Wow, really happy. Yeah, I like this kind of life, plain and fulfilling. After leaving the KTV. Car. Seeing Song Mianian's depressed face, Chang Xiao knows what she's thinking, alright, there's no need to get angry over such a person. I'm not, I'm just a bit depressed, she herself dislikes you for being poor and abandoning you, and she's still reasonable. To actually say that no one understands you better than her, humph. In front of her own husband, Song Mianian played her little temperament to her heart's content. Chang Xiao looked on with a doting face, at this time, he could only coax. Otherwise, if he got angry, he would have to ignore him for another day. Chung Xiao pinched her little face and laughed. It should be that no one can have my wife understand me. You're still laughing. I've been approached by your ex-girlfriend and you're still laughing. Song Mian Yang was depressed. Wife, just now you behaved quite well. It's the first time I've seen my wife so domineering, still so good looking. Humph. Don't think I'll forgive you for blowing rainbow farts all the time. Song Mianian threw her head to the side, but the corners of her mouth couldn't help but rise. Chang Xiao couldn't stop laughing, this little woman, kind of cute. How can this be called blowing rainbow farts? This is all from my heart. Alright, alright, fasten your seatbelt, let's go. Song Mianyang waved her hand. On the way, Chang Xiao called Wang Jing and didn't answer, it was another classmate who answered. The bastard was already drunk and unconscious. Really, knowing that he was going home, he still drank so much. Don't worry, there's a hotel nearby, I'll get him a room then. Well, that's fine, please. The phone hung up. Soon the two also arrived home. Just as they entered the house, they heard the cries of several babies crying for air. Mother-in-law had been coaxing. How can not coax? The two hurriedly changed shoes, opened the door and walked in. Into the eyes, a few babies lying on the bed, one by one crying ah, tears and snot flow. Small face red, eyes are swollen from crying. Looked at the couple heartbroken to death, full of regret, back late. See mom and dad back, that aggrieved, crying even more sad. Song Chin stood up inside. You can finally come back, and then do not come back to these little ancestors ah, can live to eat me. Mom, hard work, you quickly go rest, we come, Chang Xiao said. Song Qin nodded and went out. Song Mianian looked at the several babies and softly said, Babies, mommy is back, don't cry anymore. The most ferocious crying belongs to the four treasures, the three words crybaby are no longer suitable for the two treasures, this little one, the moment she doesn't see her mom and dad, the roof can be lifted. Cheng Xiao painfully picked her up and wiped her tears. The aggrieved little mouth kept pouting. Looking at the pair of red and swollen eyes, Chang Xiao is even more heartbroken. This child, how can he not accept people other than him and his wife? Even his own grandmother is rejected. Debeo and the others are fine, but they are also crying. 
probably infected by Si Bao's emotions, they are also crying along with him. Chang Xiao sighed. After a while, he coaxed Si Bao to sit on the bed. Then he coaxed De Bao and the others. A few little ones are okay. After a while they stopped crying. Unconsciously fell asleep. The couple then breathed a sigh of relief. Looking at the time, it was already more than one in the morning. Sleepy, Song Myanian yawned, hubby, I'm going to take a bath first. Good. When both of them had finished washing, they lay down together. Hubby, I feel like this is all still a dream. Song Myanian still felt a bit unreal. The relationship was finally out in the open, no need to guard against being discovered every day, and no need to put on any makeup to cover it up. Chang Xiao took her into his arms, what's unreal about it, in fact, there's nothing to this matter, it's just an awkward relationship between us, it's nothing when we talk about it. Now I have graduated into society, the school can no longer manage to my head, right? But don't you still have to go to graduate school? Song Myanian asked. Cheng Xiao smiled, who says that you have to enter the same school again for graduate school? That's true. Let's talk about this later, there's no rush. Aha! Honey, since we're public now, are you? Now it's just short of a wedding. Cheng Xiao smiled badly, looking towards Song Myanian's white collarbone, lifting the quilt and looking down. Song Myanian instantly blushed and instinctively shrank back. Shame. It's been so long, why shouldn't you also? Said Cheng Xiao after a pause, your husband I'm a normal man. It's really hard to say that you can't do bad things when such a good looking wife is lying by your side every day. Ever since that night, Song Myanyang wasn't quite willing. After all this time, she should be willing. Song Myanian didn't know this, after refusing she was also chagrined, felt quite sorry for him, shouldn't she be like this, she always felt that this kind of thing was particularly embarrassing. She always felt that this kind of thing is particularly embarrassing. Although it is normal between husband and wife, but, alas, indeed, as a man, his own wife lying beside him, but can only be honest, standing in Chang Zhao's point of view to think about it, quite difficult for people. After contemplating for a while, she gave up. It's not like she hasn't been here before. What if she refused again in case Chang Xiao went out to find someone else? Wife, what are you thinking about? Seeing that she had been staring blankly, Chang Xiao pinched her face. Nothing. As if she had been poked through her heart, Song Mian Yang blushed. Looking at her face flushed like a peach. Chang Xiao's impulse became even stronger, licking the corners of his mouth, only to feel that his mouth was dry and a bit unable to hold back. Song Myanian saw the knot in his throat roll a bit from close range. Silently, he closed his eyes. Her face was so red that it looked intoxicating. Seeing her in this situation, Chang Xiao froze for a moment, instantly comprehending her meaning, this is, agreeing? Tonight Ben drank wine, alcohol on the head. This night, very unsettled. The next day when I got up, Song Myanian is all sore, sort of climb the kind of, fingers do not want to move a little. Chang Xiao is full of energy, as if he doesn't know how to get tired. I got up early in the morning to do breakfast, happy. Now only feel refreshed. When he saw Song Mian Mian sitting listlessly at the table, he asked, Wife, how is it? Is it still hard? Last night was indeed difficult for her. It's okay. Song Myanian didn't want to discuss this topic, it was too embarrassing. She only felt tired all over now. All a bit skeptical that Cheng Zhao's body was made of iron? It didn't react at all. The energy was a little too abundant. Hurry up and eat, is mom still not up yet? That, I'll go shout. Song Mian Yang hurried in the direction of Song Qin's room. The family sat at the dining table. Looking at the sumptuous breakfast, Song Qin smiled and said, Xiao Cheng Ah, now that you've graduated, do you have any plans for the next? Continue to go to graduate school. Academic qualifications are still very important. Good, it's not bad to continue studying. Song Qin was still supportive. After dinner, the couple took the babies to Tian Yi Street. Wang Jing arrived at the store early in the morning, he now simply rented a house near Tian Yi Street so he didn't have to run around every day. Cheng Zhao's graduate school, he has no such intention. He can't even take the test with this brain, he is more Buddhist, just live a good life at the moment. The things in the store are not busy enough. When he saw Cheng Xiao come over, he hurried to greet him. Brother, when did you go back yesterday? Didn't tell me when you left. Wang Jing said. Cheng Xiao was speechless, you were drunk as a pile of mud, how can I say? He he he. I was too happy, so I drank two more cups. Wang Jing scratched his head in embarrassment, I'm also happy for you that your relationship with him is. Song is finally public. Chang Xiao patted his shoulder, drink less in the future, drinking hurts your body. Okay, get busy. It's more than 7 o'clock in the morning and there are not many customers in the store. Since the ordering of things handed over to Lin Yen, it's a lot easier, nothing has to be done personally. Lin Yen had arranged things properly and didn't need to be worried at all. Wages directly to her up to 15,000. Lin Yen touched. In fact, she is also responsible for ordering these things, with the customer to introduce the product, a lot of other are Zhang Yuan and other credit. Good performance these days, 
Keep up the good work. Lin Yan said, thank you boss, the credit isn't all mine, Zhang Yu and the others haven't been too busy either. This Chang Shan naturally knew in his heart. In the end, they were given a raise to 10,000 in salary as well. One by one, they were all somewhat flattered. Zhang Yu and the other young man were all college students who had just graduated not long ago, and never thought that they would be able to earn so much a month after graduation. It's been a long time since I've seen the babies, but Lin Yan wanted to do it. Taking advantage of the fact that she wasn't busy, she ran behind the cash register to tease them. The morning business was still very busy as usual. A few people just didn't stop. It wasn't until 12 noon that they had time for lunch. Taking advantage of this time, Song Mianian hurried to breastfeed the children. The afternoon was busy as usual. The weather is already very cold, there is no need to go outside to send out flyers, publicity are almost in place, Wang Jing began to be responsible for packing. Now this situation is not bad, Chang Xiao is ready to open another chain store. Go to the center of the city or the place with more traffic. After stabilizing, continue to open a third, and so on. After making up his mind, he discussed it with Song Mianian that night. Now their store business is booming, has been stabilized almost, open the second capital is also enough. It's enough to support the movie's paycheck. Not to mention the second one, the third one can even be opened. Song Mianian began to feel bad, after all, only a little time, but later felt that Cheng Xiao said reasonable, there is no opinion. Thinking about it, opening a second business is also expanding the business. Recruit a few more people, should be able to operate very well. As long as the location is found better, the flow of people can be, it won't be worse than this one on Tianyi Street. Honey, where do you think is better for us to open? How about the city center or a tourist attraction with a lot of foot traffic? Chang Xiao was in deep thought, this one's a good decision. Downtown? Will the rent be expensive? Song Mianyang's brows wrinkled. How much would the store rent be for a year? Wife, you have to look long term, you have to know that you can't catch a wolf by giving up a child. As long as business is good, a million dollars in two days is not a problem, who cares about this rent? Song Mianian thought about it, was she too cheap? Cheng Xiao rubbed her head and laughed, then let's go and take a look together tomorrow. Pick a suitable place and rent a store. Good. The night passed and the next day. The two left early in the morning for the center of Qingzhou City. The children were first given to mother-in-law to bring with them. Thinking of four treasures pitiful eyes. The couple was heartbroken. But there is no way to bring them, it's not convenient. This side is not very far from the city center, less than an hour away. Chang Xiao has already contacted the landlord of the new store last night, and will go directly to see it. This time, I'm going to rent it in the mall. On the road. Still uncomfortable? Seeing Song Mianian looking uncomfortable, Chang Xiao asked with a smile. Song Mianian's face instantly reddened and she glared at him without any good reason. Knowing that she was embarrassed she still deliberately brought it up. It's okay. Biting her lip, she said with bravado. Okay? Then you mean it's still. Okay tonight. Chang Xiao blinked, the meaning was self-evident. He was full of energy, anytime. Mentioning this again, Song Mianian wanted to find a crack in the ground and said with her head turned away, drive your car. Chang Xiao was helpless. Wife, we are an old married couple, why are you still so shy? Who's an old married couple with you? Song Mianyang whispered. The child is more than half a year old, it's still not an old married couple? Chang Xiao laughed. Song Mianyan hummed and stopped talking. After talking, it was expected that this guy would mention last night's incident again. To this day, she still felt that both her legs were sore as hell, as well as her arms. If it wasn't for Chang Xiao pulling her along, she didn't even want to come and lie down at home to rest for a while. Right now, she didn't feel very energetic. Soon, arrived at the destination. The landlord was a middle-aged man in his forties, a little fat, combing a big back hair, meticulous. Only to see that he was holding a file bag in his hand. Seeing Chang Xiao coming over, is it Mr. Chang? Yes. Song Mianyang looked over, this mall was the one where she came to shop for clothes with Manli before, it was considered to be one of the biggest malls in the center of Qingzhou city. It should be good to open a store here. Ah, uh, please follow me. The middle-aged man led the two of them to the second floor, this area was all about selling ordinary clothes, the luxury goods and whatnot were all upstairs. The people who come here are basically old people, besides the food on the first floor, the second floor has the most traffic, people coming and going, the location is very good. Chang Xiao has already seen the inside of the store through the photos, the space is quite big, similar to the Tianyi Street. After renting it, we still have to let Wang Jing go find the master who decorated it last time and decorate it the same way. That way it will have the look of a chain store. Wife, what do you think of this place? Chang Xiao asked with a smile. Song Mianyang looked left and right and nodded, pretty good ah. Then how about here? After consulting last night, the rent here is almost 120 W a year, it's affordable. Have you looked at other places? She asked, the rent here must be ridiculously expensive. 
Yes, I looked, the prices are similar, just this location is better. Okay then. This is it, sign the contract. Chang Xiao said to the landlord. The landlord didn't expect him to be so quick, and hurriedly opened the file bag in his hand, inside was the lease contract. Chang Xiao swished and signed it, transferring a million and two hundred thousand dollars of rent over. One year. The contract was labeled to be paid once a year. After signing the contract, one person kept a copy, and the landlord handed the key directly to Cheng Xiao. After saying a few polite words, he left. Song Myanian watched the people leave and spoke, Hubby, isn't it too hasty for you to sign it directly like this? The speed is too fast, right? Just casually look at, and then directly signed, other people look at the house, that is inside and outside the observation, see a few more. Cheng Xiao is good, do not even look at, the contract took a look at the sign. 1. 2 million, that is real money, not numbers. Not hasty ah, uh, I compared several, just this location can be, the rent is also quite reasonable. Song Myanian was a bit depressed. Cheng Xiao smiled, alright, it's fine, we'll make our money back in a few days after opening. Come here today, I'm also going to bring you to meet someone. Song Mian Yang was puzzled, who is it? A friend of mine, haven't you always wondered who I learned this cooking skill from? Bring you to meet you'll know. After saying that, Cheng Xiao pulled her hand and went to a nearby Chinese restaurant. This friend of his was the head chef here. It's really not that he is making it up, there is indeed a friend who is a chef, and he learned some of this handful of cooking skills from him, and it's not what he learned by delivering the courier as he said before, and it's not what he learned from the recipes. The name of the shop is rustic, and the name of the shop is not a good one, but a good one. The name of the store is rustic, but the taste of the things made is very good. After going in, the couple chose a seat by the window and called the waiter. First order food. After ordering. Is your chef phone in? Chang Xiao asked. Waiter, yes. Let him make it for us. I'm sorry sir, head chef Fong is not in charge of this piece on the first floor, it's all done by other chefs, if you want to eat what he's doing, you have to make a reservation first. The waiter smiled apologetically. Reservation? Cheng Xiao raised an eyebrow, it seems that this kid's push has gotten a little higher. That won't do, I just want to eat what he made today, otherwise I'll report your store. Cheng Xiao raised the corner of his mouth. The waiter froze for a moment, then revealed a difficult expression. Their store has always been service first, if he had a worse attitude and caused customer dissatisfaction, once he reported him, he would definitely not be able to keep his job. Therefore, in the face of unreasonable customers, he could only endure. In his eyes, Chang Xiao had already become unreasonable. Forget it, don't make things difficult for people, it's been said that that Chef Fong is not responsible for this piece. Song Mian Yang said helplessly. Chang Xiao smiled, it's fine, I have my measure. After saying that, he continued to look at the waiter, go ahead and let him do it or report it, your choice. Sir, you wait a moment. The waiter finally compromised and went in the direction of the kitchen. After a while, the dishes were ready, and a few waiters brought them out one by one, filling up a table in no time. Song Myanian sniffed and only felt that the smell was so familiar. It's similar to the kind of flavor Chung Xiao cooks, but it's still a bit worse than Chang Zhao's. Sir, these are all made by Chef Fong. The waiter said. Aha. The two of them started eating. Cheng Xiao chucked a piece of steamed sea base and put it in his mouth. The taste was still the same familiar flavor. However, snap. The chopsticks snapped and fell on the table, startling several waiters and Song Yanyang's heart tightened. Sir, is the dish not to your taste? One of the waiters asked. Why is it so salty? Does your store's salt not cost anything? Is this what the head chef made? It seems to be an empty name. The air went quiet. A few people had already determined that Chang Xiao must have come to pick a fight. Who said that the food I make is salty? A male voice rang out. Only to see, a young man wearing a white coat and a chef's hat walked this way. The moment he saw Chang Xiao, he froze. Chang Xiao? Chang Xiao raised his eyebrows, you can finally shut out. I can't be bothered to come out? That should be something I say to you, right? Four months and no news, I thought you had left the country. Phone you said as the corner of his mouth twitched. Since that weekend four months ago when they played games together, they hadn't contacted each other again, he called several times and sent a lot of messages, but he didn't even reply a bit back. Today he had guessed it might be him, and he hadn't expected it to be. How are these days? Feng Yu asked. Chang Xiao shrugged, it's good. This one is? Soon, Feng Yu noticed Song Mian Mian across from Chang Xiao. Introducing, this is my wife, Song Mian Mian, from now on, she will be your sister-in-law. Feng Yu froze, half a day didn't react, sister-in-law? Chang Xiao got married? When did this happen? Why didn't he know? After both sides greeted each other. Feng Yu sat next to Cheng Xiao, his face full of grudges. When did you get married? Why didn't you inform me? It's not enough. Got the license, haven't organized the banquet yet, I'll inform you when the time comes. Then I want to be the best man. Cheng Xiao ate a mouthful of food and didn't say anything. 
When did you find an object? Sister-in-law is quite beautiful. As long as he had grown up, he basically had never seen a girl who was better looking than Song Myanian. Totally goddess level. Over there, a few waiters looked at each other inside in relief, so it was Chef Feng's friend. Then it should be fine. All right, go about your respective business. The waiter in the lead waved his hand. Everyone quickly dispersed. What about you? Did you find a date? This restaurant, to be precise, was opened by Feng Yu's dad for more than 20 years. The current Feng Yu was equivalent to inheriting the family business. Don't mention it, just broke up last month. Feng Yu sighed. The tone of his voice was all a bit sad. The two of them grabbed some beers and started chatting. After some of his complaints, Chang Xiao realized that Feng Yu was just as miserable as he was before. He also had a girlfriend who cheated on him with a second generation rich man and ran away with him. To say, Feng Yu's family conditions are not bad, from not worry about food and clothing, the city center also has a house. Such conditions most of the girls will be followed, his girlfriend is not satisfied, want to find a better, live in a big villa, drive supercar. That's why. Although Feng Yu's condition is not bad, but the big villa and supercar are still a bit reluctant. Alas, things are in the past, so don't mention it. You have found your own home, brother I am also happy for you, do not forget to send me a wedding invitation when the banquet. Must. Shang Xiao nodded. Feng Yu asked, counting the time, you have already graduated, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Then do you have any plans for the future? Have you found a suitable job? Feng Yu said, in his eyes, Shang Xiao is still just a freshly graduated college student, and is definitely worried about work right now. It's impossible to graduate and still deliver courier, you have to find a suitable job. Otherwise how can you support a child in the future? Work? No. Song Myanian was playing with her cell phone on the side, and when she heard him say that, she raised her head to look at him, then lowered her head again and, no job? Then how do you support your sister-in-law, you're married now? Feng Yu frowned. I don't need to work ah, uh, I opened a small store, there are employees in the store, it's more than enough to support your sister-in-law. Feng Yu? A face full of shock. The air was quiet. After a while, Feng Yu said, okay, brother, you're awesome. He thought that Chang Xiao had just graduated and was still worried about his job, and was ready to help him find one. In the blink of an eye, he opened his own store. He had underestimated him. Where did you open your store? When will I go to give you a big hand? Tian Yi Street. What? Feng Yu was surprised, Tian Yi Street? This place can be said to be known by everyone. Nearby is the scenic spot, the location is very good. I heard that if you open a store there, the business is even worse, the net profit of a year has a few million or so. You can imagine the traffic. In that area, there are quite a lot of rich people, and a lot of upscale neighborhoods are nearby. Damn. Really? Tian Yi Street, the rent there is not cheap. It's so awesome, brother, you've made a fortune. Cheng Xiao said, if you want to come over, it's just right to go to my house for a meal and show you my baby. Baby? You guys have given birth to your children? Lian Huan was shocked. Feng Yu was dumbfounded, it had only been four months since he had seen her, and she had directly even given birth to a child. It's marriage and childbirth again. The concealment was also too tight, there was no news at all. No, brother, what's your situation here? Feng Yu was a bit disorganized in his thoughts. He had to run through it carefully. Four months ago he remembered that Cheng Xiao was still delivering couriers, and at that time he did not have a girlfriend, he was still a single person, every day in addition to school was work, and from time to time he looked for him to start hacking. These four months passed, his wife has, the child has, and also opened his own store, the most shocking is the location of the store is still in Tian Yi Street. The rent of the store in that year must be millions, right? I made a fortune speculating in stocks, so I used it to do business, you don't have to be too surprised by this. Chang Xiao made up the source of the money without blushing. So it was like this. Feng Yu nodded, no wonder he did business all of a sudden. As for me and my wife, we met a year and a half ago, I chased after her first, then we had a child, my relationship with her was not publicized at the time. Chang Xiao said. Feng Yu was puzzled, why not publicize it? Because of our identity, it couldn't be publicized, so I didn't tell you. We're all adults, marriage is also legal, what's wrong with publicizing it? It can still get you guys arrested? Chang Xiao took a sip of tea and said lightly, because I'm a student and she's the teacher of our class. Feng Yu was shocked. Your teacher? This guy, actually had his hands on his own teacher. However, looking at it this way, there doesn't seem to be any difference in the couple's ages, and the groom is a good match. Sister-in-law is a university teacher, her education must be very high, really outstanding too. And she's so pretty. Real name Envy. He suspected that Chang Xiao came to show off his wife to him today, bullying him as a single dog. Song Myanian is embarrassed and doesn't even dare to raise her head, Chang Xiao is really too capable of making up, this lies without blinking an eye. He even chased after her backwards, this. However, she was not going to poke her husband. Well, he was the one who chased her. Yeah, 
What's the problem? Cheng Xiao laughed and glanced at San Mianian across the table. This little woman, long ago, was too shy to even raise her head. Sitting in the corner, she silently ate her meal and drank her water. It's nothing, I just want to say, it's still brother you're awesome. Too awesome. Even his own teacher can be chased, can it not be awesome? However, there was really no way to make this relationship public. Once it's publicized, if the school wants to take it into account, if it's light, it's a deduction of credits, and if it's serious, you might be directly expelled from school, and your sister-in-law will also be implicated. Getting fired is a small matter, but never being a teacher is a big one. Now that you've graduated, you should be fine. So is your relationship public now? That was the most important thing. Aha, uh -huh. that's good. When are you planning to hold a banquet? Cheng Xiao shrugged, let's talk about it when the time comes. The two chatted for the whole morning. Time was almost up, Cheng Xiao stood up, you get busy, I have to go back to take care of the child. Okay, I'll go and take a look at it in a few days, send me an address then. Aha, uh -huh. after leaving the restaurant, in the car, Song Mian asked curiously, is this your classmate? Well, a former high school classmate and a good friend for many years. It was similar to Li Jin. It's just that everyone developed differently. One graduated from high school and went north, one inherited the family business. The two went back home. Chang Xia made a call to Wang Jing at the first opportunity and told him about the store he rented today. See if you can hire the decoration team from before. This ah, simple, it's on me. Wang Jing patted his chest and said, brother, or you're great, it's only been a short two or three months, and you've opened a chain. Then you contact, decorate as soon as possible, the faster the better. Good Lu. No problem, immediately contact. How's it going? Seeing the two return, Song Qin asked with a smile. She was sitting on the carpet teasing the children, the weather is cold, the neighborhood has been heated, the house is warm. The children were dressed quite thin, one toy in front of them, playing happily. Originally mom and dad left early in the morning, the four treasures are still quite aggrieved, this will completely play open, giggling straight. A six or seven month old baby knows how to play. When it's nine months old, it will be more active and will be able to crawl. Song Mianian changed a pair of shoes, put her bag aside, and replied, the new store has been rented, just waiting to be decorated. Not bad. Song Qin smiled and nodded, it's only been three months and a chain has come out, the future will get better and better. As expected, I didn't look at the wrong person, this son-in-law is really good. At that time, when I knew that he was still a student, I didn't hold much hope, after all, a student, how could he have any ability to raise a child? However, the children were born, it is impossible to let them never have a father, right? She also saw that he was good, if other students, once they saw the four children, they would probably run away, Chung Xiao did not run, this point is very good. As long as she sees her daughter is happy, she is relieved. Chang Xiao took off his shoes and went over to hug four treasures. This child is focused on playing, did not notice that mom and dad came back, the moment he saw someone come over to hug himself, instinctively resisted, turned his eyes and saw that the person hugging him was his father, froze for a moment, then revealed a bright smile. You little wit. Chang Xiao pinched her little face. Poof. For treasures stretched out her hand and prepared to put it in her mouth. Chang Xiao saw this and immediately stopped it, saying with a serious face, for treasures, you're almost seven months old and you're still putting your hand in your mouth, are you shy? The hand hand has bacteria, eaten diarrhea. I don't know if this child understands, staring at Chang Xiao's eyes for a while, but also really stopped no longer gnawing. Well, not to gnaw the hand hand, the four treasures looked to the floor of the small toys, and looked at dad, the meaning is self-evident. You want this? Cheng Xiao picks up the small Rubik's Cube on the ground and hands it to four treasures. As soon as he got the small Rubik's Cube, the little guy immediately revealed a smile. Cheng Xiao smiles helplessly, a child's happiness is so simple. The next morning, Wang Jing came over directly. He came to Cheng Xiao to get the key. The master of the last renovation has been contacted. Cheng Xiao planned to make a trip with him. Honey, just stay home, I'll be back soon. Good. The two of them drove and left Jiang Cheng Ming Yuan. On the road. Brother, where did you rent this time? Wang Jing asked. We'll know when we go. Did you rent it this time or did you own it? Another own store would be too scary. Cheng Xiao looked at his skeptical face and smiled. Don't worry, this time it's rented. How much is the rent a year? A million or so. That's not bad. Since making money with Cheng Xiao, Wang Jing no longer felt how much a million was for Cheng Xiao. It seemed like it was just a few days of turnover. It would soon be earned back. You don't think it's much? Cheng Xiao raised his eyebrows and looked at him. The previous Wang Jing, tens of thousands of dollars felt like an astronomical figure, and now with this 1 million plus annual rent he actually didn't react at all. It's true, the eyes are open to see everything differently. Wang Jing smiled embarrassedly, brother, just the daily turnover, more than a million dollars is just a small amount for you. Although he didn't know how much he was paid for his last movie, it was definitely quite a lot. 
A million would soon be earned back. After arriving at the place, he looked at the large shopping mall not far away. The two words Bo language were especially conspicuous. This place isn't bad. No wonder the rent was more than a million dollars a year, the location was good, opening another chain store over here, the business would definitely not be bad. Arriving at the second floor of the mall, he found the location of the store and opened the door to enter. The space in here was relatively larger and more spacious than the one on Tianyi Street. Not bad hey. Wang Sighting nodded. It looked like it should be the last store that had just moved out. It had to be said that the decoration wasn't bad yet, it was still very new. There was actually no need for a second decoration. However, since it was a chain store, then it had to be decorated just like the one on Tianyi Street to have that flavor. When will the decorator come over? Chang Xiao asked back. Wang Jing glanced at his cell phone, soon. The masters had to look at the store structure and then prepare for the decoration. The two waited for a while and soon, a few people came over. Master Zhang, do you think this can be decorated like last time? Wang Jing asked with a smile. Master Zhang looked around and nodded, well, there's no big problem, it's perfectly fine. As the saying goes, money makes the devil work, there is nothing that money can't do. Master Zhang promised to be especially quick, guaranteeing to do exactly the same as before. Give enough money, this efficiency is really high, just a few days time, it is decorated. The stickers on the wall are the same as those on Tianyi Street, and some new things have been added. Here space to be larger, Chengsha directly get a toy area, what slide, sand, all prepared. Adults shopping for goods, in order to prevent children naughty, you can bring them to the toy area and other children to play. A small space was also purposely made for the babies to sleep and rest when they were brought in. Well, brother, everything is ready for wholesale goods. Wang Jing looked around with satisfaction. Chang Xiao had already made preparations a long time ago, and had specially rented a warehouse around the area to make it easier to pick up goods. When it opened, a few more people would be recruited. This was all left to Wang Jing to do, including flyers and such. After returning home, Song Nian Yang was giving playing with the babies. It made a few little ones giggle. When she saw him return, she asked, how's it going? Did you get it done? It's done, just waiting for the opening. That's good. This speed can be said to be very efficient, it's only been a week. Chang Xiao opened his cell phone and received a message from Feng Yu. Asking him where he lives, he happens to have time today and comes over to see the baby. Chang Xiao directly sent a location over. There was silence for 10 minutes. It took a while to receive Feng Yu's reply. Brother, you didn't give the wrong address, right? Feng Yu was full of doubts, and his first reaction was to think that Cheng Xiao was definitely confused and gave the wrong address. Cheng Xiao said, this is the address. No, you live in Jiang Cheng Ming Yuan? Feng Yu was shocked, Jiang Cheng, what is that place? High grade neighborhood ah. Near the scenic area, not far away is Tianyi Street, that price can be imagined. Heavenly price. To live here, that's too scary, how rich must one be? Even renting a room for a month is tens of thousands of dollars. Yes. When Feng Yu heard this, he felt that his heart received a strong violent blow, this, is this still a human being? It's too much of a blow. Marrying a wife and having a child was already enough to surprise him, this came straight to the sentence of living in Zheng Qing Ming Yuan, this this. When did Chang Xiao become so rich? Completely on the way to the peak of life ah. After calming down for a while, Feng Yu exhaled, then wait for me, I will drive over now. Okay. I'll go buy some food to cook. About half an hour or so later, Feng Yu arrived. Looking at the neighborhood in front of him, the shock in his heart was beyond words. He was still a little skeptical as to whether Chang Xiao had given the wrong location or not. Until he saw others walking out from inside. Cam. Hasty. He really lives here ah? After coming in, Feng Yu hurriedly asked, Brother ah, you really live here ah? After looking around, it's much more upscale than the neighborhood he lives in. People downstairs fountains, swimming pools, everything. Facilities are complete. What? Nothing. Just feel, you are too rich, how much is this monthly rent? Feng Yu asked in a low voice. 